factors that help out too. to really inspire you to start sewing. We'd like to uh, get people crafting and start that sewing process. A lot of patterns and kits are perfect for beginners to use. It's a real wonderful, mindful way to start that journey into sewing. So don't miss the White Gecko Shows. Hi, we're the team from Daisy B Stamps. My name's Nina. This is Josie. And this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. A very good morning to you and welcome to the craft store. Now, we have got a fantastic happy hour for you. You see me looking over there towards the clock in the distance. Because for this hour and this hour only, we are going to have the most amazing prices on our lovely All and Create stamps and dies and stencils. So my best advice to you is because we can't physically fit everything on the counter, it's to shop ahead on the web. In fact, we'll be showing you some images and having a little look at the web as well because we physically can't get it all on the counter. So if there's some of those stamp sets or some of those stencils that you fancy or you've missed them or they're in a new configuration or um, you're just thinking, oh, that's, that's too darn good a price to miss out on, then this is the hour to join us. Now, I love All and Create. You've got a fabulous team. We've got Tracy's, Bipasha's. We've got Olga's, we've got Abs's designs. So there's a great mix here along the counter. So let's get started. You're already shopping ahead on this fine Tuesday morning. It was a beautiful sunset this morning. It was gorgeous. So I love it when we get these sunset, sunrise, sorry. <laughs> It was setting behind me. It was rising behind me. It's an effort. Uh, I'm not backwards, aren't I? Uh, right, OK, let's start. We are going to start at the start, not at the end. <laughs> We're going to start with visual ingredients. Now, this is this is Abs. This is our, our lovely... Uh, is this Abs? No, this is Janet. This is Janet. Abs has done the, mic uh, Abs has done the, micro the microscope telescope ones later on. So this is our lovely Janet. So, you have got uh, these fantastic colour theories. So, I love these swirls. It's almost like it could be a tree trunk, it could be a coffee stain. That's like the dashes on the, um, the barcodes, isn't it? Or something. You've almost, that almost looks like barbed wire there. Uh, raindrops, maybe. Yeah, little horsey hooves. I don't, I don't know. What do you see? And then we've almost kind of got these sort of compass sizes. You know, I like these. I think these would be great to overlay. They're almost like the prismatic uh, colour wheel, aren't they? Hue is another name for colour because you've also got those, um, uh, what do you call it, sort of sentiments as, as well. I don't know if you call it our sentiments, but the sentences, the little sayings. So let me just show you the size of these stamps. There we go. And uh, as always with All and Create, you get fantastic, fantastic details. So this is great for layering up, creating your backgrounds, creating that little bit of extra interest. So you're getting both of these sets as well. Absolutely fantastic. But what I'm loving... Now, you may not have seen these before. Um, I haven't seen these ones, particularly these ones. I've seen a lot of the lovely All and Create stamps. But these are £14 saving for all 14. Isn't that fantastic? Yeah, £14 saving. 660243. You've already found these and 10% uh, has already gone. Lovely Janet. We've got some more of lovely Janet's quirky characters later on as well. Now, these two I've seen, but not together. Um, this cobbles which i absolutely adore fantastic cobbles i think is that an abs one there our, our lovely abs i think that's abs 
Uh, uh, and then we've also got our lined triangles as well. Yeah, Bipasha's lined triangles. Which one is, uh, is our cobbles? Yeah, apps. There we go. Uh, I got there eventually, but so, let me show you that one we've just focused on there, because there is so much detail. Um, look at this. I mean, it's quite an incredible stamp. You've got every configuration of the triangle, which way round the angle. You've got arrows, you've got bubbles, you've got splodges, you've got numbers, you've got equations, you've got the script in different type um, fonts as well. Um, it's just amazing when you start to look at that stamp in itself. There's so much, so much going on. I absolutely love it. Yeah. Oh, it'd be a great one for fabric, um, said my lovely producer. Yes. And we've got a lovely, fantastic one day special with the fabric as well. Um, but then we've also got, and I do adore this, our gorgeous quirky cobbles. I mean, it could be webs. It could be cobbles. It, it could be all sorts, really. And that really is the size that you see. So we've got a five, we've got a six, we've got a seven, we've got a four. We've got all sorts of sizes here on the show as well. So they're a fantastic, fantastic duo there. Again, I'm not seeing that those two together. I've seen me cobbles and I've seen me triangles, but not together. So take advantage of the eight pounds saving if that's working for you as well, which massive savings in this happy hour deal to eight o'clock zero seven zero one zero seven. Shall we show you some of the ones that we've got on the web? Now, I remember this, that fantastic bird uh, with the brilliant uh, top hat there. Now, this is bird song. You're getting three amazing stamps. You're getting that lovely elongated one there as well. And the one that you can't see behind the exclusive stamp. Um, absolutely brilliant. They're, they're part of a whole collection because I remember the ones that look like they're made of wire and sticks. They are brilliant. Now, they are a five in size the, the whole sheet there so they are quite um quite a, quite a good size in order to, to, to work with as well so uh they're absolutely brilliant uh six pounds saving on that one 11.99 oh i love this now there's a bit of a naughty word there but i know you love the wisequacks 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 uh we've got the symbols there as well which i love i had this on the the, the other week and you were loving this can't believe we've still got any left but 24 stamps i know um and as you start to read them they're just quirky they're cheeky they're guaranteed to put a smile on your face and you've got those lovely incidental um shape stamps as well six pounds saving one zero two one three seven ah uh, what's that then oh is there really i can't see it from here i'm so short-sighted i'm going to get close to the screen uh i believe there's one with a little typo so it should say when one door closes another one opens but it says one's opens does it Oh, do you know what? I never even noticed. So that's why we got such a cracking saving. I'd never even noticed. But there we go. Does it matter? I don't think so. I, I've seen that. I've, I've seen that stamp set so many times. I'd never ever noticed that. You probably I would have gone through life never ever noticing that, quite frankly. So but we, we will flag it up just so that you're aware. But it's still for me doesn't spoil that brilliant stamp. Now, this is a double whammy. You know, we said um, we've got uh, the, the, the fantastic stamps and the dies. Well, this is Tracy. You know, we're going to see a few of Tracy's on the show. She's got the butterflies. She's really good at the bugs, the nature. I mean, look at these. And I remember Leone working with these and she was putting them on tins. She gave them glossy accents, you know, some with an enamel finish. Um, and it just was amazing because you could really make the back of those bugs. Um, really, really bright and beautiful and vibrant. But I, I wonder, they look like something out of a Victorian, um, you know, some of the catalogues, all the beetles and the, and the leaves. Aren't they beautiful? Who would have thought there were so many different varieties of beetle? I mean, look at that stag beetle there. Handsome fellow. In fact, he's probably about the size of your stag beetles. Um, just amazing. They're beautiful, beautiful creatures. You don't get to see very often just stunning aren't they amazing and what's great is we've also got the die set to coincide as well so if i just bring up um the die you can see because that actually can you see the little it's sort of, i don't know what all the an an anatomical names are but you know the antennae the antennae antennae um you know when you were to, if you were to cut those out that'd be really hard but the great news is you're getting the corresponding die set with said beetle so um 
with said bug as such. So, so that's fantastic. You get those four fantastic dies as well in the set. Uh, so that is a great, great little dynamic duo. And I'm loving the £9.60 saving as well. £17.98, 732921. Yeah, lovely Tracy. They, they're, they're also such a fantastic, talented team. And they all bring something different to all and create. Now, this is one myself and my producer said we haven't seen. I know. You see, this is what's amazing about All and Create. You can present lots of shows. You can work with abs. You can work with the team and then think to yourself, well, I've never seen this stamp set before. Now, this is a Sewing Forever. Uh, you've got Sewing Men's of Soul, Sewing Forever Housework, whatever. Um, and then you've got these fantastic figurines. You've got the mannequin. You've got the typescript. You've got beautiful flourishes behind them. Um, really. Now, this is your big A5. So, again... You can see the size you're working with. A little bit larger, but very manageable on your A4 size. Isn't that, I mean, look at that. How much work has gone into that? How utterly beautiful. I love this writing across the dress. And I love the fact that it's kind of like 1950s and the different typescript again. And let me just turn her the right way around. Isn't she beautiful? Look at this flourish of writing, the numbers, the, yes, yes, it is like those, um, gorgeous dress patterns that they used to have, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? Look at this, all this work here. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Oh, I like that. You're on fire this morning, Meg. She's saying, oh, just print that, you know, if you were doing your, your journals or your, your stamping onto some newspaper, that on top of... Oh, yeah, I like that idea a lot. Or, or, some, or some dressmaking paper, actually put it onto that. Especially if you do, if you love to decorate any of your dressmaking, you know, area or anything like that. It's a great one. Not that you have to be a sewer to love it. I think it's a fantastic stamp anyway. Uh, 11.99. That's a great price, isn't that? When you've just seen it. Six pounds saving, three, three, eight, four, four, five. I get too involved with the stamps and don't care about the price. But listen, all you need to know is it's a happy hour and big savings for this hour. Now, yes, our Lotus Cluster. This is Bipasha all over. Um, four fantastic stamps. Beautiful to colour, to ink, uh, with your distress inks. You, can you see the detail of the little blobs there and the bit of writing, the incidental writing that you can read? The numbers, the fractions, live life in full bloom. I love that mix of styles of writing and the underlining, the splots and the circle and the... Um, yeah, it's just, just fantastic, isn't it? Growth is a process. And then what, oh, let me just that one, yeah. Out of the murky mud of life grows the purely beautiful lotus flower, trusting in its own folding. Ah, bloom with grace. Isn't that fantastic? Beautiful. So even the, even the smallest stamp, which I love, that, the smallest one, I think, is, is, is just beautiful. And, and that's not taken away from the fantastic large lotuses. I love those, but I think there's some great incidental ones in there that you can use elsewhere as well. I mean, that is beautiful, isn't it? What a great price. Lovely Bipasha, 1199 571788. It is a busy one. You are loving the intricacies of that beautiful. And the sentiment behind that lotus flower is, is, is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, now, I love a grungy alphabet. You're going to love my next two as well. This is the only problem I'm giving you this morning, viewers, is um, which choice, yes, which one to go for. This is the trouble. This is a conundrum. So here, again, this is A5. So these are, you know, quite um, sizable, uh, I should say, uh, in terms of the, the, the capitals and what have you. Um, but they've kind of got that sort of distressed look to them. And then you've got... Um, all of the punctuation there as well. Love the hand as well. Isn't that brilliant? Just pointed. So here you can literally create your own words, create your own lettering. Almost looks like when you, you cut up the little individual letters, isn't it? And then stamp them in, you know, in a, when, when you're doing a ransom note. Yes, exactly. To bring back the gnome. Um, <laughs> it does. When you're sending those ransom notes, it does make life a lot easier, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm not suggesting that's what you need to do. You could leave random little notes for the family, couldn't you? As in, do the washing, else, washing up or else the PS5 gets it. Yeah? Or else Fortnite gets, gets it. Um, don't forget milk. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> do your own work. Tidy your room. Just open it up. Ooh, anyway, uh, <laughs> welcome to our life here at uh, the craft store. 
Now, I love this next set, 32 stamps, because this one, you, you've got your birthday covers. You've got the dates covered. So for whatever the occasion, you know, to rustle it up, it could be, you know, just a special hello, uh, welcome to spring, uh, your move in the summer, hope it goes well, that exam in the winter, a happy birthday, of course, is the obvious one. Um, but I love all these different, you know, the way you have the dark background, different shapes, sizes, you've got all the months there, but they're, they're just a bit different, aren't they? And then you've got all of the numbers, so you can do the date, obviously the year and the month. You could create your own calendar for the desk, couldn't you? Or if you want to, you know, your travel log or you really want to earmark a, a certain date or how old they were when the birthday you had you know they were four or what i just think they're so useful and i, I love this stuff it proved very popular and we had it on before so i don't want you to miss out on that one again a big a5 stamp 32 stamps on that 11.99 go, go nicely with your ransom notes that one as well you could give them a deadline <laughs> Now, this one, I've seen the lovely samples with this one. It's very, very popular because it's that little bit different. Uh, I, well, you know, you could think ghoulish Halloween, but oh, it's just a bit interesting, isn't it? But it doesn't end there. I mean, just look at the butterfly. Isn't that fantastic? I love this. This is just gorgeous. And then we come down to that amazing amazing um the skull and all and you've got the star but look at that it's almost like a ledger isn't that beautiful that incredible ledger down there with the lettering and the numbers it's just so interesting um so let me hold and the star you know i've seen the star used so many times as well very dynamic but it doesn't you know it doesn't have to be macabre it, you know you can lift that up with the, with the colors and what have you um, I just think it's, it's, it's fantastic, especially it doesn't have to be the focus. It could be just back there in the background. Um, 11.99, I've seen great things done with our Leone and uh, that set of stamps as well, as well as beautiful samples from the team. Do like that a lot. Very striking. You don't forget it. Let's have a look at the web because, of course, what I've got here on the show, I can't fit on the counter. Um, as dynamic as our lovely Matt is, he, he just physically can't do it. There's just not enough room. I'd have to take up the whole studio. So we've got lots on the web I want you to shop ahead for. Now, this one is Seeds of Hope. It's, it's A4, so we're removing up a notch now um, to the size. And it is big. You, you've got those three stamps there. Um, so, yeah, really sizable. It's going to fill your space. Love that carrot with the roots there. And uh, you've got the butterfly and the trees. Um, and again, we've got the sentiment there as well. First, what's that say? First, shades of hope, is it? I can't read it from here. Something. It's the, it's the sentiment one. Uh, plant seeds of hope, sorry. Plant seeds of hope. I know, I'm just making up things that aren't there. Uh, plant seeds of hope, yeah. So yeah, big, big stamps there, 16.99, eight pound saving, eight nine zero two three seven. Something to look forward to, isn't it? Especially with me sunrise sunset this morning, you know, the sunrise of it. Didn't we have our first, for May was the first day without the frost in the morning, wasn't it? Oh, gosh, the poor old plants. How oh, they've got through April, I do not know. Now, A4, that's what you just saw. So this is a big, so this is going back to Tracy again. So we have got the wings that are separate. Now, let me just turn that one around because that first one is an absolute doozy. Look at this. You almost almost lose the creature in there. You've got all these numbers, these ledgers, uh, so much detail. Yeah, another sort of moth there. Um, and then if I see the bugs that we're moving into. Now, these bugs and these wings, you see, you can interchange them. Yeah, the dragonflies, we're not dictating to you. And you can see they're all different, you know, the, the way in which the, the actual um, wings have been etched. And if I just... Yeah, I want to go that way because of the wings, two sets of the wings there. But you've got three, and again, all different. I don't know if you're in that one there, if you can just see that little bit of the numbering there as well. You can see a bit of script work as well in the one above. It's, that, it's the devil's in the detail, isn't it? You've just got it uh, writing around the edges there. Can you see that bit of script and, and sorry, uh, numbers there coming in again? Isn't that beautiful? And again, look at that. That almost looks like genuine wings, doesn't it? It's quite good. And then you've got the bug written there as well. So there's great fun to be had with this large set. Um, but that first one, I mean, look at that detail. Travel, the journey. 
Uh, fantastic for male or female cars, that one. Very, very versatile. Large A4 stamp set there with lots of 13 stamps on it and so much fun to be had with those interchangeable wings. 1699, three, four, seven, five, three, two. Yes, our lovely Tracy again. Oh, now this is Bipasha. You start to recognize the style, don't you? And I've seen this before. Ocean Wonders because she fuses, she's got a fabulous imagination. So it's not just about drawing the fish, you know, the fish head is intermingled with the flowers and the writing, but then you have the rest of the body, but separate. So it's not dictating to you. Yes, you can use them together, but it's more interesting apart. Then you've got the shells, the elongated long stamp. Advice from the ocean, be yourself. Little, little nuggets of wisdom there as well. I, I think my favourite is the crab, almost like he's, he's biting into those numbers. He's got the number six in his claw there. Be endless as the ocean and timeless as the tides. You are my coral reef in glowing hues and that little shrimp there. You can be an ocean, beautiful and calm. It's a fantastic set. Absolutely amazing. And another large a4 stamp, isn't it? I mean, that's, it's, it's a work of art. They're works of art, aren't they, I think? They really are absolutely exquisite. Beautiful. Yes, it could be. You could have the mermaid. Just, you know, have the mermaid um, body. I always remember watching... Um, it wasn't like Tales of the Unexpected, but it was some, some bizarre black and white film years ago. And um, so whatever it did, you know how they have a twist? I think... It was the mermaid or whatever, and he, he'd fallen in love with her. Uh, no, no, this was the story. And he'd fallen in love with her, and then he wanted to bring her onto, um, onto shore. So this is all before Disney and the mermaid and all that. Anyway, uh, be careful of what you wish for, I think, was what, because obviously it happened, but the wrong way. She had legs with a fish head body. Yeah, so that was the twist. That was the ending, everybody. Good morning and welcome to Fee's, Fee's World. I know, it's, it's funny how you remember these things. It was really bizarre old Phil. was like, mm, careful what you wish for. So he was left with a lady with a fish top half. There we go. You can make from these what you want. 16 and 99. I'm sure yours won't come out as macabre as that. Uh, 847239. Eight pound saving. You'll remember, maybe somebody out there has seen that film. Maybe, maybe it's just me. Careful what you wish for. <laughs> oh dear. Now, we mentioned, now this is what I was good rambling on about. You know, right at the start, we had lovely Janet's microscopes. Was it, no, what was Janet's, uh, what was our lovely Janet's ones called? Um, Colour theory, that was it. I was rattling on that abs had done some microscope. This is what it made me think of. Now, am I right in thinking we've got stamps? Yes, yeah, so, right, I'm sorry I haven't got the stamps with me. There we go. So I'm going to show you the stencil, but... Oh, so they're the stamps we had at... That picture is the picture of the stamps we had at the start. Yes, shall I go and grab it? Is that all right? And they've, they've, they've created little bundles, you see, so um, I, I didn't want to suggest that the stamps were this. So it's this. So if we look at that picture again, just double-check for me. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's all right. That's OK. So this is what we mean about they're putting it in different configurations. So we've got this fantastic... I'll just show you the size because it's actually larger than, uh, you know, what it suggests on the, on the front of the packaging. So this one is, is our lovely ab. So it's like looking through the microscope. You've got all those different patterns and dots and swirls. And I love that bottom one, the little crisscross one. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. And I love this one that is sort of was almost like drippy paint as well. So there you that's your fantastic stencil. But then you're also getting our lovely Janet's swirls. And um, we said it almost around as barcode, raindrops, hoof marks, could be cups, I don't know, anything just really interesting. That's a fantastic duo as well, just a little bit dynamic. £15.98. You've got a £4 saving there. That's... Uh, 606421. Oh, yeah. Now, this is all. Uh, oh, oh, yes, I've gone too far. This is our lovely Janet. I couldn't leave Janet out, could I? Now, Janet always has such a great sense of humor. You know, she, she designs all those fantastic uh, ladies with, with the big eyes and what have you. She designed our lovely Leone stamp as well. 
Uh, now, great humour. <laughs> Life is rough for the RUWF. Bad to their bone. Dogs are miracles with paws. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just beautiful. Fantastic set of stamps here. So I'm just going to steal a bit of paper to show you them both. And then we've got our You Had Me at Bacon and Oink. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, sorry there, my darling. Apologies. Uh, there we go. Ruining the shot there. There we go. So I'll turn you in a little. I'll turn you in. It could be Mr. and Mrs. there, couldn't it? On your way. Or Mrs. and Mrs. Or Mr. and Mrs. Uh, there's our dog. He's having a great time, isn't he? On his back there. Yeah. Isn't that fantastic? They've got such fantastic character. Let me show you our little pigs there. There we go. He looks guilty, doesn't he? He does look guilty. And then there's our, uh, then, then them two there, the right way around with, with a bit of flowers. Yeah, they've got such, look at the hands on the hip. They've got such character, haven't they? Just brilliant. So you're getting 14 of those fantastic stamps there. And that is our fantastic Janet, £15.98, £249196, £8 saving. So for all the designers, now, I love this one. Um, this is a big A4 stencil, and it's very popular. And again, I've seen Leone work with this. You've got that half butterfly wing that develops into that beautiful flourish of a flower. Absolutely gorgeous. Of course, you can use them as separate entities as well. Then you've also got two of my favorite little stamps there in the A7, uh, Tile Pile which is great for your backgrounds, and so is the Mini Tribal, and it's got no edging, so you can continue that across a much bigger format. So don't think, oh, A7, that limits me. No, because you can create a much bigger, because you've got no edging there, where it, so you can just repeat and, and extend, as it were. But that, that has been one of the most popular, popular stencils, because it's absolutely beautiful. I've seen it on so many different mixed media projects as well. £17.97, seven double one so never want to flag up because i know that is very popular uh three amazing stencils now and uh, this is back to our lovely lovely abs so we've got pebble pile there's our lovely pebble which always reminds me when i've seen it when people have done the little sponging they're inking through it of um giraffe giraffe print Yes, just what I see. Could be bubbles, oil on water there. Um, that's, our, that's our larger one of, of the stencils, the A5. Then we've also got secret stars and secret numbers there as well. So within the circles. And I love the fact that they're not perfectly um, cylindrical. Yeah, I love that. You could put little phrases in there, little faces, and then you've got the secret numbers as well. Um, I think this was all part of a, a, a larger collection as well i seem to remember but uh brilliant i'll just hold this up here so we can see those two so that's you can see the size of the secret numbers and, and the uh pebbles and i'll bring it in our secret stars because it's the same as the secret numbers isn't that lovely so you get all three of those that's a great price point for those fantastic stencils there under 10 pounds for all three i'm liking that a lot yeah nine pounds 97 so we've got dies we've got stamps we've got stencils and that's nine three seven three three two saving 12 pounds 12 pounds now you've already found these does not surprise me that's why we flagged up the elegance one with the uh tile pile and uh the mini what's it I forget what it was called now it was only two minutes ago fiona um this is uh, Swallowtail and Flutter By. This is absolutely... Now, this is Olga at her finest, because this butterfly is utterly beautiful. And you're getting two sizes. Yeah, they are beautiful. They are the same, but different sizes. They look like a beautiful fine lace. Isn't that amazing? So it's really about your size that you're working with. Of course, that does allow you to overlay it, and use them together and of course a bit like the elegance you know you, you haven't got to you can just use half the wing coming onto the page or it just sort of looking as though it just tips like it's flying away um yeah so that they are they're, they're, they're identical in design it's just the change of the size from that large a4 to the a5 i mean that is they're utterly beautiful are they look at the detail i know they're very very popular because the butterflies are aren't they and you're getting both of those, which allows you to work in the different formats, you know, whether you're going bigger for the A3 as well or the smaller. But again, you know, you can just use a part. 
I mean, oh, excuse me. If you were just using, I was just thinking, if you were just using like that, you don't even need to use the shape of the wing, just the pattern that's going on within it. I mean, I think, I think, you know, that element, that's fascinating in itself. It doesn't even need to look like a wing. So that's a beautiful part of the stencil to utilise. £13.98, 745091. Yeah, lovely duo there. Now, this was, again, very popular part of the collection. I think these work great with your bugs as well. This man is very distinguished, and we've got all these fantastic different light bulbs there as well, and uh, potions and lotions. You've got carbolic... I think you've got some, car you've got some carbolic acid there. We'll have a closer look, but... Um, yeah. Oh, look. Death and microbes. Carbolic acid solution. Epsom salts. I can't work that this out. This one next... Oh, you can actually read onto it. Now, you see... Oh, I see. Do you know what? I've just realised what it is. I thought it was like the back of her head or looking into some machinery. And then I've realised, oh, it's the skull. It almost looks like a, a camera lens, doesn't it? I've realised it's the side of the skull now. And then you've got that writing. Look at this almost, almost like geometry there. I hadn't realised that. It's just when you look at things differently, isn't it? It's the way... Uh, Mr. Baker's just got that position there. Uh, this is possibly one of my favourites. I know that sounds strange. Yeah. Um, I just like the geometry of it. I love the unusual of it. I love the strangeness of it. Yeah, I'll show you it on my... Oh, and then... Yeah, the bottles there. Oh, is it the anatomy of an eyeball, is it? It's like... No, I don't know. Anyway, let's have a close. Let's have a let's have a closer look. I'll get it in position in the right place there. So down. What do we call are these? Like the electrodes? Would you say that the bottom there? Are they like um, they look like mechanical parts of like electricity? Uh, tension shackles. Oh, hello. Uh, then we've got our bulbs and the, oh, these are very back in vogue, aren't they? The old fashioned. Bulbs. Now look at this fellow with the monocle. Isn't he fabulous? He's so fantastic. Um, you wouldn't mess with him because he might get out the car carbolic acid solution. Old-fashioned bottles. I love the fact you can actually read it. Sears and Roebuck. Um, Chicago. Ill, I don't know. It's inspecting prepared by Sears and... Disinfecting prepared by Sears and Roebuck and Company Incorporated, Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, fine quality, fresh pack for medicinal use. Chemically pure. Pasteur's death to the microbes or something like that. That's just brilliant, isn't it? And then, oh, look at these bottles. Aren't they fantastic? And then you can just see this little bit of script and the writing almost like the labelling um, and this fantastic. Now, this is the one. I love this, which this way. So look at this one. I, I think it's, I just think it's fascinating. Is it working out the cogs of a clock or figures? It's the yeah, there is cogs, isn't there? And there's lines and... An intricate drawer. I just love it. Are they working out, do you think, the stars and the alignment of the planets? I don't know. What's that say? Something of wheels at the bottom there. Teeth of wheels. Teeth of wheels. Isn't it brilliant? I absolutely love it. Might be just the machinations of a clock or a cl watch. Or a... It's just brilliant. Anyway, as you can see, when you start to look at them, there's so much in there, isn't there? So much going on. Seventeen ninety nine. It's a handsome stamp set. That one. Four one one three five one. Great savings in the happy hour, but only for this hour. So please take advantage and remember to check out your basket. I'd hate for you, you know, not to be paying the the happy hour price at the end of the hour. Yes, a fantastic set of three border stamps now. So we've got one on the horizontal axis and two on the vertical. Now, these are comprising of eight stamps. So I will take you through it because the thistle comprises of, uh, f what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. So, th so this is our lovely thistle. Now, this is one complete stamp and it's the texture, isn't it? It's that fantastic texture on that thistle itself. You can almost feel it, can't you? Um, and again, this is our lovely Tracy. So that is one, let me hold this for you here. That is one complete stamp and the texture on that thistle is brilliant. Now, again, the writing, they keep the background blank there so you can separate that thistle element, but it's just brilliant. Now, if we move to the iris, this is the one that comprises of um, your six stamps. So. 
you've got your splodges and the iris iris is one stamp nature is another the iris itself which is in a pot of lovely script is another perennial is a separate stamp iris is a separate stamp and so is eight two nine so you wouldn't believe you wouldn't know would you that there's six stamps on there but that is just fantastic and again another brilliant one there by tracy so there are two at the top now our one at the bottom with our bugs that is one complete stamp as well so you've got again this would tie in beautifully wouldn't it with our fantastic bugs that we've got further down the counter and again you know it, 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 you've got all these fantastic equations there as well and uh, what it all stands for the v velocity the length of the pipe you've got the postage stamp you've got that sort of checkerboard finish the bug writing there i love his eyes he's brilliant isn't he um it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful stamp. So detailed. The scribblings, the writings there. I'll uh, show you the stamp itself there. Very sizable, isn't it? Very striking. Lovely dynamic. Now, you get all three of those. So these are, again, you're thinking of your, your scrapbooking, your, you know, your journaling, having those different lengths, the size. I, I just think they're really fascinating. The border stamps, all three of those. £13 saving, 774-837. Loads more on the web. Just physically couldn't fit it on the counter. Choose any five, for instance, in the borders. Uh, pick and mix. Choose any six for the A7. Um, those lovely smaller stamps there. Um, gorgeous. All sorts of sizes. A6, A7, A4. You know, the border stamps. We've got stencils there as well. Pick and mix any four stencils there for £19.96. We've also got dies as well. Now, if you buy a few, you can bundle it all together and literally spread the cost over a couple of months by creating your own flexi order. So let's find out a bit more. What is flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for FlexiOrder, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. So nobody's texted in about my fish head lady. No? Nobody's texted about that very strange film, black and white film? Just me then? Oh, we might have had an email. Has anybody seen it? Miranda the Mermaid, somebody's written in. A black and white film from the 50s. Glynis Johns was playing two parts. Glynis Johns, fantastic Glynis Johns. Although Eileen, good morning Eileen. Oh. Well, this lady's called was the lady, Eileen. Eileen, that is amazing. I think I've seen that as well. That's a di definitely a different film, Eileen. Forgive me for going quiet there. I was listening to the synopsis from my lovely producer. Um, no, Eileen, this is brilliant. I, I think I've seen that as well because I seem to remember the little fishing, the little where <laughs> all these mermaid films I've seen. Uh, the, 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 the wanted to swap. And when you said Glynis Johns, oh, I love her. She's brilliant. Well, she does a lot of film with Alec Guinness, isn't she? Just brilliant. Anyway, that's, I think it's different because it was the top, it was kind of macabre, you know, when the big fish head came out and the, the legs, it was kind of like that was the end of it. So it was kind of a bit of a horrific ending. Um, but yeah, oh, well, thank you, Eileen. That sounds brilliant as well. And I'm sure I've seen that one. Uh, brilliant. Good to know everybody's on the same wavelength, or at least me and Eileen are. Uh, good morning, good morning. We have a very uh, fantastic happy hour for you now. Uh, for All in Create, there's lots on the web I want to direct you to if you have access. 
different configurations. We've got stencils, we've got stamps, we've got dies, um, A5, A6, A7, A4. So uh, do have a little shop ahead if you can, uh, because at 8 o'clock we'll have the lovely Janice with us and the one day special. So let's have a little recap of what we've got on the counter so far, but physically couldn't fit it all here on the counter for you this morning. So I'm going to start with two of Janet's. And these are our A6 stamps, and you're getting 14 in total. So this one, interestingly enough, we have got further down the counter with some of Abs's stencils, microscope through the microscope. So, but if you want it, because I think it works beautifully with our um, lovely colour theory and our visual ingredients there, um, we've got. These are brilliant. It could be tree drinks, coffee stains, just incidental background, just little corners of interest fantastic set of stamps there so that's our one set and then again mixing it up here we've also got some sentiments there color hue is another name for color to overlap those it could do you see the mechanics of watches do you see color wheels do you see kaleidoscopes i mean is that a ladder is it a gate is it just something for you to fit slot to insert different things into is it pockets is it uh wardrobe tidy i don't i don't know is it a railway? It could be so many different things, couldn't it? And this is the brilliance of the set of stamps. Now, it's £9.98 for both of those. £14 saving. 660243. Um, we've got some pick and mixes on the show. So, this is fantastic. Now, you can choose any any three of the A5. This is Bipasha. You remember the Lotus Blossoms, which have been very, very popular. So, any three of the A5. So, this is Flourish. £20 saving. Then we've got the Momentum Worry on the show on its own, but when you look at the saving in the pick and mix, it's greater. Look at that. Sea life with passion. That is a beauty. Our octopus there. Voyager, again, almost with a compass or the wheel there. Oh, that, I love that one. Male art. That is such a useful uh, stamp collection there. Phone booth elements. I know the, the traditional phone booth there, the red phone booth. Shuttered window, that is gorgeous. I've seen people kind of create that into a 3D shape as well. And the key there. Uh, just grow, okay. Just grow, so you're picking any three of these, 20 pound savings. So sometimes the pick and mixes afford greater savings. Navigate home is a beauty I've seen as well. Love those binoculars, gorgeous there. The stopwatch, back to our lovely Bipasha. Uh, blooming beauty. So these are all on the web. Ah, oh, one of my favourites. I love the typewriter and the, what do you call that? The, uh, the, the, no, not the grandfather clock, the hourglass. The hourglass. I absolutely adore that set of stamps. That's a corker. Don't miss out on that one. Oh, deep focus. I haven't seen that before. Have you? Deep focus. I love all those screw heads there as well. The flat and the, and the, and the cross hatch. Scripted botanicals there as well that's fantastic it's got to be Bihasha. oh now we've got the lotus cluster on the show at the moment but we've got the orchid cluster there on the web and then oh that's a cracker now this is just the old uh, diving helmet there and the uh, fantastic lighthouse sea essentials oh now there's more on the web so have a little look physically cannot fit them on the counter but you can choose any three for 33.97. So, you know, it's about £11.30 a set. So you can see how that can afford uh, greater savings, especially when you should be looking at about 16.99 a set and what have you. So yeah, please do shop ahead. Okay, Quirky Cobbles is our lovely apps. And then we've got our fantastic triangles there by Bipasha. Been busy, I'm not surprised because they are an absolute fantastic dynamic duo. And our quirky triangles, there's so much going on in there, isn't there? Let me just hold that, try and get my fingers out of the way. So much when you start to look at all that detail. I mean, the work that's gone into it. How long would it take you to draw, even to stamp it, to overlay it, to create that? It's all there in one stamp. And then this little dynamic beauty, that's a fantastic one. You use that over and over again, isn't it brilliant? Uh, £11.98 for those two. They've been busy on that one. Eight pounds saving as well is also another plus. 070107. But what's nice about the happy hours is sometimes you see a collection and you see it in a different configuration. You think, oh, I missed that. We've got so many coming up that I've never seen before. And I just, how is that possible? But it just is. Can't watch everything every hour of the day. 
Now, one of our best sellers, it's got to be because of our fantastic Tracy there as well, the bugs. And I was talking about how I saw Leone create enamel backs with this and glossy accents and, you know, bright greens and bright reds. And, um, you know, those little sardine t cans, just put one in there or just, I don't know, just use what she was so... Uh, oh, yeah, the shrink plastic as well. Yeah, it's just so innovative. Uh, these are fabulous. Look at that stag beetle. I mean, could he be more handsome? Look at this fella. I wish I knew the names of the beetles or what they were. <laughs> Very funny. I walked into that, didn't I? My director's gone, George Ringo. John. <laughs> oh, Paul. Yeah, there we go. Now we know. I Literally, I walked straight into that, didn't I, viewers, eh? I kick him in and, you know, he bats them into the back of the net. Uh, there we go. We've got the dies to match these as well, which is just fantastic. So all our lovely dies as well. I'm trying to find the one. Is that... Because is that, uh, it would be difficult to um, cut. Is that... No, that's not him, is it? No, that's not him. I think I had it right a minute ago, didn't I? There we go, that one there. You know, the little antennae or whatever, you, the little legs as well. It would be very, very hard to cut out, wouldn't it? So that will take out your bug. And if you didn't want the actual, that part of the stamp there, that'll just cut out your bug beautifully. So you've got the corresponding dies there as well with this fantastic set. Um, £17.98. Love those. So much, so much detail in those. that They look fantastic. 732921. Another great saver. And that one we've not seen is our lovely Sewing Forever. So four stamps. And uh, we love the sort of throwback, the little nods of the sort of the 1950s and the, and the dressmaking patterns there. But again, you look into it and each time you look into it, you see the word, you see the different fonts, you see the lines, you see the etching, you see the drawing, the ledger. Look at this on her skirt. Isn't that brilliant? Uh, sewing Men's the Soul, Sewing Forever, Housework Whenever. So they're two separate sentiment stamps on there as well. The scissors upside down. I've only just seen the old, like the old Singer sewing machine in there. I didn't see that the first time. This is what I mean about you start to look and you start to see all that fantastic detail. Um, there she is at the top, so we can see her in all her glory there. She's beautiful, isn't she? Fantastic. She looks very happy. I love all this ledger writing just going across it there as well and this old-fashioned sort of insignia there as well. Isn't that beautiful? And then if I just turn that around, we'll see our... Oh, well, she's upside down. There we go. There she is. Look at that flourish. Isn't that fantastic? Again, so much detail, the writing, the different... Look at this, the beautiful flowers, size 8 cut, size 10, size 12 cut. The mannequin with the dress over it, the, the, the beautiful old-fashioned writing, the flourishes. It's just gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely set of stamps. I Pass me by that one, but there you go. Don't let it pass you by. 11 99 338 445. Oh, now we've got some A4 stamps. Yes, yeah, some biggies. And for this, this is big savings. You can choose any three. Look at that saving. It's basically buying two, getting the third one as a bonus. This is what I mean about some of the pick and mixes afford you even greater affordability. So do we know the name of this fantastic one you're showing me now? Stringing Scripts. Love the face in the background there. Can you see those eyes? It looks almost like they've got a crown on their head. Oh, layered grunge is a doozy. That's an absolute whopper. Vintage graffiti, fantastic there. You can see Oh, Bicular Graffiti, I like that. Love the tash. Oh, just when you think it couldn't get any better, scribble it. Yeah. Check oh she's a she was popular. Very cool. Checkered Queen there. Blossomed numbers. And we could Oh, numbered botanicals as well. Oh, look at that. Fee favourite there. English postcard. Absolute whopper. Oh, no, you see, now there's a travel journal. That's an absolute corker as well. Eclectic silhouette. Red Baron. Ooh, that ties in with that nice one I like. Don't you think that looks like that nice one I like? Further down the counter, that little one. Oh, ladybugs, beautiful. Oh, flowers and gears. That's, that's got to be a Tracy. For him. Oh, he's very cool. Let's see, I've not seen that one. And all on the website so please shop ahead 
29 options, we think, in that collection there for this happy hour. And you can see them all on the website. And we can split that into two flexi buy payments of £24.99 over May and June. So that one, you know, you're buying three, but you're only paying for two because you get a £25 saving, which is tantamount to the price of one. So just want to flag that up because on some of the pick and mixes as well, there's even greater savings. And if I'm making the choice too half year, it's even harder then. <laughs> uh, but take advantage till eight o'clock. Um, now, the Lotus clusters, this is our lovely uh, Bipasha. Beautiful, beautiful detail. Four stamps in total. Uh, gorgeous to colour in. I mean, just fantastic. The, the, the writing, the script, the splodges, the detail. It's, they're just stunning. And you can actually read it there. Out of the murky mud of life grows the purely beautiful lotus flower, trusting in its own folding. Isn't that beautiful? Growth is a process. Bloom with grace. Live life in full bloom. That dream was. I'm sure there's more there. This is all I can read. What can you read? So you start to look, you see. You're something for every season. You're here for every season. What does that say? You're heard for you're you're here for a reason. You see, we get there. We get there eventually, everybody. Thank you. It's just the, when you're trying to work out the different lovely fonts and the lines and the script, just beautiful, aren't they? So this is Bipasha. Stunning, beautiful. Uh, Eleven ninety nine. Very popular that one for the Lotus Gorgeous Clusters. It is part of the pick and mix as well. Just to flag that up, tease you with temptation there. Five seven one seven eight eight. Grunchy Alphabet. We were talking ransom notes. We're not suggesting you do that. Of course, we're not. Um, but we just love the hand as well uh, for the dates, for the important occasions, for the letter of their name, just to really put in a key message, make something stand out to the foreground. Love the fact that it's kind of got that grungy, sort of edgy kind of uh, element to it. So they're not complete letters. They look like they're slightly used and crumpled. 1199 41 stamps. We've got a great stencil pick and mix as well. I know we're talking stamps, but don't forget that we've got dies, we've got stencils. Now on this, the six by six, which is a brilliant card making size, isn't it? You can choose any four, for under 20 pounds. There are 26 options. Can you see why I just couldn't fit everything on the, on the counter? This one is doily. Look at all those elements there. Broken circles. Oh, I love, I love all the circuits and the nodes. Splatters, that's a corker, isn't it? Numbers, how brilliant is that? Letters, of course, to tie in with it. Oh, ribbons. Oh, rhythms. Oh, sorry, I was gonna, I was desperately looking for where the, rib, the ribbon tied into that. I thought, well, I'll go with it because sometimes none of the names make sense to me. Now this one's rhythms. Ah, uh, human. Well, the word, the word there gave me the clue. It's the word human there, repeated and broken down there. Burst, ooh, it's like starbursts. Oh, I like that one, seashells. Now that reminded me of peanuts and coffee beans. But that ties in with that lovely stamp set we've got by lovely Janet, isn't it? Oh, like the circles with the triangulars and, the, and then look at the numbers and the lettering and the dots there. Mickle Muckle, now, come on now. And they hadn't had their coffee before eight o'clock when they came up with that name, did they? Mickle Muckle, what are you talking about? Lunar phases, I've got that, the crescent moon. I'm with you so far. I love the digital bubbles. I do love cylindrical circles and, oh, look at Florastella. Look at the intricacy of that one. Anyway, there's 29, 19 pounds, 96. Loads on the web, couldn't get through them all. Love, oh, did you like the tree trunky one there as well? Uh, low, oh, definitely there's gotta be some nodes in there. Yeah, um, choose any four. I think the nodes might have sold out, but two, three, nine, six, eight, one, eight pounds saving there. So there are stencils as well. Uh, we are fast approaching almost the end of the happy hour, I know. So let's include a few more. Oh, yes, I do love this as well. Big fan of this one because you've got your seasons, you've got your days, you've got your months, you've got your days. So for any occasion, for rustling up a quick card, for denoting a special occasion, for creating a calendar, Remembering a date, putting it in your journal, making it significant, stamp it in the diary so you never forget that birthday ever again. Just brilliant, isn't it? 11.99. 
and all the different typescripts and background there and different sizes of the lettering. I think it's really um, funky. 0215472 stamps. Right. Winged bugs. We love your winged bugs. Now, four... Um, sorry, A4 size. Oh, and you've got this, you've got this whopper of a singular stamp there. And we start to look into it. We see that lovely, beautiful moth. We've got another sort of the top of the stag beetle there. We've got all this textured background. We've got script work on a different angle. We've got numbers of calculations. Could be all sorts. It's just amazing. The big numbers there and a feather and... Oh, it's fantastic. And then we've got our bugs, our dragonflies, our bees, our, our yeah, whatever. And then we've got the, the, the wings. Now, the wings, when you look at them, they look real. They, ah, look at that. They, that looks like a real wing. Doesn't it amazing? So you can intermingle. You could put one wing on. It could be just the wings at the side. Look at the writing in the wings as well. They're all different. They're all beautiful. You can put them with any bug body. And we've also got the butterfly ones as well. And again, they've got the little bits of writing. You've got the little edging. They're all different. And you've got the word bug. That's been very popular. There's 13 stamps on there. 24 99 That is gorgeous, isn't it? Lovely. Uh, should we go to the website as well? Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, all there. Have a little look. Lots on, on the website there, please. Don't want you to miss out. Some are singular because, you know, we're trying to think of everybody's budget, but savings across the board there till 8 o'clock. Pick and mixes give you even greater affordability. Makes it harder for you, though, with a choice, or maybe makes it easier because then you can have all your pick of all your favourites. Got the border stamps there as well. Um, so there's something for everybody's price point there. that You might glance at that one you missed. Um, so do have a little look because it's, it's a great happy hour. Great, great savings. Lovely. Should we show some of our absolute best sellers? Ah, uh, you're loving the Beatles, George, Ringo, Paul and John. Uh, we're going to stick with that now. The old ones are the best, aren't they? What was, what was I listening to this morning? So who's who? Well, I don't know. There's our stag. So who out of the Beatles was the, was, was the stag? <laughs> Silence. What do you reckon? Oh, we're getting, we got Ringo. Ringo's been thrown into the, into the pot. Do you think? Well, so was the quiet ones, isn't it? Sitting at the back there on the drums. Um, maybe there is drumsticks. Do you know what I mean? Banging about. Uh, then we've got our, our fantastic, fantastic dies as well to go to correspond with those beautiful, beautiful. And they are beautiful because it's great to have that because you couldn't cut out that, those lovely antennae. And I was talking about, you know, glossy accents, the enamel and um, what's that shrink plastic? And oh, they're just so striking, aren't they? Beautiful. I love them. I just love looking at them. Color them in with bright red body or a deep racing green body or something that luminescent. Oof, brilliant. £17.98, seven three two nine two. One and our lovely so lady, she's been very busy. I think you're like me and our lovely Meg. We just don't remember seeing her before. See, some of them just pass you by, don't they? Anyway, we are coming to the end of our fantastic. Um, there we go, that lovely um, A5 stamp set. Uh, coming to the end of our fantastic happy hour. It gives you a few more minutes to check out your baskets while we get ready for our next hour. Please don't miss out. Three three eight four four five. Want you to take advantage of that six pound saving. But I don't want you to go anywhere because we have got a fantastic uh, one a day special. Lots on the show today. Uh, lots of lots of different sort of scrapbooking, knitting, with lace and all sorts we've got going on. So something for everybody here at the craft store. Uh, lovely. Don't forget to, you know, I've seen some of these sell out uh, in the past. So I don't want you to miss out on some of your favourites. Enjoy and don't forget to take out your baskets. Let's see what's coming up. Yes, we've got the Fabric Freedom Batik One Day Special. Colours galore. Then we'll be introducing Scrap Boys. Then we've got Julie Hickey Designs.
Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD-ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in-house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Good morning to you. I hope you are well. The sun is shining and yes, it's time to get your batiks out. It really is. Uh, we have got a whole selection of batik fabrics for you. They are absolutely gorgeous. And you know something, after the year or so we've had, it's time to get colourful, isn't it? With your makes at home, with clothing as well, because your one day special, you have got incredible value for money and you've got lots of that batik fabric included. We're going to go through all all the options for you but we also have an awful lot more as well so if you want to head to the website that's where you can go to, to see all the different options we've got available for you we've also got some silks as well and you can start adding items to your basket before we go through the one day special though let's introduce you to the lady herself it's sasha fancy hello how are you darling all good oh i said darling was that condescending i didn't mean it in that way all right darling it's all right it's in fine. a TV set. We've got our batiks out. We're fine. We've got the batiks out for the crafters, yes, this morning. Yeah. How excited are you for the show? Oh, it's been a dream. This, honestly, I have loved working with these fabrics. They're amazing. And they, they really, really are top quality batiks. They are, aren't they? Yeah. 100% cotton? Yes. All dyed beautifully. Hand dyed as well. Yeah, and stamped. And so obviously there's that difference between we've got batiks and we've also got some tie dyes, which we're going to talk about the difference in process with those. But I've washed them. I've tumble dried them. Yeah. I've quilted them. I've basketed them. I've everything. So we're OK. We're across the whole craft area. I like that. So whatever it is you want to make, you can do it with your batiks. Uh, right. Shall we go through the one day special? Details on the screen. If you've never seen this before, uh, all your details will always appear on the screen or at the bottom of the screen if we've got anything else for you. And I will guide you as to what we are selling at the time. So details at the side, 093364 is for your one day special. Now you are getting 10 half meter pieces. In total, 
five meters worth of fabric. Now, the first option we've got for you, these are beautiful. These are your earthy greens. And you can see with the different batik fabrics you've got, I do have the Tropical Lagoon mixed in. Let me do that and let me do <laughs> that. Yes, okay. <laughs> right, with your batiks, you'll see these beautiful patterns on here. And these have all been handcrafted, haven't they, uh, Sasha? It's traditional techniques on how the batiks are made. So they're made with the hot wax. So it's about the hot wax, the dyes, the way they're cooled and the way that the wax is then washed off, which gives this negative, positive effect. And I just love all the colours that they put into them. Do you know what these would be lovely for as well? You know how people use fabrics to build and create uh, landscapes? Yes. And different scenes? These really are going to be absolutely perfect for that. I'm already seeing an eye just there. Can you see that? How amazing. Uh, and then just going through your different colours, you can see the different stamps that have been used as well with that technique. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful earthy greens for you here, whether it be for your makes of your quilts, your cushions, or clothing five meters in total of your batik fabrics and if you wanted to mix and match and make like a patchwork shirt for example I think they'll work beautifully because you've got all the colors tone on tone what have you got there Sasha well, I'm, I'm just going to hold up one of the pieces so you're actually getting um, the half meters the width is about 44 inches and what I wanted to show was just the amount of colors yes that are in these you know, these aren't just single colour. There's so much depth of value of colour in them. So, you know, even the tiniest, I mean, I can pick out um, greys in here. I can pick out turquoise. I can pick out yellow. I can pick out orange. It's all about the depth of the colour. There are, and they are, they're amazing, absolutely amazing pieces of fabric. So you wouldn't necessarily need an awful lot of them. Yes as in putting them together so you can use your planes yes. so you can really calm the tones down if you wanted to but also don't forget that they are double-sided so one side will be brighter the other side will be a little bit more subtle so use both sides of the fabrics in that way and um, you can just use them as the one piece yeah for you your can the stitching Perfect. have you seen beautiful cancer where they've done like batik jackets and things yes. yeah just taken a beautiful piece of fabric and then just plain stitched on top well, here's a little fact for you. Um, the late, great Nelson Mandela was a fashion icon when it came to batiks. Yes, he chose batiks to wear in his clothing for his shirts. Rather than wearing suits and ties to all of those big meetings with all of the other governors and prime ministers and leaders of countries, he broke the mould and he went in with his batiks and uh, he became a fashion icon. So there you go. And they would keep him cool as well. Yes, In certainly. the really hot tropical weathers and things because they... They are just a very close weave. So the thing about that stands out with batiks is it's a close weave fabric. That's what gives it, it's almost like, I think of it as hotel sheets. Oh. You know, like those posh hotels you go in and they've got really high thread count. I wish I could remember them. <laughs> <laughs> Just a caravan for me now. But that's fine. That's but they fine. feel so crisp, don't they, and beautiful. And they're just so closely weaved together. And, uh, yeah. They are stunning. This option, quite aptly named, is your Tropical Lagoon. That is sensational. I love the dark elements in that as well. Half the stock of this one has gone, half the stock. The next one along, if you are into your earthy colours, and these are gorgeous, natural, beautiful earthy browns. And again, look for the depth of colour in each one with the different tones that you are getting. Large, large pieces of fabric and your collections are five meters in total because you're getting ten half meters but that in itself almost looks like you've got textures and layers upon Mine's layers bark, and textures the tree yeah, bark that yeah, sort you're of thing. Right. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Uh, beautiful colours in this one as well. So you've got your earthy browns, but you've also got the blue in there as so well. So can you imagine really if you popped pattern. a bit of turquoise or teal with that, it would just make that colour in there yeah. pop. It would. So I tend to try and find the tiniest little bit of colour that maybe there isn't, you know, it's not too in your face, the turquoise, but I would then put that colour with it and make that whole fabric just really shout out. 
Yeah, I mean, look at that. It's absolutely stunning. That one as well, almost like autumn leaves falling down. When you see the fabrics that we've got here, just opening them up reveals so much more. I'll try and do as much of that as possible. You can see all of the options, of course, on the website. Let's pull that one open. You see here when you open that up, so you've got those earthy tones in there, but you've also got those beautiful purples in that one. Um, and then this one, again, you've got the stamping technique. Remember, these are all handmade, 100% cotton as well. They would make great additions to quilts, to cushions. I think bags would look sensational, Sasha. Amazing, these, yeah, amazing, yeah, with amazing a, bags. With yeah. maybe a, a surrounding neutral fabric as well to make the patterns in your boutiques really, really stand out. Now, as we're going through all of the fabrics that we've got on the show, because we've got quite a lot, we're going to try and get through as many, many items as possible. Oh, that's one of my favourites. Look at that. It's nice beautiful. Nice coffee tones in there. But you could just, if you bought more than one of the set that you liked, it would come in a continuous piece. So, you know, these are good for your dressmaking, you're good for your throws, your um, patchwork, your bags, that sort of thing. So, I mean, some shift dresses in this, in um, really bright coloured shirts would be amazing. Oh, and it? don't forget, no two pieces will be the same. No, they won't, no. You know, we might have it on here and it might have quite variations of light and dark but you might get a piece that's got more dark or more light and that's what I just love about the packs that we've put together because you've got your blenders what I call blenders so you've got your very heavily patterned fabrics but then you've also got your blenders within there as well that can calm the heavier patterned fabrics right down. Uh, these are absolutely sensational. Again, these are purple. I think this could be my favourite. And to tell you something, I had a shirt when I was about 23 years old, which is not so long ago. <coughs> Last year. Uh, but I kept it for many, many years because it was made from batik fabrics from barley. And I just thought it was absolutely sensational. It was in a patchwork style. So it had all of these different tones in the purple, but there was lots of the different pieces sewn together. So it looked amazing. It was really cool as well. Love that shirt love that shirt in fact it probably just disintegrated in me on me after time after about <laughs> 20 odd years uh, again with your purples going through the patterns you can see the different stamps that have been used in here and if you open that up I mean that really is stunning isn't it absolutely beautiful and lots of depth in each and every one so as I go through the fabrics is if there's anything in particular you want me to hold out or show throughout the show to make your decision then please do email in it is studio at thecraftstore.com because we've got so much to get through I this want to make sure everyone beautiful. sees what they need to see this one's look this at one that. is it's almost like a tie-dye effect but not quite because yeah. we obviously know tie-dye is different to batik it's just well it's exquisite you could really make a piece on the front of a journal yeah really heavily embellish it stitch it do any of those things just let the mu let the fabric almost be like music yeah I'll let the fabric tell with... you what it wants you to do with it does that make sense it does yeah and do you know what i'm looking at this i would put i would embroider a stem down there because that's like a clock you yeah. know a, a dandelion clock which looks amazing a quarter of the stock of the purple has gone a quarter of the stock of the purple has now gone now the sun is shining outside so this next option could really really appeal to you these are your orange and yellows this has been a very very busy one 40 percent of the stock has gone not only for some I'm thinking with these as well. You could use these in the autumn time because my favourite really cool, one, those yeah, two that you've got, are my cool favourite spicy pumpkin. I've used there. those in the quilt that, um, it, that's by the side of the machine there, and I've put navy with it because I'm really into orange and navy at the moment. Yeah, do you know what? It's Just very on trend. Works beautifully together. And that's on the quilt that you've got at the side of you? Yes. Yeah, that does look stunning. You've got the greens in there and then the oranges, just in stripes. Again, that looks so natural, almost like sedimentation, isn't it? With your sand and your the cliffs. This one, absolutely spectacular. That is a sunburst, isn't it? If that is, yeah, you're quite right, that is a carnival. A carnival of color right there on the fabric beautiful beautiful this one is stunning because you've got the purples in there don't forget with your one day special you can mix and match you can have more than one one day special if you want to you're saving 25 pounds on that initial 73 pounds and 70 pence with your one day special being 48.70 but you can divide the cost into two interest-free monthly payments no credit cards or anything like that really easy to set up in fact you could do it yourself on the website by just 
ticking the box. So you could go for two options if you want to. Some nice earthy colours in there. Have a look at the pattern that you've got. You could have the stripes going down, you could have them vertical, and it changes each and every time. You've got some beautiful stamp foliage in there, but you've also got some geometric shapes as well. I think that's why this one's been very, very popular. So that is your oranges and yellows. The next one, you've got your pinks and 40% of the stock of the pinks have gone. So again, whether you're going for your main focus in the patterns, have a look at the stripes, have a look at the salt style wax dyes that you've got in there, have a look at the different patterns that you can pull out, the different fabrics maybe you've got at home that will complement. Think about your home, making cushions, for example, just a bit of that on a cushion would really, really stand out and give you so much pleasure from these beautiful colours. Next option along, you've got your crazy cocktail. Now this has been one of the best sellers, Sasha. Half I can the stock see has why. gone. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, beautiful colours. There's an absolute array of different colours in there. And those, the ones that you're looking at now are almost like a watercolour effect, you know, like the marbling effect where you drop the marble colour into water and then it just sort of explodes across the water. Isn't that stunning? Again, with your embroidery on there, think about some buttons and sequins, build a scene, use the fabric, have a look at that. What does it say to you? It looks like flowers to me or poppies in a field. I think that's absolutely stunning. When you get them home, lay each of the fabrics out. That's what I would do. Definitely. And as Sasha, you say, you know, there's no right or wrong side no. with your batiks. One side maybe just slightly duller, sometimes exactly the same on each side. So have a think about that. Could be lining for your shirt, it could be your shirt, or it could be the backing to a waistcoat and then maybe um, add a little bit uh, maybe of a cravat, for example. Oh, that would uh, so, be amazing. Yeah, if you've got a special your... occasion coming yeah. up, like a wedding or something, just add a dash of colour. Very, very pretty. Absolutely stunning. This one has oh, been your most popular. Look at that. It's just amazing, that one. If you, I mean, you've got your half a metre there, so you could quite easily turn these into, um, like, the scarf throws just to cover your shoulders yeah. in the evening. Yeah, just you could hem do. them. How about cushions for the garden? Because it's a nice, cool Love fabric. This one as well. You could have cushion. I mean, that is stunning, isn't it? It's a cushion like that, maybe a bolster cushion, for example, um, or the centre of a cushion outside just to brighten up the garden. Right, that's your cocktail. Very, very busy for that. The next along is your tantalising teal. Um, I think this is one sensational. Again, I don't know whether I don't know I how choose. you decide. No. I don't know. This is beautiful. Look at that. Again, you've got that marble effect in there. Then you've got that beautiful, beautiful, that could be, it could be, if you take this section here, that could be your seascape. So you've got your I was sand, gonna say, yeah. those are the waves, the dunes, just running there, yeah. and then you've got the sea in the background. Isn't that stunning? That could be your beautiful embroiderer, embroidery piece, should I say. Uh, again, different teals in there, some darker colours, brought out with the pinks in that one, uh, the lovely stamp on that one again moving towards that lovely almost if somebody's dropped some confetti onto that one just there doesn't that look stunning and then you're back with that lovely stripes almost wood effect and then back with the different colors that you've got in there as well it looks like a heavily like a, a forest doesn't it of the yeah. trees on yeah, the does. on the screen it just looks like you when you are in the middle of a forest and all you just see is the tree trunks that That's one amazing. actually could now be my favourite. That could now be my favourite. <laughs> right, something that has been your favourite. Oh, right up against the wall. <laughs> Who's looking at me? Uh, the lilac, well, we've sold out, so we can, we will be able to get rid of that and have a bit of space. Uh, we've sold out oh of the no. lilac. That's how busy we have been this morning. Right, your one day special, two payments of £24.35. If you're a Freedom member, there's no PMP to pay on your first payment. 093-364 is your item number. Now, we've also got some happy hours for you. Yes, we have. These are fabulous uh, fabrics. Again, all 100% cotton. You can pick any two and they're half meter in size so we've got quite a few options you've got your wood grain in cream wood grain in honey you've got your wood grain in beige that's a bit of depth to that one you've got your wood grain in taupe 
And last of the wood grain, you've got grey, so that's a nice bleach style effect. Now we'll move on to your basket weave, which is like a rattan. I don't know why I rolled my R then, Sasha. Rattan. It's very early for that. Rat rattan. Sorry, we've got a basket weave in taupe. Basket weave beige, like a honey colour. That's your honey, basket weave honey. And then your basket weave grey. It is like your rattan furniture. So perhaps making cushions would That's be a good, a good idea. idea. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got some stone walls for you now. This is your beige. Then you've got your grey, the brown, the grey brown. I like that one. And then your last one is the natural. Um, and we have another hat. So the happy hour deal is eleven ninety nine, saving five pounds. Uh, Nine six one seven eight three is your item number. Can I just say, Janice, I'm using those for my doll's house. At Are home. you? Oh, yeah. So I've got a doll's be. house that um, I'm be a good idea. working yeah. on at the moment, and so I'm doing the inside walls and things instead of the. Because you haven't been able to go and get any wallpaper no. samples or anything. No. <laughs> which is normally what people use in dolls' houses. That's a good houses. idea, actually. So I've had to think out of the box. And so I've used um, a couple of the fabrics for the roof and I've done some for the kitchen walls as well. I didn't know you were into dolls' houses. Someone was giving one away on Facebook the other day <gasps> from my local village. Oh, I'll look I'll tell out for you, you. I'll tell you later what's on my basement level. Can't tell you on here. Right. But my basement level. I look forward to that. Good Might post it later on Facebook. Uh, right, we've got another happy hour for you. Let me get these out for you. Um, I think we're going to be very busy for these. We've got three colour options for you. Right, we will start with the lighter one. Let me show you this one. This one, I'm going to open it up as well because it's nice to see more of it. This is your peach and purple option. That's just half the size. It is a huge piece of fabric, actually. Let me just, I'll tell you what, I'll open all of it just so you can see the size. It's always good to see the size, isn't it? Um, and I'm just going to cover the whole counter. Wow, that's a whole hive of bees for you right there. Now, what's nice about this, you could stitch around those hexagons like so, so you could add some padding or wadding underneath and it would make those stand out, Sasha. They would, Which would be yeah. lovely. Uh, you could fussy cut them as well. Absolutely lovely. Bees are so popular at the moment as far as um, art and crafts and fabric um, is concerned. Absolutely stunning. So that colour option is your peach and your purple. So let me pop that away, back into the hive. Then you've got your blue and the sandstone which is lovely, again, nice colours in there. So if you do do your hexagons at home and your um, English paper piecing, this is perfect because you can really get that bee in a central position on those hexagons. I'm going to um, swap that. That one is the one we're looking at at the moment because uh, they are very close. That's the blue and sandstone. Yeah. Sorry about that, Sasha. Yes, that's the blue and sandstone. And then that one is your denim and pink. Just to show you the difference, if you're trying to choose, you can see there's a slight variation in the colour. Not a lot, but a slight variation. Only 9 99 It's one metre by 56 inches wide. Oh, my, my. There's so much on this show, but it's lovely to talk about fabric so early in the morning. Any questions, do email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. And if you're on Facebook Live, hello, good morning to you. Sasha, you've got some silk sets. Silky Sasha. Silky Sasha. Silky I've, Sasha. They are absolutely beautiful. And you're getting six metres. Well, the edging is really interesting on these. Yeah, so the edging is a beaded embellishment. So these are already edged for you. I don't know how it are. Oh, there we go. So you've got this beautiful edging all the way down that's already been done for you. So when, this, when you get this home, you could put this straight on your table. You can do, well, I mean, anything. Again, Use them to wear straight you, again. Yeah, if you've got outside furniture, cushions, because it's a nice, cool um, fabric, it would look gorgeous um, over maybe some chairs outside. But also what I'm thinking... Maybe if you've got any kind of awning or anything like that that comes yeah. out from your house, to, just to go over the top. How lovely and luxurious would that be? Well, I was saying last night that these would go straight up on pelmets. Yes, that's the so, way So, you know, the, the, the drapey, yeah. you know, they would look. But this one, well, should we start from the beginning? Shall we? Shall we start here? So they've all got 
a slight variation of colour yes, within them. and that's them. the multi, isn't it? So this is the multi, which has got the um, stripe. And this is your reds, your oranges, and it's almost got a little bit of pink in there as well in your green. This one is beautiful. This is what I would, I would actually call this. Do you remember like the old chameleon you used to get these really posh cars that change colour? Do you know what? I, there's someone in my village that's got one of those. They and must think I'm stalking them because I just stand on the corner waiting for the car to drive by because it's amazing. <laughs> And this goes from that really rich green to the purple. And it's got these um, little gold embossed. Um, they're not, I think they're, yeah, they are. They're threaded into there. Yeah, so it's an actual gold in. thread in Isn't there. Isn't that beautiful? Just so, so pretty. That's the green option. And then this is my favourite. The blue. How the lovely. drape on this is just you know, you know, it's just amazing. I wonder if you could make some saris out of this fabric as well would be nice. It's, it's quite narrow, but yeah. the actual drape, if you were to do, um, you know those false fronts that go Ooh, under jackets? Yes. It's Cow neck. This, this beautiful draping that you just get is just exquisite. Yeah, that is So lovely. this goes from your blues into a green. And I don't know if you can see, but it's actually got purple in there as well. I don't know. If yeah. that comes across. Yeah, you can see that. That is gorgeous. But they are, they are so beautiful. And then we've got the red and the black. And um, again, this has got your embroidery. The gold is already in there as well. That is quite dramatic, isn't it? It's very dramatic. Well, quite I could see this. Yeah, if you've got a really big dining room, I could see this going down the centre. Ooh. I think this is 32 inches wide. Am I correct? Um, double check on that. We'll see if we can find out. Uh, it's a good size. So you're, this is the actual, I don't know if you can see. So this is the actual, so both edges on this are um, embellished with the gold bead. Have you got a measuring tape? We'll measure it later. Yes, we will. Yeah. But you, I mean, you're getting six metres for under £20. Yeah, and it's exclusive to us as well. I mean, this is an amazing deal. 19 99 saving £10. And yes, you can have two. You can pick any two. The most popular is the pur is well is the purple. Well, I was going to say I don't know how I don't know if you can see this. Can you see? Oh, it's yeah, actually got leaves. leaves on there. Isn't that pretty? But you can't actually. It's can you see they just disappear? Wow! It's only in certain. It just catches. Wow! It's almost the, if you're sitting one side you'll see. If you're sitting the other side yeah. you won't. That, that's stunning. But that I, really I do love stunning. this. And so these are already made. So if you are somebody that's going to be helping people around in the garden next yeah. week, you can just use these to throw around your shoulders if you've yeah. got a little bit chilly in the evening. Oh, I love this colour. This is very nice. Oh, yeah, very much. Very um, good. Very good. Just beautiful. And I, I just can't get over the price. I actually questioned the price yesterday. Well, you've got that batik silk fabric, pure silk batik. Batik being the technique of the colour and the design and the style. My word, we're busy for that. We are. That's a pick and mix on any two exclusive to us as well. So do take advantage of that deal. 698182 is your item number. There is so much more on the website. I know we've got more here, more on the website. Uh, it's a fabulous show. It really is. And it gives you a chance to stock up with your favourite fabrics reintroduce you to fabrics or introduce yourself to the wonderful world of batiks look at the five star reviews and remember if your basket comes to 40 pounds or more you can divide the cost into two and if you're going for the one day special you're already dividing your payment into two interest-free payments over two months so anything else that you add to your basket will be divisible into two payments oh i like that cotton lawn fabric is that part of the seven day savers Ooh, go and have a cheeky look at that that's nice. I think if you like the batiks and like all the different colours we've got, I think you're going to enjoy working with those fabrics. It's a pick and mix. Choose any two, £22.48. and pence. You might want to go and have a peruse of those to add to your basket. And if you add any of your seven-day savers to your basket, of course, we'll divide the cost of those into two if it's £40 or more, your basket, or if you're going for it with the one-day special. Oh, so much to show you. Uh, right, are we heading to Sasha next? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we've got more to show you, of course, but you can see these on the website. Uh, let's head over to Sasha for a demonstration. What are we going to do first, Sasha? We're going to have a sit down. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Good a have cheeky sit, sit down. down. Well, there's so much on the show, isn't there? Oh, there's some amazing ones. I, I never really understood. I had quite a lot of friends that got onto the whole batik bandwagon, and I never actually did. 
And this has been the first time that I've actually worked with batiks. And I must say, I'm hooked. I, Are you? I, I really am hooked, yeah. I love the feel of it. I love the fact that you can do so much with it. I love how it washes. I love how it presses. But I also love the fact that it doesn't fray that much. It's mm. really, really... When you have a look at how I've cut these with a rotary cutter, it doesn't fray hardly at all. They really are closely weaved together, and that's a sign of a really good quality fabric. Do you know what I like about that? That's just uh, a small part of the fabric, but you've still captured the essence, the design, yeah. the flair, the colour and the depth of it. They're beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So what we're going to be looking at is these really quick, easy fold Flip and fold what you can do with five inch squares. I so, like if you've that. got your charm packs, and um, yeah, so we're going to be having a look at these this morning. So, you're going to want um, a front and a back of your coaster. Just give that one a little bit of a press. I hadn't pressed that very well this morning. So, it just goes to show how beautifully they press. Do you think that's because of the process of how they've been made? Because they've already been washed and they've been washed again? I think so, yeah. I, I actually think so. I mean, we were, we were talking about um, ethic, ethically sourced fabrics. Mm. Um, and it's very difficult with fabrics because it does use a lot of water, whichever however you look at the fabric process mm. with any clothes making it, it uses a lot of water but what i have found um so sustainable about the boutique fabrics is a is how they're made yes and where they're made how they're dried they have such limited equipment um so the carbon footprint is a lot lower than what it normally would be yes um and yeah they're just all so different so Yes, I've loved them, absolutely loved them. I think when you wash fabrics, they become, if the right word is to say, seasoned. Yes. So that when they're seasoned, they're good to work with. Yeah. Like a coffee grinder, you've got to season it first. And it's a bit like that Egyptian cotton bedding that I was talking yes. about. The more you wash it, the, the more it yeah. the more beautiful it becomes. Yeah. And I think that's what will happen um, with the boutiques that I've been using at the moment, especially the quilt. So I wash this. Haven't ironed it that well because I've only got my. I really, really like iron. that. That is lovely. It's like an ombre effect. Yeah, and it just washes beautifully. Um, I had no problem. I chucked a colour catcher in the washing machine with it. Um, pressed beautifully with my very little iron. Um, but yeah, I. It's beautiful. I'm just just loving it. So. What you're going to do is we're going to fold our squares in half. So we've got triangles. Do you prefer triangles or do you prefer rectangles when you have a sandwich or toast? Do you know what? That is a great question. With sandwiches, I tend to cut it in triangles, I think. Do I? Or is that just sandwiches when I go out to eat? Yeah, I think I, I try and cut them in, yeah, in yeah. because you get more in your mouth, can't you? I just think triangles are just more like Mrs. Bouquet. Well, should we take it to the next level? What? Do you cut the crusts off? Well, clearly you don't, because you've got lovely curly <laughs> I hair. I was just going to say. I, you've never cut a crust. I hate crusts. My two bugbears hate crusts. Yeah. Cannot stand crusts. And I absolutely hate baked beans. Oh. Cannot stand baked beans. Really? I don't yeah. like cold baked beans. Just don't like any baked beans. I don't like washing up after baked beans, but I don't mind eating them. No. I don't like the after effects, but I like no, eating them. No, just don't. No. No. But yeah, always, I always have, um, yeah, I always have triangles, because I just think they're posher. Reminds me of afternoon teas, really. But I don't know why we're talking about that. It's because I'm hungry, I think. Do you know what? I've just had my breakfast, but I'm already looking forward to my lunch. <laughs> I'm so hungry already. So, <laughs> we do digress, don't we? So, we've got our triangles, and what we're going to do is our folded edge is always going to be towards the middle, and our raw edge is going to be on the outside. So, we're going to pop that one there first. 
and then we're going to pop this one on the next corner. Now there's no rhyme or reason to how you're putting this together as far as the fabrics are concerned or is there? No, no, I'm just how I want them to go. The only thing that you need to be aware of now is when you come to put in this last square in, you want to lift the first one that you've placed because then you're going to see each fabric. But no, I've just sort of placed them in any, any which way order. Do you know what would look really nice as you're building that? I'm just thinking of different projects to put together because these batiks are so beautiful. Even using a small piece like Sasha is doing right now, you're still capturing the essence. You're still capturing the design and the colour and the flair with it. Oh, they're just beautiful. So how about that particular size of fabric, but put them together like a book? and then actually make a stitch style journal. Yeah. And each page you can stitch onto it yeah. and embroider onto it. I was saying last night, I'm really into cancer stitching at the moment. So it's just mindful sewing. So there's sometimes when I'm at home, I just don't want to sew, but I need to do something. So I've yes. done a lot of coloring. I'm into my coloring. Um, but the other thing is mindful stitching. So I will just take for example, a beautiful, pardon you. Was that you? <laughs> that was you, that was your beans you had for breakfast. <laughs> it was not my beans. I don't know what that was. I don't know, I think it was some... Was some... It was no, it wasn't was me. <laughs> That's why I looked at you. <laughs> well, I just thought there was a strange noise here in the studio. I don't know whether you heard it uh, at home. And I looked at Sasha and she looked and at me. <laughs> it had nothing to do with me. I was just going to sail past it and just not mention it in a polite sort of way. <laughs> Get to know you quite well. <laughs> so anyway, anyway, back to the Michael. Sorry. That's all the same. So, <laughs> oh, I'm such a child. But there is something funny about it. There is. But it um, didn't happen. No, it didn't. I don't know what it was. Okay. I think somebody just tripped behind set. I don't know. Oh, sorry, so, apologies at home, but do you know what? Oh, I don't think I am sorry. <laughs> right, so, mindful stitching. So mindful stitching, so you can just take a beautiful fabric like yes. this, and I would, like I was saying earlier, I would let the fabric speak to me. Yes. So I would probably just do a run... See, I'm no good at hand embroidery, I, I really am not, but I would just do a running stitch or a back stitch along here, I would then maybe do a satin stitch to infill these. I would go around the petals as well. If you don't want to do anything like that, you can just go in lines and do traditional mm. canthus stitching, which is just in lines, or they go around in a circle, um, like a snail sort of shape. It really is just playing with the fabric, and it, it doesn't have to be lots of cutting, lots of measuring, lots of piecing. You can just take the fabric and just let yeah. it do the talking. I think, it, I think it's a wonderful way of using your batiks. Now, we do have more available for you. Uh, we've got some fat quarters. Uh, I'm going to show you the size of a fat quarter because I am aware that we have new people joining us all the time. I'll take you through the colours, but let's show you the size of a fat quarter because they're good size when it comes to the petite fabrics. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, and again, if I just fold that over, you can see that there's a slight variation. I don't know if you're getting that at home. Slight variation two sides to the fabric you can there you go you can see there both sides are usable that's the beauty of your batik fabrics okay now you've got a choice and we've um, adequately named them a b c and d uh, so we'll take you through them uh, 29.99 is the price i lo i love it when we've run out of names <laughs> <laughs> right, there will be a rhyme and a reason to it. Um, so pay attention, get your pencils out, get your pads, just like Line of Duty, other programmes are available, um, and take your notes. Your first row is A. A. So if I just avert your eyes from that one, you can see there we've got some uh, lovely yellows and purples. Well, you've, you've pretty much got this in all of them, but I think this is more. I think this is more purpley pinks and and greens, don't you? I think so. Anyway, that that's a. I'm just going to open this one up to show you as well. 
because uh, this one is fabulous. And with it being a fat quarter, it's good to see. Wow. Look at that. It's approximately 50 by 55 centimetres. Now, look at that. You could frame that at home and do some embroidery and it would look like a, a Monet style painting. Other painters are available. Matthew Palmer, for example. Um, but it's a, isn't that lovely? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Uh, and these are, are these exclusive to us again? Oh, wow. Lucky, lucky you. Uh, right. So that's A. Next, we've got B. I'm just averting your eyes from those two because it's sometimes nice just to see the ones you're going for. So you've got B. Maybe you could remember this by B for B for brown because it's like a, a deep, deep wine colour because it, it's got from the main ones is brown. I don't know. It, that's that's your B. That's your B. Okay. Your next up, C. We'll go C for coral because it's kind of coral colours at the top. Kind of coral. We're clutching at straws here. We really are. Um, I'm just going to open another one because I need a bit of time to think about D and what name I'm going to give to D. Uh, <laughs> that now that's stunning that could be uh, a jungle scene you could have your dinosaurs coming through there it is quite camouflage actually and camouflage um very very uh, popular at the moment so in fact if you're thinking well what's janice talking about i can't see anything it's camouflaged sorry i know it's early in the morning as the day is dawning uh, right i'm still delaying it because we're getting to d and i need to think of uh, a d so Pardon? Dark purple? <laughs> Dark? Denim? Dusky? Dusky? That's not really a colour. I don't think there's a... D d d no. No. This is D. So D could be your... Delicious. Um, different. It's different to the, to the rest. It's different to the rest. Do you know what? Actually, that's, I'll tell you why that's a very good description, because they are all different, look. You've got the greens, the corals, the blues, the turquoise, the yellows, the dark blues, the pinks, the purples, the peach, the lilac, and the other green. So mixed. So they, they, are, they are different. I like D. D's my favourite. Diverse. It's a diverse collection. Uh, absolute beautiful. They are A, B, C, or D. 29.99. Great price, brilliant size, just as a refresher to show you the size of your fat quarter. There you go. So you've got A for assorted, you've got B for your brown, you've got C for your coral, and you've got D for your diverse. We've just called them that. They are just A, B, C, and D. But look at that. Again, absolutely stunning. I wish I could get each and every one out to show you, um, but I can't. If I could get them out to show you this early in the morning, I would, but we've got lots to get through. <laughs> right, let's get back to Sasha. No comment. What have you got It's there? very early in the morning it for is. us to be getting them all out. <laughs> it, it really is. is. So we've uh, got right. the limited edition here. Uh, have we? Limited edition. I'm quite jealous, actually, because I'm hoping I've got a few favourites in here. And I, yeah, don't buy them all, people. Save me one or two. Okay. <laughs> okay. So these are um, limited edition in the way that um, they've been done, the colours, the texture of them. And I would automatically think your landscapes, your landscapes and your handbags and things like that. So I'm going to be working on this one later on and we are actually going to be doing um, some silhouette applique and we asked last night whether you wanted butterflies or you wanted hot air balloons and we're going to do a hot air balloon scene all in blacks and navies yeah. so it's, they're going to look beautiful on there. So then we've got the, um, you'll have to shout out the colours because I don't know what we're right. calling them. The, uh, you've, you've been through your multi one, this is your multi two. Oh, uh, yes, they're, they're, I guess this they're, is multi three. That, that'll that be multi three, which is your greens. And then this one, your Absolutely multi four. Absolutely love this oh, one. Oh, I like that. This would make a beautiful shirt. That would. Now that is, that is And lovely. don't forget, we've got them with the lines going down, but, you know, there's, it gives it a completely different look when you start moving them around. I like, I like them horizontal. 
I just think they look like skies. Yes. They all look like, I mean, when you look at that, if you were to put some black shadows on there of um, like seagulls the and things like that, yeah. well, I don't know if you get seagulls in the desert. You might not. You might not. <laughs> uh, next one is multicoloured. So you've got this Five. amazing flash of lime green going through the middle here, which is with the purple. So you've uh, got your purples, your orange and your lime green. Stunning. Yes. Uh, and then the next one, multicoloured six, which is like a rainbow assortment. And I would say that that could possibly be the most popular because it's rainbows, oh, definitely. deep colours in there, which is absolutely And a real beautiful. tropical sky. I yes, think very really, much really, so. really, really. Then you've got multicolored seven, um, and you've got your blue, so that could be your seas in there, Sasha. Absolutely lovely. Yeah, you can really see that. Next one, multicolored eight. Oh, so I like that. I really like this one. This is almost like galaxy, yeah. um, the stars and things. So you are getting, I don't know how well you can see this, but you're getting your lighter creams and beiges but you're also getting quite a rich teal mm. and a hint of a mulberry burgundy purple going Ooh. through there as well absolutely I, stunning cushions in that would be amazing in fact cushions in any of these are going to be absolutely terrific for you because you've got all these different colors so you now might have a variety one. of colors at home and these are going to fit in because you've got the assortment this is number nine so this one, I think, is a really delicate, pretty mm. red sky at night, how the sky goes when you yeah. just start into some of your photographs you take. Yes, red sky at night, shepherd's delight. Just absolutely beautiful. The colours in them are absolutely exquisite. And again, it's that quality. It's the batik. It's the really close weave in them. Look at that. And I was also thinking as well about Roman blind. Roman blind would be lovely. They would be beautiful in these, especially in the brighter rainbow. Mm, absolutely gorgeous. Pick a mix. You choose any two. Uh, exclusive to us as well. £12.99, 504210. Mm. Right. Guess what? We've got more for you. We've got more. Where shall I start? Where shall I start? The big ones. Right. I'm going to get one of these out to show you because these are stunning. I might show it you here, shall I? Or shall I throw it over the counter? Okay, um, because these are sensational. Look at that. This, these are your punk batiks. Um, this is beautiful. This is your black and orange. Believe it or not, I think that's the duller side. Can you believe that? Uh, remember, there are two ways of using these. Sometimes you can tell and sometimes you can't. That's... Imagine that as a quilt cover, so well, just say, edging yeah. around the, the, the sides to just make as it a bigger. Throw, a yeah. picnic blanket, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, Paula was saying last night she'd love a dress in it and I could actually see a really nice shift Ooh, dress. Do you know dress what? Where's that? my mic? I don't want to go over my mic. Where's my mic? It's just there. So let me just do, let's, let's just do some dressy uppy uh, because that, can you get that? Yeah, just a little bit of a cowl going on there. It's my jumper underneath. A cow. Is it a cow? Cow. Not cow, a cow neck. neck. Cow. There you go. Uh, so that's a little bit of fashion for you. But again, oh, it's that really orange else. and it's that navy. Yeah. Absolutely that's stunning. Your black orange. Next up, we have got your black yellow. Now, this is also a stunner. Uh, it's like a smoky black, isn't it? Also looks like a piece of mouldy cheese, but don't let that put you off. <laughs> <clears throat> Is it a stick? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's, it's only because something came up on my Facebook memory the other day about some stinky fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <good> fabric. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> uh, that's lovely. We've got so much to go through. There's no time for this. And then the last one... <laughs> There you go, that's also a stunner. Could be. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like a galaxy. Right up. <laughs> Look, this isn't doing anyone any favours, <laughs> including your job, Janice. So let's move on. Right. Uh, okay, so those are your three options. Nine <laughs> ninety-nine. Oh dear. Sorry, apologies, everybody. There's your black and orange, there's your black and yellow. 
and there's your black and white like a storm in a teacup they are they're fabulous uh, right we've got more for you we've got more for you of course we have we've got some tie-dye and hand stamps now you wanted to talk about the difference between your batiks and your tie-dye that was quite a while ago no? yeah it was a while ago <laughs> Yeah, it was so a while we've ago. got there is a difference between your batiks and your tie dye. Yes. So tie dye is when it is tied. It's that um, it's very in at the moment tie dye. So we've all we can all remember doing it when we were at school. So you take a t-shirt and it's the way you tie it. It's the way that you put the bands around it or the string around it, and then you get these amazing colour bursts, almost like firework bursts of colour. And that's where you get the lighter, the lighter areas of the fabric is the original fabric um, underneath, which would be a white or cream based fabric. And that's where the constriction of the ties of the string is so tight, the colour doesn't get in there. But then the rest of the colours just spread out. Whereas the patique is done with a wax and it's done with a hot wax and it's that um, positive and negative way that they do that. So they are slightly different. Um, I love tie-dye. I love tie-dye anyway. Yeah, it's, it's something you learnt when you was at school. One of the first sort of fabric classes uh, that we went to was tie-dye because it made it fun. It made it different. Now, I'm just showing you these. We're going to run through these on the website. Uh, so do forgive me. I don't want you thinking, oh, she's rushing through them. But sometimes it's nice to see the fabrics laid out so you can see the fullness of the pattern. And again, that would be classed as as the dull side but it is still vibrant and lovely and you can see there the difference that you've got when you're going for your batik fabrics and I think that's what makes these um, unique I think the fact that the pattern runs through both of the sides and you can use both of the sides to create some amazing designs and each and every one is going to be so inspiring it really is with the different color combinations the different patterns that you see in there as well and as we're just going through these you might look at them and think oh that would be great for some embroidery that would be great for some cushions a table runner and backings throw. as well backings for your quilt backings but for why your not quilt you, if you buy two and then you've got your front, you've got your back with yes. wadding inside, and then you can just embroider the shapes, the designs that are already on there. Oh my Such word, an easy that, throw. that is an absolute carnival of colour, isn't it? A carnival of colour and designs for you. Uh, all you need to do is choose. All you have to do is choose which one, Nine ninety-nine, And you're saving £3 on that price. Let's have a look on the website so we can run through these colours for you. You've got your green turquoise. You've got your orange purple, which is beautiful, nice burnt orange. You've got your purple green. You've got your petrol turquoise. That's one of the first ones I showed you. Uh, you've also got your purple. Yep, your purple. You've got your dark grey and hot pink. You've got your purple and turquoise. Your orange and green. Purple and green. And petrol and teal. My, my word. Right. We have got that one day special for you. We'll head back there and take you through the options. Your one day special is a discounted price for 24 hours. We launched the one day special last night at 6 p.m. We were very, very busy. People continued to buy in the next live hour at 8 o'clock and bought overnight as well. This is our first live hour of today. We've got another one at 12 and another one at 4 o'clock. So let's take you through your options of your one day special 10 half meters so that's five meters in total so you've got your beautiful earthy greens and you can see there with the different designs now i do need to tell you that a third of the stock has gone oh look at that isn't that stunning that's like a secret garden that is like a secret garden absolutely beautiful love that love that lime scale style and then you've got your lovely florals in there they could be anything you want them to be and that's the beauty of the fabrics so uh gorgeous greens next along you've got your tropical lagoon now this has also been very popular uh how much 60 percent 60 percent of the stock gone so if you want to do any kind of tropical style water designs um or if these are your colors of choice then pop this, oh, that's stunning. Isn't that stunning? Uh, brilliant for the summer, absolutely perfect. Whether you're going 
to make clothing, um, designs for the house, doesn't matter what your makes are, these are going to look absolutely fabulous. Next one along, you've got your earthy browns, all natural, all beautiful, batik fabrics. So you've got your earthy browns in there, and again, going through the designs. You can have a look at these in more detail on the website, if you've got access to the website. So you can just go and have a look at the patterns and make your choices. Uh, we'll divide the cost into two payments for you, two interest-free payments of 23 pounds and 45 pence so those are your earthy browns next along we've got the purples i had a shirt oh i'll try and find a picture of this shirt because i absolutely adored it and i couldn't throw it away for years and years and years and years because i loved it uh, so those are your purples again fantastic designs in there I'd, I, you know, I'd be going for a couple of these in the one day special because it really is a superb deal. Uh, the next one along is your orange and yellows. 45% of these are gone. You can see there just how gorgeous they are and how well, well these would work together. In fact, all of them would work together. Um, different designs, but predominantly the oranges and the yellows running through those. Next along, you've got your pinks. Also, 45% of the stock has gone in your pinks. Again, luscious, absolutely stunning. Um, they are the colours of the craft store, aren't they? These beautiful pinks. Great for embroidery, great for picking out different elements for your projects. Absolutely divine. And the last one, just there. Then next up, you've got your crazy cocktail. Over half the stock has gone. Don't worry, Sasha and I have not had any crazy cocktails this morning. Do drink responsibly. That is phenomenal. Isn't that beautiful? That really is gorgeous. Love that. Um, if you want to go for two sets of the one day special, maybe uh, five meters of fabric isn't enough for you, but you like the one color tone, you're also welcome to put two of the one day specials into your basket. And we'll also divide the cost into two. That one is a stunner. That one's a stunner. And then you've got your tantalizing teals. Aren't they beautiful? They really, really are. Uh, it's a hard choice, but it's also an easy choice as well. When you see the one that just captures you and you think, oh yeah, that's it. That's the one. That's the set that I want to work with over the summer months. Absolutely stunning. Not just for the summer, batiks are great throughout the winter as well. £24.35. Those are your options for the one day special. Absolutely spectacular and a great price as well. Uh, 093364 is your item number. Let's head back to Sasha. We've got about three minutes left, Sasha. What you want to show us so once we have popped all our triangles in the correct places we are going to sew a quarter of an inch all the way round. now you don't leave a turning gap for this because they are already um, open in the center so we actually turn them through there so what we have done I've sewn all the way around quarter of an inch stitch and I am just going to clip off those edges because it will make it um, lay a little bit better. And then we're going to turn through. Which set of batiks have you used there? Is it the earthy greens? Yes, yes. I think so. Yeah, I think I've got the earthy greens and then I've mixed it up a little bit. I think I've got Oh, I think they are all from the earthy greens, actually. I wasn't sure about the... Have you got the tree one on there? You have, haven't you? I think you? so, yeah, in the earthy greens. Yes, yeah, we have. Yep, I think. Yes, So yeah, we, we are have. just going to um, push out our corners. And, of course, it never will work when you're trying to hurry. So we're just going to push those corners out. Now, obviously, you're going to um, top stitch all the way around once these are done. You're going to give it a really good press. You're going to push all these corners out. But obviously, because of the way that you've actually folded it, those folds are on the bias. So you can actually... Sorry, I'm just trying to I always push think of that out. song when you say on the bias. Me, oh my, do, 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 on the bias. Well, they didn't sing that, but it just reminds me of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we've got one minute left. I'd be pleased to know. <laughs> that was like a tumbleweed. I've not heard that song. Not heard that song. But... The Carpenters did it, didn't they? I'd... Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 
So, we are going to give it a good press and we're going to quarter of an inch all the way around, which we haven't got time to do. But what I wanted to show you was these edges are all on the bias. We've got 45 seconds. Left. So you just fold, you roll that edge back. Can you see what I've done there? Yep. And then you just roll just, again. Yep. And you just keep on rolling those edges back and then you get this. That is absolutely beautiful. And then you would actually hand stitch these down. You would just okay. use a little st slip stitch in there. But the same technique for bigger as well. Excellent. Sasha, will you join me again at 12 or do you want to request another presenter? Um, I don't think they'll let us on together again. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you then. Uh, but don't go anywhere because we've got more shows coming up for you, including a show with Fiona and our Paula. Yeah, what a treat. They're here introducing Scrap Boys. No, they're not Scrap Boys. Paul is introducing the Scrap Boys. Uh, Julie Hickey designs after that, and then we're letting Leone loose. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints, and an incredible product. The world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper, and they're now absolutely renowned for it. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with, and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Ultimate finish, cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6 p.m. and 8 p.m and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media or art journey, join us for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. I have the gorgeous pleasure this morning of being with our lovely Paula. I'm going to have two lovely ladies today. I'm going to have an hour with Paula and the lovely Leone. When does that ever happen? Oh, I know. Oh, no. uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So, so, it's lovely to be with you. And well. you, my yeah. darling, even from a distance. Yeah. Now, we've got the Scrap Boys, who are a new, a brand new supplier. Tell me about them, yes, Paula. Uh, of course. Uh, they are br brand new to uh, the craft store. Um, now, it's Marius and Mateus. They are based in Poland. I have known, uh, I mean, I never met Ma 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 Marius in person. Person, but I have known of him for a long time because uh, they are well, especially Mar Marius is an amazing designer, scrapbook, um, you know, crafter, paper crafter, and he's been in so many design teams, international design teams. He has traveled the world, all over the continents, teaching scrapbooking. Mm -hmm. And in 2019, uh, with Mateus, they decided to create their own range. Wow. Uh, produce, uh, they design it. They produce it in Poland. 
which is very significant because he, he was telling me how because it's, it's printed and manufactured in Poland, well, thanks to that, that uh, through the pandemic, uh, that company, the printing has survived thanks to these papers. Ah, oh, because it's homegrown it's where homegrown. they are. Exactly. Right. So, so it's basic, and they are very kind of, they are very interested in kind mm. of sharing, sharing and charity as well. And of course, you can see that the collections are incredibly beautiful. They have this Polish style of, you know, fussy cutting and layering and beautiful flowers because flowers and butterflies are always important to their lives and brightening those copra objects as well. They're very dynamic collections. Each yes. one is very individual, isn't it? it They're is. very different, aren't they? It is. They? And actually, what I love about them is that uh, even the kind of the industrial romance has that beauty, oh, that completely. femininity that kind of element and I love that mix of vintage steampunk and beautiful pretty elements and yeah absolutely it's a, it's, a, it's a favorite of ours they're all gorgeous but uh, let's have a look at some of these fantastic finished samples from the team from Marius and Matthias Absolutely stunning samples there. And you can see that layering up uh, that Paola was talking about. So I'm just going to talk about the first collection with Paola. We've got three on the show, but you've already found the whole collection at the bottom of the screen. So we'll talk more about those savings in a moment. So this first one is a bit different to the other two because we're getting three uh, sets, sets, aren't yes, we? Yes, absolutely. So basically what uh, the Scrabble is doing is 12 by 12 and 6 by 6. In this collection, you are also getting the 8 by 8. Now, yeah. The collections have uh, six designs, or actually 12 designs, but they are printed double-sided. And also you are getting this, uh, this is very important, the element uh, yes. sheet in here. Because this one is the only one that I know of in, in the whole world. Um, well, they were the first ones to bring in uh, these double-sided. Double so what they are, is not that is, if you cut it once, the side, the back side is exactly identical. the mirror image. Yeah. So you cut it once, and it's not like you have to glue it. If you want anything three-dimensional, that pops out yes, you know that it's beautiful or, in yeah. the other side as well fantastic and on the front cover I should say there's more elements to cut out that's Absolutely. they're the these are the double-sided ones but uh, on the front yeah. cover you have uh, the one-sided ones as and well the, of course I love one to, uh, the first love is all about those beautiful peonies and roses those pinks those lace look at the I love that. every single page you is very usable and the whole thing about the scrap boys is about just taking your scissors even if you're a beginner you know it's just taking it simple you can then layer it up like they do but I have kept my samples very simple because I kind of wanted the papers to let them sing you are getting six designs two of each and the 12 by 12 you are getting four of each on the six by six uh, and I think it's three of each and the eight by eight I love how you have got the kind of plainer ones and then this one is one of my favorites yeah. There is a sample in front of you that shows how you can create the, this one is one of the ones that I did. And just to create like, you know, with the cards perfectly for a six by, uh, six by four. Beautiful. 
and then you can then put and then of course you can put more in the oh, back if yeah you like that's too. love that and it's one of the things you can see the cards inside it you, yes it's, the, it's from the eight by eight ah so you can see that it's the same design yes ring down to and how it combines together it really works very well together i love that gorgeous and there's another beautiful card there as well and you know you like you said you can keep it simple lovely sentiment there as well in those frames it's, it's one of those ones that when I thought when I first saw the collection, I thought um, because I knew my Maria's work, I thought oh I need to do a lot of very elaborate to make it look really. But it's actually so simple. I mean you you know the card the square card over there. Yeah. You can see that you just fussy cut it, a stamp a sentiment, and that's it. Because the beauty is in the papers, the beauty is in the colours that they have chosen. Absolutely, and it's gorgeous quality as well. I think I read on the on the on the six by six, uh, 190. Uh, 190. Also, it's very important for Marius was very important as well to have a, a you know pure white printed on pure white, so oh. then you can bring in inks and then it will be true to color. Okay. But also, it's double smooth, which means that it's much stronger, and also you can uh, of course cut sure. around it really easily. And yeah. the scissors uh, glide through. Yeah, it feels it's on the verge towards that card element, you know, that yeah, mix with just on the cusp. Well, exactly, yeah. 190 in the yeah. printing industry yeah. is basically when you start considering card. It's paper for us paper crafters, but, you know, yeah. it is. Yeah, superb quality. I love that idea of on the white. I didn't realise that. So this one is individual because you've got the 12 by 12 as power explained. You've got the 8 by 8, 24 sheets in there, and then 24, the 6 by 6. And all double-sided, all beautiful in this love bundle design 15 pounds 99 I know it's just insane I can't actually believe I'm saying that for all three pants so 48 and then 24 that's 72 sheets isn't it I know or did I know was it 12 and 24 and 48 uh, 60 60 oh, that's amazing five four nine seven eight one it's absolutely superb now remember that three pound saving because it's going to carry over to our large bundle now Everything is dispatched on the 23rd because the Polish company, 21st, sorry, uh, because as, as Paolo was explaining, they are a Polish-based company. I love it. I love it when talent's homegrown and they keep it in their country. And yeah, it's just it's just fantastic to keep that infrastructure. Now, a lot of interest in our industrial romance bundle. And you can see why when you can make such fantastic uh, projects like this. Tell me about this collection, Paolo, ah. because we both headed for this straight away. Didn't I, we? You know, as soon as I saw it, I fell completely in love. I I love the grunginess, the vintage, but I love the femininity of the flowers that incorporate it in there. I love the way that I can put a picture of my oh, niece, yeah. you know, Beautiful. Like, yeah. and it kind of works really well because you can see that wonder looking at all those yeah. elements almost in there. And I love how it's just it just has this wonder elements. You have got birds, you have got steampunk, you have got flowers, you have got clocks in there. Now, oh, that's kind of coming off this sticker right there. Uh, but you can oh, sorry. See, oh, no, 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 that, that's, not your, that's my, 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 my gluing techniques uh, <laughs> there. And now, but you can see the, uh, the element sheet in there is phenomenal. Yeah. I love every single one of those elements. I mean, I spent such a lo lovely time on Saturday morning just cutting those, uh, you know, elements because they glide through the scissors. And you can see the papers. I mean, I oh, beautiful sl sl slight, uh, you know, use of my Miss P um, loves um, bundles journal. Because yes. It's also the quality of the paper. Lovely. Remember, 190 GSM means that it die cuts beautifully, and you can oh. create journals with them. You can create the pages, the cover and of course you can then bring it up you don't have to you know if you want to make it simple you can make it simple because the beauty is in the designs mm. but then of course if you want to do layers you can if you want to bring your inks you can your buttons your paper flowers your uh, MDF laser cut oh. elements all Love of that, that of course bring them in if you want to Love. I mean, there's some absolute corkers in here, uh, Paul. I mean, that's that femininity we're talking yes. with, you know, with that kind of grunge and that steampunk element. And, and great for all, um, uh, I was thinking male, female, yes. just beautiful. I, this is the sort of thing that I think for it's a vintage uh, memory album would be perfect Ooh, for a me for mixed media as well to oh. bring in. And I love how you have, look, this is one of my favorites. It has to be. Crying for out for... Well, I, in fact, my first demo is going to be using the smaller version of that. Oh, because you are getting the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6. Beautiful. Oh, it's an absolute doozy. 
And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Is this just, just I'm afraid of that. You are getting two of each uh, design, so you are getting basically six, well, actually 12 different sides, if you know, I know you know, that's a yeah. way to put it. Yeah. So Absolutely. the 12 there, as, as Paolo was explaining, and then you're also getting that 6x6 six six pad as well with the 24 sheets in there as well. Um, I just love, I think, you know, I was doing the happy hour with um, All and Create earlier. Yeah. I thought so many of their stamp sets work so good with this. Absolutely. So I mean, good. imagine bringing them in and, and oh. remember that it's, it, this is paper that is super quality, but then bring in your All and Create, bring yeah. in all your molds that you have. Bring Ooh, in, yes, I the think, molds. you know, that Zuri molds. Yes. You know, some of those amazing yes. molds. That are kind of, uh, you know, I would be amazing. Beautiful, the Stamperia moles and stuff. Yeah, oh. Absolutely. Don't stop, stop talking all the gorgeousness. Uh, £11.99, remember that £3 saving as well, because we're going to carry it over as well. 410953. 20% already gone. Don't forget, dispatch is the 21st of May. Now, we said they're very different. That was so different to the love bundle, wasn't it? The industrial romance bundle. We're going to take it to another different realm. This is about the originality uh, of these collections. They're so different but utterly, utterly beautiful. So I can see why so many of you are going for the complete collection. This is the Sunny Village bundle, and this is bursting, absolutely bursting with energy and color for spring stroke summer. Tell me about this collection then, Paula. Now, this is this, stunning. This is the summer. This is the poppy fields. This is the sunflowers. This is just like glorious, beautiful bees and butterflies in there. But also, I love how they have incorporated the, the scrub oils, those beautiful wheat, um, you know, yes. because it, it, then, of course, yeah, if you fussy cut them, I'm going to be honest, I haven't fussed out one of them, but because oh. I didn't run out of time. But look at the bag as I love well. That. So beautiful. I want wallpaper of that. That's so beautiful. Isn't it? Isn't it just so, so beautiful. amazing? And then oh. you have the freshness of the greens, those gorgeous kind of sunshine yellows in there. I love that. Isn't, that, isn't, it? isn't that lovely just Absolutely. as a landscape for, to, to work Absolutely. on? And of course, you can, like our director said, uh, you, know, you can stamp on this paper. Yeah. Remember, it's super smooth. Super smooth. So, of course, you can stamp and get that beautiful effect. And I oh, love sorry. how the back. Terrible and at this job, Paula. The corners in there as yes. well. Yes. I just thought that it, it works so well with the fussy cutting of the wreath, which is in this one. And of course, you can oh, then create a three dimensional bum element. Gorgeous. That. Isn't that gorgeous? And then, you know, you've got your options there yeah. uh, as well with the, the paper stroke almost moving into the cardstock there. That is gorgeous as well, isn't it? I mean, Absolutely. these are these are just so fresh and dynamic. They're just they just mm. leap off the page at I, you. I, you know, it's a little bit of brightness. Well, it's a lot of brightness, but it's not it's harsh lovely. brightness. It's no. that kind of warmth brightness. Warm. You That's know, when you yes. go in yes. a summer day and you go and you oh, feel the brightness, but in a warmthy way, and it's kind of relaxed and sunshine. And Beautiful. I kind of think of siestas and kind of having yeah, like this beautiful Mediterranean warmth. Oh, you're whisking us all away now, pal. Oh, we can't go anywhere. I wish. I wish. Think about it. <laughs> We're bringing it into our own homes with a sunny village. Um, Eleven ninety nine. So that is your twelve sheet, uh, gorgeous twelve by twelve pad, and then added to that, you have got your six by six with the twenty four sheets in there as well. I should just quickly turn that around as well because there is a little addition there, isn't there, on the back of the six by six? You have got some little sentiments you can cut out because they really are uh, the scrap kings, aren't they? These scrap boys, and uh, uh, you can follow them there as well. Um, and they've got it in the Polish. Uh, ex absolutely. I love this. Multilingual. Fantastic. Uh, beautiful. And we've got these fantastic samples here as well. And you will have seen that on the footage, which we'll show again in a bit. Um, another three pounds. I seriously want that in a wallpaper. Honestly, it's the prettiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, there's the putty cat. Oh, oh. oh. Sorry, I always go to call him the nickname. And remember, I'm on live TV. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's the exactly. accent. <laughs> Only those in the no-no. Uh, 904708 I can't actually remember his name. I just remember the nickname. I know. Wasabi, Wasabi. wasabi. Well, of course wasabi. it is. Wasabi. <laughs> anyway, uh, is it on there? I'm just such a numpty. Um, 11, yeah, there it is. A big writing, Fiona. The clue is to read what you see, Ryan. Remember that top tip. It's something I always forget. Uh, 1199 904708. Now, You'll have seen three lots of three pound savings there, making a nine pound saving. Um, so let's show you all three of these collections. So that's seven pads in total, three 12 by 12s, three six by sixes, and your eight by eight, which is in the, the lovely romance collection. 
you're carrying over a nine pound saving. You've then got a further three pound saving, taking it down to 36 pounds 97. If you're a Freedom Club member, you get an extra three pounds 70 saving, which gives you in total, is it was it fifteen pounds seventy saving? Yes, I know. It's just crazy talk. Thirty-three pounds twenty-seven pence. You've already found that large complete collection because actually they're so dynamic, so individual. It is hard to choose, isn't it? But this is what we like to do: give you that fantastic variety. Uh, two zero two one eight five, and I will say twenty percent of the large entire collection has already gone from these brand new uh, company, Matthias and um, Marius. Marius. I love the names. I don't know if you're saying it. It's even better when you say it, oh. but I just love the names. So romantic, lovely, aren't they? Marius, Matthias. Yeah, it, it, they sound rather beautiful. romantic. And uh, the, the spelling also is kind of beautiful because, of course, it's a Polish uh, yeah. spelling. Uh, right, if you're watching Marius and Matthias, uh, lots of love to you. And uh, thank you for trusting me to do this amazing collection. Now, um, of course, what I'm going to do is uh, first of all is industrial uh, romance in here because I absolutely adore uh, everything about it. I love every single one of the papers. Now, I have got the, here the, uh, the elements uh, designs. And what I wanted to show you is how I kind of attempt to kind of go into it. So, for instance, I want to go for the butterfly. I know this, I'm just drawn because it's an easy one. Now, you can see that this is the element that usually is printed onto. So, but also you have got some words in here. So they're here, they're, you usually oh, yes. have got the yes. barcode and things like that. Not so in here. So just go around it. This is, um, I know that I'm kind of probably, if you're watching and you're an experienced paper crafter, you will think, oh, but Paula, this, we, we know how to do this. And I always think, well, it's good to show how well it fussy cuts. Mm -hmm. So then kind of go in. And one of the tricks I do is kind of move in the paper. The scissors are stable, but you see how I'm rotating the paper. That's also to create some movement or in some uh, kind of, you know, you kind of uh, almost like decal edges of the butterfly. A good pair of scissors is worth its weight in gold. Um, and of course, always, we have, I think we have got the seven day savers as well that are, um, a really nice pair of scissors if you want it, which have got a really nice um, handle as well. And then we kind of go in here, and then again, you can see how quickly I'm going and how it glides through the paper. You know, it's really nice, even though it's a little bit thicker than certain papers because it's 190 GSM, you still get that really nice feel of cutting. And also being um, that uh, double uh, smooth or super smooth, it means also that it's much stronger paper uh, than it would be if it, was, it wasn't. So there it is. We have got this fly, the butterfly and then you can shape it as well, holding it in the center and then shape it like this. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it uh, onto my craft mat and there is a top tip here that you can then use your uh, ground espresso or other distressed brown and then kind of bring in a little bit of the color in there. Now, if you don't want to use your craft mat, also what you can use always is the backing of a sticky sheet. If you don't have a glass mat or anything like this, anything that has got a sticky, can you see how it glides a little bit? And this is just kind of, I wanted to do this show as in a minimum kind of equipment that you have got right and then you can see that this one is the one that i kind of added the element and you can see a little bit of a tiny difference that it kind of is a little bit darker on around the edges so just a little de decoration then i have taken my um this the six by six in here and you can see that the designs have been reduced mm. in sizes so you have got if, if i put in this one say let's say uh this one for instance let's go and find it you can see it where it is. And now I cannot find it. It will be the, uh, there it, there is. it is. You there can it see is. how it yeah. has been reduced in size as well. So, and you are, they are double sided as well. So you have got all those different possibilities in there. So I have taken, of course, I have taken this one, which is one of my favorites. And what I have done is of course, fussy cut it around it because look at that, how gorgeous That's it is. That's fabulous, Paula. Now you could put foam pads and layer it on top of each other and have that kind of element in here. But what I have done is I have taken another one, which is the one that we were kind of moving, and I trimmed it a, a little bit, and that's gonna go in here. So with the black in there, I'm gonna distress it, and then that's gonna go in there. So I'm gonna kind of bring in uh, my ground espresso, 
just to bring in a little bit of the edges in there. You don't have to remember that this, the inking is just a little bit of a finishing touch. Um, and if you like a little bit of the edging kind of um, in here, you can add it, but you don't have to. And then kind of bring it in. I'm just going to use the glue to, again, minimum uh, kind of equipment, any good glue that you like. I really fond of the craft artist by uh, John next door, but and then just blend it in there. And you can see that even wet glue, it hasn't wrinkled because of the quality of the paper that you have got in there. Now again, this I kind of think that it needs a little bit of the edges kind of distressed. So I'm gonna bring in my ground espresso. Any brown would do, but I kind of went for a ground espresso because it's a little bit on the darker side, so it stands out more. I tend to go for frayed burlap usually, but it's a little bit of a too much of a uh, kind of a medium brown whether this is more of a darker tone so it kind of stands out a little bit more kind of bring it in and I'm using a blending brush again from uh, John next door um, and then you kind of stands out a little bit more with it I'm using some of the foam pads uh, these ones are um, from the scrap boys as well but you of course you can use whatever you have now a top tip with from foam pads is like I used to be very mean in the amount of foam pads that I used to put and because obviously then you have to lift, lift you know, lift up the, uh, the kind of the, how you call it, the, 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 the protectors. But the top tip is you lift up a few of them, you don't have to do the center ones because ah, so, so they're just there for the sort of the support. support. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So as long as you have got enough that I are actually kind of gluing it down then you don't have to do the central ones in there. So that kind of saves it a little bit of time. Obviously at home I might do them, like kind of center it in there. And that kind of has the element in here. Okay. And then... Oh, I was just to just mention, sorry to interrupt that. Uh, you're there, Paola. A quarter of the complete collection, which is all three sets with a £15.97 saving if you're a Freedom Club member, £12 saving if you're not, uh, entitles you to um, fantastic eight. Is it one, two, three? Have I counted right? Yes, yeah, eight. No, is it seven? Seven. I can't count. Um, I can't come wrong this one. Seven beautiful uh, paper pads and all of those element sheets as well that are in there as well. Every ounce of this is, is utilised. And I should mention with that industrial romance, you do get all those sentiments at the bottom. Happy birthday for you, best wishes and dream. I hadn't realised that till Paola pointed it out and good luck. That's on all, all the sheets there in the industrial romance one as well. Uh, so please don't miss out 202185 for the all three sets, but they are available individually. Back to Paola. Yeah. Now, uh, so what I um, what I wanted to show is, of course, I have uh, fussy cut with scissors or different elements from here. So I have got them an arrangement in there. So uh, of course, we're going to put this one in here. So what I wanted to do more or less is to bring in this one, so you can see this one is from here. So I kind of am, and then of course you can it's, yeah, it's like a boathold or a kind of a window from a boat or something like this. So that's going to go in there. So kind of I love the bird in here, so I might put it in there. And what I wanted to show you as well, if you want to make it more realistic, what you could do is kind of bring in the scissors in here and then kind of add some more, kind of like the, the wings, so they're kind of adding a little bit. Can you see how then suddenly... Oh, yes, yeah. Can, they're kind of a little bit in there. And the same thing here. And then you can see there and there. And then when you put like this, kind of bring it in and then you kind of bring even more realism in there. So let's just start assembling the, 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 the elements in here. And you know what I did with these projects because I love them so much, I kind of rearranged them without glue, then took a picture and then kind of follow that to make That's sure. That's a really top tip, yes. <laughs> It's just such lovely um, papers that I didn't want, after plastic cutting them, I didn't want to misplace them. So I, I would do that. I would rearrange them, see where they look, how they look like, and then, uh, and then of course, glue them together. <laughs> right, and then we are going to go in. 
this bit, that in here. So that kind of gets that kind of window into it. Mm. And then I'm going to put the, I think I'm going to put the handle in there that, oh, of course, it's in there as well. And then, uh, I mean, of course, there is kind of a stories that you can create in here. Like, I mean, Jim is like, Jim is our director. And he's like, <laughs> how did the bird get inside the boat? It's like, wow. Well, maybe it's outside the yeah, porthole. Yeah. yeah. Maybe, maybe it's, it's, oh, maybe it's the captain's a bird. That's yes. what it is. It's the captain's bird. And, you know. Or he's on the end of a telescope. Absolutely. So look at this. How I love how it kind of, just more dimension in here. And I love to shape them like the papers shape so well as yeah. well. And then I'm going to just put the butterflies in here. Uh, you also have got these leaves and you can shape them a little bit if you wanted to create that dimension. Kind of mm -hmm. look at this. I love that. So kind of going in, fold them like this, and then they kind of have even more dimension. And then, of course, you can add more coloring, more edge, um, edging in there to kind of, kind of change in the shape and the colors in here. And then, of course, that will go in there. And see how rich? I love this. Now, I'm going to put, this kind of bothers me, so I'm going to put a, a foam pack in here. So it kind of secure the crown. The crown has to be secure, doesn't it? Yeah. It lends itself. It lends itself to all those other little yeah. elements. You were, you were talking about um, the, the chipboard, and uh, oh, I'm trying yes. to remember the name of the company. And I remember doing it with Leonie, and there were there were pipes and cogs oh, and yes, um, those elements. Were, yeah. Yes, I can't for the life of me. I can't remember the name of them. Anyway, it'll Ooh, probably come to I, us. Yeah, I know the yes. one because I helped her do some samples for that yes, one. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, Paolo. And and you showed so corner pipes yeah. and pipes and yeah. cogs and keys. It? and Oh, they were fantastic. Now, I think they were, they might have been Polish or something, yeah. weren't they? They weren't, um, anyway, we're not helping at all, are we? No, it would work brilliant with this collection is all absolutely. I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, but also, the, you know, remember that, you know, buttons and oh, kind yeah, of elements yeah, yeah. like paper flowers, the laser the ephemera. elements, the ephemera, mm. you know, mix and match different companies, you know. Uh, oh. We had a Simply Vintage yesterday. Did you? And, oh, I <gasps> never, never Perfect. had. Perfect, little bits of lace. And yeah. Can you imagine the, the lace and the little buttons that she has? And Beautiful. I mean, shall we put uh, Jimmy's age in here? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then... Uh, uh, I mean, this is, this is, um, let's, let's tell the story. And of course, this is how, how old he is. This is how old he feels. <laughs> <laughs> or the other way around. It's like, the, but that could be for an 18th uh, birthday or could be something like that. And then I just think it could be, um, this other butterfly in there. So going in here. Yeah, I kind of like it in there. Yeah, it kind of feels it. And usually I'm clean and simple, but this one is kind of the way of kind of layering all those elements in their flyer. I just adore it. I it's adore fantastic, it. Father. Now, we're going to put these elements in here that we have. Now, of course, they bright white is a little bit, you know, stark. And yes, this is one of the reasons sure. that they yeah. do it, because then you can bring it, if it was any other color, I'm going to trim it this a little bit more. Well, this is what you're saying about about the way it's all printed on the white card yeah. anyway for your, for your so you can bring in and eyes yeah the color of that you have been using to mm. kind of blend it in into it now i'm kind of going in you see how work, work it work in there there it is and then i'm gonna go in again shape it a little bit and this is the quality of the paper look how well it shapes you know it's and it keeps the, then it you know, it keeps the nature of that gorgeous element, um, you know, shape that you have given. And then kind of go in there. Uh, How good does that look? Okay. Fantastic. And then kind of, oh, I love this. And now, of course, now I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm not going to add any other embellishments because yeah, it's fab. this is what it is. I mean, you don't need any more embellishments no. if you don't want to. A pair of scissors, card. And that's all you need. And you've only used a fraction of, you know, Absolutely. what's in there with the elements. Absolutely. And then you have it. 
I, That's I, gorgeous, Paola. I I, can I say it? I love this I absolutely color. love it. You can say it. You've made it. It's you just, can. It's just like, and it's all because of the papers. I mean, you cannot go wrong. I mean, there is so many configurations. I'm rearranging display elements, and it still will look absolutely amazing. Love them. Beautiful. Right, we'll give Paola a chance to recap. I should mention that um, all 40% of the entire collection, because you, you're like us, we can't decide which one we, we, we like the best, because they're all so very, very different. Um, but I should mention as well, Dispatch is the 21st of May because they're a Polish company, Matthias and Marius. Is that right? Yes. Matthias and Marius. Oh, I love the sound of you. Uh, fantastic. I love, love the uh, paper pad collections as well. And we, Paolo was just talking about that quality because it's virgin on the card there because it's 190 GSM, so it has that malleability and that superb feel, super smooth as well. So our first collection is three paper pads here. You've got the first love, which is 12 by 12. You've also got the repeat of that in your 8 by 8 with 24 sheets and your 6 by 6. Oh, actually, is, that, is the 8 by 12 sheets and your 6 by 6, which is 24 sheets. So 24, 48 uh, gorgeous reversible sheets in there. I should mention this front card that that is an element sheet as well one-sided uh, I'm just bending that over um, so you can use obviously the front sheet as well the second sheet of elements is a uh, completely reversible so if you were doing some kind of pop-up card or twizzle card or uh, yeah, that means that it is on both sides true once you cut that through, which I love, which you don't tend to see. You don't tend to just see it like that first sheet, don't you, one-sided. So that is important to manage. And there's so many beautiful elements in this romance bundle. You've got your gorgeous, gorgeous cardstock here with the bundles. This is one of my favourites. Simply because, and I know we see a lot of script work, but the way in which they've interjected it with horizontal and then vertical and then different fonts, um, I just love that that mix, that mishmash of, of, of the direction. Um, that is that beautiful, isn't it? And then this is gorgeous, isn't it? You've got that flourish at the corners there against that sort of bark, that fence. You've got the lovely shell-like uh, paper there as well. Um, all the border around there for a large frame. Beautiful lace. I mean, it, it's, it's just exquisite. Very romantic feel with the pinks and the pink blossoms there. And again, you've got that on the horizontal axes, but of course you can turn that around. Um, beautiful. Then you've got your frames, two sets of frames there. Paula made that beautiful card out of the square set frame. And then if you just need to mat and layer, you've got those in those beautiful pretty pastels as well. So. This was the uh, card I was referring to that Paola made. Isn't that, isn't that stunning? Then she used the smaller 6x6 or the 8x8 there to create that card within the card. But isn't that when you can do the back as well? So if you're journaling, you're bookmaking, scrapbooking, just gorgeous. And that's just using a fraction of the elements there cut out. So that's our first bundle. That's at the bottom of the screen, 15 99 You've got a £3 saving, 549781. And that is those three pads. It is included in this complete collection that you see to my side here, which takes over that £3 saving, takes all the savings and gives you a £15, £97 saving if you're a Freedom Club member, 12 if you're not. Fabulous. This is the set that Paola's just been working with. So Industrial Romance, I, I brings to mind the company that I can't remember <laughs> that Paola did designs for and I did with Leone. Uh, but we were thinking the elements. We were thinking All and Create, their stamps, steampunk. Um, it's got the romance those Paola was expressing, you know, because you've got the bouquet of flowers, you've got the birds, you've got the butterflies. And you've got it all in the 24 sheets of the 6x6 six six as well. I mean, every sheet. I mean, look, at this is what... You've got so much to fussy cut out there. And you've got those sentiments at the bottom as well. The wings, the cogs, um, the butterflies, the leaves, Paul was referring to. The pipe. Yeah, it's just fascinating. And then look at that. It's almost like the fleur de lis on the back. Isn't that beautiful? I love the way it goes from dark to light and the distressing. These frames, aren't they exquisite? Look at this border at the bottom. Isn't that beautiful? All of those. And then, and then I love the back. I'd be hard pushed, but that's okay because that's why you have your six by six when you're a bit of a dither about which side to use. That, the texture on that, isn't that gorgeous? But then you've got this, yeah, and then I love the fact we've got the six by six with this because I'd be all of a dither of, but I like this, but I, but I want to use that side, but that ruins my other side, you know? Um, but you don't have to worry about it. Isn't that gorgeous? Because you've got the smaller element. I mean, look at that. 
I absolutely love this collection. It's so beautiful. This is oh, one of my all-time favourites. Look at that. When Paolo put it on the card, I was thinking, don't cover it up. But it was okay because it became even more beautiful. Uh, but that's why you got your six by six. Isn't that gorgeous? And then the frame and then your birdcage as well. All of that is just reduced down in size for your six by six pad as well. So that, that's the beauty of it. You have none of the heartache, but you can create all of the fantastic beauty there without um, having to sacrifice your favorites there as well. Um, so that one is at the bottom of the screen, 1199 410953. And that is once again included in the t entire collection, which is here at my right there, 202185. Three pound saving. Then we take it in another completely different direction. The king of the scrapbooking boys, yes. Um, sunny village, and it is exactly how I described it down to a T. It's a lovely warmth. It's a Mediterranean warmth. It's an inviting sunshine. You know, it's, it's, it's not your neon bright day glows. It's, it's really warming. It warms the heart. You start to think of those summer months bursting with color and beauty. The bees, the butterflies, the sunflowers, the pretty reds, and then, oh, my favorite sheet of all time. Oh, look at this meadow blue. I I'm just besotted with it. I just like, like that all at my wall. It's just, I love blues though, you see, and daisies, and then it's got the burst of yellow. It's my favorite. That's my favorite sheet. I, w I, w I wouldn't be able to do anything about that, apart from just look at it. So that's okay, because I've got a six by six, so I'm good. See, this is the dilemma you have, but yeah. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? I mean, that's crying out for um, some mixed media, isn't it, on your MDF? But then you've got your great background sheets there as well. Look at these. Beautiful. And all those fussy elements to do in those corners. I'll get my hand out of the way. There we go. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. And again, be happy. You've got it in the Polish there as well. You've got the sentiments at the bottom. You've got the frames. This is Sunny Village. Um, just gorgeous, the square frames as well. And then of course, best wishes. And then that again, there's your blank canvas, but what a great start. But then if you want something a little bit more ornate, beautiful. So that's at the bottom of your screen as well, 904708 Sunny Village 1199. You've got a three pound saving on that as well. Then we take all of the savings across all three um, stationary paper packs, I should say. And we bundle that into the complete collection, 202185. Give you another three pound saving, which is a 12 pound saving, takes you down to 36.97. Or another three pounds 97, three pounds 70 saving, which takes it down to 33 pounds 27. So a 15 pound 70 saving if you're a Freedom Club member. And uh, 202185, half the stock of the complete collection, which affords you seven of those pads, uh, has now gone. Oh, we're loving Matthias and Marius. We are loving them. We're very busy this morning, Paola. Brand new supply from Poland and dispatches on the 21st of May. I'm so happy that uh, you are loving them as much as you uh, do because they are one of these collections that, oh, all of them, and now we're going to go for First Love because they are one of those collections that, again, uh, you know, you, you, you immediately can do something very simple or something very elaborate. I wanted to draw the attention, uh, in this particular collection, you are getting three different sizes, the 12 by 12, the 8 by 8 and the 6 by 6. And I kind of just per pull out the, um, the same design in all three sizes. And this is why I think this paper, especially this one, is just beautiful because imagine matting and layering all these different elements in here. I mean, I'm not, I didn't have time to fussy cut them all, but you can get an idea. Think about fussy cutting the, the, all the outside and inner one and put a picture behind it. Now here we have got the, the, the circle with eye fussy cut and it's just one of those ones that again glides through it. Perfect now, layer it with a six by six and you can see the six by six, I kind of put it onto a 15 by 15 and then just place it in here. And again, it's a very simple kind of design similar to the one that we've done be be before, but I just love how it works. I think it's just gonna be a very clean and simple card or maybe, maybe not. Now, I just wanted to show you that also the design element in here is that double-sided. So you can see that is kind of at the beginning I thought, why is it printed the same? I mean, surely. But then the reason is I have got this uh, butt in here, which is maybe, I don't know if it's a kind of a peony sort of flower. I think that uh, I'm going to call them peonies. I'm not 
a gardener or a botanist, so I don't really know, but a rose, maybe it's a rose, I don't know. It's a beautiful flower. Anyway, so kind of fussy cut around it. And when you see, when I finish, you will see how, can you see? That is perfect both sides. Mm. So, for instance, I have got one that I've done before it. And if you had a box, for instance, or something that kind of you wanted to put a standing up like this, oh, yeah. both sides would be perfect. So if you like anything that kind of comes in, or maybe vellum cards or parchment cards, your groovies, and you want mm. to bring it, these are perfect for this. So let's start assemble uh, to it. So now I'm going to put it uh, with glue again. <gasps> You're breaking my heart covering up the frames, but it's I all know. right, Paula, isn't it? You have four of them. Exactly. Four in the six I'm by okay. six. And, and, then, <laughs> and then I just put it in here, pressing there. And in this case, I'm going to just place it down. Oh, shall I do foam pads as well? Like a little bit of dimension. I know. Yeah, I just kind of like to put a little bit of, you know, just left, you know. I wish I could put that on my height all the time, but I can't do that. <laughs> just so put paper I'm, pads on our shoes oh, and we're a foot taller. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's still, so yeah. Um, oh, it's just sometimes it's... I always say, I mean, this is a kind of a... a Good novel. things come in small packages, Paola. Well, that's, and that's perfect, about darling. it, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. And, um, well, I have to say, and usually I always say, well, traveling is a really, it's not, it's, it's a good thing to be sure because obviously in the plane, but yes, we haven't done leg much room. for lately, have we? Have we? It's like, oh. <laughs> so then we are going to put, but we will, we will soon enough. One day, one, one day. day. And then I'm going to just put it again, uh, something like that. Now, this time I'm not even using ink um, because I just, again, not everybody has got ink pads. Not everybody has everything. And I love the idea of creating beautiful cards with a minimum of elements in here. So just the paper pad. And then I kind of got in. I'm going to put my glue in the back of my hand and then kind of just dab it in. So I kind of just put it in here and then kind of just kind of bring it in the greenery in there. And then kind of go in. So kind of almost like, no, so now I have got the double sided. Mm. So I can bring in, if I wanted to, this way and there. And then I'm going to go in and bring them in these elements in here. And then I'm going to put that one as well in here so you can see how you don't have to decide which side you want because you can yes left or whichever way is facing yeah way. now i have uh, this color also the butterflies look at that glorious mm. of course they are double-sided yeah so i'm going to put them um i'm going to put a lot of butterflies how do we put a lot of butterflies uh, especially if you're using acetate or anything like that oh, because yeah. as you open that up you see the beauty of the other side as well absolutely don't you? i love the blues as well and um, there we have um, now, I, I have as well the sentiment. Remember that you have got the sentiments mm. from uh, on the bottom of the um, strip of papers, but also on the um, paper pad. Let we me have. We've got you. I Love You, Our Time, Oops. Happiness, Forever Together, Wedding Day. Um, yeah, there's, there's loads on there. I love that. It's a lovely attention to detail, isn't it, Paula? It is. It, yeah. Absolutely. So you could say best wishes, wedding day, for the wedding day. You yes. know, you have got all those elements in there. And then I'm going to put in, shall I put more in there? Because since it's, it's already cut, so let's go and put it. And this is the, one of the things I did I mention. You know, I kind of said on, on Saturday at my conservatory and just fussy cut, it, fussy cut all these different elements. And then just assemble them. And I love the white space in here. And of course, the kind of elements in there. And then I'm going to do another one of uh, the pink ones. And then, shall I put her outside? Hmm. There. I just kind of like the kind of overall here. It's a little bit heavy. And then you have got more of the empty space in here. Now I have got some uh, glitter pen here. So I'm going to add a little bit of a sparkle here and there. Mm, lovely. Now, you won't be able to see it that much, but there's a finished sample that has got a little bit more. It on. has. Yes, this one here, I noticed the glitter. Uh, if mm. I hold this one up for uh, Jimmy, I, can, I, noticed it, I noticed it straight away. I was yeah. like, oh, 
much little, little, little bit of glitter there on the roses and the butterflies. Not pretty. Yeah, it just just to add a little bit of a sparkle, just a, a quick and easy element. Okay. I should mention as well, while uh, Paola's glitterizing, 60% of the entire collection. Are we supposed to be doing this again later, Paola? Are you no, doing... this is the only hour. Only hour? Yeah, the only hour. Oh, righty ho. Yeah. Don't miss out. 60% of the entire collection has now gone. So please don't forget to check out your baskets. Sorry, Paola, I, 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 I missed the grand denouement. <laughs> no, 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 that's all right. You know, uh, yeah, it's, it's all the only hour, so make sure to check out your basket. Yeah, look at that. Oh, sorry, it's I went down to presenter mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have some more finished samples, so let's have some more inspiration uh, from the Scrap Boys. Those samples gorgeous You're using flowers and um, your, your elements and your chipboard and your MDF and like the texture there as well just beautiful most of you are going for the complete collection I do not blame you because the price point is phenomenal now this first collection Paolo has just been working with um, is obviously there are two-thirds of the complete collection has gone you can buy them individually I just want to point out the first collection of the lovely um, first love that was the one Paolo was just working with and created that stunning card that is the one that has um, the the eight by eight in it. Okay, you get the six by six, which has twenty four sheets. Twelve of the eight by eight, and then twelve of the twelve by twelve. Um, and you get all of those elements in there as well, with those beautiful pinks. You get those background papers that look like lace. Um, it's absolutely stunning. But if you want it on its own, it's at the bottom of the screen. Fifteen ninety nine five four nine seven eight one so stunning stunning collection with that quality of that white super smooth card 190 gsm which is why we're saying it's bordering on the card even though we call it paper then we've got our fabulous the industrial romance i, I know i'm not supposed to have a favorite but i do um these are these are just gorgeous look at these these cards that uh, paula's put together as well as the ones we saw isn't that beautiful this is the one she's just done if you know that company i'm talking about using their elements with the cogs and the <laughs> and the scissors and P help me out somebody um and then the pipes uh just fantastic so that one on its own is 11.99 that's the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6 410953 and that's that fusion of the romantic and the birdcage and the flowers and the stopwatch with the grunge uh and and the vintage it's it's just and ah oh, just I'm, I'm a bit besotted with that sheet honestly it's it's, it's probably the, the the most un flourishy one but i just love it i just love them and then again you've got those lovely sentiments at the bottom for you best wishes happy birthday and dream as an added bonus and the ones that you can cut out on the back of the pad uh, uh, as well so every detail has been thought of then we take you to another dimension this is the sunny village bursting with lovely mediterranean warmth as uh, paula described beautiful color palettes of, palettes of yellows and golds and poppy pinks and my favorite sheet there yes i am obsessed um this is 11.99 i mean there is more in it than that you get i mean amazing color palette of golds and reds and pinks just beautiful um it's 904708 most of you are going for all of it because it's a great 
value for money. It's great price point, 202185. You get a £15.97 saving if you're a Freedom Club member, £12 if you're not. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a bit of a why not uh, deal there. Paolo, I've probably got about ooh, eight minutes or yeah. so. What, okay. what are you going to rustle up for me, Well, uh, I wanted to use the uh, gorgeous Summer Village one. So mm. what I have is a piece of card, and I'm not having a measure. I am I'm very... You know, a mathematical crafter. That's what I'm going to say. That's going to be a description of how you are a crafter and mathematical. <laughs> uh, but what I have done is I know that this is just literally a card that I had. So it's under 12 inches. And I, what I have done is I have taken the um, elements, the card elements for the 12 by 12. So let me show you the one that I made because I want to show you it to you. So you have got in here all, uh, all six of them. So Lovely. I have um, cut around some of them. And then you have got six cards in there. Now, what I've done is more or less kind of have an idea of where they go and kind of going to score it. And I'd like to use the um, scoring, um, the, the trimmer as a scoring tool. Let oh. me grab if I have a, oh, so typical when you think that you have got the right tool and then you don't have the right tool in there. Oh, well. Oh, this one it is. This one is the, the smaller one. And then we kind of... Go in and there, and then I'm going to do fold it in here so you can see how it kind of fits in there. So mm -hmm. that's about right. And then I kind of go and do the same thing in here. So I'm going to give it a little bit more space in there this time. And then I'm going to go in there and then just place it there. I like to score it because it just makes it such a much uh, such, such a difference. And then I'm going to just trim that excess off in here. And then I'm going to go in. This is why I always take one of the 12 inch trimmers and a guillotine because the trimmer you can then, of course, create the scoring line. So That's such a good idea. Then I have, so this is going to be the cover. So and then you have, well, you have got different uh, possibilities. I kind of like, I think I'm going to put. I like the poppies. Oh, I like the poppies, yeah, but I, I like also the like. This one. Oh, I like vintage book it there. I Beautiful. like this one. I think, I, oh, shall I, shall I do the poppies? I love it. I'm going to do the <laughs> Just to please me. Just to please you as well. Um, oh, I just realized I threw away something that I wanted. Oh. Ooh. oh well, I, I just go have a rummage in the bin in just a second. <laughs> and then we are going to put this one inside it. Um, going to put it in there. So it's a bit of glue. The left it in there. Um, and I love the idea that the scrap boys, you know, it's just a, a couple, you know, Mario and Mateos that they have been scr um, scrapbooking for years, mm. major design team players in the, you know, worldwide. I mean, um, Marius is just a phenomenal. I mean, I have known him for years and, um, mm. you know, I follow him for, you know, and then we have like, a lo you know, look at that, the flowers in there. Now then what I have, what I was thinking of doing is... Uh, here, I wanted to like a, a pop-up element in oh. here, so I have the six by six elements that you can then do. I mean, kind of going in there. So this is what I mean. It's going to cover a little bit, but I just wanted to show how you can do. Going downstairs, second. <laughs> She's got rummage in that. Yeah, that rummaging too, right? that bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my guillotine. Um, so what I'm going to do is cut this at four inches, any strip there. Okay. And if you want it to be precise, uh, you can then, um, of course, f make it even um, score it at two inches, three inches, and one inch. But you can make it like this. So fold it in half and then fold it backwards in half. Okay, so that creates like a cube like this. Okay, so that then is going to go in here and create a pop-up element. So that's going to go oh, in here. Lovely. So I'm going to put, oh, let's see if I've put it there. There it could be, yeah. So it's one of those, or shall I put it that comes out there? Kind of would be quite nice, wouldn't it? If it comes up like this and yeah. you can see it a little bit in there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Sometimes you change your mind. So then you put glue in this one, turn it over, and in this one. And then place it in here and press it down, hold it in there. Now this is kind of, you make sure that you kind of glue it in there and then press it down, open it up and press it down in there as well. And that creates that element in here, there. I 
kind of like it there. Oh, shall I put it there? Yes. So oh, at an angle, yeah, yes. at an angle. Oh, oh, yeah, I like it's the angle. angle. I like it more. Yeah. So again, I'm going to put a little bit of glue in there. And then put it like this. I've gone rogue. <laughs> Sometimes you can go. And then you can put the sentiment oh. in there. So I'm going to trim it a little bit more. Um, and then we are going to trim it a little bit smaller in there. Uh, you can see that I'm not kind of going that careful because I kind of like that kind of element of free of the summer days when you don't have to, you know, you, you know carefree and you don't have a sense of, you know, wonder in there. And that kind of goes in there. So I'm going to put it. And you can see that this is the back of the elements in there that you would have otherwise thrown away. And then kind of go in there. There, there we have. And then, of course, when you can see the flowers in there, you could then put a little one in here as well if Aww. you want it. Yeah. Or you can even put a happy birthday. I kind of like the happy birthday as well. Yeah, it kind of closes up. It kind of makes it into a... It gives it a, a central point, a focal point, somewhere yes. to go to, to read it. And again, I'm going to shape it, put a little bit of glue in there. And what I would do, of course, is leave put some glossy accents in there to create Ooh. that kind of, um, you know, kind of transparency. Of the, oh, this oh is that'd be centered. beautiful. That would bother me. Just goes to show you don't need all the paraphernalia, how brilliant you can just work with the pads themselves and yeah. make some stunning cards. And then... Isn't that lovely? You know, that's kind of... A, oh, this one has kind of gone rogue, literally. <laughs> okay, look, come on, there, stay there, stay there, you behave. But you gorgeous have. powder, three gorgeous cards. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, lovely. This is our only hour as Paula expressed. So please don't forget to check out. Thank you to Paula. I will say 80% of the complete collection has gone. So please check out your baskets. Don't want you to miss out. It's a massive £15.97 um, saving if you are a Freedom Club member. So please don't miss out. Gorgeous, gorgeous sets. Thank you so much. Thank you, Fiona. Thank you to Marius and Mateus. And uh, thank you for watching. Let's see what's coming up here on the craft store. Oh, we've got Janice and Julie Hickey Designs. And then we will let Leonie loose with Stamperia's second birthday. And then we'll return to our Fabric Freedom Boutique One Day Special. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dyes, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Hi, I'm Jean, and together with my partner Malcolm, we run a small business in the northeast of England called Crafty Individuals. Personally, my background is in art and design and crafting, and most of the designs have been created by myself. So do pull up a pew and join us on the shows. We can't wait to see you there. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make 
Heartfelt Unique are their flower shaping molds where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers which are absolutely stunning. you well oh you're already listing on Facebook that you can't wait for this show to start I've seen your comments I've seen some of the samples out there as well from the design team we've got some marvelous samples to show you from the stamp collection that we've got available from Julie Hickey oh my days you wait till you see these it they are so beautiful, they're so delicate, and I know that you're going to absolutely adore them. They are available on FlexiBuy, which means we'll divide the cost for you over two months. It's interest-free, it's really easy to set up as well. If you're on the website, all you have to do is just tick a box and that's it. And then you'll pay half today and half in a month's time. If you want to, you can buy them in the one sitting if you want to. Now, it is a why not deal. And that means if you're not a Freedom member, become a Freedom member today and you will make that great saving. As you can see there on your screens, £49.90 is your Freedom price. Two payments of twenty-four ninety-five if you choose to pay in that way. Uh, 917404 is your item number. Right, that's all of that out of the way. But of course, I'll keep reminding you of the details as we go along but I would like to introduce you to the lady herself it's a lovely Julie Hickey good morning Julie good morning how are you this morning I'm very well thank you and we've got matching almost matching tops I've got stars on my top too oh, do you know what <laughs> I like I like that necklace as well actually you've just shown me with a love heart oh, on. thank you oh uh, you're looking very well you're looking marvelous and I love the little branding behind you as well Julie <laughs> <laughs> it's to hide all the mess. <laughs> is that your craft room you are Skyping from? This is my craft cabin, yeah. Oh, fabulous. Now, we're already busy for your stamps this morning, Julie. You know I love Excellent. your designs. They are absolutely incredible. Can you tell us a little bit about this collection and what inspired you to develop it in the first place? Uh, well, I just think that flowers are used. Everybody picks a flower up to make a card. So it was a really versatile set. Lots of different things there as well. I wanted to have something that give you a bit of a mixed media look with the flowers, with the text in the background. So if you're not confident to mask, it's already been done for you. I like to give you the individual flowers so that you can then 3D and layer them up. Gives you so much more versatility with them. Um, yeah, just and the vertical sentiments was actually a suggestion from a customer, Carol. Um, sorry, not Carol, from Davina. It was her sister uh, from Davina to do the vertical sentiments, and they had just gone down an absolute storm. People love them, and it's so useful sometimes just to have that vertical sentiment to fit in really nicely on your cards. I mean, the samples that you're seeing from the design team couldn't do the shows without them. Their samples are absolutely beautiful. I should thank Kaz, whose birthday it is today. So happy birthday, Kaz. Oh, it's a happy big one. birthday, Kaz. Um, they, um, are, they are absolutely remarkable, aren't they, Julie? They really are. Your beautiful. design team have done you proud. They certainly have. But you, to build any house, you need that foundation, and you've got it right here with the stamps. I do love the vertical sayings. And it can be very difficult to actually get these to look as they should, especially when you're putting text vertically. And I think you've you, done an absolute so right. marvellous job with the spacing. Absolutely. And it wasn't that wasn't the first set. We did a set first of all. And I worked very closely with a good friend of mine, Steph, who's a graphic designer. And in the end, she went with a font that she knew would work vertically, like you say, because it is very when we had them, first of all, with the font I wanted, it looked so odd. So, yeah, a lot of thought went into it because I wanted them to look really really crisp and really good and really stand out on your cards yeah and do you know what i like about this sample that i'm showing you here i mean this is a lovely one by um kaz you've got the sentiment on the one side but then you've also balanced it up with having the sentiment there now you wouldn't do that normally with your happy but you wouldn't have happy birthday then happy birthday again but that gives you the chance to start developing your design and it works perfectly doesn't it it does. And it also means because we did them individually, we were going to do them as one stamp. So you could use them with our banner stamp set, um, die set that came out before. But we did them as individuals because we started seeing the design team use them to build up backgrounds, to create background papers from the wording, which was just fabulous. So, yeah. And again, 
using the two sentiments on that one. Just beautiful. Works lovely, doesn't it? And the background element as well with the stamps, building and creating not just background papers, cards and toppers, wrapping paper, bags that you want to give as a gift now will match the card and you can make that bespoke to you and the person you're giving it to as well. They're an absolute delight and there's various ways that you can buy. You can get individually um, and we'll put the details on the screen or at the bottom of the screen when we run through those. But let's have a look at them. So the first one that you've got here, this is your blooming florals. Now I love this one, Julie, because you've got that wonderful element of the floral in there but you've also got the text in the background which makes it almost 3d before you've even stamped it out it does and I, I wanted to do it because I know a lot of people struggle with their masking so this was a way that you had the text behind you've got the flowers definitely popping out of that card it's just beautiful and by having the extra flowers as individuals it means that you can 3d them and add more texture and dimension to your cards as well um, the other stamps as well that you can use alongside those, you know, just to add little accents you can see just here, taking those flowers just off to the side. They've actually been cut out. Can you see that, how lovely they are, just coming forward of the card to give you that 3D element as well, taking your card making to the next dimension. Really, really like that. I love the way that the text just sits in the background perfectly. And you've thought about the Crafter Julie with the masking techniques. And what this will do, I think, if you get this stamp set home, is you'll start stamping it out and it might be the very start to the journey of masking and developing your design so it's a very very clever way of introducing people to another way of creating their designs if you do want to go for that one it's at the bottom of the screen 14.99 is your item number now next to it sorry that one next to it i'll point to the right one in a moment um, i i love this one because this could be a design just on its own with the little window in there for a sentiment or even a little picture maybe julie yeah absolutely i'm one of the things that i love to do and i find so therapeutic is coloring in so this one is an ideal one stamp them out stamp several out and then sit in front of the telly and color some of them in but i wanted to give you those um, extra flowers as well so they're the flowers that feature on the stamp so you can 3d if you want to but use them in their own right as well. They are beautiful. And like you say, all those sentiments fit in that aperture. Yeah, they certainly do. Uh, I really like this uh, design here. So the stamp you saw, if I turn it that way, you'll recognize the background stamp, but we've just turn that and you can see the stamps on the front again using that element of 3d to really make them stand out you're quite right just to sit down and color it's a very mindful thing to do isn't that beautiful and just putting those side by side they're going to look different each and every time you put them together that is gorgeous 14 pounds and 99 pence 18 stamps in that set 276918 is your item number love that set uh, right now we've got the vertical words for you and you've got the floral happiness so these two come as a pair and it's a great pair to have we're very very busy for this set only 14 pounds and 90, uh, 48 pence wow for both of them that is an amazing oh. price julie it is, isn't it? That's a bargain. That's it certainly is. <laughs> um, may your day be as special as you are. Uh, you've got sending you happiness and you've got today is full of possibilities. Uh, very positive. I like that. Very, very positive. And again, you've got that lovely uh, words that come down, but you've also got that spray of your floral design, which looks beautiful if you colour it in. But also I've got a sample here. Uh, it looks really, really nice if you just leave it in that monochrome grey style. Isn't that beautiful? Hazel made that card. This is sort of turning out to be her signature um, demo, if you like, with just the monochrome, just with the pencils. But how striking is it? Just beautiful. It really and so is. So many isn't it? occasions that it would do for as well. Yeah, it certainly is. I, I just I love that shading to make the flowers stand out in white. Isn't that very very clever? And then here again, we've got the colour in the corners again. Another beautiful card using that stamp set. Fourteen pounds and forty eight pence. Nine one seven. Oh, sorry, no. Uh, zero seven nine three seven zero is your item number. Uh, and you've got those vertical words there. Just a quick sample uh, to show you. That's using the words just on the side. That's another way 
way of using the words to build up that background. It's a very clever way. This one is by Marion. That's Marion. Yeah, Marianne. isn't that lovely? Yeah. Very, very Beautiful. clever. And, and it was actually seeing that sample that made me realise we needed to do the sentiments individually. Yes, absolutely. Oh, look at uh, now. That's that clever. Well. That is Isn't very clever. Just? Yeah, that's yep. by um, Philippa. I thought it said Phillips. I thought, I didn't do that. I'm not good enough to do that. <laughs> it's by Philippa. Uh, beautiful. Uh, right, now we do have another set for you. Um, and that's on this side. And then you've got your florals and the foliage as well. To be used together or to be used separately. Uh, again, another beautiful stamp set to get. And if anyone's got any stamps at home, like butterflies or, or any fairies, for example, I think they'll go really, really well with this set, won't they, Julie? Yes, they would. And I, I wanted to have some foliage. I think these would make lovely cards that, for the, the difficult cards to make, for the sympathy cards and things like that. Just a sprig of foliage on the card and some lovely words. Just does it all really yeah it certainly does here's a lovely sample we showed you this earlier that's by Kaz and then another sample as well very very colorful a larger card how lovely is that with the black around the edges but also the black around the banners as well to really really make that stand out 17 pounds and 98 pence uh, 13 stamps in total five five six three double two that's for that pair but if you can't choose and you want to go for the full collection we get really busy for this a, qu oh, a quarter of the stock has gone already it's only 11 minutes past the hour uh, my word this really is incredible and to add to that, let me turn that around. You get that lovely picture of Julie as well. You get <laughs> Julie's story. We all have a good picture. Uh, but you'll need to buy it to read that. That's it. You can't see any more. Uh, you'll need to get that full set. Uh, isn't that incredible? Twenty-four ninety-five today if you're a Freedom member. Twenty-four ninety-five in a month's time. No P and P to pay. And if you want to become a Freedom member today, you can do triple eight, triple eight in your basket. Seven pounds and ninety-seven pence. And then all your P and P is included on everything you buy. Well, actually, you're not paying it, so it's not like it's included. You don't pay it. It's a marvellous way to buy. So think about whether you buy two items or more from us a week. That's it. Or two items or more a month become a Freedom member because you've got that great opportunity to get great discounts like today as well. 917404. Now we're going to ask Julie to swap her camera around because we've got some demonstrations coming up. If you've got any questions or you want to share any of your makes, we'd love to see them and I'm sure Julie would love to see them as well. So the email address for that is studio at thecraftstall.com. Right, so whilst you check out your baskets, let's take a look at some inspiration. <music> Weren't they lovely? Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, you had a sneaky peek, by the way, of a rainbow stamp that we've got available for you on the show. I know we're going to be busy for that. You're already going for that on the website. It's a gorgeous set. Uh, right, I've got some news for you. I've got some news. Your vertical wishes and your floral happiness is technically sold out individually. So that pair alone is now sold out. So the only way to get that is in that complete bundle but my word that is great value for money it really is and it's going to be a collection that you'll use again and again and again and it's going to inspire you again and again and again so those are the details on your screen for that complete collection let's head over to Julie and have our first demonstration what are we looking at Julie okay so I wanted to show how versatile the circle dies that we've got on the show as well are with any of the stamps that you might have at home, but especially obviously with the floral collection. 
So the dies that I've used to create my actual card are from the circle dies, and these are called layers, frames, and banners, because you can either do them as mats, you can put two of the dies together to create a frame. You've got circle sentiments here that are ideal to put your sentiments in. And then you get some flowers, some hearts, some buttons, and you also get some little sequin dies, which I'm going to be using later on as well. Fabulous. So I've, We've just got I've the details on the screen for those, Julie, just to let people know at home we've changed the details. So if they want them, Lovely. Uh, they're there, 12 987095 Great set that is, Julie. Thank you. And look at the saving on that. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. <laughs> okay, so I die cut. Um, a cert the scallop circle, the largest one, because I want to make my actual card blank. Then I cut the next size down, which is a plain one, to create the back of my card. And I've scored just a little way in along the top here. And that's where I'm going to put my glue at the top there. And a little tip for you is if you um, cut the bottom of your card straight, so just cut a little slither off, then your card is going to stand up and it won't like keep spinning round on your table. So I'm going to put some glue down in that very top part and actually make my card blank first of all. So I'm using the Pink Frog glue bottles, which I absolutely love. Yeah, they're so precise, aren't they? Especially for oh, your die cuts. Absolutely. And I have not had it um, get blocked up at all. Never. Very good. So it's ab good to absolutely know, Julie. brilliant. It is. Well, it's a big thing, like can be so frustrating when they do get blocked so it's fantastic so I'm placing that on the back and where I've done my score just pushing down for the glue and literally I'm just going to bend that bit back and you only ever score the back part of your card so that the front of your card is always going to be really nice and smooth and flat and perfect so I'm going to put that to one side and now I'm going to take a piece of, I've got a piece of watercolour card this time, because I wanted a little bit of the texture in there. And I'm just going to bring, I've got it in my stamping press ready. I've got the big, lovely background one with the text around it. Okay. And I'm just going to use, I've got VersaFine Claire, but I've got it in a brown colour, because I thought it was rather nice. It sort of lent itself. Rather than being black, it was nice to have that brown tone to it. So just stamping that down and then bring that over. Julie, Obviously, just, just while you're stamping that, I just need to tell everyone at home, and apologies for breaking in, but we do need to let you know, and I'm sure Julie would like to know as well. We are so busy for that complete collection. We've got cues on the phones. We will get to your calls. And three quarters of the bundle oh, wow. stock has now gone, Julie. We're only 18 minutes into the show. <laughs> I know. I thought you'd like to hear that, Julie. Very, Absolutely. very busy. Uh, I think we might be heading for a sellout, actually. And we do oh. know we can't get any more, so. So um, the only way to get the vertical um, sayings and your florals is in that complete collection as well. So pop it into your basket now if you want to assure yourself of the whole complete collection. Uh, thanks for that, Julie. Yeah, we're really busy. They love it. That's fantastic. OK, so I stamped out my design. I'm just going to quickly clean my stamp off. And because I've used textured, textured card, I did need to stamp that twice because you don't want to push down too hard with your stamp. You want to go gently enough so you don't spoil the text. You don't just splay it out or anything. Okay. So it's better to, to go gently but stamp it twice because of that texture. But look at the lovely, it's just beautiful. Do we, know what that amazing. Do we know what that text says in the background, Julie? Yes, it's friendship text. So it's Aww. believe in yourself, miss you. Aww. So thankful for you. Wonderful inside and out. All sorts of different wording, but how, positive. How lovely. You know, you, you could, if you get a highlighter pen, highlight some of oh, those words. Oh, you could. Words. Yeah. Janice, that's a lovely idea. I love that. Oh, thank you. OK, so I've brought my um, die cutting machine in and I'm just going to cut. I don't know if I've got the right one there. No, I didn't. I picked the wrong circle one up. I thought it was a bit small. I'm going to place that down on top of my design, just making sure that I've got the bits that I need. Okay. I'm not too worried if I lose... Oh, sorry, caught my headphone jack. That's all right. um, I'm not too worried if I lose a little bit of the leaves or the flowers because I'm going to 3D them, so I'm going to put the detail back in. Okay. So let me just get rid of this. Rid of that machine. Okay. 
And now when I pop this out, and with the dies, Ooh, some of them that's are, good. Some of them have got two cut lines. So what that gives you is, and you can use this for another card, it gives you this lovely circle oh, wow. that comes yeah. out. It gives you a lovely frame. And obviously you could use this, the circle, to put this down if you wanted to around the edge of your card. So that's really nice to keep for another card. What a lovely idea. Now I've got some news for you, Julie. I've got some news. Stand by <laughs> your on. beds. We are now limited <laughs> stock for that complete collection. Remember, we can't get any more. So the final few people now to get that into your basket, either on the website or give us a call. 01733 There are queues on the phone. So the best way would be, if you do have the internet, to go to thecraftstore.com, add it to your basket. It's really easy to check out. It's very, very easy. Easy. And if you want it on FlexiBuy, you just click the uh, the box. Oh, and you've all done that. Oh, well done. Well done. Right. So technically sold out, which means it's in everyone's baskets. If any bounce back, maybe they've been in there for 10 minutes or more. No one's checked out. If any bounce back, we'll let you know. But now they are available in their individual rights. Uh, so we'll head back to the demo with Julie. And we're using the Blooming Floral, aren't we? We are, yeah. So... And I have to thank everybody so much. That's amazing that we've technically sold out already. That's fab. Yeah, well done, Julie. So thank Julie. you. That's lovely. Okay, so I'm just using, I've used um, a little bit of Kitsch Flamingo with the Distressed Oxide. I just put a little bit of colour on the background flowers because I want to then 3D my other flowers. Let's get rid of that ink so I don't pick it up. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, I've stamped out my flowers and my leaves already <clears throat> and I've coloured them with a blending tool because I didn't want to take all the time stamping and everything out. So I'm just going to pick one of the flowers and I'm going to shade this in with the kitchen window. So I'm just using a blending brush and I'm going to blend from the centre out so that I can get, oh, caught one of my pep tools in, so that I can blend the colour out and get that stronger colour in the centre of my flower. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Then I'm just going to curl and shape my petals. I need to be a bit careful because this one's about to come off. So I'm using a pokey tool okay. and just curling my petal back round. Obviously bearing in mind that this is watercolour card, so you might need to do it a couple of times just to break the fibres down in your card enable it to keep that lovely shape. Then I just use my nail and push in the center and that helps to lift the petals up even more. So it just gives your flower more dimension to go on your card. So I'm gonna start with my leaves and I've curled and shaped them. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the back there. Do you ever, and pop um, them down. Do you ever spritz the paper with water before you bend the flowers? Uh, you can do, and it will hold its shape really well if you do do that. So that you can, absolutely. And would you, um, Julie, would you suggest spraying it from the back so you don't spray onto your watercolours and get a bleached out effect? Would, could you still do that yes. and bend it? Yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, because the, the texture card is 300 GSM, you probably wouldn't need to do that with this because it's going to hold its shape anyway. But, but if you're using a, yeah. a slightly lighter weight paper or card, then yes, definitely, if you spray it, it does help for it to hold its shape. They look okay, like little so rabbit's ears, those leaves. They do, don't they? they? Do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go round and I'm going to add my flowers. And they are all different flowers on here, so I just lay it so that it's the best I can get it for covering up the one underneath. It's, this is the flower that we've actually taken ah, okay. from that is the actual extra stamp that yeah. I've stamped out. So this one is going to fit perfectly, but the others you just have to, she says. <laughs> I, was al I was also thinking, actually, Julie, just looking at the leaves, if you were to get those and, and put them in a round, you would create another flower. Yeah. That would be a good idea. You, you would. That would be lovely, and it would give you a different-looking flower as yeah. well. Yeah. Fab. Love that, Janice. Always great to get a bit more out of your stamps, isn't it? That's the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, so I'm going to bring my card blank back in, and I'm going to use a blending brush again. Let's get my brown one. And I'm going to bring in a bit of walnut stain. 
Again, it's just a distressed oxide ink pad. And I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm going to make it slightly different from the one, the original one, because I think it's always nice to play, you know, do something a little bit different the second time. Yeah. So I'm going to ink around the edge. Just blending the colour in softly. Want it a little bit darker on the outside edge and then blending in a bit smaller. And I don't need to cover the whole card, obviously, because I'm going to put that circle down. So I know that I only really need a bit of colour around the edge. So being a true crafter, I don't want to waste my ink. No. <laughs> and it needs to put it where I need it. <laughs> OK, so now let me wipe that away so I don't get the card dirty. Now, this is when you need to make sure that you've got your card up the right way and that you've got the flat part of your card down before we actually glue our circle on to our card base. So just a bit of glue on the back and making sure I've got it up the right way for the wording. Yeah, that's that way. And I'm going to leave this white around the edge because I just think it's going to just pop off the card a little bit. I'm going to give it a different look. And then you can decide whether you want to ink around the edges of that one as well or whether you just want to have the white part showing. I like that. OK, so then I've got some little sequins. You get these as dies in with the circles. And I've got a little bit of gold mirror card with my sequins all in. And I'm just quickly going to run them through my die cutting machine. And just to show you, because it, it's so lovely, with the gold mirror, they really come out beautifully. So let's pop these out. And you get the detail of the sequin showing. Might need to pop them out with my pokey tool. Wow, so you can make as many sequins as you like in all different yes. colours. Use them in shaker cards, crafting projects. Absolutely. And if you put the embossing mat in your die cutting machine, yeah. I don't know if we can pick up the that. I think we can on the sequin. just about see it. Just about. Yeah. OK, so I've got some that I've already put foam pads on. So I'm going to dot these around and then I will glue the other ones down. So it's quite nice to have a bit of texture. So raise some up and then have some down flat as well, just to add a bit of variety to the card. <clears throat> so we'll put we'll have another one over here. Another one here. And I like to put them around the sentiment as well because it draws your eye into the sentiment then as well. Yeah. Well, that's so, so nice. I'm going to put my... I'm going to have my sentiment down down here as before. So this is when the vertical sentiments really do come into their own. So I have already stamped some. So I'll just explain. So what I normally do is I use my banner die... Yep. and die cut all the banners out first of all okay and then i stamp my sentiments so i've already done this and you can do black sentiments and have white embossing as well oh, look at so that. the choice is entirely up to in fact let's put a black and white one on this yeah. one uh, these let's have now that. sold out individually and sold out in the whole complete collection as well um so anyone that went to the full collection um, or individually buying them would have got those at the start of the show. But that's the stamp set that we're using, that blooming floor. Isn't it lovely with the text in the background? But nearly half the stock has gone. And the text in the background has got all lovely quotes uh, for friendship, uh, which is beautiful. It really, really is. So have a read of that when you get it home and, and pick out some of those words that you can see there. Isn't it lovely? Thankful for you. Oh, wonderful inside and out. Isn't that lovely? Um, so if you do want to go for that set, many of you are. £14.00. 99 pence eight stamps in total oh, sorry eight stamps in total uh, seven six eight two two seven is your item number for that one back to julie okay so that's my card on the right that i've just made so this is the one with the white background and i put a black sentiment on it this time and then the original one is the one now i've just added little drops of um, liquid pearls around the edge. Oh, lovely. So obviously that takes a bit of time and you need to be careful. So you want to do that bit last of all. So let everything dry or leave yes. it flat to dry 
and you're good to go. I do like that. They look they look like fancy biscuits. They're beautiful. They do, don't they? They're absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Really like that. Um, all right then, Julie. Well, we'll let you get set up for your next demonstration, and we'll give a reminder to everyone at home what they can buy and what we've got left for them. My word, we're having a busy show, and it's great to have your company. If you have just joined us, we are the Craft Store. Uh, we we've got a website, thecraftstore.com. That is the easiest way that you can buy from us, and you can watch and buy at the same time. You can watch on your TV. TV. You can buy via the smart app if you want to, or you can give us a call. It is a national rate number, and the call centre are right here in the building, ready to take your call. Right, let's go through the individuals available for you. You've got your blooming floral. I'm always pointing at the wrong one. Beg your pardon, your blooming floral. Um, and this is the one that Julie was just demonstrating there. Isn't that lovely with the text in the background? And um, when you use this without your masking techniques, you can quite easily stamp it out in one go which is beautiful and if you want to cut them out and then place them on top do a little bit of decoupage uh, you can do um, really really do like that one and so do you seven six eight two two seven is your item number right next to that will i point to the right one Yes, got there. Uh, this is your floral fancy, uh, fantasy rather. Um, nearly 40% of the stock has gone. This is an interesting one actually because you can put uh, your sentiments into that circle and you can rotate it. You can rotate it. As you see it there on the stamp set, you can use it uh, horizontal. You can put it vertical as well. Please use those flowers separately and use them for different designs as well. You can make wreaths with those. You can also add stems if you want to, but you see how it looks different. That's how we were looking at it in the stamp set. And now we rotate it. And again, you've got that lovely card topper, which is beautiful. 14 pounds and 99 pence. 276918 is your item number. And then we've got the pair of stamps at the bottom. You've got your florals for you and your floral foliage. Um, beautiful set, actually. And if you take the elements of that separately, how lovely is this as a card? Just the three flowers there. How beautiful. You could, of course, start layering them up if you do know your masking techniques and start to create like a bunch of flowers, which would be really nice. The foliage in there as well. Use that on its own. You don't always have to put that with flowers. It looks amazing. I like this technique with the colour in the background and then the white that you've got here and just the outline of the stamp. That one is by Philippa. The whole of the design team have done such a fabulous job. This one is by Marion. How lovely is that? 556 three double two your item number, £17.98. That's for both of those stamp sets. Right, whilst you check out your baskets and as we head towards another demonstration, take a look at this inspiration. <music> Sending you lots and lots of happiness. Okay, uh, we've got some more uh, goodies for you. These are beautiful. You've got your stamp and you've got your die. This makes it easy. You don't need to fussy cut. So you stamp and then you cut out. Or if you want to, some people cut out and then they stamp on top. It's entirely up to you how you put this together. But already a quarter of the stock has gone. Oh, my goodness, you've not even seen these. Uh, right, we've got some lovely uh, samples to show you. Absolutely gorgeous. The stamps themselves, you see you've got your main flower in there. You could stamp that individually. You could just have that as a flower top if you want to. But it is attached to the other flower and the beautiful foliage 
gratitude that you've got in there. You've got the love heart and then you've got that lovely text. And again, that is all about special friendship, believe in yourself. How lovely would that be if you were to stamp that and emboss that right in uh, the middle of a card? Let me get that. Uh, no, the other way. There you go. There you go. Okay, so imagine that embossed i'll hold that still for you uh for my special friend believe in yourself for always being here or always being there sorry miss you life is and then it's a continuation if you see that of your text but you could highlight you know i cherish our friendship you could highlight that if you want to for example um absolutely stunning and with the die you get to cut out that stamped image and what's really nice about the die just showing you a couple of um examples here you could die cut it and then die cut it again so you've got the detail and the plane but you see how the text has been used in three different ways how lovely is that and I've got another sample here that I want to show you because I noticed this when I came in the studio and it immediately attracted my eye I thought isn't this gorgeous and then when I got closer to it just I don't want to ruin that but you can actually see that that's been die cut so precisely and with some glossy accents on there with the lovely gloss in the background, that, there you go. Look at that. Look at those stamens. They're actually separate. Isn't that amazing? And then with the stamens as well, you've got the element of the white around the outside. I just love that. I think that's a great sample. Um, now, we are a third of the stock gone of this collection. My word. Uh, it really is beautiful. And you could make and create some absolutely lovely cards, sentiments and designs using this because it's a whole ecosystem there. You've got the die and you've got the stamp. 820338. But you know something? Both of them will work separately. Now, we're very, very busy on the phone lines. I'm going to ask you if you can use the website. Can you do that? If you're sitting at home and you've got a tablet, computer, or if you've got a smartphone, you can download the app. Um, just head to the relevant stores. I do believe it's still under the old name, Chanda, um, but that is being changed. But it will come up as the craft store. I don't know why I said it like my mum used to talk about things you can't talk about. Oh, Chanda. Um, <laughs> I can say the word ho chanda it's fine um but it's 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 under that it's under that name uh download the app and then you can buy or head to the website thecraftstore.com find the julie hickey page just go to the show select what you want and then you can check out it's really it takes moments moments to set up uh right so that would be the best way to order because we're very very busy on the phone lines right now, the circle dies. Oh, we're limited stock on these. This is a delightful collection. This has your sequins in there. It's got your flowers. It's got your love hearts. And you've got all of those circles in there. And do you know what I like about this collection? It's not just round circles. You've got frills on those. Frills? Yeah, frills on those circles as well. So you can start to make, I mean, for example, those two together, you cut those two out. And that's your flower right there in your different colours. So you could then doodle inside the middle and uh, centre of that flower if you want to. Eight, uh, nine eight seven zero nine five is your item number but you'll see here when you're using this particular collection how lovely that's going to be when you're making your stepper cards isn't that lovely really like that gorgeous 12 pounds and 99 pence but look at the saving of six pounds my word oh technically sold out we'll let you know if any uh bounce back oh is that a shame oh well uh, we've got hexagons. Now, hexagons are really popular because the geometric shaping of designs at the moment is very, very on trend. It really is. So why don't you take that from your designs in your home to your designs in your car? So you could be on trend as well. If you've got B stamps or B dies, they're going to <laughs> that sounded wrong. B dies. Um, if you've got any of those, they'd look uh, remarkable on there. Not your B days, your B dies. Uh, £12.99, I had to go there, sorry. 748759 is your item number. Welcome to the wonderful mind of Janice. Not everyone's taste. Right, uh, next up. <laughs> Next up, we've got your frames and your rectangles in here. £10.99, pence, saving of £5. This is it. You've got great savings on this show, so take advantage and maybe add up the savings that you're making. It's an incredible deal if you're going for more than one die set or stamp set. Uh, 118706, 1099 for eight dies in total. Let me show you a lovely sample here. Isn't this gorgeous? This is just layering up all of those dies. Doesn't it make a difference? It's a difference, doesn't it? How pretty is that? Uh, £10.99. 
Right, now, we did have a sneaky peek of the rainbow. I don't know why I'm rolling my arse today. A rainbow stamp. Uh, I love this. When I went to school many, many years ago, the first day at school, you get allocated a peg and a draw. And instead of your name, because you can't spell your name or write your name then, um, well, I couldn't, maybe I was a bit slow, I don't know. Uh, they gave you a picture and mine was a rainbow. So that stuck with me throughout my life and then became a really good symbol of my life later on as well. Uh, £11.98, you've got your rainbow in there, you've got your love hearts, you've got your little droplets in there, you've got your cloud as well and then you've got that lovely um, border. You've got some eyelashes in there them on the cloud isn't that I uh, do you know what what a lovely idea that would be um and what a lovely example as well um you've got the little droplets as well aren't they great you've got 50 of those in all the colors of the rainbow now we've had a, uh, an email about this stamp set and it comes to you from heather heather says just to say she loves she she's a cat's mother sorry heather loves the rainbow uh, stamp set and loves the vertical sentiments as well. They're so useful and great quality. Julie, you are a star. Thank you. Oh, isn't that lovely? Some, this is a lovely sample here. Now, this is using the droplets. They're self-adhesive, so you don't need any glue. Um, you can see that you've also got the stamps and you've also got the droplets as well. You get 50 of the droplets. They're going to last you uh, quite some time if you use them like that. Which is lovely. And then another lovely... Do you know what? That's almost like hands giving that rainbow a hug i love that how lovely is that of course sending hugs sending rainbow hugs 11 pounds and 98 pence and the rainbow means so much to so many different groups so many different um uh meanings and sayings isn't it it's lovely uh right 11 pounds and 98 pence 883 is your item number and the final one we've got for you pure and simple hugs oh now this also comes with those lovely glossy accent droplets as well so in there you've got thank you birthday sending hugs take care stay safe happy birthday uh you've also got in there thank you we i you and miss because of course you can add those to the other words in there i like that sending hugs font that reminds me of a certain movie i don't know what it is but it does it does and then you've got happy in there stay safe coming down wishing you a wonderful day isn't that nice because sometimes it doesn't have to be someone's birthday just wishing somebody a wonderful day uh, some nice little samples here so you've got happy birthday just here which is lovely again something simple something very very easy you don't always have to stamp lots of different images on there just a sentiment and there you go isn't that lovely and i think that might have been made using the ripping paper technique where you rip a piece of paper and then you do the ink and then you take the paper away there you go 11 pounds and 98 pence 978 536 is your item number so the best way to order is the website we're incredibly busy on the phone lines it is great to have your company though here at the craft store let's head back on skype to julie by the way julie what part of the country are you skyping from um i live in surrey i'm about Three minutes from Gatwick Airport. Are you? I bet it's quiet at the moment. It's much quieter at the moment. Yes, it's been lovely. <laughs> oh, bless. Nice part of the world, though. Nice part of the world down the A23, yes. isn't it? Or the M23? Yes. Yes. Yep, either. Yep. Lovely. Yep. Uh, right, Julie, we're continuing with the demos. We are very busy, though. What are we going to have a look at now? OK, so we're going to have a look at the rainbow um, stamp set. Okay. So, and I wanted to use it with my um, rectangle dies as well, because these are really lovely to make either mats for your card, so you can die cut the complete back piece so that you get a mat like this, which is lovely because it's got that scallop edge onto it. And it's also got the detailing of little dots yeah, like around that. the edge as well. Like that. But you can, you can also use two of the frames together. And you can create the frame then that goes on top of your mat. Oh, lovely. So they are really, really versatile. And so I thought it was perfect to use that, that die set with the stamp set. Excellent. So I'm going to start off. First of all, I have my back piece that I've already die cut. So my lovely scallop um, rectangle. And I'm going to pop that down into my stamping press. And I'm going to stamp my rainbow. 
So just pop that down. I need to place it, because I've cut my frame as well, I can place that in the stamping press, and then I know exactly where I need to place my stamp within that, that actual area. And okay. I need to leave a space because I want to have a sentiment and my clouds. Love that. So I need it fairly near to the top. So I pick my stamp up, I can take my frame away, and then grab my black. Again, I'm using VersaFine because it's really good ink, whether you want to watercolour, whether you're colouring in, anything that you want to put water with, VersaFine is a really good good choice of ink. And does that dry so, really quickly so you can start watercolouring uh, instantly? You need to be a bit careful. It can sometimes take a little bit of time to dry. So maybe just a quick blast with the heat tool. Yeah. Um, if you're if you're impatient like I am, that is what I like to do. So I would give that a quick blast and then I can colour in. OK, so I have already done that. So I use my Karin markers for this because it's they're such lovely, vibrant colours. So I literally just put a little bit of colour around the edge and then I used a wet paintbrush to bleed the colour down a little bit. So it does. It's a bit variegated, the colouring. So it's not exact. Do you know, which, just, just I think with the rainbows. Yeah, just looking at that, I've just gone back to my childhood to the programme, which was called <laughs> after the very same thing. Just went directly back there. I thought the streets oh, and houses were going to come in then. That's it. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from the Sending Hugs stamp set, I'm going to take Wishing You a Wonderful Day. And again, I'm going to place my frame just back in so that I can position my sentiment towards the bottom, but knowing I've got it in the right place for when I take actually put the frame on the card. So again, just pick that up. Again, just with a bit of black VersaFine. Do you want another idea for your rainbow, Julie? Yeah, go on. Yeah, of course. How about back to back and it becomes a butterfly? Oh, yes. Yeah. We've done it as complete circles, which yeah. looks very re retro. Yeah, I bet but it does. But I don't does. think any of us have done it. Back to yeah, back. Yeah, that's lovely, Janice. Yeah. Thank you. We must do more shows together. <laughs> <laughs> Loving all these ideas. I love the idea of highlighting the words on the background yeah. stamp. I yeah. think that's fabulous. That would be nice, yeah. Okay, so I've got my stamping done now, so I can pop that to one side. And I have already stamped and hand cut my clouds. And I've coloured a couple of them. Um, with my carry markers and I just wanted to do a couple just to show you so usually what I do is just put a bit of colour around the edge and these so are very worry what these it... are very British clouds because they're full of rain <laughs> yeah I think it's on its way isn't it this afternoon so yes. we're all right at the moment but I do think it's going to be on its way OK, so I just get my water brush, make sure I've got some pink in here. So just clean that off. Shouldn't really do it on the back of your hand, but you know. And then we can move the colour. So I just come round and I let the water just sort of start to move the colour. Don't want it to be exact because I want it to look fluffy almost. Yes. And I really love the effect that you can get with them just by adding that little bit of water. You know, all I did was a bit of colour around the edge. So again, just I've got a paler colour. The carry markers, they are beautiful. They're so juicy. Um, the, the nibs on them are fabulous. They're such a lovely pen to work with. They really are. They're nice just outlined, actually, those clouds. They are. Yeah. Yep. yep. So just move the water and don't worry about your brushes, too, you know, the brush marks too much because that actually adds a bit of texture to it all. OK, so I'm going to place everything down on my card now. And now this would actually be... A really easy card. I did think about this when I was making it. You could turn this into a shaker card so easily. That's a good so idea. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to put some glue down so that my base is on my card first of all. Well, we're very busy for this stamp set. Is it 80% gone? A nearly 80% oh, wow. of the stock has gone. It's a lovely set. It really is. And as we say, it, the rainbow means so much to so many people, and it's just, it's an image that just makes you smile again and again, isn't it? It is. It's just for making cheerful cards. Even if you just want to send somebody a card because you're thinking of them, it is perfect for that. So if I put a bit of acetate on the back of here and some foam tape, I could then fill this with sequins 
and put this on here and it would be a fabulous shaker card oh how lovely that would that would have been fabulous but i didn't think about that so i'm sorry actually in your shaker card here's another idea because a rainbow is made up of rain and sunshine you could have little suns and little raindrops oh yeah that would be fab inside yeah so i'm going to put my big clouds down first of all just glue those down and then take a foam pad and pop that on the back of my little cloud and then I can 3D that and just overhang them slightly. Oh, lovely. So just so it's a bit offset. That's so nice. And we need to remember that we've got our frame to come in as well. So yeah. we don't want to overhang too much. So then I've got some strips of foam pads. Whoops. So I'm going to place that. Bring my frame in. Make sure I've got it on the reverse side now. We're limited stock on this set, just to let everyone oh know. Sorry goodness. for the interruptions, <laughs> but I don't want anyone missing out if they have just joined us. Limited stock means we've only got a couple left. A handful left. Uh, pop the. Oh, it's technically sold out. Oh if, any, if any bounce back, we'll let everybody know, but technically sold out. So what we'll do is we'll put the details for the frame on the screen because Julie's using that, and then we can continue demoing. Lovely. We've had such a fantastic show. I have to thank everybody so much. Thank you. Oh, well, you're a delight to watch, Julie. You're very inspirational. Oh, thank you. And I love all your ideas. So, you know, great team. Oh, just put the check in okay. the post, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so just taking all the backing paper away and then we can bring this back in and Work in one corner, get one corner fixed down, and then you'll be fine. And then we have to add some of these beautiful glossy droplets. Aren't they lovely? Oh, they're just beautiful. So I'm going to have a couple of deep purpley ones on the outside edge because that's the outside part of my rainbow. Yep. You don't have to, obviously, um, keep it exact to the rainbow. You can change your colours as well you know you don't have to go with the rainbow colors but oh. and i'm going to have an orange one up there oh and i'm going to go with the yellow one let's have a yellow it's nice to have them at different heights as well like, yeah i like so that you get some variety so let's not have the same colors on this side let's go with green down there and let's have a pinky orangey one up there Oh, no. And so what you can do as well, you could always add um, glitter glue. I added glitter glue to my clouds on the one that I made previously. But you could glitter your rainbow. You could add glossy accents to the rainbow. Oh, there's just so much you can do to it to decorate it as well. It's fabulous. You certainly could. Um, I've got another idea, just looking at the one on the right. The two <laughs> droplets, they actually look like eyes, and the clouds are the eyebrows, and the rainbow is the hair. Now I can't get that image out of my head. Uh, they're wonderful. They really, really are. Thank you, Julie, for that. Uh, but we have sold out of the uh, rainbow die set. But what we do have for you, the frames. Now, these are brilliant. Um, right, start here, yes. 80% uh, of the stock has gone. This was the one that Julie was using. Uh, shall I drop the sample in and hold it up? I'll hold it up for you. Because um, this is a way you can use your frames to start building that really lovely, beautiful design. You could stamp in there, or you could just use paper, because the frames themselves really do build up that lovely design. £10.99. Uh, that is for your full set right there, including the banners. So saving of £5 on that. Uh, great deal. Absolutely brilliant deal. Oh, it's gone limited stock, 118706. Don't miss out on that. Pop that into your basket and do check on out. If items stay in your basket for 10 minutes or more, they'll come out. Someone else will get them. We don't want that to happen. Now, something that's very on trend at the moment, your hexagons, very, very on trend. Um, and... You've got your corner pieces as well. So you've got a whole variety of dies in here. 11 dies for your hexagons. You've got your fuller hexagons in the middle. Um, and then you've got your corner ones as well, which I think uh, is a great way of using them. Here's a nice stepper card put together using them in such a way. Isn't that lovely? £12.99. 748759 is your item number. Perfect. Uh, right. More for you on the show. We've got the florals for you. Now, this is, is, is a great deal. It really is because not only are you getting the stamps, but you're getting the dye as well. You can use them independently. So you could just cut out your flowers 
and enjoy them that way. Or you could stamp and then cut out because a die corresponds to the flowers. So this is excellent value for money. That eleven ninety eight isn't each. That's for both of them. You're saving nine pounds. So in essence, really, I'd say you're getting one of those for free, um, which is a great deal. It really, really is. Um, again, 70% of the stock has gone. Love this sample. Being able to cut that out. You've got that lovely white around the edge of the stamp as well. Just makes it stand out. Really, really like that particular sample. I think that one's done by Hazel. Yeah, it was from the design team. And that background, you imagine giving that. Here's the thing. Do a card like this. Uh, or similar to, if we're allowed to, you know, go on that theme. Don't copy it, but go on the theme of the background using the stamps and give them some pencils so they could colour it in because it'd make a nice little colouring practical gift as well as a card. Uh, 820338 is your item number. Now 80% of the stock has gone. Love those three love hearts. They'd be really nice if you hand make anything and you could put handmade by and the three little love hearts underneath. It could be your little logo. Uh, 820338 is your item number. Now the update on the frames. Oh, we're technically sold out on the oh, on the frames with the banners. Uh, oh, they are. They're just here. Wow. Um, yeah, they've gone. That's the fifth sellout of the show. Fifth sellout of the show. They've gone. Uh, right. Let's tell you what we do have. What do we have left? Right. We have got your blooming florals, which are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, they're limited stock. Your blooming florals, limited stock. Really like those. Love that text in the background. That's the one that we were talking about with all those friendship quotes that you could highlight if you wanted to. Uh, so that is a beautiful stamp. And again, when you use that with the text in the background, it stamps out beautifully. And you don't need to do your masking techniques because Julie's thought about that and she's done that for you within that whole stamp. So that is lovely. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous. 14 pounds and 99 pence, eight stamps in total, 768227. Um, oh, we're going to say goodbye to Julie now. Oh, my goodness, Julie, we're heading to the end of the show. I can't believe it. Uh, it's gone very, very quickly. It's absolutely flown by. And just so, thank you so much. I'm absolutely thrilled to have so many sellouts. So thank you, everybody who's put stuff in their baskets. Hope you enjoy creating with them and thank you to the design team for all their help as well. Yeah, they've done a remarkable job. And I think th the one thing that I think has clinched it is your star jumper. Always clinches <laughs> it. <laughs> what are you working on at the moment, Julie? What can we look forward to? Oh, lots of new exciting things. Got some new products coming. We're working on Christmas. That's nearly sorted. So, yeah, we'll be back in the studio very soon. Oh, lovely. Julie, thank you so much. It's been an absolute joy and an absolute pleasure. Enjoy the rest of your day. Get out in the sunshine before the rain comes. Not wish to put a damper <laughs> on it. But, uh, yeah, thank you very much, Julie. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Oh, okay, take, care. take care. Oh, the lovely Julie Hickey. Isn't it lovely to have her on the show uh, live via Skype? Now, we do have some of the stamp sets left a couple of the dice sets left you can head to the website and see those and check out your basket after the show because you continue buying which is brilliant but do be quick because they're selling out very very quickly uh stay where you are though or go and grab yourself a cup of tea you've got a few moments left before we're back with another show Right, I've got some news for you. There is a gift with your purchase in the next hour. We're letting Leone loose. Can't wait for that. A fabric Freedom Boutique One Day Special and then the Lace Knittery. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Ultimate finish, cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. 
If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five-piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the craft store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. for a treat over the next 24 hours because it is the second birthday of Stamperia and uh, there's a fantastic bonus gift with purchase but the lady is going to tell you all about it and this collection is amazing I've already been tarting on the face cloth is our lovely Leone oh thank you our lovely Fee tarting on the face cloth that makes me laugh um okay yes it is um the second birthday of Stamperia here at um well Walsh Chanda obviously the craft store now um and it's so exciting I mean I am utterly delighted that I can bring Stamperia to you because I love them. The first time I ever saw Stamperia, we were in Frankfurt, um, and me and Michelle, and I said to Michelle, oh my gosh, I loved everything. The stand was so exciting. The papers, the rice papers, the best rice paper ever. I mean, still, they are the best when it comes to rice paper, in my humble opinion. Um, and they've, obviously, they've added to the collection with beautiful art, with amazing um, designers, and of also with with other stuff like the molds, like the gorgeous stencils, like paints, the paints are beautiful. So yeah, it's um, a wonderful, wonderful company. Such a beautiful, inspirational company. I mean, there are lots of inspirations out there from them. Um, you can see their YouTube. They've got a brilliant YouTube channel uh, where there's some really, I mean, the designers are amazing and they share some of the work on YouTube. So that, please have a look, because honestly, you learn so much. Um, and the quality is obviously phenomenal I know they've got a massive following I know you're waiting to see this um, and this is beautiful it's so exciting we have got our let loose day and we've got a one day special later on this evening different uh, designs they're both exceptional absolutely exceptional now in today's show in the let loose show this is absolutely beautiful I tell you um, so, Atelier des Arts, so you have got the, the beautiful, um, well, it's all about art, of course, you know, you've got the, the art itself, you've got all the artist's equipment, it's absolutely inspirational. Let me show you the 12 by 12 pad, first of all. Now, let me see, I am going to have to move this so I don't have to hold it up. Um, I think... Sorry, this. In, I'm sorry, Jim. I am going to show this one because that's partly ripped and partly not, so it's an absolute pain to show. Um, so if I show you this one, it will be a bit easier for me. Okay. Now the lovely thing with the papers. Uh, first of all, they're not. Um, there's no coating. So you're using the front, you're using the back of the papers. I mean, they're exquisite. Your first page, you've got all those beautiful embellishments, and of course, you've got wonderful, wonderful um, sentiments on there as well. 
if there is feeling, there is art. Art is everywhere, absolutely. Um, oh, I love this collection, look at that. I mean, do you not just want to be there? You, oh, it's just full of colour, it's full of vibrancy. Um, and as ever, it's still got that collage work, and that's the collage work that uh, Stamperia do so well. I mean, that looks beautiful. You know, it looks like that, that it looks like the table here if I've had, this is why we've now got plastic colours coverings on it. Uh, but it just looks gorgeous with the paint, with the brushes. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It is really busy. Please check your baskets out. Do go to the website. You can see all the other bundles that we've got. I love it because again, it's just got that really vintage look, but it's the shabby chic. But it is, yeah, the colour is exquisite. I love this because it's got movement in it as well. You know, the way they've done that layering is really, really different. Obviously, all double-sided I mean, when we get to that paper, how beautiful is that? She looks divine. I mean, again, you can see the, the art in there. You can. I love that they've married up the script. I love that kind of uh, Japanese influence with that as well. It's just exquisite. And then look at the other side. Oh, isn't that just romantic? Um, just beautiful. Um, and the thing is with this, it's the colour palette. That is gorgeous. Now, thing is with this, you are only getting one sheet per design. We have got another bundle which will give you... I love this one. I love this one. And I'll just point out as well, like, can you see the, the little drawers? Where did I see it? It might have been not on this finished sample. It might have been on one of other finished samples. But the little drawers on one of the finished samples, they've sent them from Stamperia. And they've cut these little drawers out and used them. And, you know, it's it's looking into the papers. It's just exquisite. Anyway, if you do want um, this paper with the 8x8, you can get hold of that. It's just there at the bottom of the screen. It's worth getting hold of that because, obviously, this, you you want every single page. I mean, look at that. That is pure money, isn't it, quite frankly? What is that? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Is it is money. It looks like it's money. money. Mm. Um, absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, and I love this one. I love all those layers. I love all the different sentiments. It's just incredible. This is why I would highly recommend buying the second set as well. Because then you don't care about cutting it up. You will then be able to use every single paper because every single paper is a joy. I've often said Stampiri should do wallpaper. Um, I'm not going Mm. I, if I had that, mm. that I would love wallpaper mm. like that. Wouldn't that be phenomenal? Definitely. That is stunning, stunning. They should also do fabric because yeah. the, the stuff that they do, oh, it would, tr oh, I'd love clothes in the stuff they do. Now, these are beautiful because these are all double sided. So it looks like your you're beautiful. Um, your art and then on the other side it's your actual at uh, the back of the canvas which i just find fabulous which means obviously if you were using these in your book for your journaling card how amazing is that that you've got the art on the front and then the back of the canvas that attention to detail is phenomenal you know it's that that makes stamperia so special i love this with all the mm. cases all stacked up gorgeous absolutely gorgeous at the bottom there again you've got that beautiful so and i love this because that almost looks like a marble imprint doesn't it the colors on there oh just fabulous um and again everything's so different <gasps> this one i love it because uh, our fee's got a gasp there oh. but that is a proper artist table isn't it you know with all that stuff on it you've got your color swatches you've got your your paints your acrylics your um your beautiful watercolors there the palette of course which is just sensational i love looking at these papers properly because there's so much on them you have to look at them properly you know even the ones that, i mean that one would be considered plain nothing plain about it you know every single paper every single piece of paper is exquisite i love this with all the color charts and the color wheels it's just beautiful you could be cutting those up you could be using um little you know that you could be using them separate as little charts but obviously it makes for a beautiful big um 12 by 12 piece of paper and then if i flip that oh look at that I mean, that is just delightful, isn't it? Again, absolutely beautiful. I'll whip that one away, show you that. Love that.
Yeah, I love, love, love that. Again, you want to, and with that one, oh, in fact, I wonder if I'll be able to do that in second hour. In second hour, I want to actually cut this and make it 3D. You could do that. You could easily make that 3D. I mean, yeah, that finished sample, that they've kind of taken the, the look of this and made it 3D. I mean, they've sent this from Stamperia. And I'm not, that is just the most beautiful finished sample I've ever seen. It's exquisite. Um, and then we've got, now this is a cracker because these are all ready for you to cut out. And there's so many beautiful elements. You know, the, the flowers, of course, inspiration. Um, all the paintbrushes there. And I like it because they all look a bit dog-eared and proper used, don't they? And then that's the back of the paper, of course. Now, that's your 12 by 12. That is only your 12 by 12 paper pad. I mean, that is only the 12 by 12. You have also got in this kit um, your your moulds. Now, the moulds are gorgeous. Your first mould is your 12 by um, your A4 mould. Uh, these are a soft mould, perfect for your uh, cold pores. And you've got in here all your, your brushes. You've got your beautiful little tags there. You've got the wonderful um, little hearts at the bottom. Really beautiful mould. There's so many elements in this one um, I love this mold so you've got that first of all you've then got and this is beautiful because you've got so much in here I love that you've got um, all those beautiful sentiments I mean you can cut them up you can use them independently but obviously you can use that as a massive background if you want and it's just going to give you texture wonderful to use with your cream paste of course and then you've got your rice paper now the rice paper is beautiful you have got one sheet of each of these rice papers now this um, bundle you are saving three pounds if you wanted all the rice paper the 12 by 12 and everything on the show uh, it, it, you can do that you can get everything um, it is a bit of a faff and I do apologize it's the way it's been set up um, but but you can get everything however it's all separate bundles so please check the website out um, the the uh, the rice paper is the best rice paper in my opinion in the world uh, Stamperia were um, I think the first company to actually print onto mulberry paper. Um, the print is phenomenal. The quality of the print is absolutely spot on. They fill the page. Not only do they fill the page, but they fill the page so it makes sense. You know, every single element makes sense. It's beautifully colour fast. So when you use your um, your your glues, etc., to put this on, you're not losing any colour. Um, I mean, they are beautiful. The rice papers are beautiful. You can get more of the rice papers you do have to be quick with that I know we haven't got tons of that one uh, 161689 and we have got another set of rice papers which we are going to be showing you in a minute um, and again let's have a look at that finished sample because that is exquisite and thank you so much uh, to the Stamperia gang for sending this in I mean it is amazing you know they've layered it so they've used a nice uh, palette and it's a chipboard palette that they've used well wood heavy wood chip um, palette that they've used and just layer so they've put rice paper underneath. They've used the stencils that we've got on the show. They've used the paints that we've got on the show. Um, and then, of course, they've layered with the papers. They've layered with the, the beautiful embellishments that we've got on the show as well. And it just gives it, it's got texture. It's got movement. It looks phenomenal. I mean, that at the bottom, the crackle, I think that is proper. Yeah, they've used proper crackle glaze there. It's just about layers, 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 layers. I mean, this is what Stamperia is so good at. You know, they are so good. This is amazing. And this one, now that mould we've got coming up, we have got that mould um, on the show, so please get ahead of us because it's got some beautiful frames. But you can see it weighs a ton because they've done that with, um, I think it must be with resin, but it's well over. But then they've used the papers inside, they've used the papers on the back, they've used the papers on this, um, that one, uh, the little flowers come off, and then they've used the paper. I mean, that's just one of the papers, but it looks beautiful. That is so beautiful. Uh, now, if you do want to get hold of this collection, it is amazing. It is exceptionally busy. If you would like to get hold of this, a quarter of the stock has already gone. I will point out very quickly, and this is a really, and I'm going to apologise because 
this mold you can only get this mold with the other two molds and that is so annoying and i am so sorry about the way that's been set up um because it is beautiful but and i know you're not going to really want to buy the molds again i know i'm sorry um if, uh, but 898 232 so if you did want that mold it does come with the other two molds that are in that bundle i did want to tell you about that even though yeah you're, you're probably going yeah i'm not doing that though i'm a leone no i know sorry uh, we've also got the free gift let me just show you this now the free gift is lovely rice uh, stone paper now stone paper is like magic then um, stone paper you can sew into it you can um you can wash it. I mean, not going to wash this because it's a pad, but you can do all sorts with stone paper. It's very, very durable. You can't tear it, but you can cut it. It's a really cool product. This is your stone paper notepad, um, and you can see it's got that beautiful silver sheen to this. It's absolutely exquisite. That is your gift with purchase. So if you are going for anything on the Stamperia show today in your Let Loose, that's your free gift. So please check your baskets out when we launch the one day special tonight which is also stampier and ridiculously beautiful um we will have a different free gift for that one if you want your cream paste and your clay which obviously i'll be talking about in this hour but that's going to be on the later shows so um just to, to make you aware okay Phew, let's move on. Um, so, it is very, very busy, and I'm not surprised in the slightest. Um, when we saw what Stampy were releasing for this year, I mean, oh, it, it's like everything is beautiful, but I must admit, when I saw this collection, it was like, that is one of my favourite collections ever. It's ridiculously stunning. Now, in this one, you're getting the big 12 by 12 which we've just seen. You're also getting the 8 by 8s I love that you're getting the 8 by 8 as well, because obviously it means you've got smaller embellishments which is lovely and also it means uh, cutting up your 12 by 12 is a little bit easier because you have got the images again i do like having the smaller images it, it's really nice having that choice because sometimes um, you don't want the, the really large suitcases. Do you know what I mean? So this is a really nice way of getting everything. And again, all the images are the same. It's just as beautiful, just reduced in size. But yeah, exquisite. If you would like that, that is always busy. When we do these bundles, because everybody who's going for the big bundle, we all want a second pad because it makes it so much easier cutting into it. And I encourage cutting into it. A third of the stock has already gone. 1754 four four now everything's going to be dispatched from the 26th of may because obviously it's coming from the budapest um but please get those baskets checked out and that's when you'll get that free gift um if you are a massive fan already of Stampiri, I know a lot of you are massive fans of Stampiri. Send your photos in. I love seeing what you've been creating. And I find them so inspirational, and I know you do too. Now, oh, look at this rice paper. Um, okay, so we've got uh, different rice papers. Obviously, you'll recognise that straight away because that is part of your paper pad as well. So you are getting two of each of these designs and uh, they are fabulous absolutely fabulous i mean yeah the detail in fact i'll pick them up from the back stop doing stop destroying the the pack shop darling um yeah the details are amazing i love the the cases they're just beautiful so you've got all the wonderful cases again layered phenomenally it's just so exquisite. You've then got all your beautiful frames, which again has got so much, um, oh, so much colour, so much thought gone into these. And then, oh, that is beautiful. You're getting to each of these. I'm so pleased because that, that is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's one of those that you want to do so much with everything because everything is just so exquisite. That is amazing. Again, sent to us by Stamperia. Um, just layers of wonderfulness. You've got in the background, you've actually got on there, I think that's mainly papers, but in the background it'll be rice papers actually. So they'll use rice papers in the background with a mixture of papers, papers and rice paper on the front there. But again, it's all about those 
incredible layers and all about uh, combining everything to create something phenomenal. I mean, it is a work of art, isn't it? Absolute work of art. Now, if you do want your rice papers, £15.92, you are getting two of each, 29 five two zero please remember we have got um the new paints we have got all the which mixes and matches because that's what they do we've also got um the the beautiful chipboard and everything so honestly it is worth getting ahead of us um okay oh my gosh the stencils look at this stencil oh hold on a minute sorry packaging packaging i can't show you the stencil so you have got here um, look at that. Um, you have got those uh, beautiful, beautiful stencils. Um, and obviously with these, um, you can see the detail of these. They're absolutely phenomenal. And what I love about this, obviously, put that on a box, put that on a frame, put that on a canvas. It's going to look absolutely phenomenal. Uh, £15.97 is your price on that one, which is sensational. Now, that's your first one um, we have got thank you uh, we have got that's your second oh, sorry it's just so I could show you full stencil look at that oh man that is so lovely and um, what you've got with this you've got that incredible flourish at the top there they do they do give you a little hook as well so you can hang your stencils up I like that because at least then you're thinking about storage. You know, rather than folders and everything, just stick them on your wall. And then your wall will look like the, the artist um, studio, won't it, on the package and the, uh, the papers. That is absolutely beautiful. And I like that because it's got such a different style. For some reason, I don't know why I sort of see Mexican styling with this as well. But for some reason, I do. Yeah, day of the day kind of thing. And then this one, look at that. That is beautiful. That's kind of got that wonderful mandala. The top, I love this because obviously you can build that up. Isn't that fabulous? These stencils are beautiful. Only 59.7. Good quality stencils. You can use these with your, um, with your texture paste, with anything. Literally anything. And I love that border at the bottom. Now, you've got all three. I must admit, when I saw that one, it was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing amazing do, oh do you know what this is a lovely thing about stamperia there's five million things you can do with all the products and you want to you don't want to really come up for air you just want to craft um eight five six four four nine is your item number 15 pounds and nine seven pence is your price now next we've got for you um and again so many different things well, i'm not sure what you are hiding oh, oh one of the stencils and i've just messed it all up put it there instead so I'm like, oh yeah that was me messing it all up okay now your molds these are fabulous um, and really different the frames I'm loving the frames now I must admit I were doing these last night in air dry clay we have got air dry clay that's going to be on later on this evening um, but they would be phenomenal in resin I would absolutely love to use these in resin. Those moulds in resin, can you imagine? Um, really beautiful. This, this one I will use again and again and again. It's such a handy mould. You've then got your second one, which is amazing. Now you've got, again, the detail is phenomenal. You've got the butterflies there. You've got the florals. Um, and these, again, your embellishments that you can make. But look at the detail. Um, you can use these with your air dry clay. You can use any cold port, essentially. So they are beautiful for your resins as well. But yeah, I absolutely adore, adore these. And I love the ones at the bottom because obviously you can start building up. Um, you know, you can build up a whole background and yeah look look yeah bees at the minute there's um there's a bees some uh, bee swarm where I walk the dogs and it's on the ground so at the minute it's like oh bees <laughs> they're fine they're fine but it's a bit like oh there's a swarm of bees on the ground uh, where my dog runs um but anyway look at that frame See, now that, again, Stampier have sent this in. That is amazing. And I think, I think they've either used plaster. I think that's plaster, actually, because it feels really weighty. Isn't that beautiful? They've used the, um, the one of the moulds from the, the bundle that we've got. Just put a gorgeous hook on that, and it looks amazing. Some splashes. Yeah, Catherine would love that. I like that because it does look like that's been lifted out of an artist's studio. It's just phenomenal. They've sent this in as well. Honestly, the finished samples they've sent in are 
phenomenal. Phen oh, this is the one I was thinking of. You know where they've used uh, um, the doodah what's it's at the bottom? Isn't that amazing? Oh, honestly, their work is sensational. I, d I don't know, they haven't, oh, where have they put on who's done this? Um, Sarah. And Sarah, it might be Sarah, S-A-R-A, -A, but a beautiful, absolutely incredible work. I love all the layering. So she's used, so that's one of the moulds. These are actually the chipboard. So that's chipboard, and then she's used, that is the, um, the other uh, chipboard that we've got on the show, I do believe. And then she's used all the papers as well. So she's just used everything there. Oh, that is, honestly, that is some work, but that is sensational. Um, if you do want your moats, uh, gorgeous, £15 and £98 for both of those. So many embellishments there. 049263 is your item number, and they are flying out the door. Now the paints. The paints have been busy every single time Stampy River released a new set of paints. Some of them you might have got already in your different bundles, some you might not. Um, and this is the thing. What they do, they bring us, and I really like that they do, this they'll bring us paints that match so while you're looking at them let me just get the paper pad because have a look at this so you have got straight from the cover you look at the cover and it's ace because they've give us the red that's in there you know they've give us a beautiful blue that's in there the green look how well the greens match do you know what i mean they give us the color palette that will work with this. Um, I've got, I've already got some of these. So I've got turquoise, I do believe, and I've got milk white. So some of these you will already have. So check your palette. Um, but obviously, you might be using these quite a lot because they are good quality paints. The price is amazing. They always give us a really good price. So £13 saving there. And honestly, they're really nice paints. They're really fluid. They're beautiful colours and highly, highly recommend these. £16.94 pence is your price. 993-393 is your item number. I'm so pleased that Stamperia um, have done paints. I'm so pleased because it just kind of finishes, you know, the whole collection off now we've got for you we, we are going to do everything um so just just bow and i do apologize but at least you get to see everything now you know when i was saying about the finished samples the frames these are some of the frames so can you see around the edge there that frame so on this one this has got so many different elements you've got frames and frames and frames in this one and what i love about this you will use those for so many different projects in fact i will show you because this is sarah's as well in fact have a look at this so can you see that frame there that is that and when you look at it you think no way but it is so that frame is that and you can see, you can see the detail now. Honestly, these are, again, absolutely gorgeous. The way she's done that is just inspirational. She is a, an amazing uh, designer. So you've got so many elements there. You've then got now this one, even more frames. And I love the fact you've got even more frames because you are going to be layering these up. They're all die cut, so these will all pop out. Obviously, you can paint them, you can do all sorts with these but you've got all sorts of layers. You've then got, and this is amazing, because you've then got your die cuts. Now, do you know what? I've been really stupid. I've just realized, Sarah, who is the designer, these, the, so Sarah, who's designed the collection, this is her work as well. Oh, sorry, that, uh, that, that when I was looking at them, it was like, oh, yes, yeah, it's, it's actually um, Sarah's, because it is, it's actually Sarah's work. Oh, well, no wonder she's amazing. She is amazing. <laughs> She is amazing. Um, but yeah, oh, that took a little while for that penny to drop. Um, now, you've also got the die cuts. There are 76 pieces in here in the die cuts. Let me show you the die cuts. I love these. I love working with them as well because look at how many goodies you've got. They're just so cool. 76 pieces. And they are amazing. This is such a beautiful collection. Look at all of these. How good is this? So, you need, I mean, you need these, don't you? If you're going for the rest of it, you absolutely need these as well. Um, please check your baskets out. There's so much you can use here. It's only 15.64. 
if you are shopping here at the craft store and you're spending over £60, you can open up a flex basket. When you look at this counter, if you're anything like me, you'll want everything because it all goes, it all matches, everything coordinates. The things you'll use like your, your paints you'll carry on using, your moulds you'll use again and again and again, your stencils you're going to be using again and again and again, So and your stamps you're going to be using again and again and again. So if you are spending £60 or more, you can open up a flex basket. Right, stamps. And again, absolutely exquisite. Um, I love these because you're talking backgrounds, you're talking um, oh, design. And of course, with this, it's got that incredible detail with this one. Um, so this is your beautiful passion lace. And of course, with something like this, the detail stamps out wonderfully. Only £10.99. Pence. Um, you have got all, how many stamps have we got there? Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven stamps are, or is there eight? Um, might be eight stamps there, actually. Um, they are beautiful. Now, if I spin that round, look at the detail of those. I mean, these are cling mounted, so they're ready to go. It's a nine stamps. The cling mounted, it's that detail. Look at those stamps. Um, only £10.99. £10 I would highly, highly recommend these. They are gorgeous. Now, that's 622107. You're item number for that one the second set of stamps that we have got um, and this is again absolutely beautiful and this really works with um, the the swirls and everything I think this really works with the the um, you know the Japanese look in this one um, but I mean this is from a different collection but it works you've got your your beautiful flourishes you've got your frame in there you've got beauty dream and elegance absolutely exquisite and again lovely mounted stamps only 10 pounds and 99 pence zero one two 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 eight and then last but by no means least we have got some glue for you now this is good stuff because look at that really nice fine nozzle I don't know if Stampy, I don't know if this is the first time they've done a really fine nozzle actually. Um, it is a craft glue. I haven't used this one before. It is a craft glue, so it's good for loads of different types of um, materials, including your, your card and your paper. A really, really handy applicator as well. So I'll definitely be using that one. And only 998, and you are getting both tubes brand new today. 089. 937. Okay, check that website out. Um, you know when we check out our baskets? Yes, because I've got a feeling it might be more chipboard because um, there's some beautiful, beautiful chipboard as well. So um, it might be... Uh, oh, there's a bundle of chipboard that we haven't got out. I see. Um, okay. But there are there are other goodies. So when you're checking out your basket, please have a little look at that. Because look at that. There's tons of goodies. Oh, and there are some singles as well. So that chipboard, there are some singles with the chipboard if you would like to get hold of those as well. I mean, honestly, there, uh, there's so much with this. All beautiful. Please make sure you check your baskets out. Do not miss out on anything. You need to get hold of the stuff on the website because it is very, very very busy indeed if there's anything you want um, check your baskets out it is a first come first served um, and obviously we have got a completely different collection this evening and there's your chipboard bundle oh oh yeah it's a cracking bundle is that that's another good one. and only 11.30 oh that's a good price uh, yeah make sure you check your baskets out with that one as well so many options but let's get crafting so what i want to do first of all something really nice and simple um i'm gonna take the i'm gonna take the um your freebie so this is your free gift you've got your lovely it's one of those you don't want to cover but we are doing i mean you know of course we're covering it um but then you've got your lovely pages now it is a notebook so your notebook pages are um finer than you you'd normally use for your art journaling that does not mean you can't art journal with these and that is absolutely something that we're going to talk about in this hour uh, because um i've actually got two of these so i'm gonna prep one and just show you and show you because because if you've got um 
sorry, I'm not opening it, that's a bit loud. If you've got um, a notepad paper like this, so obviously, and you want to art journal it, if it's um, a light paper inside, then obviously, if you stick one of these papers to it, it's going to be really nice and heavyweight, so you're not going to worry about it at all. Um, however, you might want to use your rice papers on it. Now, I'm going to use rice paper on the front, but I might use one of the rice papers inside as well. And this will just thicken up the papers for me to actually layer as well onto there. So I'm just going to get... I'm going off piste already. I've literally only just decided... Oh, I'm terrible for this. <laughs> literally, literally just come over and gone off piste straight away. So what I want to do with this is, because I want this to be an art journal, I'm going to thicken up my papers. To thicken up my papers, I'm actually going to use, and I'm using my collar gel. So I'm using my, um, I'm using collar gel because it's quick. I can get a nice um, layer of, oh, I, I didn't clean that brush very well, now did I? So that's a nice dirty brush that I'm using. I wasn't intending to use a dirty brush but it's okay. So I'm using my dirty brush to get my collar gel on there. <laughs> Great, Leona, well done. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is just stick my two pages together. Now, you might not want to be doing this because you might want to be using your notebook for literally writing beautiful notes. But if you want it thicker, um, I, I like the fact that it's your book, you do what you want with it, you know? And that's the thing. So I'm sticking both my pages together with my collar gel first of all. But then I am going to bring on some of my rice paper. And it, I mean, this is exquisite. The, it's just so, so, so beautiful. So I want, I'm not going to use a full sheet because I'm just going to start ripping and tearing and doing uh, lovely things with it. Um, and it's to maximise your paper. But also, we... <laughs> It's one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, you could just put a piece of paper on there, but you kind of never want to do that. You want to make it your own. And in making it your own, that's when we start ripping and tearing and, and layering, because then it does become our work then. It's not just a case of, of simply sticking that paper on there. So I'm just going to pop my glue on the back of my um, rice paper. So popping my rice paper down. Popping my glue on top, be a bit more gentle, Leona. I'm rushing a bit. Maybe I feel all rushy today. So I'm, but just chill out, kid. There we go. So pop my, my glue on the back there. Just peel that off. And then pop it on my book. And the lovely thing is, with that glue, it'll just smooth on beautifully. Like so. Now, the rice paper being rice paper, it does mean that, obviously, it'll um, just become part of that paper. It just flows in beautifully. I've got glue on the other side of the um, of the pad now because I still have glue on my glass mat. I'm not worried because I know it'll peel off. I'm putting my rice paper, so to neaten it up, I'm just bringing the rice paper round to the other side and that neatens it up. So you can see already... I've started decorating this pad. Don't worry about um, the, the paper being crinkly. It's not a problem. Because we're, because we're crafting on this, because it's, it's becoming an art journal anyway, it means that I'm not, I'm not worried about, you know, crinkly paper. I'm going to be changing it. Just get the, the glue off there a second. Just wipe it off there. I've literally got blue everywhere. <laughs> muckiest crafter ever no idea where i'm picking the blue up from okay now the paints the paints are absolutely exquisite and i'm going to be doing in fact i'm going to do a two for one so whilst that i'll let that one dry a little bit let me do the front cover so obviously i'm lucky i can work on two pads at once um i'm going to pretend this is all one pad so they are you know but i'm i'm lucky so the front cover. So, same idea. I want to use my rice paper. With this one, I'm going for it. I am literally using the full sheet of rice paper. Again, because I can, but um, because it is just ex ex exceptionally beautiful. I love this one. Uh, it's, it's one of those when you use full sheets of rice paper, it feels a bit of a shame because then you go and cover it up. But it is the layers. And it's, 
it's quite nice when you stop worrying about that too much. Sometimes I, I still want to be able to see every single inch of that paper and that's when I will be more careful. But other times it's so lovely just building up those papers. So I'm having it so it comes over as such. I know there I'm going to have to do a nick when I fold it but I'll, um, I'll do that in a few moments time. So I'm going to glue first of all. And it is a big sheet of paper, but just get your, your glue on there. You don't need loads, but you do need it edge to edge. Because obviously if you don't get it edge to edge, then it's not going to glue down properly. So just making sure you've got it. Wow, under 20 minutes. It took me a long time to get that counter done. I'm so sorry. But it, it is very, very, very busy. And it's just worth seeing everything because... Everything's just beautiful. Isn't it a beautiful collection? Emailing. Um, and the designer, Sarah. I mean, Sarah is... I, I do believe... I can't remember if we've seen any of other... Um, Anyway, I'm babbling. Yeah, Sarah is an incredible designer. Uh, her work is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's so elegant. It's the layers. It's the attention to detail. I mean, she's amazing. And this is the thing with Stamperia. They've got some incredible designers. We are so privileged to see her finished samples as well that she's actually sent over the finished samples using this collection um, that she has designed. I mean, it's so nice when you actually get the artist who's created the collection who then sends their work in. And that's why you look at them and go, oh, my gosh, that is amazing, you know. But she designed the collection. She knows exactly what she wanted from it. Now what I'm going to do from there, I'm going to go back over now and just smooth that paper. So I'm working from the middle and I'm just smoothing it out. I'm using the, the glue because not only will it help adhere it but and help it smooth but of course it'll help protect it. And this is rice paper remember. Rice paper is it's just one of those materials, when you first use it, it's like, oh my gosh, I want to put rice paper on everything. It's just fabulous. Yeah, poor Lola. <laughs> Currently sat at home wearing rice paper. She absolutely isn't, but she would have done. She would have done if she could have done, because that's my girl. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> she would have absolutely ate it. India would have probably just sat on it and been chilled, but Lola... Lola to run away with it, looking really naughty, but cute, so you couldn't tell her off. And she does that. She looks at you. She'll pick some of it up, look at you, know it's naughty, and then run off. And she's, she's, she's just like Ross. <laughs> uh, she's so cute and so naughty. Just like Ross. So cute and naughty. <laughs> Uh, right, I'm folding this in. Now, the joy of working with rice paper. You do not need to cut this up. You don't need to worry about, like, you don't need to worry about the corners being perfect. Literally, just cutting it where I know the, um, where I know the, the fold is going to be on my book. And that's it. There's enough glue on there. It's actually sticking. And I'll, Cover, obviously I'm going to put a cover inside the book. I love rice paper. Look, even the corners of the notebook, boom, you don't even need to think about it. It's just done because it's rice paper. Rice paper, best thing since sliced bread. So popping that down like so. Let's have a little look. See, you can hear all glue because I've stuck it. Look at that. Now, obviously it's got um, the glue on there, so that does need to dry. I'll put it to one side. I mean, if you only covered it like that, it'd look beautiful. We're not going to do that, of course, but it does look good. Now, let me pop that to one side. I'll bring this one back in. I'll just get rid of a bit of that glue and I'll bring the other book back in again. And I will continue this at, um, at two o'clock because I know I, I've, Oh, you want to do so much. Wait till the one day special. I've got a set of nesting tables at home that I want to redecorate with the one day special. I don't know if I'm, <laughs> don't know if I'll get that done. I was thinking about it not weighing. I thought, oh, I really want to decorate those nested tables. I wonder if during my break I can get home and sand them back. That's actually, and what the dogs. So yeah, in my, <laughs> in my break, I know right. In my break, I'm going to try and go home and sand some tables. Uh, but I, I've got it in my head now that I really want to decorate some nested tables. Anyway, so 
the paint. Now, the paints are fabulous. The paints not only mix and match beautifully, um, but um, the colour palette is just exceptional. So, the one colour I haven't got out is the milk white, which is actually the one that I want. Is that the one there? It's always the way. There we go. That's the milk white. And obviously, it's good that we've got the milk white because you can blend the colours down. So if you need the blue blended down slightly, you can do that. So it works so well. I've probably put out way too much paint on this palette. Uh, the blue is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I I'm going to water these down slightly because they're really nice quality paints. So you really don't need uh, too much of the paint. So just picking up a little bit of that blue as well and just dry brushing this on and I'm not trying to be perfect again with this I'm going over the um, the rice paper so I want to sort of blur that line but I also want this to become um, all one basically so I want the rice paper just to, to sort of melt into my page so just bring in the paints on like so and go over the rice paper if you go over the rice paper it looks like it's part of it if you don't then it stands out too much do you know what i mean it it, it just doesn't blend in so again and don't worry about you i love doing um the the painting like uh when I use Stampier, because with Stampier, when you see the finished samples and stuff, the paint that they put on, especially with this one, it, they just go for it. And I, I love that. I love that it's just all merged and beautiful. I'm going to bring in a little bit more of the blue there and a little bit more of that milk white. Such a gorgeous colour as well. Like so. So bring those in. And again, just picking up a little bit like that now if you do want that big bundle it is seriously busy a third of the stock has gone um we have got one more hour with this collection at two o'clock and then of course we do change to the one day special this evening so if you do want this collection please check those baskets out now i'm really happy with that what i'm now going to do is bring my stencil in the stencils in this collection are gorgeous i mean it's really difficult to choose which one quite frankly but i'm going to go that one i do i, I just love that stencil it's amazing so what i'm going to do if you do want your stencils um the details are there yeah they're so pretty so pretty and for 15 pounds and nine seven pence i love that you have got all three there for that price and obviously these are the kind of thing you'll be using again and again and again so I'm using my stencil on this page. What I am going to do now, remember your cream paste. Where have I put my cream paste? Your cream paste is coming up um, later on this evening. So if you do want your cream paste, we will have that on the show um, for you on the one day special. So if I just, sorry, I didn't prep this. I don't know where I've put my open one. I've popped it somewhere, say, there we go. So, cream paste, again, another really good product. I mean, it's so smooth and creamy and just gorgeous. Uh, what I want to do, however, I want to put this through the stencil, but I do want a bit of colour with this. So, I'm going to pick up a little bit of my, my paint there. So, it's going to give it a bit of texture. Now, obviously, don't add too much paint to your cream paste. Otherwise, your cream paste will lose, um, you'll, you'll lose the... Um, the viscosity, no, that's not the right word. Uh, you'll lose the uh, the dimension in it. Um, but oh, isn't that just lovely? So popping this on now, it's very creamy. It's delicious. So pop this on. And I want it a little bit, I want it a bit, I want some brown in there. No, I'm going to use this colour and I'll put that over after. Okay. So just popping this on. Right, so it is seriously, seriously creamy. I'm then just going to get some straight out the tub. Before I do that, I am going to clean that. And the reason I'm getting some out the tub as well is so I've got um, different colours. So it's not just going to be all one colour because I, I like um, to mix it up as well. And I don't want it too solid either. So hopefully that will look fabulous. 
Oh, so good. And it, you see, the thing is with stuff like this, you're building up, you're building up your layers. And that, it, it just gives you incredible dimension. But also, the rice paper now is just part of your background, but it looks really good. And even though you're covering it up, it still looks absolutely amazing. So pop that to one side. Well, that's to one side. I'm going to have that many bits to one side. Um, I will bring this one back in. Now, that is still, no, that one's still wet, so I won't bring that one back in. What I'll bring back in instead is, sorry, folks, I'm thinking, I will bring a little bit of, I'll just bring cardstock in for this one because, chinka chinka ching, not that cardstock because that's got stuff on it. Sorry, folks, talk amongst yourselves a minute. Oh, we've got images. That'd be amazing. Um, in fact, I'm ready now, though. <laughs> so let me just, I'll be quick, though, and then we can look at images. Because all I want to do is, as usual, clean my stencil off. Um, so what I'm going to do, and I'm only doing this because, because I can. So I'm getting in there with my fingers this time to clean my stencil off. So first clean the stencil. And as ever, I'm making sure I've got some so I can get an extra print. Like that. So I know that's given me a nice clean of the stencil. It won't be 100% will that print, but I've got a beautiful print. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. Isn't that a good print? That's cleaning your stencil. But also clean this off, okay? So do this on here as well. So what you're doing is, it's like shaving foam. So you're literally bringing this in. Don't put it on in thick layers. If you do it like like this it's going to look a little bit like plaster see what i mean so see so you're just putting this on and what it's doing it'll look a little bit like plaster it'll knock this now becomes all part of it and honestly i quite like that this is going to be another it's going to be another piece so i am going to carry on and put more on and i love using your your paste um, so it's all sort of um, uneven. It just gives it such nice texture. And that, and obviously I have it coming in. So it's coming into your stencil design. I, you know me, I love doing this. I like doing, um, being in the middle of a, a one thing and then going off onto another tangent. But it's cleaning your stencil, but at the same time creating something that does look lovely. Multitasking, that's absolutely what it is, Jimmy. Not messing about. Multi. <laughs> I sometimes absolutely come back to it. There. Okay. Now I love, love that. So let me show you that. And that one, it'll allow that to dry and then that becomes its own piece again. Or you can cut that up and that will become one of your pages in your book if you want it to. But all the texture there. And that paint, that paint works beautifully with your cream paste as well. Cream paste will be coming up later. Um, the paint, obviously, we've got on the show at the minute. Can we look at those pictures? I'll put this on my shelf. Um, so, these are from Jill. Thank you, Jill. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Look at that, Jill. That's absolutely glorious. Um, She's loved Stamperia for a very long time. That's absolutely exquisite. Um, she's made all these projects with passion. That's fabulous. So that's her first one. Um, what's the, well, have we got more? Oh, look at that. Yeah, these are beautiful, Jill. That is amazing. That's the last collection we had on, isn't it, Jill? I remember that very well because that calligraphy collection was amazing. That is beautiful, Jill. Thank you. And more. Oh, wow. And oh, now that isn't Lady Vagabond. So that is the time machine, isn't it, Jill? Obviously, it's got the time machine there on it. But I nearly thought it was Lady Vagabond, but I don't think it is. No, it definitely isn't. That is beautiful, Jill. And I love the train as well. That's amazing. Have we got more? Oh, last one from our Jill. Jill, thank you, my love. Thank you for sharing. It's so nice to see your work. We really, really appreciate that. How much time have I got? I've had time to blast this dry, and then if he does a quick, just a quick thing, and then I'll do a little bit on this. Is that okay? Okay. Um, please check your baskets out. I will blast this quickly dry because everything's a little bit wet. Um, our feet will give you a quick reminder. I will be back. Fee's there, I'm ready. I was, I was too busy r rummaging in the ephemera. <laughs> in the chipboard, it's just beautiful with the paintbrushes. And there's a pot there that looks just like Leone's, the dog-eared brushes, no offence. And uh, 
pencils and stuff <laughs> and paint all around it's just beautiful I genuinely I could have taken a photo of everything that was on this counter and I thought I can't fill my face cloth with just photos of everything but it was just so beautiful it, it, like Leone this is one of my absolute stampier of favorites that, that's saying something so you are getting those four I mean I just want to frame them you can just frame them individually there are sheets within the card stock that I would just frame they're beautiful I love the brushes look at that and absolutely I want to be in that artist studio with that easel then you've got a little nod to the greats you know you've got your Van Gogh sunflowers down there or a little nod to it isn't that beautiful just amazing and then all oh there's just something about an oil painting tube isn't it it's just oh look at it get it in there get it on your palette grunge it all about oh I just love it um so you're getting those you're getting your moles, which are just amazing as well. Such great value. So you're getting your artist palette there. You're getting your butterflies. You're getting the words. Look at the, I don't know the little paws. I don't even know what they are, but they're just beautiful. Uh, wings, butterflies. And then, yeah, the actual artists. You know, these would be so good with your cold paws, as uh, Leonie was saying. Uh, so the, the lots of that on tonight's show as well. Uh, the brushes, colours, creativity, nibs, passion ideas, the heart, and then the pad. And don't forget, you've got your lovely stone book notebook, uh, stone paper notebook as well. Uh, that is your bonus gift with purchase. It's going to be different in the one day special. It's going to be a completely different show tonight with Leone. Um, but this, oh my word! I mean, I was photographing every page. Of course, I want to take it off. Sarah, you're such a talent. Look at this. Every page is a doozy, and this sentiments I was reading them they're so exquisite I mean it's just beautiful double-sided as Leonie was explaining so much texture so much interest you know you've got to get another pad because you'll just be heartbroken trying to think well I don't want to cut into it and that ties up with those fantastic set and set second set of rice papers we've got on the show to have a little look um, just amazing there's your drawers if you want extra pads and paper pads we've got the 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 at the bottom of the screen 18 pounds uh, 48 there that ties in your rice papers I just showed you as well the frames tie in with the other moles we've got on the show we've got the suitcases and the ephemera which I just love oh my gosh that's I just want to frame that one in itself it's so fantastic so please don't miss out 28 pounds 93 477042 um, yeah, just, just amazing. Right, let's go back to Leone. Uh, how's the drying? Where are we at? Oh, we are there. So what I thought I would do, just very, very quickly, the moulds. Now, I've already um, done a couple and air-dried them. Just air-dry clay. Just, obviously, pop air-dry clay in, bring them out, let them dry. It is as simple as that, of course. Air dry clay, you will be able to get that in this evening, sure. Um, so that's on this evening. The moulds are beautiful. So what I wanted to use with this, I've got the creativity one. I've got the little palette as well. And there is a beautiful little brush. Obviously, I'm not going to have a chance to paint all of these. But I will paint them in the break. But I just want to show you how easy they are to paint. Now, I've just used... Um, uh, what have I used? Air dry clay. As we were saying, you can use resin. I'm going to mix up with some of the other paints that we've used um, in the past. We have got different, I'm using different paints as well, uh, just to, just to obviously paint my, my other bits. So I've got, because I want these to be brown as well, you see. So all you need to do and it is ridiculously easy i'm literally just painting these so oh wait wrong end of my brush so just taking my my little old paint there now what i love about these is the detail again i mean there's so much going on and it's just incredible because the the very 3d but because this is air dry clay the ridiculously lightweight so it means you can put these on cards you can use them for all sorts really 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 nice if you are upcycling. Um, I mean, you can create so many different looks with these, but even just a tiny bit of paint. So you've got your lovely little paint there, and I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna put colour on the the brush, um, the actual brush because it's a paintbrush. It's not gonna be brown, but I just want to paint it so you could see the detail. I'm gonna. I've only got a minute, so I'm rushing. But if I do this, look, and then I'll put a bit of grey. These are all colours that we've had on in the past. And then I will put um, other colours, but look. Can you see the detail of that? 
It's just amazing. It's honestly, they're so beautiful, are the moulds. And they are three, really 3D. So when you're painting them, just remember, really get in there, but always go around the edge because you need to do that. We've only got seconds left. Right, I will finish painting that, but but isn't that just the most detailed little thing? It's so cool. Uh, please check your baskets out. Um, it is so, so busy. Obviously, we're back at 2 o'clock, depending what stock's left. Uh, but please check your baskets out. I cannot wait. Uh, thank you ever so much, our lovely Fiona. <laughs> thank you, darling. Get on website. It's great. <laughs>
Cakes are absolutely gorgeous. And alongside those, you might want to have a look at the happy hour deals that we've got because you've got fabrics that go beautifully with your batik. So you've also got your fusible web and your other items as well. So do go and have a look. Do go and have a look for those on the website. But as I said, I'm not alone. I've got a lovely backdrop of batik fabrics, but I've also got the lovely Sasha Fancy with us. All right, love. All right. Oh, Sam, I'm so condescending. I called you darling this morning. Oh, that's all. And then They've I've just called you love. together. That's good. Oh, they, they have, yeah. So you didn't sign the papers to say you didn't want to work with me. Oh, that's good. That's another guest saved for me. <laughs> <laughs> Sasha, what have we got to look forward to in the show? So we're going to have a look at Quilt As You Go hexagons. Okay. We're going to have a little look at that. And we're going to ha actually have a look at the fabric, a close look at the mm. fabric. And look how we can use the fabric patterns that are on there okay. to then do a little bit of stitching. Why batik? Batik is so, how can, it's an individual fabric. It doesn't matter if you've got a bolt of batik fabric. Each area will be different, okay, because of the way that it's batiked and because of the way that it's stamped. But the batik fabric itself is beautiful. Mm. It's a close weave cotton, which is really important. And I know I keep saying it, but you can buy some batiks out there that are really thin and flimsy and you cut them, they fray. You can almost see through them. These are quality and I, and I keep on about it, but it's this sound. Ooh. This cotton crisp yes. sound. And that's not because there's a lot of dressing in it, because there isn't. It is just beautiful, close weave cotton. And that's important when you're doing your projects, yeah. especially when you're cutting in to your batiks. Because of all the different designs that we've got, we can do appliques with it. We can cut out shapes with it, do patchworking. Let's go through the different colour options we've got for you. If there's any in particular that you want to see more of, again, just email in. It's studio at thecraftstore.com. Now, we've got queues on the phones. We're already busy. Do bear with us, but you can buy on the web. It's really easy to do that. You can download the app to your smartphones or your tablets. You can watch and buy at the same time or watch on your TV and buy with your smart device or your computer. Right, let's have a look at the first one. Earthy greens. Now, these are absolutely fantastic fantastic and you've got your different beautiful designs in each and every one but with them as well Sasha let's just go to this first one for example you've got so much detail in the fabric as you have a look these are all in half meters you've got 10 but that's five meters of this beautiful fabric altogether but you could I mean we're looking at that that, that almost looks, looks like, like a forest scene yeah, or leaves. I was going to say it looks like leaves on the floor that's what automatically pops out at me and um, the thing that we need to make people understand with the batiks, like with that one, I think of oysters and pearls when I Ooh. look at that. You've also got to think about the depth of colour and the value of colour. So these have got so many beautiful different colours and different dyes. And, you know, like the one that you're coming on to, I can see a hint of yellow in there. I can see a pop of turquoise. I can see grey. So it's really important when you look at these fabrics that you see all the different colourways. And when they do arrive, they might be slightly brighter, they might be more subtle, but that's because they don't necessarily have a front or a back, so you can use them in both directions. Yeah, you certainly can. I mean, that one just there, just seeing that element, they look like trees. They look like they ash do, trees, don't they? Don't they? Yeah. Um, you could actually, if you're very clever, stamp on there with some deers, for example, or maybe oh, some yeah. fairies just flying around the woods, or maybe do some embroidery on there. If I show you the back of that, there's not a lot of difference, is there? Sometimes one side is more, I guess, matte in colour and the other one a little bit more brighter but you choose you decide but that's the beauty of batiks there's no right or wrong side which I think Sasha is advantageous when you're doing any kind oh, of um, uh, sewing project well I haven't had to think about that whole wrong side right side um, when I'm turning through and I'm doing things like that because also when I have noticed a more subtle side on the back it's almost given that kind of 3D advantage looking that things are more in the distance than what they are, mm. you're just getting that hint of colour. 
They're absolutely stunning. So that's your first option. Your second option, let's bring these forward so you can tell. These are your tropical lagoons. So if you're building a picture from fabrics, this is going to be ideal for you. You've got your seascape there. You've got your beautiful uh, lilacs and pinks in there. That could be the sea. Those could be islands, for example, as you navigate around through the Fishes. stream. Over 60% of this particular option has gone. That in itself, that's an, that's an aerial view of an island. Mm. And those uh, are your seascapes, which look absolutely beautiful. It doesn't have to be. We're just giving you suggestions here. Again, you've got the lovely stamping on there as well. Beautiful designs beautiful and colours. Beautiful colour, that one. Beautiful. Isn't that lovely? It's got this little um, pop of the turquoise and the blue coming through. And this one with the delicate peach coral tones in there. Um, just absolutely stunning fabrics. Stunning. Now that's my favourite. Look at that. I'll just open that up a little bit more if I can. That's stunning, isn't it? Well, the Think... shapes are there, aren't they? Mm. To embroider around, to draw around. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, to cut them out, to do your fussy cutting, to embellish journals or, you know, or just make your journal cover out of them. Place some really beautiful sheer organza over the top. Yeah, it's a good just idea. Embellish. Uh, doing embroidery on here. Oh my goodness. These are your earthy browns. So again, something that's going to sit with you throughout the whole of the year, heading towards the autumn, for example. Beautiful shades in there. Think about covering your journals. Think about maybe just taking a section of this, placing it on a piece of clothing, like an applique, using this on your cushions, bed spreads, for example, making and creating little cravats, which would be really nice. You could have little matching waistcoats, for example. Beautiful colours. Again, they're organic, they're earthy and absolutely stunning. And no two will be the same. Right, so those are your earthy colours. Next up, we have your purples. Let's bring these forward for you. Now, you're getting 10 half metres in each of them. And uh, that's five metres of fabric in total. If that's not enough for you and you want more, you're more than welcome to go for two sets. They don't have to be the same. They could be different. The details on your screen give you an indication that you can split the cost over two months. It's interest-free payments. And to set that up, all you have to do is tick on the box and check out. Very, very easy to do I so. I love Flexi Buy. Oh, it's fabulous. Oh, it it's means, amazing. Do you know what? It means you get everything all in one go in the post, but you split the cost. You're not splitting the items. Right, now this one was very, very popular in the earlier show. This is your oranges and yellows, so some nice geometric designs in there. Gorgeous orange colours with the yellow being the pattern. Really like that one. Isn't that nice? 50% of the stock has gone. Again, this one looks different whether you put it in horizontal mode or vertical mode. Just changes it completely, as you can see there. So if you've got the stripes going across or you've got the stripes coming down, have a think about that with your fabrics. Turn them uh, and see what they look like to give you that inspiration and ideas. That's a stunner. You've got some lovely purples in there. So the colours will vary going all the way through, but this is the theme of your orange and your yellow, said the bells of St Mary or whatever it is. Right, moving on. St Clemens, that was it. Oranges and lemons. St Mary's? What was that? I don't know. Uh, right, these are your pinks. Um, absolutely gorgeous. Again, with your pinks, you've got your stripes in there. It looks like sedimentation, doesn't it? Or it could be a sunset. Maybe put some mountains in there and a sun, uh, and you've got your sunset going on there. Nice designs again with the floral. Love that. Yeah, it does. That is gorgeous. That could be an exploding planet. Uh, it could be a sunrise, sunset, for example. Just use your imagination going through these. These are your pinks and your purples with your different designs. Remember, you're getting 10 half meters in that. And then I'm going to do a twizzle. Uh, and then we're going for the crazy cocktails. Now, this also was extremely busy. Very, very popular. Now, I've got it, now I'm all back to front. I don't know what I'm doing. My favourite, I think. You, why? I just, I love the colours within it. Yep. I love the mulberry burgundy purples. I love... Look at that. That is just stunning. That's the one that I was going to say. You can just do so many with. And it is slightly out of my colour palette that I would normally go for. Is it? Yes, it is. There's just something that's... And this one as well. I could do a whole piece, a whole piece cloth on that fabric of just the shapes that are on there. And there's just such a beautiful range of different colours within it. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really led towards that one. That's nice. 
I like that one. I like, yeah, I like the 3D effect that you've got in here. We were saying um, earlier on this one, uh, we've got some other fabrics like this, almost like a, a Monet painting, isn't it? Stunning. Or a Matthew Palmer. Or a Matthew Palmer. Absolutely stunning. Right, your final option for you on your one day special is your tanta or are your tantalizing teals. Uh, again, some beautiful designs with the leaves that you've got on there. So much more than two dimensional. It's almost three dimensional color in here. Really like that one. Now that's quite luxurious, isn't it? Very much so. Um, could be could be a forest. Again, if we just pull that up there, again, beautiful colours, almost like wood, isn't it? And then you've got your florals, that's a nice one. Very bright colours for the summer, even though you've got the darker elements on the back. Um, how about some cushions for the garden, Sasha? Wouldn't they look oh, lovely? Amazing. And so don't forget, if you've got your waterproof gel, something like the Odie coat, that sort of thing, to put these over the top first and then cut your project out if you're doing like outdoor cushions or bags or things like that and it then gives it this oil cloth but look and it has that sheen to it that's amazing yeah beautiful for, for cushions or bags or anything mm. like that marvelous or bandanas and hats espadrilles um, and not just for, yeah i've just yeah. done a pair of espadrilles yes yes yeah you could do and lots of other shoes as well that you could mm. do that too love that two pence of 23 pounds and 35 pence zero nine three three six four is your item number so that is uh your one day special uh, for you and you choose you decide now we've got a happy hour deal for you as well in this hour actually we've got two and they're for this hour and this hour only so this is your first happy hour deal love these your floral shadow you've got lovely ditzy patterns in there and you've got three options so that one is your gray and black i like this one i've seen this gorgeous uh, this is your purple and pink oh i like your teal and blue that's very nice very very nice for your teal and blue so those are your three options, just twelve ninety nine for the hour, 761928. And then we've got another happy hour for you. And these are your florals and your spots. I like this. I love the smoky look to it. I do. And I like the way that they've put the pattern as well on there. And you've got those lovely elements behind as well. Um, so you've got your lovely ditzes in there. That's your grey. That's your beige. That's your brown. I love the olive. That's your light green. You've got your light blue, sky blue, that does look like a sky as well with the clouds. You've got your dark purple, oh that's nice, light purple. You've got your lilac and your pink, that's it. 999-655-965 is your item number. As you can see, we've got so much on the show, but we want to get over to demonstrations for you. If you want to check anything out, head to the website and have a look there. And if you've not got the website, then we'll try and get through the other items for you because we are aware not everybody has the website. Sasha. So we're going to have a quick look um, at a couple of things. The first things we're going to have a look at is quilt as you go hexagons. I quite like my hexagons at the moment and um, I've got quite into the fussy cutting but it's that thing of they're not bound I have to then join them up to each other then put a backing and it can be quite a faff yes so I've got some pre-cut hexagons now this is done on um, craft Hex that I like to use and I'm just gonna iron this because it's fusible so I'm just gonna iron the backing on now you will notice I've sort of done it about an inch bigger. We're then going to pop a piece of wadding on the top, which you don't have to, but um, I just like to have um, a little bit of um, puffiness there. So it gives it something extra. Now all the fabrics are pre-washed and that I think, like we were talking earlier, I don't know if that's right English like we were talking we were talking about this earlier about seasoning of fabric by washing it yes and these fabrics they do say to pre-wash um, when you're working with batiks but these have been pre-washed for you um, but it, it wouldn't do you any harm because they come out beautiful then all you've got to do is give them um, a press when they come out um, I tumble dried them I did put a colour catcher in with them, but that's because I put a colour catcher in yeah. with all of my quilts and things. Yeah, anything like that, I tend to put a colour catcher in. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they wash beautifully, and I even put them in the tumble dryer as well. 
So you can see that I've folded this edge. So how we're going to do this is we're going to, this is one of the um, sides opposite, and I'm just going to fold that to the bottom. And then I'm just going to take that up onto the top there. So it's binding it and it's framing it all at the same time. So you're not having to worry. So you can be doing all of these when you're on the train or when you're traveling or what, you know, when you're out and about again. Um, and then you can just actually join them together. And I know that, um, as I say, I just find this method a lot easier because then, as I say, all I have to do is join the sides together. I'm not having to worry about each finishing the edge of each individual hexagon. Just now, just as you're pinning that down, Sasha, I've got something else to show everyone at home. You found this uh, on the web. You're going for this already. Uh, we've got three options for you. These are your punk batiks. So what I'll do is I'll start with the first one because then we're going to go up with more vibrancy. This is your black and white. Now, I really like this. I really like this black and white. Let me just open this out. It's good to see the full fabric that you're getting. Of course, they're all going to be slightly different. They're all going to be slightly different. But you'll see here in this particular element, I really like this because you've got your dark colours that go through to a light uh, smoky grey and then you've got these dots of white in there as well. And I like that because that, that really pops. And as you can see, the pattern there unfolding. Now, that's, that's not because we've not ironed it. That's the pattern in there. Isn't that lovely? The way that you've got all of that almost, almost looks like a forest, doesn't it? Down here in particular, that could be your forest tree. You can really use your imagination here. Um, but I do like that. I do, do like that. There you go. Oh, and there's, there's the back. So that's that lighter grey. So you've got two uh, sides to work with, just to fold that over. And then you can see both of those options. Really, really like that one. And so if you are into that whole punk thing, these would make amazing trousers. Oh, yeah. oh my word. Amazing they would. trousers. I've got, sorry, proper, I've got to show proper. you now. Wouldn't they just though? Amazing, like hiring. I know, I know, I know. I'll, I'll show you with a different colour, but I just want to show you, you know. They would make because. Uh, you... Hello, but that could be a nice pair of culottes. It could, yeah. You... Which you then could actually float out. Skirts are very popular for men and women this year. Right, let's go for your next option. And this one is your black and yellow. Again, you've got two sides to this. Oh, look at this. This is the uh, most popular. This is the one that we acquainted to the Stinky Bishop this morning. The cheese, like a piece of mouldy cheese. But we like that. Well, do you know what? It's cheese is a, is a work of art. You know, when you've oh. got the blue Stilton and you see the veins running through the cheese, that's art. Do you know, my wedding itself. cake, we're not having a wedding cake, we're having wedding cheese. I, there you go, you we're see. A wedding cheese. I'm on trend. We've Who'd got a big it? slab of coastal as the bottom Ooh. going up and on the top we've got Wensleydale with cranberry. Well, these would make great napkins then to go with that, don't you think? <laughs> but look at the whole of that colour uh, when you see the whole of the square. Amazing, isn't it? And remember, you've got your brighter side and your duller side as well. Your last option... The last option is your black and orange. Yes, it is. Let's open this out for you. Again, this is why it's good to see the whole of the fabric. Let's just float that out. You've got some blues in there. Now, that is beautiful. Imagine that as... You could do I a seat covering one. on this, and it would look amazing, don't you think? I, can, I was just going to actually say, where I live, we've got lots and lots of beach huts across the seafront. Can you imagine big bolster cushions and things and yeah. deck chair made Bean out bag? of this? Oh, yeah. Or, i tell you what is very popular at the moment. I don't know how you do it, but I'm sure as a crafter you would come up with it. It could be like, well, they're called, you know, like a parasol that goes over the top, but it's more like a sail that people are oh, doing. They yes. put the, the sticks in the front, they tie it, and they bring it back. So it's like a triangle. That would be really nice down the beach. Or a nice sarong, for example, a nice sarong. Um, let me show you. Again, you've got two sides, two sides to every story. Not a great amount of difference in these two. Some have more of a difference, some don't. Uh, so do bear that in mind, but I think that is absolutely sensational. 9 99 if you want to go for any of the options ooh, that I showed you right there. Okay, back to Sasha. So I'm just quickly 
doing this one as well so it's just showing you the difference in the colors so on this one we've got the beautiful greens with the purples with the grays and the purple in the center this one we've got the oranges just absolutely beautifully stunning so again we're going to fold one of those edges in and then we are going to cover up that raw edge and we're going to pin that on there now this one i haven't put any wadding in there so you can see that the, the difference whereas this one's got a little bit of um something there this one hasn't and we're just going to finish popping these sides up and then you would just sew all the way round, and just like a top stitch i um, thought you said a chopstick there <laughs> Oh, Chinese. No, I'm trying to be really good. I'm trying to be really good. I need your really good ideas for... I'm allergic to the gym <laughs> completely. I, I, I do this thing where my skin leaks. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. You don't my, have leaky skin. Yeah, and I get all shiny and leaky, and I don't like leaky skin. Wow. I think they call it sweating, but <laughs> I don't like it. So, um, yeah. And I'm trying to do this other thing called walking. Walking is always good for you. And do you know what's nice when you're walking? A, a cappuccino nice... and a hot chocolate at the end of it. Yeah, a nice little shirt and you better eat fabrics. That's what's nice. Anyway, so we um, are I just need this. to tell everyone at home something. Sorry for interrupting. I know, I know. Forgive me. Um, we're just having a couple of issues with the checkout. Is that on the web and the phones? Yeah, yeah. Just a, just a little issue uh we need to feed the hamster just keep trying everything will be fine if it's in your basket just keep clicking wait a few moments refresh and click 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 again that's Sasha. get the hamster some coffee yes so i'm just top stitching along here and um as i say this has got the um craft text in it which is a it's a firm interfacing Okay, so it's, it's what, you know, whatever you choose to use for your hexagons. But then the fact that I can be sat in the garden doing these really easily, and I don't have to go round them on the sewing machine, I can actually be just hand, hand stitching them as I go in the garden. Um, I don't have to worry about getting the sewing machine out, and then I can join them all together as well. I just want to go around this one quickly just so I can show you. I think English paper piecing would be nice in your batiks. Yeah, and, and this is because I, I found this love for English paper piecing. And I've done quite a bit with these batiks. And it's just the fact that you're doing it on papers and you've then got all these edges. And the fact that when I go to put it all together, I've then got to put it into a quilt or... And it's all a bit of fat, really. Because I'm one of those people that like to get something done, you know, a project done quite quickly. So by finding this way and doing this quilt as you go method on this, what actually happens is once you've joined them, you know, joined a few of these all together, the backing's already done. They're already quilted. You haven't got to worry about binding. And then all you do is you join them together and make them into a bag front or a bag or whatever you choose to do. Mm. So if, I've gone all the way across. Sorry, Janice. No, I was just going to say you've got that beautiful quilt at the side of you, which displays the ombre effect from one batik set into another because you've got the greens in mm. there and the yellows and oranges and they just flow into one another because you've got... Because you've... Because... Uh, Hello. <laughs> Told you there's some gremlins. Uh, because you've got the different colours, you've got that ombre effect. <laughs> Those are not my hands. Uh, you've got that lovely ombre effect running through, um, but you could also then take your greens into uh, your <laughs> yellows and oranges and they'll go through absolutely beautifully, just like the quilt that Sasha has got at the side of her um which, I definitely which, can't which do stamping. looks lovely Please don't pull out some cardstock and uh, ask me no. to do stamping there Not you hard. go that's 
That's there we what go. I mean. The way that you've got the yellows in the greens and the oranges in the greens, and then going into the oranges, you've then coming out with your purples and your greens, and you're going back into some purple in there. And that's why they all mix and match, don't they? It is. And also, when you look at this, it's such a simple design. We are letting the fabrics do the talking. We are letting the fabrics, you know, you've got that whole strip of all these beautiful fabrics there, and we are just letting the fabrics do what they're meant to do. It's no intricate cutting. I've cut them all, I think it's three inch strips. Obviously the navy, I've sort of done a staggered brick effect. And I've just done a minimal amount of quilting and it is just such a simple way of using the fabrics. Yeah, it certainly is. It's stunning that is. Thanks for putting that together. That was lovely. So with these hexagons, so as you can see, I've just gone around the edge. I've just top stitched. And then what I would do if I was sat at home I would then just start joining all of these together and you can either do a zigzag on the machine or you can do a slip stitch and your slip stitch you would put them together like you would as you're doing your normal hexagons and then when you open them out you've got all these beautiful hexagons that are bound already they're binded you haven't got to worry they've got the backing they've got the wadding they are all ready to go so yes, I, I'm really impressed with those. I've, I've really got a love for this at the moment. Beautiful. Right, uh, we do have some more items for you on the show. We've got some gorgeous silks. You can head to the website and see all of the information for all of the products that we've got on the show for you. Um, but I'd like to bring your attention to some silks that we have. And these are phenomenal, aren't they, Sasha? These are on a pick and mix for you. I do believe... Are these the meters? largest pieces? Six metres you're getting. These are the largest pieces of silk we've ever brought here at the craft store. Yeah. I think, yeah. I had to question the price yesterday. I know, this I is incredible. Not, I could not believe you were getting six metres of silk, pure silk, for under £20. Now, what you're seeing, let me just, there you go. And if I bring this out, this was something that Sasha was showing us early. Can you see... I'll try and hold it in the light. Can you see those leaves on there? Are you get, can you see them through that particular design? Not yet, not yet, not, not, yet, yet, not, yet, not yet, not yet. There you go. There you go. I just have to oh, walk. There you go. So you can see those leaves on there, but also if you just drape it down, they kind of disappear and then they reappear. There you go. Isn't that quite extraordinary? And something else about the silk as well. Remember, this is 100% silk. My word, the price is incredible. You've got this lovely beading down the edge really like that so this is good to go this could be a throw over your shoulders over you and your friends knees or shoulders because we can have friends back around in the garden now which is lovely um, or it could be just something that you um, are making and creating into um, a garment for you to wear as well you've got a choice of colors a choice of colors so that one is your purple which is beautiful so what you see there is only half of the length what we've got here because the other half is on the other side it's incredible so that is the purple next along I've got the red now this is quite extraordinary look at this not only have you got that wonderful pattern in there you've also got your detailing which is if I turn it that way see there it's been embroidered on there you go it's been embroidered on with the gold thread which looks absolutely Stunning. Yeah, that's stitched on. That's stitched on. If we turn it the other way, you can see that stitched on. So in essence, you could say this does have a right and a wrong side, but it's that colour, isn't it? I don't know if you can. There you go. You can see that it's beautiful and you'd probably use it that way with the uh, patterns going down. It's entirely up to you. Next, we've got the blues. Now, all of the silk... I mean, you just see the drape in that. Isn't that fantastic? All of the silks have the edging down the side. So you've got that wonderful beading down the side. Um, now, the blue is the most popular. The blue is the most popular, uh, which is interesting, isn't it? Which is gorgeous. So there you go. Feels divine. Next along, you've got your greens and your purples. Now, this is almost, there you go. This is like, you, know, you were talking earlier, Sasha, about the cars with the two-tone colors. Yeah. Yeah, can you the see that? chameleon, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's stunning, that is. Stunning. Your purples and your greens. And then the final one, now this is interesting. This is multi, but take a look at this. Can you see the stripes in there? Wow, now that's amazing. So you've got your stripes in there, which actually... Yeah, now, this is incredible because I it's don't... It's really bizarre, isn't I it? I don't it's think so these amazing. stripes... 
have been printed. I don't know how they've made this. This is quite extraordinary because can you see how the stripes change in colour? So you've got your see-through elements, then you've got your orange in there, you've got your pink. It's almost weaved in, isn't it's, it? It is, and I'm just feeling that on the back as well. It's almost like they've got lots of different silk ribbons and stitched them together, even though you can't feel the stitching. That's extraordinary. That is extraordinary. If you're going to go, for, if you're going to go for any of them, my word, 19.99. It's a pick and mix. You choose any two. I would definitely put that in there because that is so different, and so beautiful. And remember, all of your silk gets the beading down the edge, and you get three meters in length. So that is only half that you're seeing now. We've got the other half on the other side. Three meters. So if you did want to social distance with somebody, you definitely can do that with your uh, silk. So you get to choose any two. Incredible price. Works out to be 9.99 each or thereabouts. Wow. That's amazing for three meters. That is amazing. Silk. That really is amazing. Uh, right, 698182 is your item number. Let's have a look at the happy hours that we've got available for you on the show, just for this hour and this hour only. Really like these. Uh, you've got your ditzy florals there. So that's your floral shadow. 12 99 these are. You're only saving three. Um, you are saving three pounds. Not only saving. What am I talking about? You're only spending 12 99 You're saving three pounds, which is, you know, a fourth of the price, isn't it? Or a fifth. I was never good at maths at school. No. Uh, 761928. We craft. We don't do math. We craft. Um, right. The other happy hours that we've got for you. Again, some lovely dotty and ditzy florals. 9.99. These are half a metre by 44 inches wide. They're 100% cotton. And as you can see there, we've got lots of different colours. Blink and you'll miss them. But we've got pinks and, and blues and lovely beige colours in there. And lilacs and pinks. Um, beautiful. 655. 965. Um, if you miss those, all you've got to do is ask the call centre to go through the colours for you and they will explain them. Right, so we've got some fat quarters. Now, to give you an idea of a fat quarter size, it's always interesting, isn't it, Sasha, to know? It is. Because we always get new people watching us. Yes, definitely. And um, so I think, if I'm right, these ones are cut across the half a metre. Okay. Um, so I think, are they 50 by 55 or around there? They are 50 by 55. Oh, look at me. But it's a work of art in itself, isn't it? Well, look, do you remember last time I was saying that people, some people's houses now, they're, they're very grey, they're very white, mm -hmm. um, they're going very minimal because they are changing their colours of their fabrics or yes. trays or cushions. Well, this, you could just put these in a picture frame and have beautiful fabrics yeah. with all this colour in your actual picture frame or even get a canvas and mod podge these onto a canvas. Yeah. You could, Just you could. stunning. They are a great size to work with your patchwork designs. They're a great size to work with if you want to make small little purses or bags, for example. Uh, you know, you could just fold that up. Let's say we folded that there and cut into it. That could be uh, a little purse, a little clutch bag, but you've still got that gorgeous pattern running across and you still have that beautiful interest in there. And you can match these up with your other fabrics that you've got at home. Right, let's take you through the options. Get ready for this. Get a pen, take note, just like line of duty. This one is A. Uh, so A has a mixture of colours, I would say, a whole variety, a whole variety. So that's A. We're only going up to A, B, C, D. There's no H, uh, just A, B, C and D. Uh, so that's A. You won't be disappointed in this. Your next option you've got it, it's going to be B. And this one, I would say you've got more of your purples in here. And if I just muted, open, they, I they are. I'm just going to open this muted. one up like this one. There you go. Now look at that. It's just stunning, isn't it? Well, I was actually going to be a pain and say, could we look at the one? Because I think this is a prime example of what people need to, to see. Yep. Um, if you go on to row B, Go towards the bottom. Towards the bottom. Keep going. Uh, no, go up. That one. That one. Yes. Ah. Now, can you see what I'm going to say? Oh. This. See what I'm going to say. Is that in, even English? No, but I understood it perfectly. <laughs> um, so you think that you're getting this cream beigey fabric, and you then do. it's got this amazing <gasps> pop of pink and turquoise coming Let me through. Look at that. So this is why it's really important on the boutique shows to actually be able to show you the actual boutique fabrics and how 
they look because if that was just folded up you would just think that that is a piece of cream beige batik fabric yeah you would look at this i'll fold it back up and it depends on how it's folded yes if i folded it like that and like that and like that you wouldn't see you, you wouldn't, wouldn't see know. that pop you would just think it's got a hint there yeah so that's that's b row b then You've got C and then you've got D. Uh, so A, B, C and D. There you go. Those are your fat quarters. £29.99. 846 is your item number. You choose, you decide. A, B, C or D. Uh, right, next up we have some more batiks for you. Uh, and these are your mixes. Um, I'm looking at these and I'm thinking elements of nature. I would go for that for your woods and your trees. I would go for the next one for your seas and your skies. I would do the next one as maybe your fantasy or your solar systems. And then the final one I would do for your mm, flowers, flower beds. And then your greens I would do for your uh, meadows and your rolling hills. It's uh, a choice, $14.99, and you choose from any of those. There you go. Uh, you get five fat quarters. Absolutely stunning. Just to pull one out to show you again so you can see the wonderment in your batik fabrics. Um, there you go. Gorgeous. And remember, you've always got two sides. Two sides to every story. So those are your options there. £14.99. Remember, if you do have access to the internet, you can have a peruse of these a little slower if you want to. Uh, then, we have got your tie-dyes. Now, tie-dyes. So this is a different technique to batiks. So with your batiks, you're using your wax and your... Um, stamps that technique with tie dye it's all about how you are tying the fabric up okay so it's about how they use string and um, bands elastic bands that sort of thing and they can scrunch it they can swirl the fabric round they can fold it into squares and then tie it and what you will actually see the intensity of the color becomes more stronger where the fabrics are not so constricted where they're tied but where the white of the fabric is that's the original colouring of the fabric, so the white or the cream fabric, oh. and that's where it's tied. I mean, that part that you where your hand is so now, it'll be yes, tied it's like almost so. tied like so, and it's where it's constricted. Now, I'm just thinking a shirt or a nice dress or sarong in this. I'll watch my light, don't worry. But again, it's a whole piece. It, yeah. it just works. Even, you know, if you were to buy this more than one piece, it will come in a continuous cut. So you're looking at your quilt backings, larger throws, that sort of thing. Amazing price. And, or, I mean, I can't get over that it's under £10. I know, it's an incredible meter. price. Mm. Something like a just throwing over your shoulders, you know, when you're cold or if you're going yeah. down, to, if you're lucky enough to be going to the beach again. Um, it's just lovely. And all the colours just complement eyes and hair and, and skin tones. It's just absolutely marvellous. It really, really is. Very there pretty, you go. that one. So you have a choice colour wise. You've got your hot pink, you've got your orange and turquoise. Orange and turquoise? Orange, sorry. Then you've got your turquoise. And then you've got your turquoise and purple, which is the one I got out for you. $9.99, excellent value for money, 100% cotton, batik. Let's have a look at the website. There you go. So you've got all of your options on there. Have a look at the five-star reviews as well. See what everyone else is saying about their wonderful batiks, what they've been making, what they've found out about the different fabrics that are available. Um, and also check out the seven-day savers as well. So we've got some lovely seven-day savers for you. Remember anything that you add to your basket, if your basket comes to £40 or more, you can divide the cost into two payments. Uh, it's interest-free. It's really easy to set up as well. Go and have a look at the Sew Craft uh, cottons as well, because I think they'll go beautifully with your batiks. They really will. Let's just throw in the colour this summer. Uh, we've had long enough being out there. It's time to bring the colour in, and that's exactly what we're doing with your one-day special and with all the different options we've got available. What are you going to show us now, Sasha? So we're just going to have a closer look at some of the fabrics. So on a couple of the fabrics, um, we, were, we were looking closely at them last night, and I've literally just put some fusible web onto the back of the leaves i've cut them out because the leaf shape is already there so we are just taking advantage of that shape there are so many different pictures you can see within the fabrics 
and again with um, with this one beautiful leaf shapes that you can actually be cutting out of here and using them to go in um, if you were doing a wall hanging with um, applique with vases of flowers or just a, a whole wreath of flowers on there you could just be cutting these leaves out and actually popping them all together um, and just using some fusible web but so on this one we're going to have a look at the shapes and how you can actually use the piece of material without actually having to cut it all up you can just free motion quilt this now obviously i'm going to show you a little bit of stitching i haven't got the free motion foot on because i only bought the walking foot with me but we can still um, go quite slowly and we can still have a look and then on the back i will show you how it sort of looks so you can see here i've gone around the leaf shape and it's about playing and it's a really really good way on learn well or it's a really good way of learning how to free motion as well to gain control of your machine and to be able to just have a play um when i was learning free motion quilting i actually bought some fabric which just was covered in lemons and another fabric was covered in potatoes just so I could get the action of going around those shapes um, and get the control of your machine because obviously you normally um, drop your feed dogs on your machine to do your free motion and by dropping your feed dogs that's what enables you to do free motion so your feed dogs are actually there to grip the fabric once you drop them the sewing of the fabric will not move what good idea okay potatoes so, and lemons yeah so i just bought fabric that was just it was really really cheap mm -hmm. and i just literally went around the shapes by moving the fabric so i had the control of the yeah. fabric you can then go in Great any direction idea. It's all about not being scared of your machine yeah. and having a really good play. If you've got a heat re uh, erasable pen and some spare fabric, you could always draw those shapes yeah. and then practice going around them to give you the confidence to go around um, shapes like this. That's a really, really good idea. Well, one of the things that I teach my students is we take a piece of calico and we divide it into five inch squares. And then I make everybody drop their feed dogs. And by dropping the feed dogs, that means you are the only person that is in control. And you have to feel that square. Yeah. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It's just you learning how your machine yeah. works. So the first thing that we're going to do is I've dropped the, um, my walking foot. I've put my needle in. And I am going to lift my needle back up. And I'm going to pull that thread from the bottom up through to the top. This stops any of that knotting. And then I'm just going to drop my needle back down. It would help if I've got my glasses on. So I can see what I'm doing and then we're just going to go really slowly and we are just going to follow some of these lines around and it's all about just practicing and getting the feel for your machine you know I mean I've got one of these fancy fandango machines at home that sort of does everything it has a little sweetie drawer and it literally makes me a cup of tea as well nearly but sometimes it's just nice to go back to basics and just follow follow the fabric. You could use some metallic fabric on these oh. and really draw out the designs, don't you think? Definitely. And the other thing that I'd like to do, which is what I was saying earlier, is you can take a piece of organza, place the organza on top of here and then stitch. And it gives you this beautiful shimmery effect. Um, of the organza showing off the fabrics basically as well so I'm just moving my foot round and I am just following those shapes We've had some images sent in, Sasha. Oh, oh yeah. I love Can it we have a lot? Email in. Um, oh, now the first one's from Marion. Wow, this is a double quilt that she's made. Is that with batik fabrics? Oh my days, look at that. Wow. That is amazing. Do you know what? I keep looking at the blues and then that I keep looking at the yeah. sort of the uh, tonal colours in there. That is amazing. Um, she said they're lovely to work with. Oh, thank you so much for sending that in. Uh, but now, of course, she needs to decide what to make with the new ones. That is absolutely sensational. I love that. 
And also, if we've got the... This, here's another image, oh, Sasha. Another Look one. at this. This is from Roberta. Oh, this this looks like one of those soft oh, the bowl bowls. Clothies. Yeah. That's and she beautiful. uses the batiks a lot. And she uses this... Oh, my goodness. Right. So the soup goes in a bowl. The bowl goes in that. And that goes in the microwave. Oh, brilliant. And then it's not hot when you take it out. Can you... I've, what a great tip. You can actually do that as long as you're using cotton wadding and cotton backing because it's 100% cotton. I've and never heard no of that. Metallics what on it. a great tip. Obviously, um, um, you do need to be very careful and you need to make sure that you're using 100% cotton um, before you put anything like that in the microwave. But as long as it doesn't have any um, metallics or metallic thread, you're using cotton thread, cotton wadding, cotton backing. Yeah. You I've never heard of that. Mm. That yeah, it's amazing. That, I love that. What a great idea! Thank you very much for sending Roberta uh, that image in. I'm going to, I'm going to make one of those. I'm going to try it now. I think that's a they great are, they're, idea. They are. They're brilliant. There's, a, there's a lady out there. She's going to hate me saying this. There's a lady called Lynn Quinn. She's a great friend of mine, and a great friend of Jenny Raymond's, and she does lots of embroidery for Jenny, and she does lots of embroidery for myself, and she has a massive batik addiction really and if she could send in some of her batik pictures i bet she won't they are amazing she has done the most beautiful quilts of batiks and as i was saying this morning i never got on the quilt the batik bandwagon i never until now yeah and now i can see why um she just absolutely loves batiks and she messaged me this morning say she was very naughty she'd um bought quite a few of the artisan ones i think and um and yeah she just absolutely loves batiks and i can now see why well you've brought some lovely samples in of uh, some uh, table mats and table runners and little bowls that are on the table in front of you yeah so we can look at another bowl uh, later and, yeah and you can see just how lovely they are and what a difference it makes look at the batik fabrics inside there and the batik fabric used on the outside and i think it's very clever what sasha's done there because the batik fabric used on the outside is more of the same colour, even though it's 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 though like it looks like a tree uh, scape. But then you've got the lovely floral design in the middle. I think that's a genius idea. And the same with these other ones we're looking at now. Um, again, you've got the outside on the. Are they reversible, Sasha? That's what I was just going to say. So we can turn these through, and then it's almost like a petal. Oh. Do you know what that's good for as well? You could make a little hat. You imagine a little hat for you your little girl or boy. Well, that'd be lovely. You can do the same sort of thing as a sun hat. Yeah, definitely. that'd be lovely. But they um, they are very, um, they've just got interfacing in them. This one has got inner form in there. And this one has got wadding in there. So, you know, we're going to have a little more. Uh, I did the demo, full demo on this at six o'clock last night. So you can go back and watch that, I think. But yeah, these are brilliant. I've absolutely loved making these. And um, yeah, because they're, they're such a quick and easy gift in that you can fold them up and actually put them in the post because we know how um, expensive things are when they go in the post. Um, so really, as you can see from the back of here, I'm just picking out certain shapes and going around and just playing. So the next one we're going to have a look at is this one. So again, we are going to... Pop our needle, we're going to um, drop our foot, we're going to pop our needle in and then we're going to lift our needle back up to draw that bottom thread. Now, if you are making quilts or you need some backing, we have got a poly mix uh, backing uh, fabric for you. Oh, my word, you get five metres. I've got three options for you, or we've got three options for you, should I say. Um, right, there are four available, but I've got three with me here. So that's your red, as you can see. Um, but again, working with the batiks that you've got, with the fat quarters, for example, would tone perfectly, or with the others. Uh, you get five metres by 244. That's a lot. So if you were going to go for, let's just pop this at the side here, that would go perfectly with the option in the one day special. If you're going to do a quilt, that would be a great backing, don't you think, Sasha? They are absolutely the backings. We get asked time and time again to bring them back. If you have got um, a craft club that's starting back up again, if you are a long armor, somebody that does long arm quilting, this is an amazing price for your backings. 
19.99 my word that's your red just showing you how that goes with the red then we've got black which will go with anything won't it sasha absolutely anything um huge amount huge amount for you five meters by 244 centimeters that's your black and we've got your white as well now because your batiks are 100 percent cotton and this is a mix does that make any difference as to the cotton you use or the washing instructions no not at all um i I would suggest that you would give the um, backing a wash first. Yeah. Um, only because this has already been pre-washed. So I would suggest that you give the backing um, a bit of a pre-wash and give it a press. But no, it wouldn't make a difference at all. Okay. Uh, so white, black, red and ivory are your colour options for your backing. Um, and oh my word, we're getting busy for these now. The ivory, if you head to the website, it's where you can see that one. You can't really see the difference, but it is ivory. Uh, black or red, uh, you can choose. You can have all of them if you want. The price will just change uh, accordingly for you. Uh, and again, some great colours for you to use as you're backing for your quilts. So it just gives you... Um, I think it gives you more of your batik fabrics to use on the top so you can get some of this to place it on the other side uh, and also work for jackets as well if you're making any jackets out of your batik fabrics and dressmaking. Uh, 19 346 836 is your item number for that. That's Sasha. So I just want to do one more line so I can just show you and I'm going to go up through the middle of this one. So you do as I was saying, you know, as we were saying, you don't need to be precise in your cutting or have magic rulers or just please, just when you get these fabrics, look at them as the bigger picture and just really, really enjoy them. I think that is, you know, that's what I, that's what I've discovered. Yes. Because as I said, you know, I hadn't got on the batik um, wagon. I, I really didn't know what to expect. And, you know, things like this is just such good fun. Now, we've got some fabrics at the back of you, Sasha. Um, and these are absolutely gorgeous. It's almost like walking into a candy store when you see the fabrics that we've got at the back. Um, I don't know if you want to get up and show us through yeah. these, Sasha, whether you've I got the do. time. Can you, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, because these really are lovely, and I know you really like these as well. So, yeah, so these, I, when I see these, I automatically think of those night skies and the actual landscape and looking at them um, as a, a textile media, like that media arts and textile artists, that sort of thing. So we have got, I think this is number one, isn't it? Multi number one. Yeah. Which is your reds and your oranges and your really hot pink going through there. It's like a fruit salad. It is like a fruit yeah. salad, yeah. Yeah. And so, again, these are exactly the same quality, really close weave, really nice, really crisp, fresh fabrics. And then we've got number two, which, again, obviously, we've got the lines going horizontal. That is right, isn't it? I always get that. Yeah, I do, up. too. <laughs> but, you know, if you move them across, you're looking at your skies, you're looking at your beach scenes you're looking at different things you know so don't be afraid of stripes mm. do not be i like them that way stripes. whatever way that was i like them the horizontal again with this one this is your forest instantly i'm seeing the ash trees it's night time we've got the deers birch trees that's it they've got the the deers walking through your fairies in there it's beautiful isn't it definitely and what i was i just want to grab this a second uh the details on the screen for these 12 pounds and 99 pence do you know what it's a pick and mix and you choose any two and they're half meters in size so this is excellent value for money and this is what I was saying about, look at the fabrics. To me, I see this on this side as a beautiful summer sky. But then if you start doing your shadow and silhouette applique and put those shapes, wow. it just automatically changes that it fabric. Does. It just makes that fabric pop. And it automatically looks like you've got that blue sky with the pink, with the yellow coming through. Love that. And then this with the lime green. Oh, that's gorgeous. That yeah. is gorgeous. And again, you know, just put the black or navy with it. It just works so well. My favourite. Oh, you've got your rainbow colours there. So yeah. this one is number one, two, three, four, five, number six. 
beautiful. This would make a stunning bag. It really Absolutely would. Absolutely stunning bag. Now, we've only got about two minutes left of the show. We're going to continue going through these fabrics, but you can see everything on the website. And we'll be back at four o'clock with another live show. Another stunning seascape, isn't it? And this one I think of as night sky solar systems. Oh, yeah. You yeah. can really see that galaxy coming through mm. the Milky Way. Or cut Way. out the shapes oh, and there'll be definitely. different Jupiters and Mars and things. And again, beautiful colours there, really pastel, really delicate, your dusky colours there. Yeah, don't forget you can use your dyes and you can cut out different shapes and place yes. those on yeah, your, like on, an applique. I didn't realise that. We were talking about that with Paolo last night. Beautiful. And again, you know, don't be afraid to play with a dark, harsh colour. Yeah. You know, put a load of butterflies or bird shapes on top of here. Oh, that'd be lovely. And it does look like the sky, doesn't it? It looks amazing. Sasha, we've got 45 seconds left. You've been an absolute joy again to work with. Thank you so much for this hour. That's we okay. will see you again at 4 o'clock for another live hour. You can check out your one day special on the website. It is available for you in all the different colours that we have with those batiks. Absolutely sensational. I bet you can't wait to get them home and open them up and get your batiks out and have a look at all the different designs that are coming your way. All you have to do is choose and design, uh, decide your colourways and which fabrics you're going to go for so have a look on the website for that we'll be back at four o'clock today with another live show with adam and sasha thanks sasha thanks we'll see so you much. later uh, and we'll see you guys in a few moments time because we've got more shows coming up after the break Right, the lace knittery is up next. Letting Leone Loose is happening here on the craft store after that. And then Sentimentally Yours, Woodland. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, I'm Gina Barrett from Gina B Silkworks. We're a family company specializing in traditional crafts for the modern maker. I'm looking forward to being able to take time and demonstrate some of these techniques and share new ideas. I hope you'll be able to tune in to the Gina B. Silkworks shows. Did you know you can continue watching The Craft Store 24 hours a day, 7 days a week for free using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If it's not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember, you will need your router's password at hand, whether you are on a wired or a wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type thecraftstore.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcasts and access to previous shows. Now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite TV shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. And a very good afternoon to you. So we're going to move from the one day special and fabric and move to some beautiful knitting and yarn. I'm here with the lovely Debbie. Good afternoon, my darling. Hello. 
are you? I'm very well. This is the first time I've had uh, been able to work with you, but you've been on the show lots of times before. I have. Yes, I seem to have different people every time, which is brilliant because I get to see you all. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And people might watch at different times. So, yeah. who, who, you are lace knittery. How did it all yeah. come about? If anybody's not met you before, I Debbie, I have always loved knitting. I don't remember learning to knit, but I remember being at primary school and knitting squares for in the class and I was obviously a better knitter because I got to knit two and <laughs> <laughs> I can remember it really 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 hard work knitting these I must have been about five or six and then they were all sewn together they were sent off to the donkey sanctuary down in Devon Aww. and we got storybooks back <laughs> <laughs> And I can absolutely remember as a five or six year old, the carpet time, you know, when you have the story at the end of the day. Yes. And I was all sitting there going, wonder if that donkey had our blanket. Aww. It must have just actually opened the envelope and thought, oh, God. <laughs> I doubt it. I doubt it. And you set up the company over just over 10 years. You've been going for 10 years. But been a going years for 10 years. Um, I set it up. Uh, 2012, 2013. I was thinking about doing it before because people kept on asking me for knitted, finished goods and can you show me how to do this and can you do that? And also then I had a bit of a life-changing experience where I was diagnosed with MS and I just thought, why not? Gonna go for it. Gonna <laughs> and go I think for that's it. what everybody's doing at the moment, aren't they? With yes, so that's time to reflect. Like, you know, yeah, let's do it. Life is too short. Yeah, uh, and you brought some of your beautiful. Now these are all your original designs. They you're, are. you're on. You've got your website there, www.thelacenittery.com. You're on Facebook, Instagram. Yes. Are you twittering oh, yeah. out there? Do you know what? I don't have. That's time. all right. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying we need to follow you and well. how we, how we can find you. But they're all linked in together, aren't they? Because they the are website. all linked in together. It's one of those things where you end up doing so much, don't you? You think, oh, I haven't done my Instagram, I haven't done my Facebook, it's a I haven't done job. my Twitter. It's full it is full -time a full-time job, and job. I just don't have time. To do that. <laughs> right. Well, we've got the the one shrug knitting kit. Tell me about this kit then, Debbie. So all of my designs and colours are moments in time for me and they come as a finished thing, finished item in my head and then I have to reverse engineer the pattern and reverse engineer the colours that I want to use. So the one shrug ha is multiple reasons why it's called that. It was the first shrug I ever designed back in 2012 um, when people were actually asking me for finished items and I got asked for lots of shrugs and so I designed this to be multi-size and anybody could wear it anybody could do it um, it's what? also yes yeah, sorry Debbie. sorry no, no. I don't like the boring stuff in right. knitting so I don't mind. like weaving in the ends I don't like lots of seaming I never do a gauge square even though I should um, and so it's only got one seam on either side. That's it, so the one. And it should, because it's interchangeable, and I've made the pattern interchangeable, so you can make the back longer, you can make the sleeves longer, you can make the back wider. It should be the only shrug, the one shrug pattern that you need. And the, one, the other thing you told me, Debbie, is that we can adjust, because you're going to see the three different colourways, yep. we can adjust the sleeves. Now this, as you can see, you, this is a, is a larger one, which is why it's slightly um, just looping over our mannequin here. But we can adjust, the, so it can be a cap sleeve, it can be mid three quarter, it can, or it can be a long so as well. So we can adjust that accordingly to size The well. pattern is for a mid, so you've got a mid sort of just above your elbow length. Uh, but you can make it any length that you want. So the cream one I've actually done as a cap sleeve. Then the pink one I've actually done as a bracelet length sleeve. And the blue one That's I've funny. actually done as the pattern. Yeah. But I got, so I was explaining earlier on that I have got small size, a medium size and a large size. Beautiful. Also in the pattern are instructions. If you are a knitter, you will be able to make whichever size you want because it tells you the number of stitches to add or take away to get the size that you want. And then I'm just showing everybody the shorter size there because I wear like little shrugs like this with my summer dresses. I'm just going to take off this beautiful scarf which I'm dying to show everybody but I'll just give this a little twiddle there as well. Sorry to ruin your lovely display there Debbie but That's right. um, they're the kind of things <laughs> I, I, I wear in the summer, I you know, with the summer dress just over the shoulders, over the it shoulders. does get kind of cooler in the evening, doesn't exactly. it? Exactly. And, and lots of people like and... to just shove, you know, put something on, 
keep yes. yourself warm in the evenings. And that's why I made the sleeves mm. adjustable and the back adjustable. You, If you want it longer, just knit it longer. If you want your sleeves longer or shorter, just knit them longer or shorter. It is entirely up to you. You can make it whatever you want. I have also managed to knit this in, these are all double knit, mm -hmm. but double knit varies in a huge way in how thick or thin it is. Um, so I've also knitted it before in a very, very light um, sock weight. So you can have a really good fun with this and do lots of different things. Beautiful. And you were telling me as well, I mean, obviously you're supplying uh, the yarn here, but we can use any, can't we? You for can. For doing these patterns, can't you we? You can. You can. So I know you said you can, we've got three different options. So beautiful, beautiful instructions I want to show you. So it's all beautifully packaged. The devil's in the detail. You've got colour pictures in there. Lovely, simple instructions that Debbie takes you through step by step. All packaged beautifully in the uh, the envelope there. And it has on the back what you will need if you're going to repeat the pattern as well. But in this this one, this is the Dusky Rose. Now you hand dye it, don't you, Debbie? I you were do. telling me. That's just why we get this lovely graduation sort of and variation. And I push the... So I get the ideas for the colours from all around me. And those were roses in a neighbour's garden last year. Beautiful. And... I push the dye in because I, I want us to have a really lovely drift of colours. No harsh colour changing. Well, no solid blocks. No solid yeah. blocks. So it really it drifts its way through. And I usually have multicoloured fingers because <laughs> I'm pushing <laughs> it through. But I do it by hand. Um, the pink is an organic uh, lamb's wool wow. from a farm not too far away from me in Somerset. Gorgeous. And you, that is 600 metres. It is 600 yes, so metres. So these are all 600 metres in the yeah. kit. It's just that some are uh, in a, it, in a two It's the variation you get in the double knit. So yeah. double knit as a yarn weight varies in thickness. And so it, when you want to, or if you ever want to interchange yarns, go look at the yardage or the meterage and, and work on that, not the weight. Brilliant. And you're also getting, I can see just over your shoulder, my little bag of creativity, your lace knittery tote as well, 492147. So that's the, the lamb's wool uh, rose yep. coloured yep, uh, option. Is. Then we've got this pretty turquoise blue. And I said to you, well, how? I mean, I, this colour is gorgeous. Tell me about this, this yarn. So that yarn is a, that's a merino and it's got silk <sighs> and this little sparkle running oh, through it which is spun in so it wow. will not come out at all um, so you you won't find that you're shedding all little glittery bits as you move around yes it's really super soft um, and that color I think we've all been in our heads this year and thinking about holidays and where we've been and memories and meeting up with people and that was inspired by a trip down the Nile probably 30 years ago and I remember seeing lotus flowers floating in the Nile and then there was a uh, temple with that colour ceiling and I, wow. it's just stuck in my head and this is where I get all the ideas from they're in my head they're moments in time and they just come out beautiful and again that is your 600 meters there 600 grams sorry uh, of, of the weighted yarn uh, that we can split it to two flexi by payments as well. So that's your, your lovely lotus flower. Two flexi by payments, 24.75 or a one off of 49.49.492.147. Then we've also got the cream option. So this is, this is the, the wool in its that rawest is form, isn't it? The wool in its natural state. Yeah. And sometimes you can't beat the natural colours. No. I was also thinking about weddings because we're allowed to go oh. out into weddings. When we can, yeah. yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yay. Wedding season is coming back again. So I was thinking about that. It's a beautiful, soft cream, oh, isn't it? Stunning. It's like clotted cream. Oh, it is. And it is really, really soft because it it's is 50% so silk and 50% blue face Leicester, which is a British only wool breed. Wow, that's amazing. Gosh. I'm loving the understanding of all the wools as well. <laughs> so, 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 so pretty. So again, the option is to make smaller, bigger, short sleeve, long sleeve. It's all there in the pattern as well. 492147. So there are your three options. All come with their lovely tote and your full instructions as well. Um, I'm just taking this with me because this is an end of call couple of patterns I want to talk about in a moment. Uh, I'm going to move on now. Tell me about this. You know I'm 
absolutely in love with your scarves, your little over-the-shoulder throws. I mean, look at this. It's like, it's like flotsam. Look at this. this I... Forgive it's... me, Mr. Baker. I've just ruined the picture, but I just... <laughs> I just had to come in with that, how pretty this was. It is a colour that just makes me smile because I call it geranium because that's what it is. We have steps down to our front door and in the summer I grow pots full of geraniums and they are that lovely hot pink colour. We're not having much of a summer so far <sighs> and it just makes me think of those lovely flowers, summer, meeting friends in the garden. It is, that is kid mohair and silk. So it's 70% oh. kid mohair and 30% silk. It's that one of the prettiest yeah. things and it's just, just so light. So again, I mean, it doesn't go at all with anything I've got on right now, but um, just for just that little bit of warmth around the shoulders. Yeah. It's just, it's utterly, I was captivated both by the color, the feel and that, beautiful pattern that you've oh, created you. it's so pretty debbie isn't and that squiz exquisite that pattern so gentle is that you can use anywhere from that weight yarn all the way up to aran weight so a really heavy weight yarn beautiful so again in here we have got our 450 meter skein of the uh, as you said the lace aran weight yarn there as well plus your pattern and uh, that, that beautiful tote bag, 39.99367229. I should have asked, Debbie, what sort of level, I know we're, we're on our second project here, but what sort of level was our shrugs in terms of um, capability? So our shrugs are, I would say, beginner upwards because yeah. there is only about four stitches in it. Oh, okay. And we're going to demonstrate the, the, the one that makes the holes later on. So and really that's can. your lace, your lace right. stitch. Um, so that's probably beginner upwards. The... The pink geranium uh, coloured shrug, I will probably say sort of intermediate, but really sort of experienced beginner for that one. Beautiful. Uh, so that brings me nicely on to our third uh, fantastic kit. And, uh, well, I just love the blues. Tell me about this one. Then, so Debbie. that one is called Bluestone and it is... Uh, well, the colour is called Bluestone and the design is called Grey Lake and we live in Somerset down on the edge of the levels and whenever I go across the levels and I'm often only the, the only car going across towards a place called Grey Lake, there is a barn owl that flies along and ghosts by the car <laughs> and I slow down, wind the window down, have a little bit of a conversation with him thinking this is lovely, this is a little barn owl, this is a little barn owl. <laughs> Um, so that's why it's called Grey Lake, because I'm going towards Grey Lake. Wow. It has a feather design for yes, my lovely little looking at those. friends. Yes, I was just looking at these beautiful feathers. I was trying to um, get a, 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 a sort of a, maybe a blank background there. We can see that feather design. So it's got an yeah. all over feather design and the colour so is pretty. blue stone. Because we live in the Somerset, we are often going upwards and back and down yes. along the A303 past Stonehenge with the blue stones and my youngest daughter collected stones and often the only thing that was tidy in her bedroom when she was a teenager was the stone collection with the blue, blue stone in. Beautiful and again it's got that little hand dies you can see that 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 gradation as it were and there we go that's what I was trying to show everybody isn't that pretty and then again it's got that uh, woven in um, Yes, it has. It's spun in. It's got that yes. sparkle spun, spun in. in sparkle. Because I just wanted it to catch the light. You will. It's. And it's also. It's a soft sparkle. You're, yes. Isn't it? It's not. Sometimes you can get scratchy sort of sparkle, but it's not. It's lovely. I can't stop touching everything and ruining shots. I'm so sorry, Mr. Baker. Um, it's every time he tries to get shot, I'm moving oh, it because I'm touching it <laughs> and <laughs> and ruining these lovely camera shots because it's just so tactile, isn't it? You just want to it touch lovely, it all, isn't it? You want to touch it all, and and we've got such a wonderful industry in this country. Let's celebrate it. Absolutely, we really do. that's absolutely stunning. So 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 pretty. And again, you get that lovely tote bag. I'm going to leave that out like that so we can see our our pretty patterns. But of course, you can. Uh, that one is forty four ninety nine. 313922. You've got a free discount on that one, taking it down to £40.49. Um, and we have got some patterns on their own as well. Um, this is a set 
of four. It's a bundle. So we are getting, if I read this correctly, the frosted leaf shawl pattern. So you are getting in the bundle one of every pattern that we've got on the show. Uh, plus a, a bonus is the frosted leaf pattern, ah. which is the triangular shrug. Again, you can do this in any weight yarn. Um, you may have some yarn left over and you could, because it's, it's knitted from the point, you could make like a little neckerchief if you wanted with leftovers. Fantastic. And that is $14.99 for all four of those original patterns there, 940551. Talking of leftovers, we have got an end of call and you assured me that the twirly scarf pattern, which you can just add to your order, or the twirly crochet scarf pattern, um, you can just use all your leftovers, you said you to me, You can Daddy. just use all your leftovers. I have knitted and crocheted both of those in any weight yarn that I've got left over. You can change colours, you can change weights and give it some texture. It, these are beginner, beginner patterns because the pattern does all the work for you. The pictures on the front of the patterns, I just cut the yarn and that's all. Right. I didn't press it, didn't do anything else. It takes no finishing and that's it. You get a curl. Fantastic. Absolutely exquisite. So they are end call. Let's have a look at that website as well. You can shop ahead and look at all of these uh, beautiful, beautiful projects on the web. Um, all of the latest knittery projects there. We've also got some beautiful books there as well. Uh, we'll have a little chat about those later because we have only got this fantastic hour with our lovely Debbie. So I want to utilise um, her being with us as much as possible. So do feel free to shop ahead. Right, Debbie, you wanted to show us uh, the shrug with the lovely rose oh, I yarn. did. So what I thought we would do is start in the beginning. And that is with your cast on. So I've got here... I don't know whether you can see that here. Um, the pattern says to use a lace knit cast on. So I've got two things here, one with the lace knit cast on and one with an ordinary cast on that most people do with, which is sort of a, a long tail cast on. And you'll see why the lace knit cast on is so useful. If I just do this, it is super, super, super stretchy. And so it gives you a lot of movement. And when you are pressing out any lace pattern, when you, it, it allows the pattern to come out and show. Because when you're knitting lace and you cast it off, it always, always reminds me of something washed up on a seashore because it's a, just a bundled mess of and you think I've done that wrong I haven't got the pattern that's on the front of the pattern it's completely wrong you need to press lace knitting and the pattern just comes out so this is a lace cast on nice and wiggly this is an ordinary cast on and you can see it's it's already sort of curling up here mm. and it just doesn't move as much so I'm going to show you the lace knit cast on because you can also if I show you here use it as a decorative edging. So can you see that little decorative edging there? Mm. If I move that, yep. So yes, it gives you this lovely little loopy edging if you just use it on some ordinary knitting. It gives you the option if you're doing something like a bag that you could use this as a loop to put ribbon through to tie Ooh. up. Yes, lovely. And, it's, and you can do an upside down bag and there you go, you've got your little bit to tie up. So your lace knit cast on. It's very, very easy. It requires two, both knitting needles. And what you're going to do, first of all, is make a knot. And it is, what you get is odd stitches, odd numbers of stitches. So I've just there made a knot, that's all right, on my first knitting needle. And then I'm going to bring the yarn behind and lay it over. So it's behind and laid over the needle. I'm going to take my other needle and put it through the loop and then round and knit it and bring that loop through and put it onto the needle. If I can put it onto the needle. There we go. So now I started off with one stitch and now I've got three. I'm going to do that again so you can see. So I bring the yarn around the back and loop it over the front. Put my needle through the loop 
and then I'm just going to knit it just as though it was an ordinary stitch and then I've got five and you'll see that this is quite um, movable it moves backwards and forwards you see how much room and those little loops already mm. that we've got on this cast on so on your pattern as well it will say knit one row or uh, purl one row and this is just to fix these in place if uh, you went straight on to do your pattern you might find that you would end up with it twisted round like this and then you would get an extra stitch there if your pattern requires you to have an extra um, or an, uh, not an extra an even number of stitches cast on so you've got one more and then when you get to your last one you knit these two together so I'll show you that I'm going to go for four stitches or, or shall I do another one so round through the loop knit it onto there so I have now got seven stitches on here but if I only wanted six I would knit these six and you can see how loose and fluid it already is and it's it, it's moving here on the needle quite a lot so I go through to here knit the last couple and get to the last two I only want six stitches so I'm going to knit both of these together so if you see to knit two together I'm going to put my a needle through two stitches instead of one mm. and knit them as one stitch and so there I've got six stitches and if you see how fluid it was before and how it was wiggling around the needle this time because we fixed it with a row of uh, stitches it's not so movable and it's not so fluid but we've got this lovely little loopy edge and we've got a lot of movement when we want to press it out at the end so that is my lace knit cast on it's really really useful you'll find when you get to the end of your project and you need to press it you'll be really glad that you did that but you don't have to with all of your lace projects so the um, Grey Lake one has got this little um, garter stitch beginning because it's just straight. So I really wanted it to be straight, but you could put a decorative edging on. So the way I cast on that, and this is just to go through another couple of cast on methods which you might you want to know about if you are a beginning knitter. So most people would use a long tail cast on. So I'm going to get a length of yarn, wrap it round my thumb and I'm holding it in place with these two fingers so it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to bring it down over there so I've actually got a loop around my thumb and then I'm going to knit as though my thumb is a needle. So I'm going to put my needle through the loop, Whoop. lose the needle completely, loop it over and knit and I've got one stitch that I'm going to loop it over again and just repeat that until I've used all of the yarn. So round my thumb, in through the loop, knit it and back on. And you can see how much closer and denser those stitches are on the needle. And also they're not moving around as much. So I don't have to do a row of knitting or purling just to fix the stitches. So this is your long tail, sometimes called a European cast on. This one, another cast on that you could do, which might, you might find useful if you have trouble with that one, with your, if your um, hands are quite stiff, you can do a two needle one again so I'm going to make a, a knot or a loop so what I do is to make that I just twist it round almost like a lasso I think so I've got it round like this fold it over and then pick up the loop in between and pull the tail and so I've now got a loop here round my needle this is another two needle one. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to, and I almost call this one, uh, it's a bit like who wants to be a millionaire when they say you don't need that because I'm going to knit my stitch as though I'm knitting. So I've knitted it and normally you would take that stitch off. Yes. You would, mm -hmm. wouldn't you? But I don't want to do that. You I don't, don't want to give do that. you that. I'm going to put it back on the needle. So I've got two now on this. Yeah. So then I'm going to knit into this one. The front one always knits into the front one and again I don't want to give you that so I'm going to put it back on here so now I've got three stitches on there mm -hmm. so this is a two two needle cast on you'll see that it's slightly more fluid uh, than the our long tail one that we used but they're all useful for all different projects you may find that this two needle technique if you are a very tight knitter you'll find that this would help a lot. So that's our, I'll just knit that there. There we go. So that's our two needle technique. And I've used in the samples, I have done on the shrugs are all done with the lace knit cast on. The gray lake is done with my, a long tail cast on. And the uh, geranium, Exmoor straight shrug is actually done with it was a this two needle technique so wow. I've done one of each and if we go a bit wrong can we contact you on you know of your course, Facebook yeah. and your website oh, yeah. I love yeah. answering questions <laughs> 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 and I get questions from all around the world love answering them if I can't find out how or why or whatever I'll go away and look it up and then I'll, I'll to you know talk to you about it i have talked to people all the way through projects before i've probably made every single knitting mistake and crochet mistake you could make under the sun i was actually um knitting the pearl stitch wrong for about 15 years so it had a twist in it doesn't matter i made some lovely twisted items <laughs> I Fantastic. Did. I'll have the quickest of recaps, Debbie, and then we'll come straight back yeah. to you because we've only got this hour with Debbie. And um, so this is the, that, that beautiful, beautiful uh, shrug as well here that we've got. Now we've got the three skeins there. So so this is um, our be beautiful, um, it's called the Faceless to Silk. Oh, no, that's that, that one. Uh, what do we call this one again, Debbie? The, the mauve um, dusty rose dusty rose and I wanted to show you the instructions inside because it, it is so beautiful like the way Debbie's packaged it all so it's just two sheets of A4 all the simple instructions on there plus the color picture um, nice and simple and that comes in its own beautiful finished pouch there as well that explains to you what you need and you've got the little tab there as well on the back as well so a uh, beautiful presentation and of course you get your little tote bag as well now that is enough to make uh, the one shrug and that's the dusty rose and you can do short sleeve long sleeve medium sleeve as well four nine two one four seven uh this is the one now debbie was explaining you know we, this is a larger one so we can expand here on the back as it were we can extend the length of the sleeve there so it's just one shrug literally to fit all sizes and whether you want a short capped mid-length or we you know to cover the arm i think these are perfect as we're moving into the, the warmer weather but in the evening it can get a bit cold can't it once that sun goes down or you just want it over on your shoulders there and then the different co color option is with the spun uh, lovely uh, uh, silver in there and that's spun in as Debbie was saying so you're not going to shed, shed blitz, bits of uh, wool and what have you and that is the lotus flower and then we've got it in the cream so you can see again uh, Debbie showing us the different options with uh, the sleeve length as well and sizes so absolutely beautiful 49.49 492147, three different options there, or two flexi by payments, £24.75 to spread the cost over May and June. Um, absolute exquisite. This is beautiful. And this this had the silk in it, did it, Debbie? This this is the silk in the. 30% silk and 70% kid mohair. Mohair. So oh, that's um, kid mohair is your Angora goat. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just, I can't get it. it was, honestly, I wish it was feel a vision. It just is as soft as a, a, a soft, fluffy cloud. Um, 
Is it durable? I mean, how should I wash this, Debbie? How should so, I care for it? if I tell you that I don't like any boring stuff and I'm also will be arrested at one point by the yarn police because I do not take care of any of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just like, it's confession time. So to finish these off, to, fi to dye them, they go up to boiling point. Wow. Um, I am supposed to leave everything until it goes completely cold. I'm often too busy and too like, I really want to see how it's turned out. <laughs> so it will go from really, really hot to really, really cold. Um, anything that will have happened shrinkage wise would have happened at that point. I would say um, a hand wash or maybe a woolen wash on your machine you will find that it will go crumpled again. To make the lovely shape and to get them so light and airy and so you can see the design, I press them with a hot steam iron and no pressing cloth. That's how robust they are. You're brutal. You're brutal, <laughs> Debbie. I am going to get arrested one day. I believe what I've been hearing. That just goes to change the durability. I am going to get arrested one day for that. <laughs> so. Gosh. And so nothing between the iron and this lovely no. soft wool. I keep getting asked, can you put that online? Can you possibly put you ironing a Crap. one of those online? And I promise I really, really will. But I've been sort of like, do you really want to see me ironing something? <laughs> You'd be surprised what people tune in to watch, Debbie. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, so medium to hot steam iron. I spray it down with the water beforehand and then I press and that's wow. it. If you wow. are feeling worried at all, use a pressing cloth. But I have absolutely abused this yarn before it gets to you. They're so durable is the point. Anything oh, that was going to happen will have <laughs> happened. <laughs> the Lace Knittery Geranium Exmoor Straight Wrap Knit Kitting Kit there. Uh, two flexible payments of £20. Beautiful, absolutely exquisite, 367229. And then we've got our beautiful, the beautiful blue. Now this is a lot, this makes a lovely length, doesn't it? But of course, I suppose you can adjust, adjust that as well. You like can you adjust that as well. Yes. I made it lat length um, because- oh, Wrap it, around. You can wrap it around, yes. tie it behind your back so it becomes another shrug if you really want it to. You can dramatically fling it over your shoulder Ooh, if you like, like a want bit of drama. to do some drama. And in the winter, you can wear that as a wrap or a scarf. They oh, yes. scrunch up scarf, to yes. be a scarf. Yes, like cowling. So down the neck. I have one, and I actually it, people think I'm wearing a scarf, and it's actually a wrap because wow. they they scrunch up really, really small. They're really, really good for it's luggage as well because yeah. your baggage allowance is just nothing for those. Try not to catch me, Mike, but you can see there the versatility of just how you want to wear it sometimes you know round the shoulders as you said yeah. wrap it around a few times and again it's got that lovely spun sparkling and you can see the gorgeous gradation there of the colors there that debbie's done um hand dyeing there really is beautiful and you can see the the pretty feathers and the pattern there as well that is absolutely beautiful really really gorgeous uh two flexi by payments of 20 pounds 25 44 99 213 922 but freedom members you have got a discount there as well 40 pounds and 49 pence and you get your lovely tote bag there as well um now the set of the four patterns as well so this is we're getting a bonus one in here so we're getting the patterns that we've shown you on the show but we're also getting a that pretty triangular one. yes the triangular frosted leaf shawl pattern so there's our shrug there's that lovely gray lake and uh, the wrap and there's that pretty pretty exmoor wrap pattern but we're also getting uh, the shawl pattern as well uh, two-thirds of those fantastic patterns have gone yeah for, I'm not surprised 1499 940551 don't forget you've got those endocall uh, scarves as well that you can add to your order I want to quickly mention the books because I do want to go back to Debbie so this is how to knit the only knitting technique book you'll ever need is that the truth are Debbie uh, I think I've got that one yeah <laughs> <laughs> fantastic um, now this this is not you're not Debbie Tompkins are you? you're Debbie no. Monroe just yeah, to yes. highlight that um, but would you recommend I it would yeah. yeah yes often with those books you'll find things even if you're a really experienced knitter you will find things that you didn't know about or you didn't think about or little tricks tips and you just go ooh that could have saved me hours <laughs> That's brilliant there we go and uh, in here we obviously top tips there 
um, casting off. You know, it's lovely to have our dark debut with a join in a new yarn, pearl stitch. It's just good to have as a, as a reference point as well. It's, it's like the knitting bible, as it were. So that is twelve ninety nine eight nine six eight eight one. We've got some more lace knitting as well. So um, it's explaining to us how beautiful and trendy it is, but of course you are getting Debbie's original designs. These are all in Debbie's mind, her beautiful uh, knitting patterns. Uh, but if you're looking for more, um, I'm sure probably you know some of these, Debbie. We've got shell patterns here, flames. Debbie's are original. You've got Gatsby waves. I didn't know there was so much to it. Flowers, there's all sorts in there. So that'll take you further on your journey. 14.99, And last but not least, the Shetland lace knitting as well. It's quite a thing, isn't it, Debbie? It is quite a thing. Um, Shetland lace, I do have that one as well. <laughs> have you really? <laughs> we just brought Debbie's library with us. Oh, my library. Uh -huh. I've got that one. Uh, Shetland lace is a tradition in the same way that some from Europe are. So there's some European lace knitting traditions. Oh. Shetland lace is a thing. It is absolutely beautiful. I have done it for years. One of the first lace patterns, which is why I got into lace knitting as a teenager, I found a book in a secondhand shop called Island Knitting, and it had oh. uh, a Shetland lace wedding ring shawl. So these are shawls which are about six foot Square, wow. and they go through a wedding ring and I thought as a teenager I could do that <laughs> I did it took me for about four years Wow now they take me four weeks so. Wow <laughs> that's amazing uh, 14 99 for the magic of the Shetland lace knitting 293395 but let's go back to our Debbie <laughs> and her original uh, patterns and designs what are you gonna show us now Debbie? Well, first of all I just really quickly want to show you this which is what I had left from making the Dusty Rose Shrug. Oh, okay. And I was explaining before, wasn't I, that I actually made, and I'm always making mistakes, so don't worry about it if you make any. Um, I actually made a mistake with that shrug. So I was going to knit the smallest size, and then I decided that I was going to make really long sleeves on it. So I made really long sleeves, and then I decided, I don't know why, that I made a mish 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 mash of the medium and the large size on the back. So it is mid size, different size arms, and I've still got this much left. Wow. <laughs> so there's a lot to go around, no matter what the size you're making, there's plenty. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was it was I was about three quarters of the way through and then I counted the stitches and I thought, why have I got the different number of Stitches, <laughs> just carried away. Carried away. On the motorway, just driving along, happy yeah. as can be. Yeah. So I make mistakes all the time. Please do not worry if you make any mistake at all. You know, it's yours. It's unique. You've made something that nobody else has. Absolutely. So what I want to do next is really explain the whole thing behind lace knitting. And if you look at it, it's all lacy and holy, and it is the holes that make it. And they, there is one particular stitch that makes the holes, and it is called a yarn over. And it is really like half a stitch. So what I'm going to show you is I've got stitches on here, and I'm going to do some yarn overs, and you'll see how really, really easy it is. So I'm going to knit three. And I always, you've seen me slip that stitch. I always slip the first stitch, so Do don't knit it. Because what it does, it gives you a really straight edge. Oh. If you want to, a really lovely edge to knit that. into or sew into. Uh, if you're making wraps, it gives you a straight edge that when I'm on the ironing board, that you can press, press. I really, I must do that. I get so many requests. Can I, can you please? I think nobody can quite believe you're doing that for these <laughs> lovely wool garments. <laughs> so I'm going to knit three and then I'm going to do a yarn over. So I've knitted three. My yarn over, all I do, and this is why it's half a stitch, I bring the yarn from the back to the front. And that's it. And then I knit my next instruction, whether it's a knit or a purl or whatever. And so if I'm going to do that, do another three. I'm going to do another yarn over. In the yarn over. Yeah. Okay. So sometimes front it's to the, the terminology, back. and I think, what are they talking about? And that's that's all it, it is. is. It is yeah. half a stitch, and then right. I'm going to carry on. So what I should have is two yarn overs, and can you see them there? You can almost gaps. see the little gaps starting right. already. Okay. And I'm kind of come around. 
on to the next side. Are you going to not do that first one again? Slip, slip it off? Always slip it. Slip it so off, slipping right. it off, yeah. I just do from that to that. Right. Then one, two, three. Are we going three right. again? Oh, she's knitting that Now, one. can you see where we've got to that yarn over? Yeah. We've just got a loop. And then to make it a stitch, I just knitted it. So if I go back to the other one, oh. here, and I'm got to the yarn over again. Yeah. And can you see it is just a loop? I'm going to knit that one and then go to the end. I could, if I wanted to, put another yarn over, oh. make another hole. So if I come to this and we'll have a look here, can you see? You see my two holes mm -hmm. there that we've knitted? So those are my yarn overs and they have made my holes, so my lacy design. And the thing about yarn overs is they add stitches onto the row. So now, because I've done three oh, yarn overs, oh yeah. I've got three extra stitches. So what do we do? So if you are doing a straight wrap, Wherever there's a yarn over, somewhere in that pattern, there'll be some way to take that stitch off. Uh, so there'll be a knit two together, or they might be knit three together if they add them up in the design. So in the Grey Lake with the um, feathers, feathers yeah. you'll find that there are um, lots of yarn overs, but then there's knit two togethers, and sometimes there's a knit three together, or there's a, a, a way to take three off so that's because I want it straight going up and down if you want to do a triangular um, shawl or, or, or neckerchief or something a little shrug thing you're going to have two more yarn overs than you want than your stitches then you're going to have to take them off so it will grow like that so on our yeah. triangular pattern yeah there's two more yarn overs than there are decreases so that it increases out like yeah. you said to create that triangle yeah. so a little bit of maths just about all we can cope with all I but the good news is you figured that out in the pattern <laughs> we don't have to think about that you don't have to think about it but once you understand um how they work then you go oh it's okay and yes. it helps you if you have any problem and you're like oh no i don't know what a yarn over is it's really, really easy. I'll do another one. Yarn over, yarn from the front, uh, back to the front, that's it. And with, you'll find with some of the, lace, the Shetland patterns in the book that they will have a double yarn over. So it is literally round and round. So if I do that again, so you do your yarn, yarn from the back to the front, that's your first yarn over, and then do it again. So in your Shetland book especially, you will find double yarn overs. And that's how you do that. And that, when you come back, adds two stitches onto your row. And it makes a much bigger hole. There we go, a yarn over. Well, a yarn know. over is half a stitch, really, really easy. And you can make lots of different patterns with it. Oh. So we're like... So I'm growing this at the moment because I haven't taken any off. No. So if you see when I started, it was a little tiny, ooh, let's get down, <laughs> little tiny rectangle. Now it's starting to become a triangle yes. because I've added. It'll expand then, it'll continue if you keep adding If it continues. Yeah. So with the um, geranium coloured, the uh, yes, x it yeah. starts off as a triangle. Yeah. Because we're adding two more yarn overs than there are. Um, decrease stitches mm. and then when I get to the size that I want the triangle then I start going straight ah. so they equal one another beautiful it's fascinating it is, really. um, there's our triangle and then and then it turns as Debbie said into a lovely straight piece isn't that beautiful absolutely gorgeous and that is exquisite that's in on one of the kits today as well so we've probably got about 12 minutes, Debbie. Oh, what right. else would okay. you like to show us, What well, I darling? really wanted to show you as well, which is something that I struggled with for years, and I'll get these two, is sewing up the pieces. I think it's one of the reasons why I 
knitted lots and lots of scarves and, and I think that's why everybody does when they start off lots of scarves lots of shawls lots of wraps because they're just straight up and down and you don't have to do anything um, are you okay just to towards me a little bit that's it perfect I'm so sorry oh. it's just because of the overhead thank oh, you Debbie. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay, thank you. I, that's because I've been moving that way I think. I think you're, you're, you're desperate to go off the end of the table there <laughs> just go off the end of the table that's so lovely. I for years I struggled with how to sew things together yeah you can do a back stitch which is exactly the same as your sewing back stitch and I will show you so I've got my two pieces here and a really big eyed needle. Yeah. Because you need this for yarn. So I'm going to thread my big eyed needle here. Mm -hmm. And with the back stitch, exactly the same as, as sewing, I'm going to go in and down and then back up and back on itself. So you get, you get a bit of a seam here. Yes, you Can do. you see that? You've got a seam. Yeah. Okay. And that works on a lot of things. Yeah. And you can make that a feature. You can. Because yeah. you can put it on the outside. Yes, you can. Yeah. And that looks really good Round on shoulders things, and stuff, doesn't it? And, yeah. So what I discovered with, when I had the bravery, I think, to do it, really, was ladder stitch. And lots of people talk about ladder stitch. And you'll find it in your knitting books. And it took me ages to work out exactly how to do it. Because even though the instructions are really easy and really simple, the trick to it is not pulling too tightly. So you can see here, I've got two my two samples that we had earlier on the little um, cast-ons. And they've got quite a loopy edge. And you will wonder how to do that without doing a back stitch. So what I'm going to do is this time with a ladder stitch, I've got them right side down and there it's easier to do this on a flat surface. Um, you can do it on your lap on a cushion or something like that. Uh, I had no problems with that until the cat got on the cushion as well with me. And of course that they did. Like they do. The minute you've got a bit of work out. You're so to do something what I'm going to do is you're going to mimic, mimic almost a stitch with ladder stitch. So I've joined those two together, uh -huh. you see? And then I'm just going to bring my, yarn, my joining yarn down, pull it through another loop, bring it across, and put it through another loop here. And then pull it just so they are almost kissing one another if you pull it too tight yeah. when i turn it over you can see it's almost like a little knot right if i make it so they're just touching it mimics the knitting stitch so if i do that again if i show you here i'm just going to find my two loops and i'm going to very gently pull the yarn through and then come back find my two loops very gently again pull oh, the yarn yeah. through so I'm making it's called a ladder stitch yeah. so I'm making like a little ladder of stitches and if I pull them out you can see where they I are see, yeah. and I'm just pulling them enough so that they are just touching butting up together as opposed and if to... I turn it over yeah it almost makes your little lacy uh, decoration down the side yes. which you can see on the seam so the seam of the one shrug mm. we've made it just to the front so oh here here so that's what I've done I've done a ladder stitch there and you can see it makes a little lacy stripe up the side of the shrug it makes it comfortable to wear because mm -hmm. you haven't got a seam on the inside no, bunching up. that's yeah. bunching up or yeah. irritating um, and it is, when you get to doing it and you understand I've not got to pull it too tight, it's not going to come no. apart on me, it's really quite therapeutic just to make your little stitches, your little steps, just going all the way down. So I'm going to join those two and pull it very gently. And those two. And it's pull actually it indiscernible, gently. actually. Once it is. The whole it, piece together, and you wouldn't think that you could join lace together but this technique really really works and you can see how far I've done so I've come down to here and you can't actually see the join no. 
and it actually makes part of the design. It does, it really it's does. It's really good, isn't it? I just, it took me years to work out how to do it because I would be pulling it too tight. I was like, I've got to make this fast and I've got to make this work. I've got to do <laughs> it's this. It's got to be secure. It's got to be yeah. secure. <laughs> Actually, and it doesn't have to be. If I pulled it really tight, so I'm going to pull this really, really tight now. So it, you've seen exactly mm. the same stitches and I pulled it really tight. It, they, now that's drawing my eye to it in a wrong way. <laughs> in a wrong they? way, yeah. isn't it? That's completely wrong. Oh, it is up, yeah. literally just kissing it together. Yeah. And Kay's you are... Kay's emailed in, and she says, uh, thank you very much for all the help you gave her when she was having a senior moment. <laughs> Must have been a knitting... Must me up. <laughs> <laughs> she says, thank you so much. She emailed oh, in. Oh, thank you. She says, really enjoying your lovely wool and your pattern such. She's oh, been uh, embracing. Thank so. you. Yes. I love it. I love talking to people. I really do. I love talking to people. I love encouraging people. It's... We were going to lose our industry, our sheep, our yarn, all the techniques, and it's coming back in a huge way. That's so and good. And people to hear. are getting so enthusiastic Embracing about it. Again. it. Yeah, you yeah, just don't think absolutely. about that, really, do you? No, just about losing it no, all. Like we that. were. We were going to lose it. And yeah. I just love, I love passing it on. I love answering people's questions. I love talking about sheep and yarn and fiber. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating. I love to be educated. <laughs> Debbie, I'm going to just mention the four patterns and then mm. should we move on to our, what have we got about six minutes? If you want to show us your palm, was it? Your yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I just want to say those four patterns patterns we are loving this and we need longer with our Debbie 80 percent has gone because you're getting that bonus pattern there of the frosted uh, leaf shawl pattern there as well plus the other three that we've got on the show which is our one shrug our uh, lace uh, beautiful um, Exmoor wrap pattern and uh, the Grey Lake that as well there so you're getting all four of those for 14.99 9, over 80 percent gone Brilliant. Now, uh, we mentioned the POM, so this is made Yay. with that uh, fantastic silk and the mohair mix there. That is beautiful. So uh, we were just talking about creating that triangular mm -hmm. shape and straightening mm -hmm. it off. So I like pom-poms. I love a pom-pom. Me too. They add a little bit of weight so that if you're wearing something, it gives you that little feeling of security. It's sometimes. a natural fall <laughs> then, isn't it? It's sort of like, mm, yeah, mm. I quite like that. Um, you'll see on the Grey Lake pattern as well that I that on the front of the pattern I actually put a line of um, on the pattern. Oh, sorry, sorry I beg your pardon. Pattern, sorry, yeah. There's a line. It just gives you another option. Yeah. Of how to finish oh, it. Yes, there's a yes. line of them, a little yeah. tiny one, and that it just gives it just makes it fun. Weight sit down a little bit if you want a little bit of security. You can do different colours of tassels. You can bead them. You can put mm. buttons on them. They are the easiest thing to finish off something and make it look absolutely beautiful. How gorgeous. So I will show you very quickly how to do one. So I've got a little gadget that does it, but you can use a piece of cardboard. So I will just wrap this round. What you need to do is have some waste yarn you could use crochet yarn you could use um, sewing thread embroidery thread all those really lovely bright silvery sparkly things you could just add a little bit of something so with a, either a piece of cardboard or something like this you're just going to wrap it round and I usually for my tassels wrap round about 30 times because it gives you a nice size tassel nice weight to it you don't want a thin tassel you want a nice chunky knot at the end don't you look like a little bobby bit at the end <laughs> so i'm just going to wrap this round and then when you think you've got enough you need to cut it when you've got quite a lot of yarn left over so i probably left on there how much probably half a meter something like that okay um you i'll can... take your word for it i wasn't uh... I'm going to cut Concentrate it. In. Sorry, got about three minutes, Debbie, just here. That's now. okay. And then what I'm going to do is I thread my needle now. So I've got my sewing needle again. It can be a sewing needle if you've got thinner yarn. And what I'm going to do, if you're using cardboard, slip it off at this point and you decide where your knot is going to be. And where your knot is going to be, what I want to do is just go round and round and round and round until you feel that's secure. Then I'm going to sew. I'm just going to put a stitch through 
just to hold it. And I often, when I'm making these secure, get to the point here where I have a loop and I'm going to put my needle up through the middle of the loop and round. So that actually is like um, locks it. Locks yes, that's right when you're sewing, isn't it? You go yeah. back through the loop and tie so it off. Back yeah. through the loop and you tie it off. So yeah. you can see I've got my little knot bit there. I've got my little <laughs> tassel bit here. At this point, if I wanted to, I could put beads on. Mm, I could put decorative window. stitching on. Mm. I could do anything. So I tend to, if it's a plain one, I'm going to go through another couple of times just to secure. So I'm going to stitch through that that round round the neck again another couple of times and once more I'm going to go through and round and then up through the loop and then I want to make this a secure place so I've gone and taken my needle and can you see that I've gone through all, all the, loops. the loops at the top mm -hmm. I'm going to go through and this is I haven't cut my yarn at all no i'm going to go if you miss a few you can come back pick those up so i've missed a few there i'm going to go through again and round i'm down to the last minute debbie just yep. so you know my darling couple through so what you want there so i put a couple through at the top yeah that means i've got a really nice little round bobby bobby end. Oh. yeah <laughs> and then to make it all neat I right put through. my needle right through down to the bottom. That's all finished, oh. ready to go. And then oh. just cut all your Brilliant. threads. Perfect. There we go. Perfect tassel there. Beautiful, <laughs> Debbie. Uh, Debbie, do you know when you're back with us again, my darling? Oh, I don't know. I need to book something. <laughs> I do. We need to get you back. Listen, thank you so much. It's been very insightful and, and education. I've really enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank, thank you so lovely, much. As uh, don't forget to support Debbie and the lace uh, knitting industry and the sheep uh, on www.thelacenittery.com. Don't forget to check out your baskets. And a big thank you for Debbie to come and visit us today. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Let's see what's coming up. Oh, I could stay here all day with our Debbie. It's gorgeous. Now we're going to let Leone loose with the Stamperia second birthday. Then we've got Sentimentally Yours. And after that, our final of our Fabric Freedom Petite Bondi Special. Ultimate finish. Cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi there, I'm Nick from Craftoscope. I've been crafting for as long as I can remember. It was really important to me to bring something unique to the crafting arena, something that was different and something that people would enjoy using just as much as I do. My products will complement everything that you have already, but they will also work perfectly as a standalone product. I really hope you'll come and join me for my shows with Craftscope. I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. 
we proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer stamp sets, dies, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different size and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Holland creatures. That's nice, it's a bit tropical, isn't it? Like I'm on me, like I'm on me holly bobs, loving it a lot. Uh, good afternoon, how are you? It's Let Leone Loose again. Uh, that's the new title, not just It's Let Leone Loose again. <laughs> <laughs> the title that I'm working on to create new logos. Uh, so, you know, it was very busy this morning. We had a very, very busy hour uh, this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight in and hand the baton over. Hand it over. Because my tea's sort of going cold and I've... I've got to sort these curtains out. <laughs> Go sort out the flip, dear. I've had hours and everything. Oh, I still can't darling. Get it Go and get your hairspray out, for oh. goodness sake. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Um, it is lovely to have your company. The second hour of our fantastic Stamperia. <laughs> uh, the fantastic, yeah, it's not only uh, Let Loose that we've got Stamperia, we have got one day special as well. We are celebrating two years. Um, am I on later tonight? Yeah, I thought I'd said the wrong thing then. I thought I got the wrong thing from a different channel because I get them all a little bit confused. Uh, yeah, not only have we got the Let Leone Loose, but I have got one day special later on this evening. All part of the Stamperia um, event celebrating two years of Stamperia being here at Achanda, Achanda Stroke, um, the craft store, of course. Um, and they are such a phenomenal company. Now, we have got a giveaway um, and the show's coming up later. We've got a different giveaway in this hour we have got um, and it is a gift we purchased so whatever you're buying from the live shows um, you have got a beautiful notebook now I've been working on this and I'm going to continue to work on this because obviously it felt rude not to um, the cover is um, the wonderful stone paper stone paper is amazing because it's one of those products that messes with your head you know you can paint it you can sew it you can wash it don't put this in the washing machine uh, the paper won't handle it the normal paper won't handle it uh, but you can do all sorts with stone paper um, it's really flexible as well so for a cover it's amazing because I've covered it with uh, rice paper and obviously because of the flexibility the rice paper just sticks to it beautifully it looks like it's one so that is your gift with purchase so whatever you're purchasing that is going to be popped into your basket and it is worth 6 99 so that's rather nice isn't it um, what else is nice is the collection I mean this is beautiful beautiful um in the first hour i chatted more about stamperia but in this hour now they have amazing artists and designers and the lady who's designed this collection her name is around here somewhere it's the wonderful sarah and i will have problems with her, her, her surname alcondes if i say it fast if i say it fast that hopefully i'll get it right but um Oh, she's saying, say it, say it again. So it's Sora Alcoandes. Yeah, does that sound okay? Um, she's amazing. You will have seen her work before. At first I was thinking, oh, is this first collection? No, is it? Eh? Um, she's done some amazing collections. And I'll tell you what else she did. You know that beautiful, um, the 3D uh, book house that we had ages ago? Um, she did an amazing tutorial on that as well. She's very, very talented. And her artwork, I mean, this finished project is by Sarah. This is beautiful. I mean, the designs that you've got here are just uh, just stunning stunning um, I must admit it has been every collection Stamperia have brought out this year so far has been amazing but this one when uh, we were having a look and we were chatting about this event and uh, me and Sam were chatting about the event and saying right which are the strongest ones I must admit the one this evening and this one this really stood out to us because it's it's just sublime absolutely sublime so thank you ever so much Sarah A for your amazing work that we can craft with but for your finished samples which are superb okay 
Now, the bundle, 40% of the stock has gone. Let me take you through it. First of all, you have got two moulds. Um, the moulds are fantastic. Obviously, with these, you can do loads with the moulds. I will, I have actually popped it out some more, so I can show you that one. You can do loads with the mould. Um, that one, I've actually used with the cream paste. And you can see, well, ooh, I don't know, it's a bit bright, isn't it? Um, there you go. You can see that now. I love this because you've got tons and tons of sentiments there. You can use that as a background, but obviously you can cut them out. So you've got things like uh, creativity. Art has a lot to show, indeed. Create, love, perfect. Make art and you will have wings to fly. Live with love and you will create art. So you've got some beautiful sentiments just in that one um, design. You've then got now your, your flexible mode. Again, these are beautiful. You've got so many embellishments. And of course, all art based, all art themed. Um, and the detail in that, it's a really thick mold. So you can make really nice, thick embellishments embellishments with that um, and I do love the fact that you have got the sentiments in there as well and the hearts are just gorgeous the detail and you will get that detail with the mold you can use so with this one I did use a cream paste we will have that available this evening so that's your your wonderful cream paste which obviously we love Ding! Um, with this one, um, and obviously you can use other products in that, but it, yeah, cream paste is amazing in it. Um, or of course you can use your air dry clay, you can use polymer, you can use resins. So do have a play with the different things. So you've got your two molds. We've then got your rice papers. Now the rice papers are exceptional. Um, stamp area, still the best when it comes to rice paper. And obviously Sora's designs are beautiful. They're just beautiful. Um, you've got all those wonderful wonderful um, and well like your, your artist's equipment essentially so you've got your paints you've got uh, the pencils at the bottom there absolutely stunning the second one is of course um, some of the old masters or a nod to the old masters on there which I absolutely adore. Uh, the third one, you've got all your different colour wheels, all your different, like, um, you know, your little cards with all the different shades of paint that someone has collated. I absolutely adore that. I think that is lovely. It's almost like looking into someone's workbook. And then, I mean, this is just, it's got a real romance about it. Because that looks like an artist's studio, it just looks fabulous. And I love how light it is. You know, that's a really nice, light air studio and then the 12 by 12 paper pad um, obviously your piece de resistance um, and this is amazing as ever it's just one sheet of each of these now that means I highly recommend you buy the uh, the 12 by 12 with the 8 by 8 because then it's not as uh, painful cutting into these and honestly it is I'm not gonna lie it is difficult cutting into them because of that beautiful you know it's like you want every single piece of paper you want to be able to use every single different little element on each piece of paper it does become slightly obsessive I'm not gonna lie uh, but if you get the other 12 by 12 and the 8 by 8 it means that that isn't quite as tricky you know it's not quite as difficult actually cutting into these I love them I love the way the collage has been laid I, yeah isn't that just stunning absolutely stunning I mean the artwork is phenomenal I love that um, you have got that that beautiful sort of Japanese nod as well which is good I mean that is beautiful the colour palette is just exquisite. Um, and as ever, there's so much going on on every single piece of paper. I mean, it's just a feast for the eyes, isn't it? There's so many different elements. And obviously, there's so many different ways you're going to use this. Um, and every single one of them, I mean, that one, look at all the colours on that, which is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And as you move up, obviously, you see all those. Oh, and now we're up there. I'm going to turn that one round again so you can see the top of that because that is just glorious. I love this one because this has got tons and tons of sentiments on it. So you could use it as a big background, but there's loads of different uh, sentiments and every one of them you can be cutting out individual, individually. I really like that because again, it gives you so many options. It looks like it's been stamped on. It looks like a beautiful background paper that's been stamped on, that glorious isn't it? That looks like all your different scraps that have been layered, which obviously is something you can do with all your scraps. Every single one, this one is magnificent because that's like your old masters. And then at the back, it's like the canvases. I think that is just genius. That's your journaling card. Isn't it clever? 
Isn't that well thought out? That's actually the back of the canvases. I adore that. This one's beautiful because that looks like all your marbling, which is just exquisite. And on the other side of that, of course, um, I love all the cases. And the, uh, the picture frames are fabulous. And then look at that. I mean, there's so many elements on that. It is absolutely fabulous, fabulous. Now, if you do want to get hold of this, it is a stunning, stunning collection. I know I'm whipping through these last ones, but just to give you an idea of what you're going to get, that one is one of my favourite favourites. Let me turn it right way up, that way. Um, look at that. Oh, that's a good piece of paper. This is, in it? It's just paper, but oh man, it makes me happy. Okay, if you do want this collection, we are approaching 45%. Please remember, um, this evening, it isn't this collection. It's completely different. So if you do want this, please make the most out of checking those baskets out. It is going to be dispatched from the 26th of this month. Um, because it's coming over from Budapest, it is worth the wait. Everything is exquisite. And, I mean, again, uh, Sora's work is, is amazing. And not only are designs that we can then craft with, but a finished sample. I mean, when I opened the box, well, I didn't. When I looked at um, the goodies that have been in here, oh, sorry, you can see all my rubbish behind. Um, it was just the, the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, the artwork is phenomenal. Um, 477042, that's your item number. Please check your baskets out. It is busy again this afternoon. Also, Stamperia. Stamperia provide beautiful quality products to work with, but they also provide lots and lots of inspiration. So please check out on YouTube because there's loads of ideas, there's loads of inspiration, but Sarah herself, um, under the, the, um, the Stamperia YouTube, Sarah has done some amazing inspirational uh, videos, so please check those out. Now, these have been busy, these are always busy. Three quarters of the stock has gone. The reason these are always busy is because it's so nice having an 8x8 along with the 12x12. 12 12. This, it, it sort of then gives you um, even more, obviously, because you've got even more toppers, even more beautiful papers, but it makes it a little bit easier to cut into your big papers because you have got um, a second sample, if you will, which is really, really nice. And I do like the fact that you're obviously it's smaller size because not not always like, do you need those, those sort of bigger embellishments. It's the same artwork, but yeah, just beautiful. I do love the Stamperia books. I like that they're, they're glued at the side so you can just flick through like a book. It's really nice. Um, so you've got your 8x8, you've got your 12x12. 12 12. It's only 18.49 for those two. Um, yeah, just just exquisite. Um, and they are busy. 175444 is your item number. Remember, you will get um, your gift with purchase as well. So if you are getting just those, you're getting that book which is worth 6 99 as well uh, please check um, everything out on the website that is the craftstore.com um, best way to order at the moment because our phone lines are doing the thing again um, honestly um, also also you can order off the app so uh, you can go to the web but if you've got your you know your cheeky old smartphone then do have a look at the app okay now um, the beautiful rice papers and this just shows how they flow <laughs> um, <laughs> now then you have got with the sorry we're taking Mickey out of our lovely Jimmy um, now and I didn't hear what he said so you know so Jimmy if you were being funny back I missed it mate <laughs> <laughs> it was one of your best moments, mate. Um, so the rice paper, I mean, yeah, these are exquisite. The detail is phenomenal. Um, I love these. I love that you're getting two of each sheet because, again, it means that you're not as sort of precious about using them. Um, I love the, the fluidity of the actual paper. It's just gorgeous. The, the way their images are are layered is just, yeah, stunning. They are, in my mind's eye, still the best because the colours are rich. You know, it's edge to edge. It makes sense. It's just beautiful. Um, oh, these are 
stunning. Please do not miss out on these. Uh, two of each design, £15 and £92. And you can see now, and this sample, I love this because it's a bit of everything on here uh, that Sora's brought to us. And I love her use of the layers, of uh, the use of the frames that we have got on the show. Obviously of the papers, the rice papers and more on that one. Now, if you'd love this collection, 029-520 is your item number. Isn't that just beautiful? Beautiful. And it just shows how everything works together. Um, okay, now, next, saying everything works together, the stencils. Oh, my gosh. These are lovely. Absolutely lovely. And what you've got with the stencils, of course, your tools. So, obviously, you know, you've got a lot of goodies that you're going to use, and then that's that. With these, you've got something that you're going to use. And, oh, my gosh, the designs are stunning. I mean, that is just exquisite. And you don't need to use the full thing. You can just pull out... Um, one of the flowers maybe it's just a flower head maybe it's just the butterflies you know you've got the beautiful wild flowers there i love that it's a proper floral meadow so that's your beautiful floral meadow um i really like this stencil collection actually and that's got such a day of the dead look to it and um, these are lovely quality stencils so they're going to be amazing with your inks but also with all of your paste as well and for three good size stencils it's only 15 pounds and nine seven pence i do adore that one and um, you've got the border in there you've got that beautiful mandala and then of course you've got the corner piece at the top and these are big stencils you know you've got a really nice size on them uh, beautiful that's eight five six four four nine now Next, uh, we have got for you more of the beautiful moulds, and I really like these. Um, the frames are ace. Now, I've been using the air dry clay, which, again, you can get later on this evening, uh, so remember to pop that in your basket. But um, Stamperia have used resin in these, and the frames in resin are amazing. I think they've used resin, or it's plaster, but they are amazing. They will get that detail. I, I absolutely adore these. Really, really recommend getting hold of these. So you've got those big frames that you'll use again and again and again. So that's your first one, but then you've got all your lovely embellishments. So with this one, you've got butterflies, you've got uh, the little bumblebees at the bottom there, you've got the florals as well. I mean, it's so pretty and it works as well. Nature is art. So obviously it works with all that beautiful art theme that we've got going on here. £15.98, say I love this one. Again, sent in by Stamperia. And that does feel like it's been done from plaster because it feels really, really solid. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely amazing. And the colouring in on that, and that is one of the embellishments that you're getting in the bundle. Just phenomenal. Uh, £15.98, your price. And I love that they've even covered the back with some of the papers. Attention to detail. Love that. See, that's the kind of thing you would absolutely have in your house, isn't it? It looks so good, or maybe even sell. And if you've got your mould, you can make it again and again and again. Now, 049263 is your item number. Beautiful mould, £15, 98 pence your price. Now, um, Stamperia, they've started bringing, and these have been really busy, uh, with the collections, they've started bringing paints that will sit alongside the collections. Some of them you might have seen before, some of them you might have already got. So they're not unique colours every single time, but there might be some that you haven't got yet yet and they do work like if I bring in I'll bring in one of the rice papers just to show you how the color palette works I mean when you look at that it's going to work you've got the yellow there you've got that beautiful light green that's going to work the darker green in there the red of course because you've got the pops of red there the milky white is an essential but that's going to work with everything and that blue all the colour palettes work, you know, and that's the beautiful thing about the paints. And every single time they'll bring you a paint palette now that enhances what you're working with. Um, really good price as well, 16.49, but over 40% of the stock has gone. These are lovely quality paints. I really like working with these. Um, 993, 393 is your item number saving a massive 13 pounds there as well um please be checking your baskets out on this and remember i know i said this in first hour but if you are spending 60 pounds or over uh, you can split your basket into two payments highly recommended because let's face it it's one of them in it it's like yeah i want everything um okay now uh, these are good as well the embellishments these are fab because you're getting so much for your money so in your die cuts what you've got in here you've got 76 pieces in here 
It's huge. Then I really like these because they are die cut, so already popped out for you. But obviously they're they're heavier, so they're heavier weights. You've got that kind of uh, sheen on these. You can knock that back if you want, but it just gives you a different look. And it's it's nice because these are um, a stronger print. So when you use them with your paper, it's again it will give you a different look. So it's brilliant for your matting and layering and stuff, um, for creating all those layers. So you've got tons of embellishments. You've then got um, the chipboard. Now the grey board, sorry, grey board. Now this has got tons of frames on it. Because so, when you look, all of these are separate frames. So you've got all those frames. That is dead handy. And actually, you will see, if I hold this up, it's used quite a lot. This one, you've got the mould from the, um, the frame from the actual mould, but you've got one of the frames from here as well. That, that yeah, isn't that just beautiful? I, I, it's just incredible. Again, from Sarah. She's such a good artist. Um, love that. And now almost half the stock has gone. You've even got um, the the beautiful uh, little wooden embellishments as well. And again, all your frames. I'm loving all the frames because it allows you to do so many different layers. It makes it look really interesting. Now, if you'd love to get hold of this, 817162 is your item number. Only £15.64. Um, if you'd love to get hold of that one, 817162. And then uh, we've got more chipboard. Now, we didn't show you this live in the last hour, but this is absolutely cracking. So what you've got um, in here. So first of all, you've got your 44 pieces. Now, these are adhesive as well. So you're literally, wee. Uh, so you're literally um, just going to be popping these out. They're all die cut, but you have got the adhesive. I really like these because you've got tons and tons of sentiments which is fabulous make art and you will have wings to fly breathe the art around you oh, I like that yeah art has a lot to show indeed it does uh, the perfect company makes the ordinary seem ex uh, the perfect company makes the ordinary something exceptional oh if you manage to live with art you'll be able to reach the sky and um, so you've got tons and tons of embellishments there and um, it is a chipboard so obviously it's got that lovely weight to it I like that there's little dog prints at the bottom of cat prints but I just love that there's some paws um, and then you've got in this one you've got 29 pieces again really nice substantial embellishments again all adhesive as well so it just allows you to create so many different layers I love this I absolutely love it you've then got um, your other ones now again these are your beautiful wooden embellishments um, they're, they're a really light wooden embellishment but these again are just exquisite so look at that embrace your journey and I love how delicate these are and it's all about your different textures I mean within the whole collection you've got so many different uh, weights and textures so they'll take all your different um, you know all your different mediums uh, differently so and, and it's nice is that because you'll get different results all the time now that's a great price as well only £11.30 loads of embellishments there that is 536245 now, as I said, if you are spending over £60, you have got the option to go flexi. Um, if you've no idea what I'm on about, we have got a little clip to tell you more. What is flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for flexi order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hello and welcome. <laughs> Actually, it's not her saying that, it is me. Um, right, I need to just tell you, however, 12 by 12 and 8 by 8 are now limited stock. If you do want these together, they are now limited stock. That's less than 10% remaining. Please check your baskets out. Funnily enough, I am using the 8 by 8 
in um, the first demonstration. So it is a good job. I've already got that cut out. Now, the reason I'm using the 8x8 for this, so this is your free gift with purchase. Um, I decided to use a pad because you're getting it. Um, so it's nice to actually use a pad. See, now if I'd have used a 12 by 12, it'd have been too big for this page. And that's the beauty of getting the 8 by 8 and the 12 by 12. At least then you've got options. Now, if you watch the first hour, you'll have already seen where I'm up to. So it is a notebook, so the papers are a bit thinner. But I've stuck papers together because then I've got chunkier papers. I mean, you've got tons of papers in here, so you can do that. You might not want to. The choice is yours. But I like that because it just gives me sturdier pages. Um, I've already put some of the rice paper on the back. I've then painted with the paints that we've got on the show and then use a cream paste um, with one of those gorgeous stencils. So that's where I'm up to so far. So now what I'm going to do, now obviously we're talking um, art pages. So let's bring some of the paints in and do my favourite, favourite thing, which is obviously having a little bit of a dribble down the page because it makes me happy. So I'm going to use a little bit of yellow. I'm only going to use two colours. I won't go completely daft with this. So I'll use a little little bit of yellow then a little bit of green and I do apologize I've squeezed them at the top of my mat but which is good for me bad for you and um, so let's get those moving and I didn't clean my brushes that's naughty I keep doing that I keep leaving my brushes in there okay so what I want to do is first of all just add a tiny bit of water I don't want too much water because I still want a little bit of um you know, I, I don't want them too runny. So just mixing that up. And let's just pop this at the top of my page, like so. And I don't want it to go everywhere. I just want it down one side. And then bring the green in as well. I mean, let's face it, this is one of my favourite things. So I know I do it quite a lot. <laughs> but it, it's just something I could do all to, with everything. Just watch paint run. Makes me proper happy. <laughs> I love watching paint run. <laughs> no, I don't watch it dry. Ugh, no, it's boring. But watching it run, oh, that's great. <laughs> it's another, it's another, yeah, it's another thing altogether. So you're getting that to run. Now, as you can see, I, I, because I don't want it too thick, I love it when it goes down the stencil, because I don't want it too thick or heavy. It's just getting that, that little bit of movement. If it needs a little bit more encouragement, get your paintbrush at the top and just start to give it a little bit of a, a shift at the top. Because it's a thick um, acrylic, sometimes it just needs a little bit of, of encouragement to move. But look, okay, that 12 by 12, 8 by 8 are now single figures. So if you do want those, you absolutely need to be checking out those baskets. Otherwise, you're definitely now going to miss out on those. Then, yeah, your 8 by 8 is just beautiful. I'm just popping a little bit more paint there, like so. And then just move that a bit more to get that uh, running like so. And then, and then um, there we go. So, see, so we're getting that like that, so we've got that beautiful run. So it, it's kind of just, just a bit more movement, a bit more colour. And it is the way it goes round the stencils, which I absolutely adore. I love that. Um, now, give that a little blast dry, because obviously I can't layer anything else on while that paint is so wet. Um, it's just lovely colours. I really like the fact that it's, they work. You know, the orange, uh, sorry, the yellow, it's not too bright. It's a really, you know, it's a subtle yellow. Normally I would let these dry natural. I do prefer to let them dry natural, but just because otherwise I won't be able to work, I am going to give it a blast. And where, of course, it's dribbled down page, because it wasn't really strong, it just gives you that beautiful hint of colour, which, again, works for me. So just get rid of that, and let's start building up my page. So what I wanted to do, first of all, I've got um, one of the, the bits of rice paper. Now, I want this to fall into the back of the page, so I'm not going to put anything under it. If you wanted to see um, or make any of it pop, you put white paint behind it and that'll make it pop, but I don't want it to. I want it to fall into the page. That's where it's come from and I love that page. It is beautiful. I've actually fussy cut this out. Now, a lot of the time we don't fussy cut uh, rice paper out. We tell you to um, 
and so just use um, your your water brush, you know, just to, to make it all fluffy around the edges and then it'll just blend into the background. With this one, I don't want it to blend into the background. Um, it's a frame that I want to, to look like a frame, but it'll blend in in that it is rice paper. So it's got that sort of transparency um, to it or translucency even. So it'll kind of disappear into the background anyway. I'm putting it on my glass mat, putting glue on the back of it, just enough, not too much glue, and then just peel this off so it's ready to go down. And then I want to pop that about here-ish. And then just get my colour gel again and go back over the top with this, like this. Now, what I love about this, it's obviously because it's rice paper, it's really um, fine. And you can actually, when you um, work it into the, the where the stencil's been, and I don't know if you can see that, but you can physically see the stencil under the rice paper. You can, re and I love that. You wouldn't get that with, and can you see it under there? I really like that. It it just, it's so cool for layering. This is the difference with rice paper and normal paper. It absolutely gives it de depth, but it gives it a really unusual texture. So work it in. Now look, can you see? So as you work that in, you can see the stencil underneath it. That never gets boring. Because it's just a bit cool, isn't it? And it just, it just gives you even more um, detail. And it's just something, again, really interesting to look at. And it just looks like it's part of that page. So that's next. And then let's get me lady. So what I've done, when I've got little bits as well, and I'm going to start layering some little bits on my page. So this is a scrap of rice paper. So I'm just going to pop a bit of glue there and put a scrap and I like using all my scraps because obviously it, this is when you look at the designs and you look at the layers and the the decoupage elements it's like oh yeah I could do that because obviously I'm getting all these beautiful scraps and you can use them let's stick those together you can use them to create loads of gorgeous layers so we've got a little layer there I've got another scrap which I cut off and I <laughs> I just think, I mean, it's a ridiculous tiny little scrap, but this will create a lovely little border. And it will like, oh, do I use the wood side? Or you become obsessive. You know, I mean, have you seen the, the scraps that I am now using? <laughs> but honestly, it works. It works. And it's a lovely border. So popping the glue on there. I'm not bothered about at the minute. I know I'm going over the other side, but that's okay, because when it dries, it'll be safe. At the minute, don't shut the book. But when it dries, it'll be all right. So, and you see that creates that beautiful border. Oh, this is a bit of paintbrush. <laughs> look, look. <laughs> That's, it's really annoying me, is that? A cheeky bit of paintbrush. And then, look, I've got all these little scraps as well. And all these little scraps are fabulous for this because you end up building, like, your, your collage elements. And, I mean, you don't need to um, have the, the solid sort of edges tear it or of course just fray it so you've got that that beautiful kind of um texture going on and i like i don't mind when it it tears either because when you're doing that it kind of looks like it's meant to be torn i am gonna still ink it so i'm still taking my time to ink that even though it's one scrap of tiny little bit of paper that i'll probably then go and cover up with paint anyway pop there it's all about your layers there we go. So stick a bit of glue there and I'm stick a bit over just to make sure. Some of the yellow paint that I'm dried has smudged over it, but I quite like that. In fact, I'll bring that over. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Looks like I'm meant to do that. Beautiful. Okay, now what I'm going to do. So my lady is going to be going on there like this. Now at the minute, I find this looks all too, uh, because I've got these, it, it just, they look too strong against that background. So I want to knock them back a bit. So this is when you get your dry brushing in. I will need to give it a blast dry before I do um, my, I might glue her on actually. Let's have a look. No, I'm going to blast it dry first and then, um, and then do that bit. So while I'm blasting dry, I will hand over to our Adam. Oh, fabulous. To you. Um, I love these. 
Oh, These are beautiful. They really, really are. And I know we say that a lot, but literally, as Leonie was flicking through, I was literally sitting on the other side of the studio. And I was looking, I said, I can't wait to get my hands on them and have a proper look. And that's what I've been doing uh, while we've been watching that demonstration. I've been flicking through uh, the pages. They are absolutely stunning. They really, really are. And they are phenomenally uh, busy. Let me show you them on the 12 by 12 form uh, that you've got. Because remember, you're also getting them in a little... I just love this. This is literally one of my favourite 12 by 12s. I was sitting over there going, that would look just beautiful in a frame, using some of the embellishments on the front of the frame to really make it pop. I literally don't know how you can cut into them. That's why you're going to have to go for two. It is that case of stuff like this. How beautiful uh, does these look? Uh, if you want to get two, though, if you're going for the original, uh, oh, I haven't got long many left at all. Uh, but they are absolutely, look at this. Technical sellout. Now, we are now a technical sellout for your x ray pad and your 8x8 as well. The only way of getting your 12x12 12 12 now is going for that original bundle, the big bundle uh, that we've got here. So you get your big 12x12 12 12 in there. You're also getting your moulds in there as well. And you're also getting those four lots of rice paper, which, are, which match your 12x12s 12 perfectly because that is the first page of your 12x12 12 12 that we're looking at now. So you now imagine these, if you are into your, well, if you're into anything, really, these would look stunning on boxes, even to keep your pens and your paintbrushes in, they would look absolutely stunning on absolutely anything you want them to do. I can just see them in a craft room, just on the walls, really go to town and bring the artwork in, because um, normally they're just full of boxes and you want to make it look nice and pretty. Uh, but even your moulds. You could actually use these moulds on the front of drawers, and I was thinking, use the hearts, you could turn them into little door mm. handles. Oh, yeah, make you, motor resin. Little drill, mm. little hole in the middle of them yeah. uh, to put your little um, your handle on the front, and you could use those as a backing for a door handle. Would look absolutely stunning in anyone's bedroom, on chest of drawers, wardrobes, things like that. Nearly half the stock now, though, has already gone here. And look at that, £28.93. You really can't go wrong. It's the only way of getting the paper pad at the moment. Uh, there are currently phone calls going on. On, but you know, I'll tell you as it is at the moment, this is the only way of getting your 12 by 12. 477042 is your item number. Uh, the rice papers that we've been using as well, not in this set, we've also got the set of eight, remember, uh, £15.92, 029520 is your item number. For your eight rice papers, you get double of each, that's why you're getting eight, so you get four designs, uh, two of each. I love those suitcases, they're coming back on trend again. Old suitcases are very becoming popular again, keeping nothing in them. They're just very, very popular uh, to have. You can be one step ahead of the curve. £15, <laughs> 92 zero two nine five two zero. Let's go back for the rest of the demonstration. Mercedes Broker, did they become not popular? I've well, always had of, They sort cases. of went out and come back in again. It's like, yeah. Now you've got things like the repair shop and stuff like uh, that. People are going old, back to new again, but oh, still making it look old. I were already there then. <laughs> you've always been ahead of the curve. You're, I've always had old oh. suitcases knocking about with stuff <laughs> in them, forget what I've put in them, think I can't find anything. It's like, oh, it's in my old case. 500, number 503. Right, OK, so I'm sticking a bit of lace on just for texture, just because <laughs> because I like it. Um, OK, and really, I should have stuck that on earlier, but it were an afterthought. So now, um, because I want now, I want to bring this all together. I want it all, um, all to work together. So what I'm going to do is pop over a little bit of paint. You've got milk white in the collection, so I'm going to use a little bit of milk white. So I'll pop that there. And I'm actually going to use... Because I've got the that blue there as well. I might use, shall I use a bit of blue? Shall I use a bit of green? Do you know, I might use a little bit of the nature green. I don't know. I might change my mind in a minute. We'll see how it goes. So, popping that there first of all. Now, uh, those paints, if you do want them, half the stock has gone with the paints. Now, let's start popping a little bit of white over. Now, you'll see at first, there isn't much going on it. See? That's good. That is what you want. It's dry brushing it. Don't go too heavy at first because you might go in too heavy and ruin everything. So go nice and light at first. Then it just brings everything together. Obviously, that needs a cheeky bit more glue. Um, I am using the craft glue. Um, this is new today. I haven't used this before, so it's a little bit of a treat. Um, it says it's good for all different things, including uh, paper and your car stock. And I love the fact that it's got a nice nozzle on there as well. So it's really good for that fine application application which is fabulous so look as i'm putting this on you can see it's knocking that back 
it also with the rice paper it also brings the stencil back out again which i really really like and this now all your lovely your scraps that i've done let the the glue actually dry on your ribbon all the oh, oh that's annoying all the scraps now you see how um the scraps blending so they don't stick out as much they don't um they become part of your piece so i'm just bringing a bit of that that darker green in as well and just a little bit of that dark green as well. Flip it round to work from the other side, like this. And I'd, I'd really like it because it's funny, you put a paint on like that and you think, oh, oh, I've gone a bit heavy there. Just go back over with the white. That milk white is absolutely beautiful. I mean, all the paints are, are beautiful. They're, they're so creamy, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've really, really enjoyed having those as part of the collections. See, and it just knocks it back and then it just works beautifully. So, a little bit of paint there. And it just um, it just brings the whole page back in together again. You know, there's nothing now that kind of looks, oh, shouldn't have done that, you know? It all, and I didn't want this to stand out. I wanted it to be part of that page. And that's exactly what that does. See, that really does need time. Doesn't it too dry? There we go. Let's just work that in a bit. They're gorgeous. So it's nice how it all layers, isn't it? Now, what I have been doing, um, the paint that I've been using, I've actually been obviously keeping that as well. So this other book that I've got, because I'm doing two books at the same time, this is going to be my painty palette book. So all the paint that I've... Um, you know, that I haven't used, I'm just layering on a page. And I, I like doing this because your paints, they work beautifully together. It's all about, isn't it? It's all about your art. So this is my palette. You know, this is my artist palette and something like that. And it's interesting, really, because when you have a page like that and you put an image like that on, the, the wonderful thing is it works. Because we are talking, all these beautiful colours are there, so it absolutely works. And so, so definitely create random pages like that, because A, it's a lovely way of uh, playing with your, your book, but B, you're not wasting any of your paint. In fact, even when you're cleaning your brush, so you've got water on that brush now, so obviously, because I've re-watered that down, you will get colour on that as well so you could have your darker pages but then you could have your lighter pages so it just allows you to create some lovely sort of um lovely swatches of colour ready to to craft on so move that away for now I'll just spritz that get rid of that so I'm not popping my book in it which I already have done <laughs> obviously it doesn't matter and then we'll bring our lady on now I'm actually I'm not going to 3d her on I'm going to put her flat down onto the page because um because I, I don't need to 3D it. I think she stands out of the page anyway. I'm not going to cut this side down yet. I'll glue her first of all. So I am just going to use the craft glue. So I'm going to make sure she's glued almost to the edge. Almost to the edge. So, a fair bit of glue on there. And I do love, I do love that fine nozzle of this glue. I'm very happy with that. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. So let's just pop that on like there. Because I want to see a bit of that frame. Boom. Now, letting it pop over the edge because that will now allow me to cut it down. But I'll be able to see where I'm cutting it down from. See, I started sticking two pages together. But by the end of it, I've stuck about 12 pages together, haven't I? Uh, don't worry about what this looks like. It, it, you're going to be covering it and I mean the page I'm working on look like that so it, it just doesn't matter in the slightest so just get my scissors in there and just cut that down like so I'm even going to try and cut that rounded corner good grief I've only got 15 minutes it's funny isn't it yeah I planned these these demos and then before you know it I've done one there we go <laughs> honestly I just 
Well, it doesn't matter, does it? Now, if you want, oh, thanks, Jims. If you want to make that pop a little bit more, you use your darker colour. So in this collection, she does, isn't it beautiful? It, it, it's so easy to work with these papers because of the design. I mean, this is what they do. This is what Stamperia do. They, they bring us incredible designs. I'm using a dark grey. Um, I'm then going to just get a little bit of water on my paintbrush and just bring in that round. I need to get rid of it, get rid of some. So just bring in that round like so. And this will allow you, <laughs> this will allow you to create that beautiful drop shadow. And this is something, obviously I do a lot, but it's because it works. You know, it's, it's just one of those, <laughs> yeah, why would you do it? Well, you say that. I do other things a lot, but they don't work. <laughs> but this works, this is good. And it's just, See, good in it, ah, uh, Jimmy. The shadow so works. I'm just going to do it around there as well. So I'm using my angle brush just to make sure that it, I can get the um, the paint so it it's not solid and it just sort of um, drifts away. Obviously, over the texture, you need to work it in a bit over the texture. Work it in. There we go. Like that, let me just get a bit more water and just get rid of that a little bit. I love that because when you go over the top and just, just sort of break it down, it just looks so effective. And then a tiny little bit more around there. Beautiful. And then I'll just pop a sentiment on to finish. Oh, just such a gorgeous image. It's, she's lovely, isn't she? Yeah, she has got a story. That's that one. What is she thinking? Make art and you will have wings to fly. Is she thinking that or is she thinking? Bear with her. Is she thinking? Why do I put me on the sentiment? Ah, or is she thinking? It is, um, it is in spring when the rebirth of life begins. That's what she's thinking. Boom. And actually, that is off the same paper. So the beautiful thing is when you're chopping that paper up, remember this is the eight, has the eight by eight sold out. Or souls. It is in the 8x8, but you have got it in the 12x12 12 12 as well. But that is part of your 8x8 stroke, 12x12. 12 12. So we're going to have that one there. And just to um, to go with that, I am going to pop a little bit um, of the, the lace underneath it as well. So bob that down here, like so. Oh, I love doing this. I love working with... I just love working with Stamperia. I mean... <laughs> Just, it's just so it's one of them isn't it I think they make it easy because it's everything matches everything goes everything's just beautiful the the hard bit I say they make it easy actually the hard bit is actually cutting it up because it's so beautiful that's the that is the tricky bit because it's but yeah and it just be brave cut into it because that's when obviously you'll get these wonderful results. So I'm going to pop that on there like that. And I need to leave that time to dry. Because I'll tell you for why. I'll tell you for why. Um, it's not gluing um, straight away because obviously I'm working on to wet paint, aren't I? So give it time to, to do that drying thing. But I just wanted a couple of little layers. <laughs> yeah, that, that the drying thing. There. Okay, like so. And then what you could do as well to make that pop, you could do another drop shadow round there. But oh, and a few splashes. I will do a few splashes ofs, but I will do that in a few moments time. I will splatter and drop shadow. Well, I'm splattering and drop shadowing. Or oh, Adam's waiting in the wings. Well, you, you get splattering. <laughs> You oh, you were getting uh, your rose spray out. I'm going to well, get I did. I've been. I've run back uh, to the uh, the portal loop that we have outside that we get dressed in. Uh, and a quick spray. I don't know if it was air spray or air freshener, to be honest, but it does the job. Uh, but we, were you talking about the 12 by 12s and the 8 by 8 that you get scared to cut into them, which we do? That was nicely onto the ephemera pack. That means you haven't got to cut in uh, to your 12 by 12s anymore. You've already got them pre-cut for you. 
And I was just having a fiddle with them earlier. So I was literally just, I, I've seen what was in there. Um, I've just arranged some of my favourites that you've got there. So you've got the actual artist palette. Um, and I stuck the brush uh, through it to give you that more 3D look. You've got the brushes that you've already got on there. You've got the, the tiny, the detail in these are phenomenal. You go down to the tiny little buttons uh, with a button on a button that you've got in there. You've got the artist's um, acrylic paints that are in there. You've got the scissors uh, wrapped up in twine as well. There are so many elements that's in here even down to the tiniest of keys uh, that you've got. But then when you put them all together, it really does work. So if you're going for your 12 by 12s as well, using some of your 12 by 12s, using the frames that we've got in the moulds, look how stunning this is. It is absolutely beautiful. Using some of the ephemera kits because you've got things like the clocks that's in there. Then you've got the drawers that have been pulled forward that look like you've got things exploding from them. It's literally just a case of matte and layering uh, for your 12 by 12s that you've already got. So it really does go together. They've done it so well. Uh, so you get 76 pieces in there. But then you also get the frames on top as well in your grey board. You've got your grey board frames. And I was trying to count them early, but there's so many frames because even the waist in between you could use as another frame if you wanted to as well. So there are so many frames built in to the one and that one in the mirror in the middle uh, sort of reminds me of uh, an ornate mirror that you've got this sort of big one that you've got here really ornate uh, mirror that you've got and then you've also got the chipboard in there uh, the chip uh, the wooden in there as well it is chipboard i know i am right uh, you've got the chipboard in there so that's more frames already on top as well with the love in the middle uh, once again so much little de it's the detail that uh, superior give you but they also give you the without the fuss that's what it is, isn't it? They give you all the detail, but it's without the fuss. You haven't got to worry about anything because it's all been done for you. It all works really, really well. Nearly 60% of the stock here now has already gone. Your dispatch date for all this is the 26th of May, is what you're looking. 817162 is your item number, £15.64 uh, for this little bundle that you've got here. Something else that you're absolutely loving, though. Is the 12 by 12 bundle. This is the only way now to get some of the paper. Well, this is the only way to get the 12 by 12 papers this way. At £28.93, you get your two sets of moulds in there as well. Look at those for moulds. Uh, then you've got your 12 by 12s, and then you've also got your four rice papers in there as well. 477042 is your item number, £28.93. Remember, it is a different show this evening at 6 o'clock when we launch the one-day special. It is a totally different show. Uh, your Stamperia 8A4 rice papers, uh, you get two of each design is what you're looking at there for £15 and 92 pence on these as well. Beautiful, absolutely stunning rice papers uh, from the frames to the suitcases, the lovely lady and then a lovely background that we've got as well. Let me show you one more. Uh, and moulds, you're loving the moulds. Nature's Art and the frames as well. Remember, you can use these with your air-dry clay. You can use these with your resins. These would look nice in your resins. Throw a bit of glitter and a bit of medium in there. Uh, you're really good uh, to use. Oh, I reckon you could use these as ice cube moulds as well. Mm. Would be cute. Little bit of chocolate as well. We don't know if it's food safe or not. Uh, we will find out. I'll find out for you. I'll have a little ponder yeah. while we go back to uh, thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth a little look. If you're not going to eat them, out of fondant and stuff, Something to keep. Yeah. Just decorative. If you're going to do decorative, uh, <laughs> but don't eat them. But you, you know when you have a wedding cake and you have them birds and you don't ever eat them? You just always <laughs> save them, like little cherubs or the happy couple on top. You never nibble on them, do you? You see them. And that's what you can do with these as well. We got away <laughs> with that. £15.98 <laughs> and no one noticed. Uh, 049263 <laughs> is your atom number. Uh, right, let's go back to Alione. Right, OK. Now, I know I've got, got some time, so I'm not going to faff. I'm just going to crack on. So what I've got is, remember in the first hour, again, I popped my rice paper onto the stone paper. I mean, the flexibility of that is just fabulous. And the stone paper is brilliant for covering um, because it's it's easy. You know, it's just easy. Um, so that's my first um, my my first page. So let's use some of the paint that we've got in the, the show. So I am going to take a little little bit of the, the red and I'm not going to use much paint I just want to, to put some around the edges I actually shouldn't be doing it this way I should be doing that after do it that after Leona okay let's build up so I'm going to be quick I'm not going to faff so I've taken one of the um, embellished well that's one of the doors from the paper pad can't remember if it's the I bet that was the 8 by 8 sorry I have put it onto a bit of black card just so um, it'll pop a little bit. So we're going to pop that on there, first of all, like so. 
And obviously, cutting that round like this. There. So that's going round like that. I've then got, and the reason I've got my paint out is because obviously I am going to edge this in a few moments' time. I am quite tempted to use one of those beautiful stencils because the stencils are so exquisite. Um, that's No, 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 Leona, because that means you'll faff. Don't faff. Okay, so what I've then done, <laughs> I've used, I love this paper. I just think that is so good. This is when it's difficult to cut your paper up because it's just so cool, but I've cut it up, I've done it. So I'm gonna glue that down. And at first you're thinking, well, that doesn't work, kid. No, it doesn't. But when I put my frame on it, it'll work a treat. So the frame, I've used the air dry clay. Now your air dry clay, we will be featuring. Oh, that really does stick. Um, we will be featuring in the second hour, um, in the one day special hour. But the frame is just fabulous. So I've already painted it, but um, I'm just going to take one of the, oh, which one shall I use? I'm then going to take one of the um, bronze paints because I just wanted a little bit of, um, bronze over the top of this just to, to give it that la a little bit of a sheen on this one so let me find a dry brush there's a dry brush so I'll bring oh I've broke my frame just be careful sometimes we know don't worry because look 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 air dry clay so it means it's paper clay paper glue We'll glue, paper, clay, boom, not a problem. Don't panic. And yeah, you can pretend it's meant to be like that because it's a, an old frame, you know, vintage, cheek a bit of vintage. So don't put your, your best pictures in that one. So <laughs> definitely worth more now. Now a bit of gilding. So just going round with my brush, relatively dry. I mean, really, I've gone a bit heavy there, but it's okay, I'm rushing. So... Now I've used the colours from the um, the pack, the, the paints that we've got, but then the bronze, this has been one of the paints that we have had on in the other shows. So again, it might be one that you've already got hold of. And it just makes the, the detail pop. I mean, I love these frames. This um, These, these moulds are ace, the ace. And this is just air dry clay. I mean, if you do it with resin, good grief, it'll look phenomenal. It, honestly, it's so good. I've gone a bit heavy there, but that's okay. Nah, there you go. It's worth more again. Now it's worth a fortune. Okay, so that's me a little bit of um, a little bit of doodah, and then bringing this back on again. Now I'm not going to use that glue for this because it's got too much texture on that. It's not an even surface because it's not an even surface. If I go on with that glue, um, I don't know where it's going to, you know, where the frame's actually going to touch the book. So it's easy going on with a gel medium, put it on relatively, oh, put it on relatively thick, and then um, you'll hit the, the frame. And I'm just trying to scoop it out. Now I'm really rushing, which means I'm making a right old mess. Okay. I've got my... <laughs> I mean... <laughs> So much gel medium. Okay, move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. Please don't all fall to pieces or else. No, don't worry. Yes. No, we can't swear on a Stamperia anniversary show. That would... I mean, I can't stamp, swear on any of them, but especially not Stamperia. Now, what I'll do, obviously not going to have time now, which is annoying. I'll be using one of the embellishments like this. I'll be then putting my gorgeous creativity from the mould like this. I'll be bringing my lovely um, little palette and then my beautiful little brush like this. So all these will be like lining up here like so. Going round the edges, bringing on a lovely little sentiment, sticking some paints there and Bob's your uncle. <coughs> Thank you, see you at six. Yes, indeed. I like when we take you up to the wire, I really do. Yeah. Sentimentally Yours Woodland is up next. These are well cute. And then join me for the Fabric Freedom Boutique One Day Special. There we go, to the patio. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product, their world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for it.
The product range that Stampiri offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family-run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons, and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences, as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence, based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. Good afternoon to you all. Welcome to the Craft Store. It is lovely to have you coming this afternoon. Now, oh, do you know, I'm not even introduced our guests, and I've just heard we're already selling the stock really, really quickly. We've got a wonderful selection from Sentimentally Yours. I'm going to ask our Julia about the artist behind these, of course. You will recognise the name. Julia, these are Trudy's, aren't these are they? These Trudy Howard's, yes. Yeah. So, so this, is, this is the first time that uh, Trudy's done any kind of animals. Well, kind of animals. They are animals. Done any animals? So we've, we've seen people from her. We've seen flowers. We've seen insects. Yeah. We've seen mystical characters as well. But we haven't seen any kind of uh, kind of uh, animals that you'd recognise. Yeah, as these such. are kind of woodland animals, they are, yeah. aren't they? Absolutely beautiful, and they're very different to any I've seen before, which I absolutely love. And it shows that Trudy can turn a hand to any style as well. Now I can tell you, we are busy already. Twenty percent of the whole collection, the big collection, has already gone. We can break this down for you but the value is in the collection and how can you miss out and any of these delightful little creatures they are absolutely gorgeous let's have a look what we've got on offer for you because of course we have got the woodland animals we've also got a stamp that contains all the characters as well we'll come back to that let's have a look at the top row first of all so of course straight away we can see we've got mr fox there very grand indeed. Mm. Then we have our beautiful squirrel which of course could be coloured as a red or a grey squirrel yes absolutely yeah there you, could, we are. you could probably change it into a bit of a chipmunk if you wanted Do you know, you to could as well. Actually. Yeah, I think you're right there. Oh, look at the little acorn. What I love, you've got all those little flowers and those elements as yeah. well to go along with it, haven't you? And, and of course, all the extra elements can be used outside oh, of the animals yeah, and, and for, for of say, a just a sentiment or a verse or, yeah. you know, surround those. Do you know, looking through the different selections here, I can say you can build up frames, you've got corners in there as well. Look at that gorgeous little bunny. They're so sweet, aren't they? I mean, all the packaging has been coloured in by Trudy herself as well, oh, using lovely. the colour radiance alcohol markers. So you can, you've got something to kind of work from. Yeah. Obviously, you can colour them in with pencils or with the watercolour blending brush pens if you want to, or any of your paints or mediums. But, you, you know, for a, a kind of novice or as a, a kind of mojo starter, you've got that inspiration. Definitely 
definitely. from the packaging. Definitely. And not difficult to colour or cut out, I must say, as well. Now, that's the first selection. If you do want to go for those, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the details there. There is a £3 saving. Keep hold of that £3 saving, because that will carry over to the big collection. Let's have a look at the bottom. My favourite, I've got to say, it is hard to choose, but if I really, really was pushed to choose, it would be the little mouse. Oh, it's so sweet. So that can be a pet mouse, it can be a door mouse, a field mouse, a woodland mouse, any sort of mouse you want it to be, can't it? It can be, a, it's great for a baby card as yeah. well. Yeah. And you've got that be those beautiful swags, you know, one going to left to right and one going right to, to left. Mm -hmm. um, so that can go on your cir circles if you want it to, or onto your ovals as well, because remember they're photopolymer stamps, so you can't, they've got a little bit of give in them. They certainly have. We'll see that as well in demonstration and I've, look at this one this is the one I was talking about so all of the characters together obviously in miniature because you're fitting them all onto the same size stamp but there's something a little bit different about these as well the characters have been flipped around so if you want kind of the adult or the mum and the dad and then the baby you can have them facing each other of course for your smaller projects as well or characters or animals that are in the distance these are going to be perfect another lovely collection individually again bottom of the screen there for you but part of the big collection there is that three pound to save uh, saving to carry over again if you are carrying over to the collection on top of that we're going to give you another three pounds so that gives you a nine pound saving in total if you're a freedom member it gets even better because look at your saving eight pounds and 69 pence wow Five six zero two eight three is the item number. If you want to go for the big collection, I can tell you these are literally flying. 30% of the stock has already gone. I don't think um, we mentioned as well, they are, because it's difficult to see on the screen, isn't it? They are A6 stamps. So, so yeah. that's like a quarter of an A4, uh, if you're thinking about it. And obviously the packaging is, uh, shows the images slightly smaller than what they are. So this you can make into your smaller cards if you want to. And obviously Definitely. with the wooden friends, you can, make, you can put them on your tags and you can make even smaller cards if you want to. Do you know, I'm just going to borrow one of the samples so I can show you the actual size. This is the bunny. I don't know if I've got that the right or the wrong way around. But you can see the size of the bunny there. And I will just bring in, actually, the smaller, well, not the smaller set, but the smaller characters as well. So you can see those in comparison. You know exactly what you're getting for your money. As Julia said, they are A6, so you can imagine the size of these. You've probably got lots of A6 stamps already. I just think they're the perfect size. I've got mm. to be quite honest. Yeah. I love, love, love them. And like we you say, they are very, very easy to fussy cut out. Oh, you can see that, especially when we look at this beautiful sample here, which is one of um, is it Joanne's? Trudy's, actually. Oh, Trudy's. It's one of Trudy's, yeah, with the bunny there. And just to show a, a comparison as well, from the brown bunny to the grey bunny, of course, this is an excuse to go with all those wonderful flowers. You can have the whole gang together as well. It's one of Lodis, <laughs> don't they? They look, they, look, they look up to mischief, don't they? They certainly do, especially the owl. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like he's in love with someone, actually. He's, um, he's yeah, absolutely he's mesmerized. Besotted, isn't he? <laughs> There's that cute little mouse as well. Do you know, it just goes on on and on and on and it's not just about your cards of course as she says as she picks up another card but I've just got to show you this one because isn't that fabulous yes on the Joanne's oh that is beautiful it's also about your home decor as look well look at all the extra little bits she's got the flowers on there oh, as well you know that yeah. she's supposed to cut out up again yeah love it it's tremendous isn't love it love it Oh, I love how the bunnies in amongst the little flowers there as well. You yeah. could really build sort of a field, you know, with little flowers. Yes. Um, yeah, you could. As absolutely. well as a woodland. There's a, like I say, there's that. a lot of extras to build with. And I can see me using some of the extras in my fairy hug stamps as well. Some of the, you know, the, the foliage ones. Trudy's made these. These are fab. Absolutely fabulous. Do you know, there's so many samples. There I'm are. There's, they're all over the back the as well. As well. Yeah. I try and put what I've looked at to the bottom, Julia, and show some different ones so later. So it's a big thank you to Trudy herself, to Joanne and to Lozzie. That just the three of them have made all these samples. Which oh, is do you know, I just thought I'll show one more, but there's no <laughs> name on it, so I can't Have say who's done it unless you That's one of Joanne's. Is it? Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Now, we do have some papers coming up as well, so hold your horses and see those. So let's have a look because very, very busy on the stamps. That saving, of course, and the savings carried over for you. Oh, 40% of the stuff is flying. You're mm. supposed to have another show Early later. doors for me. Yeah. <laughs> 
I happy don't, about that? I don't want to absolutely 100% guarantee this, but a little bird has just told me that I think once they're gone, they're gone. We'll see if we can get that confirmed. He, but, has, he uh, did say on his Facebook Live last night that um, the craft store had had all of his, his, kind of his, his allowed stock. Mm. So, yeah. We've been given what we've been given. <laughs> Unless <laughs> Mr. Phil wants to change his mind and he can find some from somewhere. Well, just check your baskets out. Don't miss out on the stamps. Now, we do have the papers. I do want to go through these as well. These are lovely. They are lovely. Great so, price, aren't they? Yeah. So, again, they, these are designed by Trudy. So, you can see with these ones, uh, they're, they're kind of the little tiny characters and some of the elements in there. So, all the tiny characters are in there. So, you've got five different colours, and she's coordinated them with some colours from the premium card stock as well. Um, nice. Don't ask me what they are because I can't remember, but Phil did mention on his, on his uh, live yesterday. Um, so, there are uh, four designs. Uh, so, those are all your little friends. Then you've got the. Um, the wood grain. Oh, I do like a bit of wood grain. Which is obviously very usable. It's great to use with the other papers because it kind of tones down the patterns. But what it also is great for is your masculine cards because really all the woodland friends could be used for your masculine makes. You don't have to put flowers on them if you don't want yeah, to. Yeah, of course. Then I mean, come... These are great even if you want to cut a tree trunk out. Yes, or yeah, and they're great for your flowers as well and all your die cuts. And of course, they'll take your inks. They are the 190 GSM litho printed, uh, normal quality that you'd expect. And there's 40 sheets in the pack because there's two of each. So obviously, these are some of the little elements, some of the um, the little flowers that there is, the, is the bluebells and some butterflies in there as well. They coordinate perfectly with the stamps. Loving the colours actually, and the fact that have you said, Julia, already matching up with Phil's cardstock as well. You know, you're going to get everything yeah, to work yeah. together. Then we've got the oh, gingham. I love a bit of gingham. Yeah. Yeah, love these. Same colour scheme. Same colour scheme. So obviously you can pick out the colour scheme across the different patterns and use one, two, three, or even four of the papers on the same car, um, a card that, or project that you're making, and it's going to coordinate beautifully. Love it. Absolutely love it. Do grab yours at only twelve ninety nine. Forty sheets. So you can multiply on those if you want. If you think you're going to use more, do that. Twenty percent of the stock already gone. Eight four five nine six eight. And once, the item once again with those, there's only going to be the one print. Run. There Is won't there? be another print run now. So. Oh, definitely grab, yeah, yeah. definitely grab them now. Then do not miss out on those. Oh, we've got queues on the phone lines. If you can make your way to the website or use the app, it is the quickest route. We will get you there. We were expecting a busy hour, but I think it's, you know, it's off to a flying start. Will there be stock at seven o'clock for Julia? Will she get to go home early? We shall see. We shall see. Now we'll move on. We've got more to show you as well. We have the charming dies for you. Now these are options. So we've got the top row and the bottom row. Let's have a look at the top row first. Uh, now these have been out previously and they're sold out, didn't yeah, they, Yeah, so the, uh, Phil bought these as a one-day special a couple of months ago. And um, he just about did the 12 noon show with a little bit of stock left. And, and obviously he couldn't do the 4 o'clock because there wasn't any. And this is the first time that the dies have been back since then because he just hasn't had any um, and they are extended delivery from the 18th which is Tuesday wow. um, and obviously you know it's a good opportunity to get them I was saying on my live the, yesterday that I think these are the prettiest dies that Phil's come out with they're smaller than your um, double D's and your elegant eyelets they're all on an A5 sheet uh, of mag magnetic sheet but they're so so pretty and so usable they are very, very You're detailed indeed. Really I'm sorting out because magnetic they're all on magnetic sheets. <laughs> and I'm thinking, they stick together. There's a set missing here. And I'm looking for it and there was two set together. So the first set, I'm going to bring in the different shapes. We do have this one in the first set, I so believe. I that's your labels, that one. That's in the second okay. set. Oh, is that in the second set? Yeah. I'm looking. Oh, it's the pictures on the back of the packaging, and they're yeah. Do they not so, correspond with the no, front? No, no. They're all the things that are available. Oh. So you want your diamonds, your squares, and your circles. Let's have a look. If I look at the screen, I can see. So you can see that e the each set has got one or two or maybe three uh, sets with the scallops on the outside. And that's yep. got four, and it's and it's also got some uh, stitched uh, kind of uh, matting and layering dies in there as well, and then they've all got. Got, uh, button dies in the in the center they've all got different shapes in there so you've got um, different buttons to work with there's no duplications of sizes or shapes I'm um, doing well with these we're getting the squares and rectangles mixed up now as well those are rectangles <laughs> that you've got there 
Oh, yeah, you've got rectangles on yeah, the Yeah, let me bring the circles stars, back in. Yeah. It doesn't help because they keep sticking to each no. other. <laughs> there we are. There's the circles. They really, really are detailed because you've got that gorgeous stitch line there, the eyelets around the edge. Very, very pretty. And, of course, no they're going to work perfectly before. with the forest fence. I mean, Phil, oh, when yeah. Phil said to me, oh, we've got stock coming in of that, do you think these would work with Trudy's dance? Yes, absolutely, because they're just, they're just perfect, not just in size-wise, but they really set the, the stamps off beautifully. They certainly do. And we do get the magnetic Sheet you do them, get the we? magnetic sheet, so if you've got a set of three, you can have three A5 okay. magnetic sheets in there. Now, unless we've got duplicates of anything, I can't get this one wrong, because I've put the others to one side. So this <laughs> must be the second That's set. That's the labels. Love it. There's your squares. Squares. Let me just flip that the other way so we can see the buttons the right way And those way are up different well. shaped hearts to what's in the, the really uh, like other those, three. Really like those, actually. <laughs> they're they're, they're strong magnetic sheets, we aren't have, they? There we are. And there's your oval. Wonderful. Now... What a magnificent set of dies. If you want to go for these or you missed out on them before, you've got two payments of £27.49. Don't forget, you've got two different options there. 911-143 is the item number. The best place is definitely to buy is to go to the website simply because I'm hearing how busy we are. So if you can possibly do that, if you can't, honestly, we will get to you, but we know we're very, very busy and there are queues on the phone lines. We do have other items for you as well, so you can have a look at those on the website. Look at the wonderful reviews as well. We wouldn't expect anything less, would we? Do keep an eye out for the scallop tag trio as well. Uh, we do have those on the counter. We might get to see them later. I think Julia might be using them at some point. We'll see. Also, the pens are available. We've got the colour radiance for you. The alcohol pens there, which are magnificent. There's a great saving on those. And, of course, stock up on your cardstock. You want the right cardstock for the right job, don't you? The watercolours are also available. Right, Julia? Right, okie dokie. So we're going to start with the bunny because the bunny is my favourite. I'm, I'm quite quite oh. partial to the bunny. Um, I did do him on my Facebook Live yesterday, but I, don't worry, not all of my demos are with the bunny. But they could easily be, but I do love the bunny. Right, so I've just got, I'm going to use the watercolour blending brush pens. Um, um, so I'm using the Super Smooth watercolour card. And just putting in my stamping platform. It's not essential because these aren't detailed stamps, uh, as, as in very, very intricate stamps. But it just makes life easier. Yeah. Do you know, I think the balance is just right as well. I've said this before about various stamps and designs. When it comes to kind of whimsical or cutesy, sometimes you can be overly cute, and these yeah. are just the right balance. They're they very are. sweet, but they're not sickly sweet. And you can see what they are. They're not kind of um, implied. You know, they're, yeah. they're not necessarily kind of... Um, I suppose uh, National Geographic or other magazines are available. That the, that sort of de detail or botanical or they're not botanical, are they? But you know what I mean. Yeah, the line I drawing, mean, yeah. drawings, the proper now, ones. I don't want to get you too excited, Julie, because it's only quarter past the hour. Um, if it continues like it is, you might get that early finish because how much of the collection has gone? Half the stock oh. has already gone, 50%. We've been given what we've been allowed, apparently. Oh. So if you want them, check your baskets out. I know there's queues on the phone line still, so that's why I'm saying go to the website. Yeah. Don't hang about, can. don't hang about. So I'm using Pinecone Versifying Claire. Um, just just a, a dark brown instead of a black, just because I, I want to. Give a good old press. Oh, and there nice. we go. Lovely, lovely oh. bunny. Look at that. I know, so cute, so oh, cute. I mean, you can, I mean, I haven't cut this to size, but then you can bring in some swags and things at the top if you wanted to, but this is the one that I'm going to fussy cut. Do you know, once again, Julie, I think if you've got the right inks, these would be great on fabric. Yeah, Usually absolutely. You can pencils or something to colour, they'd be amazing to Yeah, work with. yeah, because they are quite... Um, uh, simple and easy yeah, to, 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 to use. Obviously your detail is what you're going to add in with your pens. So I've done myself a little chart here. I don't know where the pens have gone, so hopefully my charts are still in the pens. <laughs> <laughs> they get pilfered every single time I come here. So I'm using um, these, actually let's do some more stamping before I actually colour okay. them in. Let's do, let's do my frame as well and then we'll do all, this, all the colouring in together. So for my frame I'm going to use a little tiny butterfly on my acrylic block and we're also going to be using a um, 
uh, one of the bluebells. Okay. Sorry, my brain's That's not working. as well, aren't they? Yeah. This is why, if you can afford to go for the big collection, most of you are, actually, but it is well worth it because of all the extra elements in there as well. You can build up wreaths, you can build up sprays. You, you know, you've got the tiny little elements as well, which work so perfectly. A little butterfly landing on the rabbit's nose would be very cute. Yeah, very cute indeed. I'm just going to get myself a bit of paper so I don't make a mess. Now, I dithered quite a lot with this one. And first of all, I did butterflies all the way around, and I thought, you know, that's a little bit too much. So this is what we went for instead. So, pop a butterfly in the corner, and we're going to pop a but another butterfly in that corner there, and another one in there, and another one in there. So obviously these are from your charming squares. Then we're going to go for the um, bluebell. Or not bluebell. Um, Charm yes. squares. Are they in the second set or the first one? I can only see the back second, of the I think. Again, bottom it's one. confusing me. Bottom row, set mm. two. So we're going to just stamp the bluebells or wherever they are yeah. down below. They could be Lily of the Valley, bluebells. Um, Wherever you want the them to be. I'm thinking of. Um, oh. I don't know, Catherine. There isn't. Oh, snowdrops. That's it, snowdrops. My brain's not working today, I don't know why. And I'm just going to stamp the four. Maybe first you're of all. ready for an early finish, Julie. I think I might be. Yeah, I definitely need a rest. <laughs> <laughs> Feel free to give me a rest. Let's go for the other one as well. Where's my squirrel? Where's my squirrel? And do the opposite. Nice again that you've got the opposites, the left and the right. It's always good to have left and rights with any sort of foliage. This is where I get fingerprints all over the place. So my ink pad's very juicy. Do you know, just that little bluebell or whatever flower you want it to be, stamped all over tissue paper in a gift box would look Yeah, like. exactly, making your wrapping paper. And you can mm. see the, from the backing papers um, that... Um, it makes great backing paper, so there's no reason it, once your paper pad's gone, if you, I mean, if you, once you've got stamps, you've got them for life. Yeah. So you can just keep on using them again and again and again to make your own backgrounds and your own backing papers. So that, that's the start of my frame. And then just to finish it off, I'm just going to add, make sure my butterflies are the right way, right way up. I'm just going to add a butterfly in the centre here as well. We remain very busy out there. I'm going to repeat what I said earlier. If you are on the phone lines, we will get to you. If you can go to the website, it would be a quicker route because it usually is. It usually is. Right, now we do a little bit of colouring. So bring in my okay. rabbit who's dry. I'm not going to do the whole thing um, because it'll take a little while. And I did do it on my Facebook Live. So I'm using the grey, a grey from set one and a grey from set three. So uh, this is my set three now we do have these available individually so you can go for whichever set you wish you can go for more than one of course different item numbers for different sets i'm just going to double check with julia before i say this but i think i'm right once these have gone there's going to be no more this year this year is there no. No. Right, okay. I know so we say it every time we come, it's because we've still got stock. Yeah. But once that stock has gone, he won't, because he, he's got something else coming later in this, right, this okay. year. Right, so, OK. So um, if you're missing a set, or if you've bought a set previously and you've used it so much, while we've got the stock, if you want to replenish that stock, you can do that as well. Twenty nine ninety nine is the price for the set. We can see your set number three on the screen now. Um, you do also get the water brushes in there as well. You get two, and they do vary, don't they? They do the vary. Well, they they are different. Some of them have got fine tips. Some of them have got uh, a broad, uh, broad tips. Um, uh, set three's got my favourite medium tip in it. So uh, yeah, there is a variation. And a reminder as well, if you are going for more than one set, although you might get different blues and different greens, you will not get a repetition of any colours. They are all different. They are. Everyone's different. That's why it's quite nice to have your colour chart, which I did make, and I keep on having... <laughs> Someone tells me, or something tells me, that you're rather bitter about that, Julie. I, I, well, you see, I, I come to colour in, and I think, well, which set's got the lightest grey in it? I don't know. My colour charts at the, at the studio. I wonder how that happened. <laughs> 
Right, so going with my water brush, I've just put some of the darker grey, so I've just put some from set one on. And when you pull it out with your water brush, obviously the watercolour card helps, but it kind of changes a bit. It's a bit of a, um, you can see it's a bit of a brown grey that you've got yeah. going on here. That, would that be classed as a warm grey, that one? Yeah, warm grey. Yeah. So, so obviously if you're using your alcohol markers, you'd be on your, on your warm grey here. So oh, nice. that a little bit too much, but... I've got one that's coloured in already. So, so you'd, you'd kind of move the colour around. You can see how easy it is to move the colour around. Because we're working on this watercolour card, you can actually um, agitate the, the ink for quite a while afterwards. So if you'd actually laid the colour down and you get um, a phone call or something, you can still come in and still uh, move it around oh, a couple good. of hours later. Or even go to it the next day or the next week or whatever. It's... it's um, very, very good card. Did you say it's the hot press water? Hot press, yeah. yeah. So it's lovely and smooth for you to stamp on. You've not got, it's not got a texture, so it just makes life a lot, lot easier. Now, this is just the first kind of layer. I would let this kind of settle down a bit, and I would put another layer on to give myself a so little bit more shading. Great as it is. Just yeah. having that little bit of detail around the edges then, pulling the colour through. You've got the highlights and, of course, the shadows as well. The depth on there. Do you know, it really does bring the character to life even more. They look just, sweet, just as yeah. they are stamped out. But that bit of colour warms it up completely. And then for um, the inside of his ear, I've got two of the light pinks from set four. And I'm just going to go with the um, darker one first. And just put some along the ridge of his ear there. Do you know that bunny could be holding something as well? It could be, yeah. And so because these are actually blending pens, you can actually blend pen with pen. So rather than use water here, I've just used the two pens together. And you can see that they, they, they blend perfectly. Um, mm. there That's to, a pretty to do pink the, as well. Yeah, the shading of the ear. Set four, did you say? Set four, yeah. yeah. I'm mostly using set four for the, the blusher. I was waiting for the blusher. No blusher? No blusher, no. Oh. And, then, <laughs> and then we can just <laughs> take the lighter of the greys and just like we did on the a darker colour you can just because uh, you don't you don't necessarily want his unless he's uh, uh, just come out the shower he's not necessarily <laughs> going to have a white tummy because he's been rolling around in the, in the, in the, the woodland, you know, so uh, he's, he's just had his dinner as well, so he's probably got a bit of a mess underneath his, his mouth as well, but uh, we will leave that for now. There's I always lots of uh, drenched and dirty bunnies on my route through the other day. Oh, they, I bet there were. The country roads on the way in with the torrential rain. Who'd want to be a bunny oh. at this, uh, when, in all that, those thunderstorms and stuff? I know, it's been bizarre weather, mm. really. So, so that's just very roughly coloured in. I've got one that I have finished here. So that's just got a little bit more on him. But you can see, see, it's not a lot of difference. So you could just go with that if you were happy with that. But I've got him that I've cut out. And I've, I've actually cut a little border around his whiskers. So I like it, that, though, because it shows the detail nicely. It yeah, stands out better. Yeah. And then I've also coloured in my frame as well. And again, I've used the two... Um, uh, yellow from set four. So again, just to pull in set four, you see, you've got these lovely two kind of. Um, I don't know. They're they're more it's like, like old uh, gold. Maybe. Yeah, they're more like vintage yellows, aren't they? Yeah. So so for your butterflies, it's so easy for you to just take the darker one, and then just use the lighter one, just to blend out. And it's only very subtle, but oh, you've yeah, got that. that 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 center area that's a little bit darker so it's so easy and then blues on the the blue is from set four again yeah so really oh, sticking to our popular set with you, with definitely you, popular with this one so with this one let's find one that where i've got the flowers mostly on we can just put because it's quite a deep blue we can just put a little bit of the deep blue onto the flower and then take a fine water brush, one of the fine ones. Get that going. And then just pull the colour out just a little bit so you've oh, got it pretty. darker at the top. But that is as simple as it gets. And then a few dots of the Sakura pen around. And then my frame's all oh, kind of finished. Wonderfully. Really do like that. Okay. So for our card, let's put one together. I did dither a bit, so I haven't actually stuck everything, all the layers together, because I definitely dithered. 
<laughs> definitely dithered. So there's a few alternatives, and this I think is quite good as well, so you can see the alternatives. So uh, the card I'm using is Storm Grey, uh, which is on the pick and mix. And also at the back, I've used Alabaster White because it's a very good fit for the watercolour card Ooh, rather than today, wasting yeah because rather than wasting your watercolour card on your mats and layers yeah. uh, the alabaster whites a very good fit so obviously this is from the paper pack so um, you we've can got see that how beautifully those colours do go with the card stuff. yeah and then I was going to have one of these which is your largest of your charm squares and then I thought I'd bring in this one here and then we'd have our frame here, like that, oh, which nice. is all very lovely, but that's not what I want to do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I could also do is, is I've got a frame here that I've cut from the other paper on there rather than using my frame. Oh. That kind of works as well. So you can see all the papers work together really, yeah. really well. So we're not going to go for that either. Oh. We're not going for any of that. What we're going to go are for, we going for Julie? is we're going to go for this one at the back. So I'm going to stick this one down before I dither any more. <laughs> I do dither a lot. Yeah, so but it's nice to have the option. It is nice to have the option. And stamps to work with. That, and you, know, you probably will dither. Out of the one sheet uh, of, of each paper, I managed to get my back in and I got my inner bit and uh, flowers out of just one sheet. So, you know, you can get a lot out of your paper. So don't worry about using it all up while you're dithering. <laughs> Oh, I if do you play an instrument, you will it be a dithery do? <laughs> <laughs> did you think of that? No, I did. Yeah. Well, well done. Clever, really. You're good, really, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> so what I did for this actual back in here. So obviously, I'm going to go for this one on my square. I took the this outer die here that I've got on my frame, which is the same as this one. And I just drew around it and then cut on the inside. So I'd get the right ah, size see, to go in yeah. my frame. So let's just get this one on here first. I'm not going to raise my frame up. I'm just going to um, have it flat. Okay. Just because I forgot to bring my thin tape really more than anything. But it doesn't have to be raised. It's a frame. It's just setting things off. That's all it's doing. Make sure I get that up the right way from a wood grain. Otherwise I'll have nose diving uh, butterflies. Oh, I do like that, Julie, that frame that you've done. Yeah, it's nice to make your own frames. And you've got that facility because you've got your stamps to work with. And if you're going for the dies, I mean, you've got multiple thicknesses of frames you can achieve mm. as well. The, the, the dies are, are just absolutely beautiful. They really, really are. I think that's obviously everybody picked up on that when, when Phil bought them before. It's the delicacy of the It opening. is the delicacy. Mm. They're so thin. I, I can't remember how thin they are, but they're really fine. And they cut like a dream. They really do. You, you know, and you only need to tap your die over the bin and it all falls out, you know, all the bits Which inside. Which is great because there's quite a few bits to come out. There is. It's not as bad as the eyelets. The eyelets leave, leave little circles all over the place, the um, uh, elegant eyelet dies. Which is fine. They just get traipsed into my son's bedroom on his bare feet, which is <laughs> hilarious. And end up in his bed, which is even funnier. <laughs> right, me and my neighbour. Now that does work very, very well, doesn't it? Does, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so that's that like that. And then we've got our bunny, our beautiful bunny. And I'm going to just put a little bit of glue on his whiskers as well, actually, because obviously they're quite delicate. And I don't want them to um, come off or anything. So I've got a top tip about whiskers. Put, put them on and take them off. If you can't cut them out or you don't want to cut them out, cut them off and then cut some little bits of nylon from a hand brush or something. You know, the dusting. Oh, right. Thing. I was going to say wire or jute <laughs> or something like that. I just pan brush before just to use it for whiskers, not for sweeping <laughs> the floor. <laughs> Yeah, well, I can identify with that. I've got an iron, but it's only to iron my papers. It's not to actually iron any clothes. <laughs> oh, I like that because the ears overlap the frame. Yeah, it just gives a bit of movement, doesn't it? Oh, that's so We've what's also he looking at, do you think, the bunny? He's looking quite yeah. sad, actually. Yeah. yeah. So we've also got the essential dyes on the show. So... Um, I've cut these out of the Storm Grey and the Alabaster White and we're just going to have these in here as well. 
Oh, that looks good. On the shadow. So obviously you can use them with the shadow or not bother with the shadow at all. And while I'm at it, I'm, I'm doing this, I'm going to put my glue on my flowers as well. I'll tell you what he's looking at, actually. We'll find out what he's looking at in a minute because I've remembered what I want to put on there. Ah. I've got a little butterfly. Oh. That's what he's looking at. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> He's wondering, is that butterfly going to land on my nose? I think not? he is thinking that, actually, yeah. Is he wanting the butterfly to land on his nose? Is he like, please come and land on my nose well, and I be my friend? I, th I think he is a friend, actually, don't you? Where's my tweezers? Yeah. Let's put this on first, actually. I, I'm going to make, I'm, before I get in too much of a mess, just okay. for you. Uh, Phil's tweezers there. Yeah, Phil's tweezers. Well, they're not, they're my tweezers. Well... But <laughs> But they've got sentimental yours on them. <laughs> oh, woe betide anybody who takes Julia's tweezers. Do you know, I've done really well, actually. I keep on saying on my live, I've still got the, the protective sleeve in and I haven't you? lost it. I have lost it on the floor here once before and I refused to go home until I found it. <laughs> do you know, I could be really mean. You know, if we sell out and you can't do 7 o'clock, I'm going to hide <laughs> the sleeve from your tweezers. Do you know, so you can't go home. I've always said that I quite like you, but you can go off people, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little butterfly coming in there. Oh, look. And then we've got oh, our flowers so that are going to go on. I've got millions of flowers. Like I say, cut again with the. Um, this is a sweetheart um, flower dye. And we've got the oh, lush nice. leaves here. Um, and I've just used the same two papers as I've got on my card. So we've got some continuity going on there. And I think we're going to have the flowers uh, down this side and that up that side. We don't want that in there. Details on the screen for the full collection. Of course, you're getting 69 stamps individually. You have got savings carried over from the smaller bundles as well. £3 from each of them. £3 on top of that, so that's £9. If you're not a Freedom member, if you are a Freedom member, you've got an extra saving. Did you notice it? Yeah, £8.69. pence. So that's an extra £5.69 for Freedom members. 560283. How can you leave one of these out? You can't really, can no, you? You just no. leave them all. I think, I think that's, that's, that's what the feedback that we've had with the, that people have wanted the whole collection when we did the lives yesterday um, because they all work together. And of course, if you've got the, the, um, the, the set with all of them on, you need the, the bigger ones as well, yeah. don't you? Yeah, and well, it, it just opens up those opportunities, doesn't it, as we said earlier, for creating families or the perspective with things further But also, away like, like if you're doing a card, you've got, you've got the appropriate size for a tag as well, haven't you? That would be perfect, um, wouldn't it? And it does fit in the middle size, uh, the little ones fit in the middle size tag in the scallop tags. I don't know if I want those And two. I know we say it a lot, but it never gets boring, and so many people love to do it, but the larger animals are great for the shrink plastic yeah yeah we haven't done that yet actually but uh, yeah it is it, yeah shrinks a great thing isn't it yeah it really doesn't get old does it Just... it doesn't there's there's certain techniques like embossing you know with embossing powders that doesn't get old either does it you no, know never. every time you see it on a different stamp or in a different color um you know it just looks tremendous and of course we've got so many inks now like the, the versifying clairs stay open for such a long time and they're in so many different colors that um you know if you use your clear powders on top you've got a different look every time so I have done opposites here, so whether I've actually glued the right opposite ones, I don't know. So that's what's going to go there. Do you know, I can see, Julie, just watching you placing these, and I, c I can tell by your demeanour that you've so enjoyed working with these stamps. Yeah, yeah, they are uh, sweet. And, and, of course, there's, for me, there's a lot of potential for pattern building with the extra yeah. little stamps as well, and I really love that too. So it's like a win-win situation. So obviously I'd probably mm. stick a pearl in each of the corners there as well. But that is absolutely gorgeous. Up. There we go. Look at that. And that's just using one of the characters if you're going for the full collection, of course. The beautiful little bunny. Oh, they really are storytellers again. I say that a lot as well, but that's how I look at stamps. I like something that you can tell a story with, and you can certainly do that with these. Let's have a look at the details again, because, oh, we're going to get an update, I believe. Oh, oh, Julia. 60% of the full collection has now gone. We've still got a fair bit of time left in this hour as well. Do not miss out on yours. We've been given all the stock we're allowed. 
We've got strict instructions not to ask for any more. I don't know if we dare or not, uh, but we've been told this is it. So if you want yours, make sure you do check those baskets out and grab yours. With the full collection, you've got 69 individual stamps. We're just looking at them all now. I love the elements with the owl, actually, Julia. Yeah. They, they're really good. You've got beautiful corners there again. And you've and got those hanging elements as yeah. well. Um, and there's also some on, on, there's one, a couple on the fox as well. So, so you can you, you look at to bringing those forward for your Christmas makes. So they could yeah. be off of any of your swags that you've got, you know, your, your, your pine cone swags. Do you know, I almost said about the little mouse, I could imagine the little mouse with the Christmas hat on when mm. we were looking earlier. And I thought, I'll not mention Christmas, just in case it annoys people. But now you've done it, <laughs> I can say it as well. So that's all right. There we are. These both are beautiful. <laughs> Who's done these? We've so, got Trudy again there. If oh, they're both Trudy's. If they're no these. name, then I think they're probably Joanne, because I think Lozzie's put her names on. Oh, on this must be Joanne's then. Yeah. Love it. Look at that. Oh, look, a butterfly on the nose. Somebody has done it. <laughs> yeah, I like Joanne. <laughs> Let's have a look. Yeah, I like it. They're all beautiful, aren't they? This one is Lozzie's. There we go. So I think I've shown something from everybody there, have I? Yeah. Trudy, Lozzie and Joanne. Yeah, wonderful. It. I do want to bring this one in again, if I just may, before we leave here, because I think this is just a wonderful card to create. Not a difficult one to create, but it's so, so effective. And if you want to use lots of the characters all at once, then this is a great way to do it, isn't it? Right, do check those baskets out. Don't forget, we've been very busy on the phone lines. It's calmed down a little bit, so maybe now is the time to... Do that. Check out now before it gets busy again. 560-283 is the item number. Those savings carried over, don't forget. Freedom members, you've got the largest saving, £8.69. And you've already got the £3 carried over as well from the smaller sets. We do have lots more on offer. Shall we look again at the papers? Because, again, we've heard from Julia. You know that once this print run has gone, that's it. These are absolutely beautiful. There are, I believe, 20 different sheets here. You've got four different designs but five different colorways uh, so 40 sheets I should say uh, so let's have a look again so you might see the same designs but you will notice that the background colors will change so you've got something to suit everyone I will turn these horizontally in a little while because it's easy for the camera but I didn't really want to turn the characters on their heads or on their sides it's not fair is it look at the little owl on there do you know my favorite changes depending on how I'm looking at it I think as you make your samples, Julia, you'll, you know, and the way that you use each of the elements, you will probably change your mind about how you look at these. Now, these are beautiful. Let me just flick through a little bit. I'm going to go to the wood next. A quarter of the stock of the papers has gone. A great price. 190 GSM, did you say, Julia? So, yeah, they're lipo printed. So if you've got any of Phil's papers, then these have got the same print quality. They are lovely. And, of course, we've got the little blue bell there. It is on its side at the moment, but you can see. Oh, we've got viewers and customers in Europe as well. A very good afternoon here from the UK. And if you're watching from the US, it's lovely to have your company. Um, lovely to have customers from all over the world, in fact, Julie. It's nice, isn't it, when we yes, know that? It's lovely. I think that's quite uh, an afternoon slot's really nice because we've got some of our American friends watching it uh, in, in the afternoons. Yeah, and they do often get in touch as well on our Facebook page, which is lovely. Uh, we know lots of you by name now. We feel like we're old friends. Twelve ninety nine. If you want to go for the papers, of course, eight four five nine six eight. Thirty percent of the stock of the papers has now gone. Let's move down. Let's have a look at the dies. Now, I didn't move this. So hopefully, I can get it right this time. Um, let's have a look what we've got here. I'm going to double check before I show you though that I've got them all the right way up. <laughs> the first set we're looking at because these are in sets of three. It's the top row in the studio here, and we've got, of course, the circles. We've seen Julie using some of these dies, but this particular set is the circles. You've got the rectangles there as well. They really are beautifully delicate around the edges. When you see that scalloped edge, it's so fine and pretty. And then you've got your diamonds there as well. I love the little buttons on these. I've, you know why I've got a thing about buttons, haven't I? 54.97, a five pound saving. You do get the magnetic sheets included with those, which is very, very handy. 911143, but we do have the second option for you as well. So let's take a look at these. Now, Julia was using the squares. So I'm just going to bring that one in first. These pesky magnetic sheets that are not the best for when you're trying to show things but they work really really well they're very strong that's, that's why they're sticking together yeah they're very strong. They're really strong <laughs> love 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 the squares there you've also got your labels in this one they're very pretty as well lots of dies in these sets and of course you've got your beautiful ovals there as well 
Now, I will tell you the dispatch date for these particular dies. It's not everything that's on these. Is the 18th of May. Uh, these have sold out previously, so you may have missed out. This is your chance to grab them again. 911-143. Top row is the most popular so far. So that's the circles, the rectangles, and the diamonds. Interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. Now, we do have more as well because Julia did use the sentiments, didn't she? Really like these as well. Now, you're getting both of these. It's a good job I've got the magnetic sheets behind because the packaging shows me borders. So if I was telling you what I yeah. could see, I would definitely get this one wrong. But there you are. Lovely. You've got two elegant script die sets here. So you get... You can achieve the shadow, can't you, with these? Because you've got the fine cut for the word and you've got the yeah. back shadow as well if yeah. you want to use it. So uh, you've got lots of options with these as well. Do you get the magnetic sheet with these as yes, well? Yes, you do. do you, you get a nice so little sheet. And wow. what Phil and, Phil and I have done is we've actually, because they, uh, they're, they're stored on the sheet when you get them in the same order as you see on the packaging, so you can right. see all the different words. We've moved ours around so that we've got, uh, say, like the birthday script and then the birthday shadow underneath and the happy script on the top and then the birthday. The, birth, the happy shadow underneath so they're all in pairs so then you're not hunting around to try and find the pairs that go together that makes sense yeah what a good idea keep these in a folder of course or in your storage or attach the magnetic sheets to the back of a door on your craft room or something like that or on the walls and you can mm. keep them nice and neat and look after them two payments of 34 pounds and 99 pence don't forget with a flexi basket you can split the cost of other items as well 385 822 is the item number now we do have some more things as well did mention the tags earlier but here they are this is another lovely set i've seen this used often before if you haven't got it yet this is a great one to go for you've got six dies for 15.99 is the item number. Now the watercolour brushes that Julia's been using, we do have various different sets. There's four in total, but they've got different item numbers. Set number four seemed to be a, a favourite of Julia's in the last demonstration. It's very popular this hour as well, which tells me that a lot of you haven't got this and you're going for these colours because we saw Julia colouring that beautiful bunny there. Oh, is that Julia's? Maybe somebody's took, <laughs> took it No, no photography. No, no. no you, actually, you actually get uh, <laughs> stickers with set four to cover all oh. of the four Sets, I thought sets. somebody was provoking you there, Julie. No, no, no. Those are, those are the stickers. <laughs> no, no. But it's a lot easier to use stickers than it is to actually do all the colours. Just saying. Oh, well, make sure you get your pens as well <laughs> while we've got the stocks, remember. Right, Julie, if we can go back, back to you. Yeah, we're going to, the, we're going to the fox this time. Ooh, so we're going to uh, stamp him out so you can see him. Foxy. Again, I'm loving the uh, elements in the background there, yeah. the, the swag, the little flowers. Yeah, so you, you've got great elements across all of the sets for scene building and you've also got great embellishment stamps as well if you just want to decorate something either with or without the animals. Um, lots and lots of fun to be had. So I'm, I'm going with the brown again. That's the tapping. Obviously, you can use regular Versafine. You can use your archival as well. Uh, if you're using your um, uh, Color Radiance pens, make sure you use a dye-based ink so you want something yeah, like Memento or Distress Ink will work as well. I'm going to say good afternoon to Trudy as well. Will she be watching? Uh, I should I think so. She probably will. Good afternoon, yeah. Trudy. You've done an amazing job with these. Everyone is absolutely loving them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so there he is. Oh. Up to mischief, probably. Do you know, you took the ears off. He looks like, a, and the tail, the brush tail, looks like a little seal. Um, or an otter. Yeah, definitely an otter. Sea otters are my favourite. I love sea otters. I think they're so comical. When they're lying on their backs in the, in the, in the was, sea and breaking things. There was recently that, that well, now where was it? I think it went down the Thames and it was on the bank. Was it? Yeah, and it was rolling around on its back while they were filming something, and every, you know, it was just really amusing because the little otter in the background was stealing the shell. Yeah, because they, they they break shells on their tummies with rocks, don't, don't they? they? Yeah, I they li they lie on their backs in the sea, and they break they use rocks to break shells on their tummies. Yeah, they're very clever. They are, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think they're, they're tremendous. Right, so we're using one of the swags here, and this is the charming labels. And I'm just going to try and position that kind of centralish using the, the, the point there to try and line that up. It'll be okay. as near as it can be. And we'll do, the other, we'll do both sides because obviously a bit working in the stamp press you can do that. Again with the brown. 
And when I stamp mine, I did actually, because you get to know your stamps, okay? So the first time you've used them, you might not have the exact results because they all need kind of slightly different pressure. Yeah. So this is quite delicate, this foliage. So you don't want to press too hard. You can see where I've over-inked anyway. So we're just going to see how we go by not pressing too hard. And of course your brand new stamps more. might have a bit of residue on as well. They so. might have, they might have. Do you know, I never ever um, uh, condition my stamps. You know, I never prime them, ever. Um, sometimes if they're really, really big stamps, I might try them on a, a piece of card I'm not too worried about first. But, um, I mean, fill stamps are um, uh, high-grade post-polymer. You always get great results with them. You've given me an idea this hour, Julia. Have I? Mm. Just the one? Yeah, the only one so far. <laughs> uh, it's the otter. You can guess what I might do oh. with an otter. Oh. Yeah. I'll be, might, I'll... might have to create a Julia the otter crochet kit. Oh, I'll have one. I'll have one. <laughs> I won't, be, I won't be sitting I've on my asking hands this again. Week what people would like to see in the way of characters or animals. I'd, do you know, I'll have to look through because I've, I've not been able to keep up so much this week with being on shift, but when I look through, I wonder if anybody else has suggested an otter. They, they have such have a they? They have oh, su they have. No, I'm saying they have such a tremendous personality, the otters. Yeah. They're, they're, they're great. So I'm going to use these um, little um, kind of, um, I don't know what they're called, what they're called, little hanging elements. And uh, we're going to stamp some of those off okay. of the swag Are you going to be well. using the watercolours again, Julie? Yeah. For colouring? Yeah. Lovely. Don't forget, Julie, you use set number four for the last demonstration, which was absolutely perfect. Uh, I'm just going to show you that as well. Don't forget, you do get two water brushes. I'm going to just go open this one up as well. Hopefully it's not sealed anywhere. I wonder if Julie's swatches are in here. No. Uh, Where are they then? That's what I want to know. Where are my swatches? <laughs> but with set four, you do get the stickers, don't you, that we mentioned you do that we get saw the stickers, on the screen yeah. as well. So yeah. your two water brushes in there. If you've already got any other sets, you will not be duplicating any of the colours. There's no repetition across all four sets, but this one is proving very, very popular. There is a great mix of colours in here, because you can see you've got your kind of woodland colours in here. You've, you've got, got your lots, greens, your yeah. browns, your greys, you've got pinks, and the yellows that you mentioned were really, really nice in the first demonstration yes. as well. Yeah, and so they're great for your one. bees as well, the, the the yeah, yellows in yeah, there definitely so yeah, it's I've, a nice one to go for for your woodland theme so i've stamped that you see i've got i've got the two little thingies hanging i Watson really like it. those yeah yeah so because my fox is going to go and sit here i've also got uh, one of the beautiful butterflies which i seem to have got dirt on but i've got one that colours colored in anyway uh so this is one of the beautiful butterfly dyes which is actually on the show okay and i'm going to actually stamp a bit of detail in there as well because there are filigree butterflies in there, but the smaller ones obviously aren't. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a body. Okay. Oh, how clever. Okay, so that's going to be the body. And then we're going to go into... I'm trying to get too messy. We're going to go into the bunny set. And we're going to pull out a couple of flowers for the actual detail on the wings themselves. So, um, so again, little this block? is why it's nice having those small stamps. It is, and you've got different sizes in the small stamps, which makes it perfect. So we go for this bigger um, flower here. And we'll have detail there. Oh. And then there. And then we go for the smaller one. It's a it's teeny tiny like one. the Red Admiral, but with flowers instead of yeah. it's, 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 uh, it's spots. They're not spots, are they? They're like a, an eye, like a peacock. Yeah, they are eye, like an they? eye, yeah. Beautiful. So, so there we go. There's, there's the, um, the detail on the wings. Okay. We do have that set to show everybody, actually. If we can just have a, a quick look. I'll show you the front first, then I'll show you the dies. So you can see what Julie was saying there. You've got your solid butterflies and you've got your filigree elements as well, so they layer up perfectly. And there you are. You can see the two different sizes uh, of both. And, of course, you get the magnetic sheet as well. So, in fact, you've got four different sizes there, haven't you, to work with? Yeah. Yeah. 15 99 yeah. great price. Obviously, you can stack them up yeah. or you can not bother. Uh, you can use them to cut apertures out of cards as well and sink the, the filigree butterfly in there. So there's lots of things you can do. Very nice indeed. 565140 if you want to go for those. 
Right, so I'm not going to, because of the time, I'm not going to actually do any colouring. What I'm going to, but I will tell you which colours I've done because I've actually coloured one in already. Okay. So we get a chance to actually um, put this together. So you can see that I've coloured in here and I've used um, this bright green here and I've used the water, uh, the actual water brush to pull out and that's from number three. Nice. Then I've used the same blue from set four as I used uh, in the previous card yep. on the little um, bluebells. It's a proper bluebell. Yeah. And I pulled that out again with the water. The centre of the flower is one is, is again from set four, one of the yellows I used before. And I've used an olive green from um, set four as well. And then the fox, I've mainly used... Uh, um, the brown for number two and the pale grey that I used before out of number three uh, and I've also used um, a little bit of the oh it's almost it's like a, a, a grey black it's not a proper black because okay, proper black's yeah. in set one for his nose and then I've used this um, darker green, uh, darker green, darker brown in, in his ear here. So just the same kind of techniques as I did with the bunny but on the, the um, fox there. Gorgeous. And I've also used some Sakura Clear Star on the, the oh, stars. So, a bit of so there's a little bit of sparkle, and you've got all these little dots uh, on the um, around here. And I've used the this Clear Star on there as well. Oh lots. yeah, we can see that twinkling. Lots of little. Oh, that sparkle. is effective. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and so we're on the labels, and so we've got the biggest size label here, and this is Chocolate Bliss. Again, you can see how the colours have been chosen for the papers. With the yeah, stuff. yeah. I think that the that with the browns, um, I think coffee bean is one of the colours that works very well as well. But I mean, I didn't. I just looked at what I've got and I thought, yeah, I like that. Rather than using black, because we tend to go for black, uh, because I've stamped in brown, that's why we've gone for that. And then I've I've used a, a similar paper to the one I used before in the background. And I've used my double deboss um, essential rectangles for my layers. Of just those charming dies available on the show as well today. If you've not seen those before, don't miss out. If you have seen them before, maybe you did miss out because they sold out too quickly last time. We've got them back in today, two different sets. You get three sets in each with the magnetic sheets, multiple dies. I can't say how many because it'll vary from set to set. But you've got a saving on there as well and a flexi on this one. So do make sure you check those baskets out. If you're going for those, open up that flexi. We've got flexi on a number of different things, actually. 911-143 is the item number. Okay, so my little fox is going to sit in here. So I've just gone for stars there. I didn't mix that one up. I've got and we've got left, Julie. Yeah, we've got a with love that's coming in yeah, here. Using those beautiful, elegant sentiments. Yeah, this, these are from the essential set, but you do get both anyway, so you don't need to choose. Obviously, with the uh, extra set, you've got um, your things like anniversary and. Um, uh, congratulations and things like that. So we're going to have the love down here and the with. I do like these there. sentiments, you know, Julia. It's nice, isn't it? It's yeah, nice. I, really I mean, obviously, you can stamp a sentiment on there if you want to. Um, so what I've also done is I've cut the same size uh, butterfly out of the um, a bit of scrap of the um, wood grain, yeah. and there's my decorative one. Oh, nice. And we're just going to stick those together. That's clever because it ties in, of course, with what you've got there in the background because it's all from the same set. Yeah. Just pulls it all together. So I'm just going to drop it down a little bit, actually, just to offset it. Yeah. Because I can. You can. I can. Those butterflies would be great on um, wine glasses as well, the larger ones. Yeah. It'd be nice to cut out of rice paper, wouldn't they? So having a summer party. So he's, that's going to come in round. here. I probably would add a little bit of tape underneath there, but I haven't. Okay, so that's going to come in oh, there. I love it. And then we're going, I've got some oval buttons. So um, I can't remember which die these are from, actually. The oval buttons, the oval um, buttons. I believe they come oh. in with... Oh, is it with the labels? The oh, yeah, buttons. probably. But I haven't written it down, so probably they do the come in the labels. It's because I can see the back of the packaging and it shows you. <laughs> Which side are we on? Yeah, you get various different shapes in that. You get, uh, there's a square, there's an oval, and is there a circle as well? 
I don't think there's a circle as well. There's probably just two oh, sides two of the ovals. Two different ovals. Two different so ovals. I've just squares. threaded some jute through the um, through the little holes. Obviously, because I put jute in there, they might not stick properly. So just as an alternative to having flowers on, I thought we'd put the buttons on because obviously I like you get that, the though. Again, that could be more masculine. If yeah, you, you get it. you're getting the buttons for free, oh, really, aren't you? Seconds left, Julia. Quick, 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 quick. quick. They probably I'll probably hold it up and it'll fall off. <laughs> But <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. Perfect timing. Again, an amazing, amazing card there. Absolutely beautiful. Please make sure you check those baskets out. Julia is supposed to be back at 7 o'clock. We're not letting her go out the building, actually. <laughs> I am hiding uh, the sleeve from her uh, tweezers no, just to not. make sure. <laughs> <laughs> but people will be buying in between the shows as well. Julia, thank you so, so thank much. You. Oh, about 70% of the stock's gone. Be quick, be quick. From one very busy show to another, I'm sure. We've got Fabric Freedom Boutique, one day special. These are beautiful as well. Then from patio to plate, books. Join me for that. We've got some amazing books. Then Stamperia. Woohoo! Ultimate finish. Cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6 pm and 8 pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi, I'm Matthew Palmer, professional artist with the SAA, the UK's largest and friendliest art community. I want to show you my watercolour painting techniques and I want to get you over that white paper fear and get you started and develop your watercolour painting. Hi, I'm Nikki Hassan. I've been working with Heartfelt Creations for about nine years now. Heartfelt Creations as a company launched the company back in 1994. They have been in the industry for a very, very long time. They are crafters, so they know what you crafters want and they listen to us crafters too. Their products range from stamps that coordinate with dyes that then coordinate with a paper pad. But then we also have storage folders, we have decorative dies, we have colouring daubers, we have Insta albums. One of the products that really make Heartfelt unique are their flower shaping moulds, where you can make easy, quick, three-dimensional flowers, which are absolutely stunning. Yes, indeed. Good. It was literally, it was like doing the okie dokie. I didn't know where I was starting, but now it now makes sense that you're drawing in. How are you, my lovelies? I hope you are well. Information you didn't need to know at the top of an hour. Very professional, Adam. Uh, so, you know me, I say it as it is, uh, but I should really filter. Uh, I hope you're well. It's four o'clock, which first of all means that it's final call. Uh, for your one day special. Uh, Yanis was here last night launching uh, a very busy one day special as it were uh, because this is batik, batik fabric is what we're talking about now all the way from Bali. Yes, from Bali itself. Uh, all hand dyed as well is what you'll hear. There are so many options that you're going to look at uh, so many options, I'm coming back, uh, that you've got in here as well. So we're going to break them all down, but what I want you to do, first of all, because normally when the minute you say batik, or when I hear batik, I think, 
Oh, it's all going to be that colour, isn't it? It's going to be that colour that, that doesn't really go together. It's all a mishmash. Of, it's not. When you see these fabrics, and we'll open some of them out as well, they really work. Um, Fabric Freedom have done all the hard work for you, so they're all in sets of 10, and all those 10 work together. But before we go into more detail about the boutiques and your one day special I've got behind me, let me introduce the lady that's been here for nearly 24 hours sewing away with all her beautiful boutiques. And she is a confessed, confessed, she told me earlier, and I'm going to say it out on the telly box, yes, I'm going to tell them, I'm going to tell them what you said. She didn't like boutiques at the start of this hour. She, she has now been converted to a boutique lover. Now, I'm going to tell you as it is, because normally we come on here and go, oh, we love everything. Oh, I love... You can't love everything. I don't care what you say. You cannot love everything. But sometimes you walk into this and you go, I don't know if it's for me. And Sasha, who's standing over here, you was one of these people. I am, yeah. I just never got the whole batik bandwagon. Like, I have got friends that absolutely adore batiks. Wherever they go, they buy batiks. When they go to a show, they go straight to the boutique stands, they get the boutiques, absolutely love them. And I never got it. I never worked with boutiques. I'd done a couple of bags, but never really thought much of it. And then these arrived through the door. And these are, and I'm the same, I was with you when, when I first saw boutiques, I was like, oh, what do you do with all that? I like, it's too much, it was too much. But when you actually break it down, because you never use a full, sheet of batik as it were and you're getting half meters so you would never use a half meter unless you're making clothes or shirts or dresses or something like that you'd use strips you'd use panels you'd use smaller elements of it and that's what you've got to see in this because they are absolutely beautiful this is your first option this is your earthy greens that we're looking at now but as you open it out you can see well you can see from the top there is so many different colorways that's running all the way through and all these earthy greens work together so if you're going to cut these down into jelly rolls, if you're going to cut them into smaller squares, if you're going to cut them down into sort of playable packs, as it were, you know with peace of mind that these are all going to work together, don't you, Sasha? So if this is yes. one project, you know this yeah, is going to work. They are. So they've got so many colours within them. They've got your turquoises, they have got greens, they have got a hint of purple in there. They, they really are amazing fabrics. And what I have found with them they are a cotton, obviously. So this is a really close weave. So to get a very good quality barley batik, it has to be a close weave. And when I say that, I mean that the weave, it feels like crisp cotton it sheets does. in it a really hotel. Does. It's beautiful. It's cool to the touch. It's cool to wear. But we've also, in these packs, put together not just your heavily patterned fabrics, but you have also got your blenders in with them as well, or what we class as a batik blender. But this is for everybody. There's nobody that crafts that these ranges wouldn't work for because you're looking at your mixed medias, you're looking at your journal covers, you're looking True. at dressmakers, bag makers, everything, children's, children's clothes, shirts, waistcoats, there are so many things you can do with these. It does open up the door. If you're going for the Tropical Lagoon that we're looking at at the moment, now I've moved on, 65% of the stock has already gone for the Tropical Lagoon. But if we just pull the end two, for example, these are the two. So these are your blenders, because it's got no pattern on, but it's got that beautiful marbling uh, that you get in there. That literally looks like your oxide. You know when you spray them onto a glass mat and you put your paper on top and you get that random one? That's what you're getting there. Oh, so if it works. you! The only backgrounds I know how to do now, I do all the time. Uh, but <laughs> but it, that's what it looks like. When you spritz onto a glass mat and you put your papers down, and that's the sort of mock or defect because you don't know what you're going to get with it. But then when you add your blender on top, so this is mainly your main stamp image. It's the easiest way as I remember it when I do fabrics. You're getting your backgrounds and then you're getting your main focal points as well. But there's nothing stopping you with that bigger focal point. If you wanted to do it as a bag or a journal yeah. co cover or a case or anything like that, Use the image that is on there. Let the fabrics talk to you. Quilt round those images. Hand embroider around the leaves, around the images. That's what they're there for. And you can really pick it out by using different waddings, different foams inside. They will just pop. The colours will just pop because the shapes are already there. 
Now, when I saw this on the tele, I watched launch last night, and I was there, I was sitting there, and I was watching our Yanis go through all the colourways. I thought, oh, browns. But now I'm in the studio up close. Really it, you've different. got that beautiful, like, wood grain effect that you've got in there. Which you really... don't get this colour range of batiks very often. No, you're not you browns, you You normally think you you're really bright, extravagant colours. I but like this, these. these are really muted. Like that. that is look like leather yeah. that you've got, or yeah. if you're into like sort of bark. your cowhide or sort of that sort yeah. of thing. It is quite country and western. Give mm. me a pair of chaps and chaps, I'll line dance something like yeah. that. Uh, would be <laughs> would be beautiful. <laughs> I know how to two step. Uh, then what you wouldn't think would go together would be your purples, but you've got your browns that run through there as well. So you sort of got like your forest floor uh, that you're getting in there, and, like your sort of your canopies. Talking about your canopies, then we go into your leaves. Once again, the purple elements run through here, runs through your planes that you've got as well. There are so many different little uh, sort of little elements that you've got in there. That in a pair of child shorts would look absolutely stunning. They're smart, aren't they? They really, are really, really, really nice. Smart. And you would pay high-end prices uh, for these sorts of looks that you're going for at the moment. They're your earthy browns that we're looking at. Moving on to your uh, uh, from earthy browns, we've got your purples. Remember, they're in sets of ten. So what's that? Five meters. Five meters. Five meters of batik fabric. And normally we don't bring you this much, but this is a lot of batiks that we're bringing you at the moment. And it is a lot of batik. So once again, beautiful florals that you got in there. Nice for outdoor cushions, those sorts of things. Want to bring something into the garden? Want to bring your beautiful flowers in? I love this colourway. This is stunning. It really, but the really is. There. Do you see what I mean? You can just use that one fabric as a journal cover or as something like that and just embellish, nice. count for stitch. Nice. And the one before that one, for you, this one, the colours in there, the designs that are on there, it is just shouting out to do some cancer stitches exactly in that circle shape with some fire burst stitches yeah. coming out just you don't have to do a lot of cutting and a lot of piecing with these fabrics they just let them talk well even if you took take that one element you add, you stitch sort of a little green stem and a little green leaf on there. You've got a daisy at one o'clock, two o'clock, one of those. That's exactly what Janice was saying, yeah. It, dandelion, that's the word I was looking at. I can never remember the name of them. Uh, just one o'clock, two o'clock. Uh, but that's what you're going to get when you use that. That's what I see uh, when I see these sorts of things. I, I didn't watch Janice's shows uh, earlier today. Not that there was nothing wrong with them. I was just a little busy. Uh, then we move on. Oranges and yellows, said the bells, have said clevens. Uh, but look at the colourways that you've got here. These would be nice for sort of uh, picnic bag liners that you've got there. Now we're coming into the summer. Uh, imagine doing your full picnic range uh, with all of this so you know it's all going to match. Um, if you've got those sort of director chairs, uh, that you're going to take out and about with you. These would be beautiful just I to add a splash oranges. of colour. And with the quilt that I've made using the oranges um, and the turquoise greens, I've actually wow. put navy with it. Nice. Because I just love navy at the moment with orange and with those purples and with the yellows. That's nice as well. So I like this one. This would be a nice table runner. Beautiful I'm seeing geometry. table runner that you've got there as well. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, this one now, how much has gone? Nearly 60% of the stock has already gone. Let's press on. Uh, moving on to your pinks. Now, we've called it pinks, and it is pink. I'm not going to lie, it is pink. But there's also some more red rushing through this as well. I'm seeing pinks, I'm seeing reds, I'm seeing fuchsia uh, that's in there. So you've got a lot of tones. Don't just see it as pink. There's a lot of tones running all the way through. So you've got your leaves, which you, you can pull up from some of the other options that we've already seen. You've got your planes uh, that you've got in there as well. Loving this as a plain fabric is stunning as a blender. Uh, then you've got some uh, the more of your florals that are run through as well. This is nice. It sort of reminds me of sarong-esque. It's pretty, isn't it? I can sort of see phoenix in there. I don't know why. But looking at it like that, like the I tail like. of a phoenix, nice that sort of thing. Tie-dye, nice, but it looks like tie-dye, but it's not. Remember, it's all batik. All hand-dyed as well. Everything you see is hand-dyed. And if you don't like the colours, you've also got these beautiful planes. That's nice as well. And this is like these, like these a lot. Uh, remember, you've got flexible payments on these as well. Uh, one of our most popular options. You're My crazy. Favorite. My favourite. My favourite. Is this your favourite of the show? Yes. Well, why do you one. like it then? It's just got a bit of all colours in there. It's not too in your face. But oh, there wow. is these, be oh, I just love that. Beautiful pops of colour in there. And plus the actual colours, I wouldn't necessarily put together, but they work so well because it's a batik. 
yeah, I just, just love them. And I love these two that you're coming to. I mean, it's oh. almost like a watercolour. Uh, this is the sort of thing, if you're just starting out and you don't know what sort of fabric to use, you're scared about pattern matching, Batiks is the way to go. Because you can't go wrong, because it's double-sided as well. you either got this vivid side or you've got sort of a slightly muted side on the other side. But no way is a wrong way with Batik. So it is an amazing thing uh, that you can go and do. Uh, already... 70% has already gone uh, with that one. With my last option as well, uh, tantalising teal uh, that we've got here. Now, we did have a lilac option, but it sold out this morning, so well done if you got that. Uh, but love, love these colourways once again. Um, I like this as well. Loving that. That would be a nice little shirt, a uh, little short sleeve shirt that you've got in there. Uh, and so with that as well, that's also another shirt. That's a very Derek shirt I'm seeing there. I can see Derek in that. With a little jumper. Well, with Derek, you'd get quite... You no, know, you would. You would get a few. It's like working in mother care. Uh, from there, um, you could have a little baby grow, you could. Like that. Because, once again, wood grain, sort of earth tone that you've got in there. Uh, once again, little, I see lily pads when I see this. Yeah. I'm seeing a little lily pad that you've got in there. Uh, I'm seeing it's quite tribal, uh, quite leafy that you've got as well. Uh, literally, you've got your flowers running through it. Cannot go wrong. Remember, you wouldn't use them as a whole. I have a shirt actually like that um, that I bought from a, a shop, obviously. Uh, then, <laughs> I don't wear it anymore, though, because it's, it's a bit loud. Uh, I'll leave that there. Yeah. Like this as well, like this marble That's effect. A that That's it a beach scene. It is a beach scene, because all that rock that you cut into, the geodes, you know, uh, geodes, geodes, when you cut into them, you get all those different layers. Well, I sort of see, like, the white cliffs of Dover, where you've got the different layers of the salt that you've got running through, where you have one of them little ant farms, and you see the little ants running around. Uh, and then, uh, you've got your last but no means at least, uh, you've got all your beautiful purples. Love them all, I really, really do, but you need to get a hold of yours, and we are very busy once again. £48.70 is what you're looking at, or two flexible payments on this one of £24.35. 09836 is your item number. The quickest and the easiest way is to jump to the website or tap the app if I was you, because you can also shop ahead and you can watch online as well. I've also got happy hours this hour. I've got some silk scarves. Oh, talking about silk scarves. Wait for these ones. Uh, silk scarves is what we're talking about. This is your plain option of silk scarves. £29.99. £20 saving on these. One five, I'll start that again. 951164 is your item number. Your other options. So they're your planes, remember. Uh, there are the prints. Look at those vivid colourways that you're getting in there all together. Uh, £29.99 is what you're looking at. I like the planes. I think there's a lot you can do. They are silk scarves as well, so they're proper silk scarves. So if you're thinking about making and selling, you don't need to make. You can just sell. Uh, pop them in a box. That'd be lovely. Uh, moving on. Another happy hour. <laughs> A little five inch square fabric like this. Now there's three different colourways you can choose from here. Uh, we'll start with yellow as that's at the front, so let me show you that first. Uh, so it's the same design, just all different colours of the background that you've got in there. So you've got beautiful flowers, uh, you've sort of got your creams in there as well. These are your five inch squares, so that's your yellow. Then we've got your green, exactly the same once again, bringing the green. And then you've also got your pastel as well. Uh, you've got 42 five inch squares for £9.99 is what you're looking at for this one. So £9.99. Um, if your budget will stretch, I'd definitely be putting some of these into my baskets. And if you're going for a one day special, that works out to be £4.99. Uh, for one of these as well, so it'll be split onto your flexible payment, so it's worth having a little look at your happy hour deals. Now, something else that our Sash is going to do for us are, these are beautiful. They really, really are stunning. It's silk, and it drapes remarkably well. They are just the most amazing, amazing silk, and you're getting six metres for under That's 20 quid. That's a lot. So, yeah, so we've got the purple... Now, what is so clever about this, I can't quite see um, in the camera there, but can you see the leaves? Can you? Oh, yeah. Can you they, yeah, oh, now they've gone they again. Are. There they are. Can you? Ah, oh, there they are. <gasps> and then they disappear. That's nice. So, the, it's, this absolutely drapes beautiful, but as you can see there, you've got those leaves that are sort of embossed, and then all down the side, we have got this beading that is on your rolled edges so all the edges have been rolled for you so again this is all ready just to go out the door so soft so sheer just beautiful and like i was saying you i mean you are getting six meters 
but you can really drape this beautifully. I mean, you could make a really, yeah. really nice covering, um, you know, for the evening when you're, you know, on the summer evenings, that sort of thing. And then we've got the um, red and black, I think this one is. Now, this has actually got gold embroidered in it. This is actually in there. It's not printed. It's in there. So, again, we've got a beautiful red and black marbling. Reminds me of ladybirds, actually. I know what you mean. Very, very pretty. But, yeah, like six metres. Like, it looks like crushed velvet. It does. This is my favourite. The peacock. My favourite. I absolutely love this. And I don't know how we can get the colour there. So it looks very blue. But we've actually got... The, can you see the greens there? We've got it the purples. It reminds me... And once again, this is the only way of describing it. Remember, it's telly, so I can only say what I see, and I'm going to describe it for you. Like uh, petrol on the top of water. It does, but if you just... I mean, look at that. It is so sheer. It's so light. It's just absolutely beautiful. And then we've got this one, which is like a chameleon colour. Oh. You know the cars that they used to have that used to change colour from, like, green to purple? No. Oh, OK. Janice knew what I was on about. Far too young. Oh, did Janice play along? Yeah, I know what you mean. So there's these, I've like, got one two, the two-tone cars. And it goes, whoosh, and then it changes colour. Yes, I'm with you. I know the one you're on about now. Yes, I know the one. Got no idea what I'm on about, no but it goes from that green to that purple, and I think they call it like chameleon effect. We just call it green with purple. But I like it, and it's got the um, embossed, it's got the embroidered um, gold in there as well. So again, you know, you really are looking at beautiful drapes in this, and this one is stunning. So this one is the multi, but I don't know how close you can come to me. This has got stripes in there. Now, in these stripes, you have got a blue, you've got a purple, you've got a green. Oh, oh yeah. But That's they when are... you get really close to the TV. There you go. You start seeing the pixels. Oh, look at that. Now, look, and it's inside the silk. I don't know how they've done it. And then when you pull up... Oh, look at that shot. Look how I've done that. So you've got that marble in, and then you've got the stripes. They are just... It's beautiful. It really, really is. I, mean, I like them. We were talking about these before the hour. We really were. These, these are one of those things, once again, that once you get your hands on, I was, I was with you. I weren't in yesterday. It was, it was the other team yesterday. It was Janice, Paula and Hayley in yesterday. Um, and I watched it like you're watching now on TV. I thought, like, I wonder what they're like when you get into the studio. It's the first thing you do. We've all gone up and we've all had a little, a little squidgel, a little, a little twist of them as well, a little in our hands, because they feel absolutely stunning. Uh, there is so much more, as you can see in front of me. I've got a counter full of stuff, but I'm never going to get through it all. So jump to the website for me. Jump to the website or tap the app. It's the quickest and the easiest thing to do. You've got all the boutiques and you can go through all the options of the boutiques as well. Because We've also got sort of the, uh, the salt dyed uh, boutique fabric in there. So it literally looks like that salt dyed effect that you've got running through. You've got all your staples on there as well, like your wadding and your fusible webbing. You've got your happy hours on there. You've got a freedom prize if you want to become a freedom member. And then we've also got your seven day savers. Uh, that's also on there. Uh, those scarves, very busy uh, for those scarves at the moment. And also very busy for the silk. And we will ask as the hour goes on, uh, if you were thinking, that's all well and good with the beaded edge and the silk, but what can I actually do with it if I don't want to wear it? We will ask all these questions. Do not fear. If you've got any questions also, I know we say this every hour, but that's what we got to bring our experts in for. If you've got any questions, email me, studio at thecraftstore.com. It's the quickest and the easiest way to get hold of me, and we will put your questions through to Sasha. This is her last live hour. Right then, what are we doing first? So we're going to have a look at the limited edition artisan fabrics okay. that are behind me and I was just saying how they look like this wonderful wonderful night sky um, you know or very very early in the morning and um, so we're going to have a little look at just doing some dark silhouette applique and it is so easy it's um, I mean you can see already the, the black just makes this pop it really, really does. So it's all about finding those shapes. So we're going to look at some hot air balloons. So I've got some fusible web and I've drawn out some hot air balloons. Now you always draw this out on the paper side. You can actually feel in here. So you've got a paper side and then you've got a glue side. Now if the fabric was obviously um, a front and a back, you would always iron this onto the back of your fabric because then you were going to iron that onto the backing um, 
of what you're going to be using as your background. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. It makes Sound like I yeah. waffled a bit then. Uh, just while you're quickly ironing, I'm going to show you them. Uh, in the, we've not yet seen them yet, but you're already getting them already. Uh, they're behind our Sasha at the moment. That's why I can't go over there. So you've got Multi One, uh, which is the brighter pink that you've got there. Then you've got the softer pink, which is Multi Two. Uh, then you've got the green, which is Multi Three. The sky blue one next to the green is Multi Four. The light green is Multi Five. The multi coloured is Multi Six. We'll go through these again. Don't worry. The brighter blue that you see there, sort of the sky sea blue that you've got there, is multi seven. Uh, that sort of black one is the multi eight. Pastel, multi nine. And then the blue, purple, green, the one, cl the one closest to us at the moment, uh, the craft store, with the, next to the craft store logo, is that one just there, and that is your multi 10. Uh, 10, 12 pounds and 99 pence. It would have been easy to call them pink, green, blue, but we didn't. Uh, 504210 is your item number. Right then, uh, we're doing air balloons, like you said last night. So we're doing hot air balloons, which we said we'd have a look at. And so I'm going on a hot air balloon ride soon with my mother in law. Say again, sorry. I'm going on a hot air balloon ride with my mother-in-law. Are you? Yeah. Oh, when are you doing that? We're not sure. We bought it for her for her big birthday she had. Ah, oh, 21. She's, of course she Obviously. was. Obviously. I am lucky. She's a very good mother-in-law. That's nice. Um, and, um... You sort of have to say that, though, don't you? You can't really say no, all she's, she's, she's lovely, although I am worried that she's chosen me to go on the hot air balloon ride. Well, that could... <laughs> well, it's been lovely working with you. <laughs> so, yeah, so I am looking forward to it. So obviously when you draw out on your heating bond, you then cut it out roughly because once you've ironed it on, you can then cut out on the line. Um, I mean, obviously you can do it the other way around, but then it's quite fiddly to cut exactly around where it should be without cutting bits off, especially if, you, if you've measured things or... In something like this, where we're just using the fabric to do the talking, you can then um, really go to town with embroidery and just using some really nice dark embroidery or silver embroidery threads or, or something like that where the moonlight or something's hitting. But each one of these fabrics looks like a different sky to me. They're, they're no, just does, amazing. And this is a nice way to start in it. If you just want to ease yourself in to sewing and things like that, go Definitely. for something like this because uh, once again you know what i'm like with the frame i love a good frame uh, you could frame this you could use it as a front of a cushion once you start building up it all up and sometimes people have got all these bits and pieces there and they don't know where to start they a haven't got the funds for all the books and for all the instructions and things like that you know and i was also in that position myself and i learn from um the net from going to some classes but also children's coloring books Children's colouring books are the best thing because the... Your, because they're big areas. They're big areas, so it's great for applique if you're just starting out. You can work out how to layer those appliques. Um, they are copyright free because they're children's colouring books. Yeah. So you're not using them to reproduce, obviously. You can put them in your own pattern, but it's your own project. Tractors, cars, that sort of thing. Hot air balloons like I've done here. You know, they're just templates off of the internet. And if you put in free templates, things like that, it's, honestly, you don't, you might have fusible web at home and you might be really stuck and not know how to use it. Well, I've given you the instruction now. No excuse. I want to see what you're making. I'm bossy, aren't I? Oh, it's, it's nice though. It is, because obviously some of that, and it is. I, I got the sewing machine out yesterday. And then I put it away again. Um, I really did. Genuinely, I took it and then I, in the end I did painting instead because I just, I just get scared. I got everything out. I laid it all out. I set it all up. I had to plug it all in because uh, it's all kept in a box. I got all my fabric out and I was like, I don't really know what I'm doing anymore. So I put it all away again because I, I genuinely didn't know what, I was gonna, what to do, how to start. And that's the thing. We've all got to start somewhere. Um, you know, when Paula was starting, um, she was doing some bits and pieces through the first lockdown, you know, and I was helping Paula. And... Um, you know, there are no stupid questions when it comes to quilting, patchwork, sewing, or in any craft. There is no stupid questions. Um, you know, 
to be quite honest, put a spreadsheet in front of me or something like that and I would fall to pieces. I've got no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea whatsoever. But when it comes to just imagination and playing, um, you know, all of these bits can be just scraps that you've got at home. Yeah, that is true. Uh, something else that would look good, if you want to go sort of a slightly different, are the punk batiks that we've got on the show as well. Uh, there are three colour options uh, for you to choose from. Uh, we've got, let me give you the colour options first. So you've got the white and black. Uh, do you want me to just open the white and black? Do you want me to... Oh, I'll just make a mess. Let's do it. Uh, you've got the white and black, which is nice, like that. Sort of looks like uh, black trousers, like black jeans with the when you spill bleach on it. Yeah, but punk. But punk style. So you've got that sort of uh, feel that you've got there. A very magic trick. If I did that now and a pair of flowers come out, that'd be amazing. Uh, so that's your black and white. From there, we then move on to your... Uh, black and orange. That's nice. I stand there, look. Oh, I love that. No, that one is the navy and orange. Oh, that's navy and orange, sorry. Oh, I love that one. My oh, no, favourite. we've called it black and orange. Oh, have we? Apparently. Uh, so that's your black and orange that we've got there. Sorry. But it is navy. It is navy and just orange. Just in case you got just it home. Just in case you are wondering. Yeah, just in case you got it home. From there, we've then got black and yellow, black and yellow. Um... This one, I like this one. This one's nice as well. Look at that. That is beautiful. It is. It's, uh, oh, I can just see a monster. Uh, it That's is a the one that Janice said was like stinky bishop. Oh, I'd, like well, a cheese. So it's, it reminds me of, you know when you get paint and you put it into a, a cup and you blow it with straws and you get all them bubbles on top and then you put your paper over the top and you get that beautiful bubble effect like a flower. It reminds me of that sort of style, uh, is the colour it reminds me of uh, when we get in there. Three different options for you to choose from, so those are all your options that you want to go for. It's entirely up to you uh, which one you want to pick now. How beautiful are these? And once again, something slightly different is what you're looking at here. Um, like those a lot. Very, very nice. Uh, but then, uh, if you like these, you're going to like something else that I've also got, which are your tie-dye and hand stamps. Now, what are the difference between tie-dye and hand stamp and batik? So, your batiks are a technique which is using hot wax and cold. So, and it's working on a positive and negative as well. So, it's got the dyes, it's got the bleach within there. And the hot wax actually takes the um, colour out. So it's very clever. And then it's dried on the beaches in Bali. Sorry. Tie dye is the traditional method where you are actually scrunching and tying that fabric. Oh, okay. So you will see on some of the well, fabrics nice. that are tie dyed that actually you've got a lot of white or cream, and that's because it's the original colour. And the concentration it's it backwards. where it's tied comes out as white because the dye is not quite getting in there. Um, and then the colours are brighter as it goes. I love it. I, these are, uh, I'm not going to show you all of them because I'll show you them on the website, but they're so, each one is so slightly different. Um, I'm trying to see if I've got, I think the first one and that one was my, one of my favourites. I like this one as well, because it reminds me of like a starry night and the constellations in the sky with the stars. Uh, if I turn that that way, that's the right side. Um, you see, it looks like little stars, and I can also see like little turtles in there oh, as well. I can well. see turtles. Uh, that you've got running through. Love the designs that you've got in these. And it does remind me of sort of like when you look into deep space uh, that you've got and you really go in uh, to the space itself that you've got. Uh, loving, loving them all. We really, really are. Um, so, uh, look at the colourways that you've got here. Jump to the website. It's the quickest and the easiest thing to go. Uh, like this a lot. Uh, is what we're looking at at the moment. Uh, you've got orange and purple. You've got your purple and green. You've got your petrol and turquoise. Uh, you've got purple. You've got grey and hot pink. Purple and turquoise. Orange and green. Purple and green. And then you've got your petrol and teal as well. Uh, loving them all. Let's go back uh, to our sash. What are we up to? So we have um, cut out our designs, and I've just used a black fabric, but navy can be just as good. And then you'll see that you, we've cut them out precisely. And then all you do is you just 
peel back the paper and you will see that shiny, that is the glue. So obviously when you're pressing this, you want to have some sort of covering or um, grease proof paper or something like that because you will end up with an iron like this. Um, and obviously it's difficult to cover it here because yep. you want to be seeing what we're doing. So then we're going to start playing around with placement. So we're going to play around with where they're going to go. And you can decide whether you want them at an angle. You know, we could be embroidering some hills down the bottom. You know, there's so many different things that we can be doing. So we could, maybe that one needs to go up a bit. Oh, actually, I might pop that one over here, like so. So, you know, because this is your applique, this is what you want it to be. You know, just because I've laid it out like this, it doesn't mean that you have to lay it out like this. But you do get an awful lot of, um, what's I going to say? You do get an awful lot of um, imagination that just flows. So I'm going to start ironing them on. Now, as I say, at home, I would normally use some sort of greaseproof paper because you don't want this all over your ironing board. But again, you know, we're just going to hold the iron on there let that glue melt so it fuses itself to the fabric and then we're going to move up to the next one now obviously beware because it is a little bit warm it will be hot and obviously afterwards you could then do the strings that come for the basket so you can just embroider those or sew those onto there but it just looks great against the really, really bright fabric, especially the stripes, because it, it actually looks like it is some sort of sky. So pretty. It really, and then once again, there's so much scope that you've got with this. There and really, it's so really simple, is. it's so simple, isn't it? It's such a simple thing, just using one of these fabrics and just using um, some black or some navy. You know, and then you can be putting heels, you can be oh, embroidering, you know, just let your mind play um you know i'm no good with stencils and that sort of thing like um paper crafters and that do and i always think sometimes oh it just looks so amazing you know but this is this is my way of let me go own. through your colors one more time just so you know what colors we're talking about so it's all the multi one through to ten so it's multi one uh, So the bright pink as you look at your screen at the moment it's the left hand side the furthest left of your screen uh, possible that is multi one that we're looking at there then you've got your soft pink the next one in is multi two the green is multi three sky uh, sky blue is multi four neon green is multi five multi colored is multi six your next one is multi seven yeah, we missed the blue out. Blue's multi seven, black's multi eight, pastel multi nine, and the one furthest, closest to the logo of the craft store, that is your multi ten. Uh, loving them, loving them all. Uh, now, you could do the same sort of theory with your one day special. Uh, that you've got here as well. So you can do all the same designs because there is so much uh, going on. There's so much design that's in there. So for example, you've got things uh, that all the colorways that you've got here as well, like your earthy green. I'm only going to quickly go through these this time though. Uh, but you've got your earthy green that you've got. So once again, imagine that as tree bark. So maybe using smaller elements of it as a tree that you want to go in there, or even using it as your wicker baskets uh, for the balloons that we're about to do as well. There is so much scope uh, when you get all of these homes. So that's your earthly greens that we've got in there. Then you've got your tropical lagoon. Uh, two thirds of your tropical lagoon has already gone. Big old bits of fabric. We're talking half meters of your batiks as well is what we're talking about when we get these home. Large designs that we're looking at. Uh, we've got them folded in half. So you are getting an awful lot uh, of value for money that you've got in there. From there, we move to your earthy browns that we've got. Love the earthy browns. You sort of got like leather uh, that you've got in there as well. Look at that. It's so sort of like your washed out leather look that you've got. All work really, really well together. From that, you've also then got your purple. Let me bring these forward for you, pop them on my arm. 
uh, so you've got those beautiful subtle purples that run through but you go from and they are subtle some of them are really subtle things like that no design on it's just the work in the background but then you can go to that pop of color with sort of the neons driving through there imagine it's like little beach bags or little covers uh, that you've got running through really really nice colorways and we're very very busy across the board uh, then you've got your orange yellow I like this sort of set I like the yellows uh, that you've got running through there especially that that and that is really really nice but then you've got these just to tone them down slightly so you imagine those together or even those together would look nice but then you've also got that splash of color that's really going to work across the board sort of with all of them uh, that you've got running in there as well uh, once again you've got them purples running through there which would work if I grab one from the last one, it uh, would work with the purples from the last set that you've got as well. So it all really does work together. So those are your, your oranges and yellows. Uh, then you've got your pinks, uh, which are these ones just here. These are your beautiful pink ways. Once again, you've got those yellows in. So let's take a yellow from the last set. That's going to work as well. Uh, so you can have that vibrant fabric and then that dulled down fabric that you've got running through. Then you've got your leaves, which would work with the leaves of these sets. You wouldn't think they would, but they go really well together uh, because you've got so many colorways that go through. Maybe a couple of weeks ago, you bought the planes that I bought to you, um, but uh, they would also work as well. So you can use your planes and incorporate them uh, with the colors that you've got here. I'm going to spin now. Uh, your Crazy Cocktail, this is our Sasha's favourite, over 70% of your Crazy Cocktail now has already gone. L I love this. I absolutely adore that this is beautiful. It really, really is. And as I said, when we last had the rainbow fabrics on here, you do that as a cuff or of a lining of a trousers and you just turn it over just so you've got that little bit of amount that's in there, even on a shirt, you fold it over on a little shirt, that's going to look absolutely beautiful. It really would. And then last but no means least, uh, you've got your tantalizing teals uh, that you've got running through as well. So you go from teal through to the blue uh, that you've got in there through to your wood grain once again. So many options uh, that you can see in here. Very busy across the board for all of them. £24.35 across two interest-free flexible payment 093364 is your item number. Let's go back up, up and away in our beautiful balloons. So you can just see that I've just done a few stitches here just to show you where the wires would be um, for attaching the basket. And if I pop it, if I pop it this way around, that'd be better for you. There you go. So it just goes to show that, you know, you've got your clouds, you've got your hot air balloons in your basket, and that is just two fabrics. So you could embellish this as much or as little as you wanted. I just wanted to show the effect of just using a plain fabric with it, just to um, put it all together and to make that background fabric, because this is what it's about. It's about this background fabric and the beauty um, of the actual batik and the styling of the dye. <laughs> I'm just, these are massive. I know. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you up. I'm just playing with the silk. Because these. I thought you were going to start are... hanging from the ceiling then. No, they're, they're like... huge. They're like sick. And I've still got excess under it. I've, there is so much that you could use as a I full went, on wrap. I went to watch Pink in concert for once. Oh, and she well. was hanging from the scaffolding with she these does. silks. Well, not, we want, not these exactly. Well. I wouldn't say do it at home. <laughs> Don't start dangling from your roof at home with a local builder next door. But then door. she spanned, didn't she? And she Silk like, work. yeah. I had a mate who used to do that. It's amazing. I want to do, a, do that. When there's I used to no do a burlesque show. There's no reinforced was... ceiling enough. But what you were in the burlesque show? No, I was just a singer. It was oh, a family right. hotel, so it was all fine. It was all above board. But yeah, he dangled from the roof. Why I used to sing? The insurance would go up if I tried to do that. It would be me to be. I don't try that at home. Be it, just work. No, let, let it live. Just, but just six meters. Enjoy the beautiful silk. But yeah, you're getting three yourself. meters. Three meters on each piece. A beautiful. And this is one piece. Could be Joseph. <gasps> don't start me on Joseph. Joseph. I've always wanted a coat. I should have took the one when I could have had. Let's go back to demo. Yes. Sorry. So we're going to have a. We've done the um, hot air balloon, so I wanted to show you that really quickly. But the other thing I wanted to show you very quickly is my take on Hawaiian applique. Hawaiian? Now this here. Now, the Hawaiian applique is normally done by having a fabric, like so. By having a fabric. Yeah. 
and then another fabric behind it okay yeah and then you would do your design lay that on the top when you've done your design how i'm going to show you a bit like the old snowflakes you used to do when you used to fold up the paper and make like gingerbread that man that sort of thing is this and from the one day special this fabric this yeah. yes oh yes. green and then we used to um sorry you really put me off then because you're floundering I'm around not, i'm just standing here that's you're all you're flapping <laughs> i'm literally just standing here it's all i'm just you flapping don't you... get me into more trouble i'm already in that's my first day back bless so yeah so you would have this fabric behind and if you can imagine cutting away the design on the top and this beautiful fabric coming at you like from it. behind but it's very fiddly so you know what i'm like got to find like don't like faff, got to find an easier way around it. And it is amazing to do it that way. But what we're going to do, we're going to get your old heat and bond. Now we've got this on the website. You uh, have. Fuse web. Yes. You get a lot so of it as well. You do get a lot of it. But you can use any make, any make that you have. I'm just using this one because this is what I had at hand. Details on the screen for our Fabric Freedom Fusible Webbing Interfacing. One metre by 150 centimetres wide, 10.99. That's oh. a lot of interface. It's a lot of interface and it's really, really good value. So we have ironed this on. Just smooth out any of those. And then when you were little, do you remember like doing these things where you fold it up? Yeah, and then you used to make little snowflakes. Yeah, and you used to cut them and do various... I still used to... I, 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 well, I don't do it anymore. I used to do it as part of my um, act. I used to make a snowflake and then make it snow on stage. I used to cut up a napkin. There was a whole story that went with it about my granddad used to teach me. Oh. It was all at the end. It was my big crescendo at the end of my show. Oh. Sat music and then the story about oh. my granddad making snowflakes and then I'd make it snow live on air. It was nice. Oh, it's so emotional. Don't get emotional, anyway, it's fine. It so was gonna... I made it all up. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> it was just part of my act. I used to get a standing ovation and a round of applause for it. They all thought it was there. It's... That's entertainment. So, anyway. I just made it all up. So, you can draw a pattern on there. But I just quite like to freestyle it and see what you come out with. Sometimes it can... Um, you just got to be careful which bits you are cutting and which bits you're not cutting. Well, you could use the waste off that for other projects. Yeah. Like little... Like little frogs. So, and you can do this any size you want to as well. Um, but yeah, so as I say, normally you would do this actual bit like this without the fabric in there. So that you're actually... Um, getting almost like a stencil you're making your own stencil and then you would place this on top of the fabric you would draw around it then you would tack your two pieces of fabric together then you would start cutting mm. and then you would needle oh i know that sounds laborious oh i have to eat <laughs> you know i have to have you know time in the day to eat as well so yeah it's a big big but it is beautiful when it's done it's a bit of a faff but it is beautiful when it's done it's worth it it's worth it it looks so intricate, I suppose if you wanted to, you could go around at the top and top stitch it and things like that. Yeah. Look at that. So. And then. Ah. Ah, you see? So then what we're going to do is we're going to peel this off. Why is it called Hawaii? Hawaii Hawaiian technique. applique, I don't actually know. Answer, okay. I, I believe that obviously in Hawaii they do an awful lot of Hawaiian applique. Oh, but yeah. I think it's all to do with their um, national, there is an actual Hawaiian applique block and they do, there is a meaning to it, but I'm just sorry, I don't know. No, that's fine. Sorry. It's a style of quilting from the Hawaiian Islands. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was. Lynn Quinn, if you're watching, I need to know the answer. She goes to Hawaii a lot oh. and Natalie. Her daughter, they go to Hawaii an awful lot. Obviously when it's safe to do so. Obviously when it's safe to do so. I've never been to Hawaii. 
Oh, it'd be amazing. I've done the Caribbean, but never done Hawaii. We could do an away day. Live from Hawaii. <gasps> oh, that would be good. That would be good, I don't it? think we'd ever get there. We're pushing to get to Blackpool, to be honest. Northampton. I suppose if I could get there, I could Skype back. Well, I might go there and Skype back first as well. Not together. You... <laughs> no, well, we've got more, you've got more hope of getting on the TV from Hawaii than I have. I've tried that one already <laughs> when we were doing a lot of Skype. Can I Skype from home? No, Adam, you can't. <laughs> I did. I know you did. It I was a bit it. like, do you know, I pretended I was on the Voyager like part of Starfleet and I just went into my studio and then just Skyped. Didn't have to travel anywhere. So it's like, in that four and a half hours of travel. Just gone. Yeah. It's what are you up to? Oh yeah, sorry. So we have taken the paper backing off and we are just placing this on top of our fabric and then we are going to sew all the way through. <laughs> oh I you do are so easily distracted, it's amazing. I, I am. love it. I am. Guess what my um Teachers used to say, easily distracted. Easily distracted. Easily distracted. Hang on, I've just got an issue with my eye and it's turned itself off. See, they've unplugged me. They want me to go home. So we're going to pop this, make sure it's all lined up. Now you will see we've got little bits of glue. Now this is the perfect opportunity to see how close they can get in. Can they see this glue? Ah, you can just, can you see the web in there? Yeah. You don't want that on your iron. Okay. Okay, because that is going to go everywhere. So what you want to do is you want to trim that out the way. Because obviously you don't want that all over your iron. No, you don't. You, you really don't. On a serious note, you really don't want it on no. your iron because it does mess up your iron. That's why I'm not going over that area. Uh, really, really does mess it all up. Uh, while we quickly on, I'm, I'm, let me give you the, because we've literally only got like 10 minutes left for, uh, for the end of the show. So let me give you a quick rundown of the colours one more time, uh, just in case you're still sitting on the fence, you're still thinking. Uh, just so, tantalising teal is what we're looking at this time, first up. Uh, so you've got those beautiful tantalising teals. Uh, from tantalising teal, we then move on to your to the best seller, which is the crazy cocktail uh, that you've got here as well. Now, 80% of the crazy cocktail. Which one is? Already got oh, crazy cocktail, 80% of the stuff. It's going to go. It's going to go. already gone. Uh, from there, we've then got your pinks. Uh, very, very busy on the pinks now as well. It's not just pink, you've also got the reds uh, that run all the way through. Uh, from your beautiful pinks, we then move on to your orange and yellow. Uh, which is this one just here. Uh, so you've got those beautiful oranges and yellows that run all the way through. L a lot of amounts as well. Remember, you're getting half metres here. This is the half metres of what we're looking at. From there, uh, we've then got your purple. So you've got your ten purple. So remember, you're getting ten half metres. Uh, these are all the purple colours that you've got. So you've got your planes and you've also got your boutique fabrics running through. Well, they're all boutiques. Then you've got your browns. Earthy brown uh, that you're getting in there. Uh, I like this one, sort of like wood grain. Really do like all of these colours. Because uh, they don't look like they work together, but when you see them up close, they really, really do. They're really beautiful. Then... Uh, you've got Tropical Lagoon, so that is our Tropical Lagoon uh, that we've got once again. Beautiful Tropical Lagoon. And then we've got gre uh, Earthy Green that we've got on the show as well. So there are all your colours for your one-day special. Uh, get them while you can. The price will go back up at 6 o'clock when we launch another brand new one back up. Uh, the price will also go back up for the happy hours as well. Uh, so you've got your 5-inch squares, which are 9 99 for your 5-inch squares, is what you're looking at at the moment. Uh, so you've got your pastel colours. Uh, you've got your yellows and you've got your greens. Uh, 42 5 inch squares, what you're looking at, 100% cotton for 9 99 So if you put them in your flex basket, it works at the 4 99 uh, Then you've got your silk scarf, not the, one, not the big ones I got on the show, uh, but these are big. They're 85 by 85 centimetres is what you're looking at. You've got your planes. I do like the planes. I like the planes a lot. Or you can choose the pa uh, print style. I like these as well. I don't know. I like, I like a bit of both. I like a bit of both. £29.99.951.164 is your item number. Uh, we've got about five minutes left, Sash. I'm just showing you really, really quickly that you can just play around with this. You can either do your um, blanket stitch. 
you can do um, all different stitches on there. It really doesn't matter. This is a really quick and easy Hawaiian. And again, you can do this the opposite way around. So you could actually use the green to make your stencil and then have this with the colour behind oh, popping yeah. out through. And it's all about how we're going to um, go around these shapes. So I'm just going to go around another one so you can just see. So I'm just using a really quick zigzag on here. And I suppose you only really need four of these and a bit of plain fabric to go around like a border. And you've got a beautiful sort of like quilts or table mats or you've got a table runner or if you do like three, four in a line. Exactly. And I mean, obviously, you know, I've, I've done proper, quite seriously, proper um, Hawaiian applique. And it is an amazing technique to master and to know. But sometimes you just want something to play with a bit quickly. You want a gift which looks pretty amazing but you haven't spent weeks and weeks and weeks on it. So, so quick and easy. And if you put lots of different fabrics under each point and cut them away, you're then going to get loads of different colours coming through, all your different batiks and different patterns. I suppose this is where your waste will come in as well, because you could start using like these little bits of scraps to put underneath there just to fill them and block them out a bit. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. You know, you don't have to have one whole piece of fabric. So on there, as you can see, I'm just using a zigzag stitch. Probably at home, I'd probably use um, a satin stitch or a blanket stitch, something like that. And it also does look lovely by doing um, hand stitching because you can embellish then all of these and then you can put beads and yeah. all different beautiful things in there. Well, with your batiks as well, I always find batiks are ready-made seams. Yeah. You've just got to add the you've just got to add the detail onto the scene. So you've got the landscape already there in a batik. So you've always got skies and seas and and land. But what you then need to do is just add the buildings or add the seascapes or add something else. It is. You really don't have to do a lot with them. And this is what I was um, talking about with Janice today. These fabrics are so easy to work for because they do the talking mm. for you. When you look at these fabrics, how you interpret what you see, you know, I, anybody that gets these fabrics, just do me a favour, OK? When you get them home, spend a bit of time, look at your fabric, cut it down to a 10-inch square, a piece of that fabric, and look at it, and stitch onto there what you can see, be it a door, be it a flower, be it a sunshine, be it a moon or seascape, just have a bit of mindful sewing and just play. And I think this is where these fabrics, they come into their self. They really, really do. They so they speak for themselves. All you really have to do is just tell you what they're speaking about. Um, by simply, maybe it's because we're going to do this simple skyline that maybe you do out of paper. We always think fabrics, you just have to use fabric with fabric and do a bit of sewing. No, put your papers on there. Start cutting out those landscapes and using it as your backdrops, uh, like we did for the balloons at the top of the show. It's worth having a little look, though. £24.35 across two interest-free flexible payments. Anything else then you put into your basket will also be split onto those two interest-free flexible payments. 093364 is your item number for your one-day special. Where are we up to? I'll also show you this really, really... How... Um, let me just take this bit of fluff off of here. So the other thing that is amazing about these fabrics is they don't fray. When you look at these edges, when you've cut these edges away, they don't fray. They, it really, really is minimal fraying. It's clean cuts. It's really, really important that because you don't want to be losing your pattern with fabrics that you fray and once you pull one, it then does a drag line across your fabric. Like so, yeah. Beautiful. It really, really works. Uh, remember as well, we've also still got your silks on the show. These are huge. These are absolutely massive. Um, they've already beaded on the edge as well. We'll put the details at the bottom of the screen for you. Uh, but if you like your silks, the, the colour rays are over there as well. And I've also got uh, one of them that I'm currently wearing. Nice as a little shawl. As I said, there is so much more excess material. I reckon you could get a quite nice little dress out of this if you wrapped it rightly. If that's a word. Yes, yeah, you would, definitely. And I think, you know, if you have got, you know, you're getting, what, six metres you're getting for under 20 quid, you could easily cut that one into two and give that as a friend, as a scarf, as a gift oh, or something, you know? Because you know, that is quite long for a scarf for yourself. 
It is, but you can see the stripes all the way through that as well. So you've got uh, those beautiful stripes. You can sort of see it where my arm is, but you can also see through it. You've got that floatiness. It's got that detail. It's got that essence of a nice little shrug, a nice little throw. Uh, we are busy across the board for you one I day think special it's about as 32 well. 32 inches wide. I like that. Huge. It is massive. It's absolutely massive. It really, really is that you've got all the way across. Uh, it's absolutely huge from end to end. Uh, jump to the website. It's the quickest and the easiest place to go with this one as well. Uh, everything is everything. Everything is on the website for you. Uh, all you need to do is simply have a look before the deals go back up. They will go back up at the end of the hour. Uh, all that's left to say, we've only got a minute left. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always a pleasure. It is. I love working with you because I always get to dress up. Um, but enough about what we do after. Uh, so, <laughs> Shush, don't go telling people. Well, talk. you know. Still, still got the high heels on. Now, we've only got yeah. 45 seconds. Start checking out your baskets if I was you. When are you back, do you know? I'm back on the 22nd. I'll see you on the 22nd. I'll see you then. Mm, what we got? Uh, we have got Fabric Freedom and we've got Marin. Oh, I think nice. it's the 22nd. I think it is. Yeah, Let's it's around there. Uh, it's weeks. around there. You get it while you can and start checking out your <laughs> baskets as well because we are very busy uh, for your one day special because you have got so many boutiques uh, that, once again, that all work together. Uh, your details are currently on the screen at the moment. Uh, don't go anywhere, though. There's so many more shows and a launch of a brand new launch of another one day special at six o'clock. I will see you in an hour's time. See you then. Coming up next, from the patio to plate. It's all about the books with our Catherine. You don't want to miss this. I'll be watching from the green room. Then it's just, I'll be watching. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selected Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi, my name's Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp and uh, how did I get here? Well, when my children, Grace and Mark, were born, I left the corporate world and I took up crafting full time. Then I had a moment of clarity, if you'll pardon the pun, and I came up with the transparent art stamp. And the rest is history, really. For the last 27 plus years, I've been pioneering the art of transparent stamping. If you like my style and you like what I do, then please join me, Barbara Gray. Hi, I'm Donna and this is my brother Simon and we're Pearly Winks Craft Supplies. We've been crafting since we were very young. My mum got us into crafting and we've been loving it ever since. We have a good selection of inks. We started with our winks, which are just a water-based ink, and then we went on to the pearls. We've added some chalks, we've got some glitter sprays, and then we've added some beautiful stamps to complement the inks. We've got a fantastic design team who help us with all our designs for the stamps, and we've got a great range of inks, which we manufacture ourselves here in the UK. Our pearl sprays and our pearly winks are loaded with mica, so they give you amazing results on your projects. Hello, a very good, I can say evening, can't I? It's five o'clock. Good evening, good evening. Uh, hello. <laughs> 
I am sat down. You <laughs> don't be fooled. I am sat down. We've got a bit of a cosy hour ahead, actually. Uh, we're looking at books now. The title to the show is Patio to Plate. There is a reason for that. We are looking at cookery books. We're looking at gardening books as well. There's a little bit of something else in between as well. Um, do you know plate to patio or patio to plate? Does it matter? Does it matter? Which way around? We're doing food first. We're going to have a look at this book. Like, do stay with me as well. We've got some great books and some great prizes as well. Let's have a look at this one. We've got our sharing boards for social dining book. Now, the thing is, I can't give too much away, can I? I can't show you every page, but we need a good look at this. And, of course, very, very soon, things are going to loosen up a little bit more, aren't they? We're going to be having people around to the garden. I think everybody's going to be taking advantage of that. I do understand that the rain won't be around for much longer as well. We're going to get some nice weather, which is perfect, isn't it? Let's have a look at this book. Now, this is actually written by Master Chefs UK Theo Michaels, which is lovely. And the fact that it's a share on the front there does say a lot already, doesn't it? Let's have a flick through. Do you know, I'm going to randomly open some pages up. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a feast for the eyes if ever I saw one. I've only gone to the first page. Looks as though we've got something for all, um, you know, the main, the starter, perhaps the dessert in there as well. There, there is the man himself. I'm loving the colours that are coming through in these pages already. The reds, the greens, the yellows. Oh, brunch. Bru who has brunch? Does anybody have brunch here? Yeah, Ryan does. Ryan's waving his hand. Yeah, 11 Zizar Jimmy has. So we've got brunch here anyway. So all sorts of gorgeous, yummy recipes. Um, it will talk you through how to create all these, of course. Very healthy as well, by the looks of things. Oh, I love a bit of asparagus. Smoked haddock on sourdough. Mmm, nice. I, I am a kind of a fish fan, you know. I do like my, my haddock and uh, salmon and all those different fishes. I love seafood. We've got spice butternut pies there. Ooh. Looks as though we've got something that's very vegan friendly in here as well. You know, I do believe there are some meat dishes coming in. In fact, we've got chicken there. Look, spicy chicken. Do you know, I'm going to flick through a few more pages. Look at the colours that are coming through here. This is wonderful. Really good, healthy food. Greek-style Scotch eggs. I wonder if you light a pint with them. Who knows? You can in your own garden, can't you? A pint. <laughs> pint. <laughs> yeah, you can eat these in your own garden. You can have what you want with them. Uh, pickled swordfish with pink peppercorns. There's a lot of information in the recipes as well. I do believe, I'll just flick on a little bit. Oh, look, feast, feast. We've got meat here. We have got some desserts in the back as well. I did open this up a little bit earlier, and I came across something that really caught my eye. In fact, there it is. Look at that. Ah, oh, I love a pavlova. That is absolutely beautiful. Wonderful. Let me have a look at the uh, contents again in this book. So we have, yeah, it is delicious sharing boards for social dining. Um, it's nice, isn't it, when you're out in the garden to be able to have sharing boards so people can just kind of pick and choose as they want as well. Whether it's just a couple who want to share or whether you've got a few friends around, whether it is the family, you just want to make the most of the nice weather as well. Yeah, you do think about cheese boards, don't you, when you think of sharing as well. We've got lots of cheese in here. Love it. Only thirteen ninety nine for this book. You are saving three pounds. What I'm going to say as well is think about buying for gifts as well. Think about putting away for birthdays, for Christmas, Father's Day coming up as well. So we've got all sorts of different books with different titles coming up. Nice hardback book there as well. Really lovely. 914-439 is the item number. Three pounds saving on this one. If you do shop ahead on the website, we've got something I'm sure to suit everybody as well. We've got all sorts of, sort of cookery books in there. We've got summer every day. I can see, oh, bread. Well, I like a bit of homemade bread as well. We have got the gardening books coming up as well. If you're looking for design design elements for your garden. Uh, my favourite book, I've got to say, I've already picked it out. It's the Pallet Wood Projects. Looking forward to seeing more of that. We've got something for the winter garden as well. New decorated garden, perhaps because things are opening up now. You're thinking about decorating your garden. We'll see if we can get some hints and tips from that book. We've got some savings across the board on all these books as well. As I say, don't just think about for yourself. Think about buying as gifts and putting these books away, keeping them for later. Right, now, oh, oh, apparently we may have one or two pictures the wrong way around. Go by the title, 
Um, yeah, if you click on it, it will show you the correct image. Look at the title, check the title on the book. We're trying to get that sorted as we speak. Okay. I feel like I'm out in the garden. I feel like I'm suffering with a bit of hay fever at the minute and I can feel a sneeze coming on. We'll see if we can keep it at bay. Right, okay. It would be nice if they'd have sat me out on a patio to do this show. No such luck. Let's have a look at the next item. We've got summer every day here. So I'm thinking, I've not even looked at this one yet, but I'm thinking this is going to be full of sort of light lunches, uh, fresh vegetables and fruits. Uh, I might be wrong, but we'll have a look inside in a second. And you've got here over 65 vibrant, oh, Mediterranean-inspired recipes. Oh, I like the sound of this already. Oh, I do like the sound of that. Let's have a look. Yes, your mozzarella uh, for cheese. Do you know, I'm a bit of a, I don't eat a lot of cheese, but I like mild cheeses. I like halloumi. I discovered that recently when we had a show here. I told myself I wouldn't like halloumi. Until I tried it, we did the herbs and spices show. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, look, that's what I envisage. Sitting out in the garden, a proper tablecloth, nice bread, a bit of wine, some nice, fresh, healthy food. Oh, friends can join if they wish, when they're allowed. Yeah. Oh, I might let the guys from the gallery come round. Ah, oh, Ross and Jimmy. <laughs> Ross is already busy. I've not even invited him yet, but he's busy. <laughs> oh, grilled squid with asparagus there. Asparagus. Oh, oh, I love any seafood. I'd eat that. Definitely, I would like that. I love asparagus as well. Look, these again look so, so tasty. That looks beautiful. <laughs> these really are very appetizing, aren't they? We've got parma ham in this one. Do you know what? I'm hoping we've got desserts in this as well. You can't have dinner outside unless you've got dessert involved. Yeah, they look like they're having a lovely time, don't they? The sun's out, fresh food. Yeah, that does look like a certain uh, movie star from America, actually, sat in it. It's not, but it looks like it. Oh, what about Moroccan spiced shoulder of lamb? That has a very, very nice ring to it, doesn't it, that title? And it looks delicious. Do you know, I love a fish pie. I used to make a really nice fish pie. Um, it had a bit of a twist to it, actually. Have you ever eaten kedgeri? <laughs> it did have fish in it. <laughs> but, you know, have you ever had kedgeri? Where it's rice. Rice, you have hard-boiled eggs and fish in it. Well, I turned my fish pie into a pie that had rice in it and had boiled eggs in it as well. It was lovely, lovely. Smoked haddock, really tasty. Mashed potato on top. Oh, look at this, your summer fruit pavlova. Do you know, I don't always go for desserts. I'm not a big dessert fan, but I've got to say, if I'm having a dessert, for me, a pavlova or a cheesecake is the one I will go for. That looks delicious. Oh. Do you know, I'm hoping to be growing, my, well, <laughs> I've ordered the raspberry plant from our alfresco gardening show. Uh, so I'm hoping to have orange raspberries on my desserts this year. Look, we've got some beautiful sponge puddings there. Oh, now you will pick up some ideas for decorating your tables here as well. It might not be so much about that, but take inspiration from the images as well of having garden parties. Yeah, that couple look very cosy, don't they? They look like they're having a nice time. Again, nice, light, simple lunches, suppers perhaps if it's been a nice day, and you've got your hearty meals as well. There's something for all occasions, I believe, here. Look at that. What have we got there? Is it avocado? Artichoke we've got there. Minted pea puree. Nice. Oh, I love mint as well, anything with mint in. Oh, I'm one of those funny people that will put mint sauce on chicken or something like that. It's just very, very strange. No, I, I love mint sauce on anything. 11 99 for that book. £3 saving, 404-334 is the item number there. Oh, I must tell you as well, everything's on a slight extended delivery. It's only a week, so it's not long to wait. You can be planning those menus, can't you? You can be decorating your garden. You can be getting your tables ready. Maybe you need to make a, a new tablecloth. Perhaps you've been buying the boutiques from the one-day special. And you've got plans for making new placemats and um, tablecloths all for the garden. Who knows? Right, the next book... We're going a little bit more from the garden into the kitchen for the roast. The roast revolution. Oh, I've not had a roast dinner for ages. Let's have a look at this. Now, because it says roast revolution, I'm expecting something a little bit different 
Oh, peppers. I love peppers as well. <gasps> oh, oh I, do you know, that's another thing. I'm not just saying this for effect, but I'm turning the pages straight away. I do honestly love peppers, but I love even more tomatoes on the vine. Oh, yeah, if you get them on the vine, they're so, so nice. So nice. Uh, I don't know what's been in there, but somebody's eaten it all up. Let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got in here. Um, lots of information. Oh, oh, now then. Do you like your beetroots? Do you, I, do I like... Um, do you know, I'm not so much a pickle beetroot fan, but you can make cakes and things with beetroots as well. But this is all about roast, so roast beetroot sounds very, very nice. Charcoal flatbreads there as well. Uh, we've got... Oh, we've veggie roast. So, yeah, there's something to suit everybody in this book, that's for sure. That looks nice, courgettes. What else we got? Fat. Oh, is that? <laughs> now that I'm confused, are we fasting because there's nothing in the bowl, or is this going to be food that's fast to make? Let's have a look. What we got? We've got rosemary lamb neck fillets. It looks very nice, doesn't it? Rosemary's always nice with lamb. Oh, <laughs> is that a whole cauliflower? Is that, would that be a roast cauliflower? Whole roasted cauliflower, that's what it is. Do you know what? That's a good way to feed a family though, isn't it? Do the cauliflower all in one go. Roast it all. Uh, that looks tasty. I've got to say that cauliflower looked delicious. We've got stuffed and roast butternut. Oh, I like butternut as well. Uh, butternut squash. I've had butternut squash soup a lot, but I've not had a roast butternut like that with your vegetables. Do you know, there's an awful lot of information in this book. It's not all pictures, although the pictures, I've got to say, are really making me hungry. Spice slow roasted beef brisket ribs. Can't see them there, but they're, they're in the book. Uh, let's, oh, there they are. No, that's, yes. Oh, no, that's not the ribs, is it? That does look very nice. That looks delicious. That looks like pork. <gasps> Octopus. Oh, no, I couldn't eat the octopus now. I'm sorry. I've just seen something about an octopus on the TV. Yeah, it was the documentary that everybody's been talking about. I didn't see the whole thing. I was watching a certain Channel 4 um, program where they, you have, you know, the people at home sat watching the TV and they were all crying about this octopus. I need to watch the documentary. Yeah. I don't want to eat the octopus. I'm sorry. Merry. Merry. Now, why are we merry? Is this all about Christmas? Is it Christmas? Truffle roasted cockerel. Very nice. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm laughing to myself there because I thought they were a pair of flip flops. <laughs> what are they? Is that butternut squash? I bet it's butternut. I think it's butternut looking at the shape of it. Do you know, again, there's something for all seasons here, isn't there? Really nice, warm, healthy, hearty meals. Something for weekends as well. You know, maybe quick meals here. Oh, oh I love a mushroom. Yeah. Yeah, something nice. I'm going to flick through a little bit further on this one. Have we got any desserts in here? Yes, we have. Look. Sparkling sorbet cocktails. Very nice. Very nice. I'm going to ask everybody, actually. When it comes to dining outside, email in, let me know what you prefer. Do you like a barbecue? Do you like your salads? Do you like to pre-cook it in the kitchen and then take it outside? How do you like to eat outside? Let me know. And have you been e eating outside? Some of us have had sunshine today, so maybe you have been out. Maybe it's just been a, a sandwich, maybe out for lunch. I'd love to know what you've been doing in the sunshine. 332-097 is the item number for the Roast Revolution book. 13 99 is the price. We've got a £3 saving on that one as well. Now, some of these books I've had a quick flick through, some I haven't. The next one I haven't already looked at, but I'm looking at the back cover and I'm liking what I see. Yum, yum. It looks like a very nice cheesecake. So there's got to be... Is it a cheesecake? It looks like a cheesecake to me. Oh, oh, could it be carrot cake? I didn't spot that. I was just looking at the top. I bet that's a carrot cake. Do you know, if I'm having a sponge, a carrot cake is the one I'd go for. This, ah, now I, I'm telling fibs. I did have a quick flick through this one because I like this one. I didn't realise it was the same book looking at the pictures on the back. The Modern Multi Cooker Cookbook. So this is 101 recipes for your instant pot. Have you got an instant pot? Do you go to work and you want to put food in your instant pot? Or 
Do you know, have you got slow cookers? Have you got that sort of thing? Do you know, I love some slow cookers are great. They really are stews, casseroles. Um, you can do rice puddings and things like that, can't you? We've got, yeah, you can do all sorts. Don't just think about your meaty recipes. Raspberry crisp. That sounds tasty. I like raspberries. Ru I like rhubarb as well. Rhubarb and raspberry compote. Compote. Uh, sorry, rhubarb, it can be quite tart, can't it, that's the word, it, you know, a little bit zingy. Um, but you can sweeten it down, of course. Rhubarb and apple goes to well. Well, oh, another thing that my mum used to do was a rhubarb and orange crumble. Those carrots look nice. I do like, a, those carrots look beautiful. What's this? Curried chickpea soup. Now, this is something I like as well, soup. I'm a big, big fan of homemade soup. It was a while ago now, but I did live on air ask everybody to let me know what they thought of soup makers. Were they worth buying? I had uh, a number of different emails come in, messages personally. Some saying don't bother, some saying yes, definitely do. I did actually get one and I love it. I love, love, love homemade soup. Sam soup. What's in Sam soup? Let me have a look. Who is Sam? Um, we've got... An onion in there, carrots, diced pancetta is in there. Interesting, vegetable stock. Uh, chickpeas are in there as well. Sounds very nice, very nice. I know it's bad doing a show like this. How can we do a show like this with no food to eat? It's just making me really, really hungry. Chestnut and vegetable soup. Chestnut mushrooms they must be. Any mushrooms I'm a big fan of. Vegetable and bacon soup. I mean, there's going to be something for everybody again here. There'll be something for vegans, something with meat in there as well, something. You know, oh, speedy supper's nice. Carrot and cashew hummus. Oh, who likes cashew nuts? Oh, I don't, I'm not keen on the salty ones, but the, you know, the ones without the salt on. Sweet potato and pancetta frittata. A frittata's nice. Yeah, they're really, really good. Eat with a nice salad again, a nice lunch. Um, Sweet potato, I love. I love sweet potatoes. Uh, yeah, Do you know, that's another cheese I did discover I quite liked and I didn't think I would, and that was goat's cheese. Maybe I do like cheese and I'm just eating the wrong cheeses. I like mozzarella. I like um, halloumi. And I like goat's cheese. Um, do you know, I'm a bit funny when it comes to other cheeses. I like cheese if it's mild and it's melted. I don't like Parmesan. I do know that. Mm. No, you know when you go to a restaurant and they say, do you want Parmesan? Great. No, 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 no. No, don't like that. Carbonara sauce. Mm. Do you know, I do make my own sauces if I'm doing pasta and different dishes. And if it's a cheesy sauce, I don't put a lot of cheese in it. I do like the sound of that, though. Mediterranean chicken with rice. What have we got here? Oh, sagalo spinach. I love spinach. Spinach is really good for you as well. Really good for you. I like baby spinach. If I do a, a smoothie, you know, and put it in smoothies, I know it sounds a bit funny, and it does come out a funny colour, but just look past the colour. Yeah, it's good for your spinach. We've got chilli beef and, oh, now, mushrooms. I don't have to say mushrooms, and I, I, I'll eat it. I'll eat it. You could put cheese all over that and eat it if it said mushrooms were in there. Look at these carrots again. My dogs love carrots. They have organic carrots as treats. Baked apples with nutty filling. Seeded apple crumble. So you've got your desserts in here as well. Do you know that is a really lovely, but I'm going to have a really good look through that later on. I might get this one. $13.99 is the price here. A £3 saving, 130500. Yeah, I do like that book a lot. Uh, we've got lots more to come though. Loads of stuff. We haven't done the gardening yet. Don't forget, we have got food. We've got gardening as well. That's why it's plate to patio or patio to plate, whichever way around you want to look at it. <laughs> right, next one. Homemade bread. Oh, I try not to eat too much bread because it's not always the best thing to have too much bread. But I could literally live on homemade bread, especially with homemade soup so you can dunk it. Let's have a look at this. That looks so delicious, doesn't it? Looks like a wood log on the top there. I love the grain in that they've put on the front on the top there. I wonder if it's been achieved by one of those uh, bottles there. I don't know. Um, our Jimmy, I think, has made pizza dough from scratch. 
Is it really easy to do that? I've had to, I think I did do it once a long time ago. I've made quite a lot of bread in my time. I haven't done it for a long time though. Of course you need your yeast, so it's going to talk you through, you know, your yeast and your water and how to mix and there's going to be your proving of your dough, isn't there in here? All the equipment that you're going to need. Absolutely lovely. I love a good old bread basket. Yeah. If you have a dinner party, you've got to serve bread in a bread basket. Oh, look at that. Just seeing the bread there before it's even sliced, it makes me feel hungry. Simple white bread. Are we bread fans when it comes to uh, brown bread, white bread, wholemeal bread, flavoured breads? You see, I love a sun-dried tomato in a bread or an onion bread. Very nice. Very nice. I do like my bread rolls as well. That way, if you have a bread roll and you're having it with soup, you can't be greedy. Just ration yourself with one roll. A crusty, a crusty top to it as well. Oh. oh. Plain soda bread. I don't know if I, I don't know if I know much about soda bread. It's not something I've eaten a lot. Is it quite heavy soda bread? Oh, now here we go. Here we go. Pizza dough. Pizza dough. You see, you've got everything in here. Anything with yeast and doughs and oh, I bet there's some puddings in here as well. Oh, it might be bread pudding. What's Queen's Pudding? Queen's Pudding. Is that a sort of that? Is that kind of a bread pudding? I don't know. I don't know. We've got, you know, Italian breads in here as well. Walnut bread. I don't think I've had walnut bread. I've heard of it, but I don't think I've eaten it. Beer bread. Oh, you do put beer into bread, don't you? Yeah, because it's got yeast in there. Look, look, look. There's lots of detail in this. Oh, good old plaited bread. That's got a really, really nice glaze on it as well, hasn't it? Look at that. Look at the texture of the bread there. I wonder what sort of bread it actually is. Have we got fruit breads in here? Because I do like a fruit bread. Oh, we've got prunes, prune and pepper rye. Not had that before. You see, I do like a, um, a malt loaf as well. Does everybody like malt loaves? Or is it just me? We're back to those beetroots, look. Are they in the bread? I'm trying not to get the glare there. You see, you can put beetroot in cakes as well. I bet it would be lovely in bread. I'm just going to turn that one page to see if we have got this. Beetroot brownies I've not had, but I don't, I've, had, I've heard they are delicious. What have we got there? Spiced cheese and herb sourdough. So you've got your savoury bread, you've got your sweet breads. Ah, uh, we've got chocolate, chocolate. Oh, I wonder if it, I'm just going to lay this down. I need to see if it tells you how to make the chocolate spread as well. Uh, let's have a look. Although I'm not particularly a fan myself, but um, maybe it's just for the bread. Chocolate bread, though. Let's have another look at that. That does actually sound rather nice, doesn't it? Is that a breakfast bread? No, I think that's an in-between or a, um, a supper bread. Oh, that looks nice. That's got... See, anything with dried fruit in I really like, especially if it's got cherries in it. Cherries, sultanas, raisins, I love all of it. Love all of it. They're very, very nice. A bit of ice and sugar. Oh, a marzipan stollen. I like a stollen at Christmas. So you've got everything, right from serving your bread with your soups, through to your little snacky breads, your flavoured breads, and your sweet breads as well. Fifteen ninety nine for this one, four pound saving. Four zero nine two three one is your item number. There, very nice book indeed. Uh, let's remind you how our flexi works as well. Maybe you're buying everything and you want to open up that basket. Here we go. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexi Buy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your Flexi Buy payments. So you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. 
Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. OK, so I think we've finished the books with the plates and the food. I think we're going into the garden now, so into the patio and beyond as well. The first book, I've just had a quick flick through, actually. I really like this one. Let me just show you the cover for a start. This is a lovely book. You've got the outer leaf there as well. But you, so if you're gifting this, you know, make sure that's on there, because I think it looks really, really attractive. But if you want to take that off after you could, but I wouldn't. Why would you? Why would you take that away? Really nice hard cover there. Look at the inside, though. This is absolutely beautiful. If you're going to gift a book, this is one that I would definitely look at gifting. This is one of those coffee table books for me. I've just flicked through this just to look at the pretty images. We are going into the garden. I'm going to take it a little bit slowly through this one because we've got all sorts of beautiful flowers in here as well. I particularly like books like this because, well, I'm going to point something out. Look at the little birdhouse there. I'm all about ornaments in the garden and upcycling, and I like to get ideas for different things. So if you've got things around the garden and the home that you think you could work and upcycle, put in amongst your plants as well, then you've got great ideas, I'm sure, in this book. Even just the pots that the flowers are in there, look, your glass vases, your jars, and I think there's going to be some information on the flowers as well as we go through here. So we've just had the Alfresco Gardening Shows. Maybe you purchased from that. Maybe you've got flowers and plug plants on their way, and you might recognise one or two here. Something for cottage gardens. Um, I haven't been through all the pages, so I don't know what else we're going to cover, but you've definitely got, as you can see, garden inspirations here. Maybe you've got a small garden and you're looking for ideas. Maybe you've got quite a large garden and you wanted to change it as well. Isn't that pretty? I want that to be my garden. That's what I'm aiming for. Something like that. Ooh. Now from one contrast right to another, look at that. That looks, that looks almost like, wow. <laughs> oh, you've got room for something like that in your garden, you're doing well. Look at this, my top 10 easy to grow garden plants. Now I like that, oh I love a sweet pea. I love a sweet pea, let's see what we've got. I'm going to have to lay this down. So we've got, uh, come on, yeah we're going to start at number two. You can't start at number one, can you? What if I can't pronounce these names? <laughs> Actually, number 10, number 10 is a spring flower. Um, can be known as a daffodil. The Narcissi, that is the other version, isn't it? A Narcissi, I'm sure it is. Yeah, they come from bulbs, spring bulbs. Uh, yeah, spring bulbs. Um, they're number 10. We should have the music, shouldn't we? Like the countdown for the, uh, the charts. Uh, at number nine, at number nine, this is another beautiful smelling scented flower, actually. <laughs> it sounds more like a bingo colour. <laughs> jasmine, a jasmine is number nine. Jasmines grow well in moist, well-drained soil. They've got a delicious scent. Yes, they have. They're very pretty. Uh, they have pretty flowers. They have pretty white flowers as well. They also make great conservatory or greenhouse plants. That's interesting. So somewhere where it's really, really hot. Can I just turn this around? So you can see, I've just spotted the Narcissi as well. That's one. There we are. Here's your Jasmine. Beautiful. Number eight is roses. I'm surprised that roses are only at number eight. Oh, do you know what order are these in? I think these are the favourites of the author of the book. That's what I think. Let me just have a look. Because I did notice on Narcissi it did say my mum's favourite. So it must be the author of the book. Uh, roses, though, many roses to choose from, that's true, isn't it? You've got ramblers, you've got climbers, you've got uh, antique roses, you've got so many different varieties of roses. Yeah, grow them in pots, beds, borders, climbing up walls and fences. So, yeah, very, very nice as a flower. That's why I would probably put that in my top five, I think, if it was me doing it. Alliums is next. An allium, I recognise that. This is an allium with all the little purple flower heads. They look like seeds, don't they? But there's lots of little flowers on there. They form those uh, sort of ball heads there. I can't, I've got lots of favourite flowers. I love roses. Fuchsia's one of my favourites. You probably discovered the other night when we did the gardening show. I absolutely love hydrangeas as well. Um, what else? I like things like pansies. I do love a clematis. Again, they, they are in all sorts of variations and forms as well. What number are they at? We've got alliums at number seven. Number six is a clematis. Again, so many different varieties. Uh, oh, I didn't know this. I've just learned something new. Clematis, also known as old man's beard. 
Why is that? Why is that, I wonder? Because you get so many different varieties, don't you? Number five is tulips, another springtime flower. Ah, uh, something else we had on the shows the other night, which I now, I, I know I really love, is hollyhocks. Because you get the most beautiful flowers and you get beautiful buds on them as well. Oh, a sweet peas here. What number is that? That's another favourite of mine, sweet peas. They smell delicious as well. Sweet peas are number one. Do you know, I'll, I'll take that, number one. That was the author's top ten. What's the author's name? Let's see. Uh, does it tell you on the front? Rachel Whitling is the author of the book. I'm just going to randomly open one or two more pages. You see, this is what I was talking about. Decorating your tables, making a nice, comfy atmosphere for all your friends and family. Or if you're just dining out alone, you want your candles, you want your lights, you want your table settings, your little jars. We talk about these so often, don't we, when we're doing shows, that upcycling jars and using little lights and tea lights and candles in there as well. Looks very, very pretty around the garden, on the patio. Information about your flowers, cut flowers there as well is that cosmos i can see create a cutting garden look lots of information here another great one this if you want to gift it i'm really struggling not getting the glare on these uh, i'm trying to keep it fairly level to the table but it squeaks on the top of the table when i turn the pages eating outdoors as well so go with your food and your garden absolutely wonderful Oh, growing your vegetables. $15.99 is the price one. Really lovely about that. £4 saving, 216-160. That is your... Ah, the photographer was Rachel. The author's Selena Lake. Yeah, photography. Oh, she's a good photographer. Rachel is. Very nice. You've got a, a saving on all of these books, remember. Um, the garden sale book item you need is 216-160. There is a £4 saving there. Really lovely book. Think again, again about Father's Day, putting away for Christmas, birthday presents, just a, a, maybe something as a gift if you've not seen family and friends for a long time as well. They love their garden or their food. Now, this is my favourite book. I've gone for this one because you know I like my DIY. You know I like upcycling. This is your projects for outdoor spaces, all created from wooden pallets. It is rather exciting. Uh, there's a little bench there, look. You can get a hold of wooden pallets. If you know anybody who's got any spare, you can make your troughs for your plants. I know there's all sorts in here. Let me just tip that. You see, it squeaks on the table if I have it upright. I like that little log cabin, that little log store. That's handy, isn't it? You could create something like that, put your pot plants in. Not your pot plants, your terracotta pots in there, a few tools in there as well. Just ornamental. Great to decorate up in a, if you've got a theme in your garden for, I don't know, kind of a beach hut theme going on as well. Now, of course, it tells you what tools you're going to need. I recognise all these. I've got them all at home. Yeah, you've got to have the rulers, the metal rulers and the set squares as well. You need your clamps, always very, very useful. Workstation as well. Uh, hammers, obviously, you need. Um, yeah, treat yourself to a good drill as well. If you haven't got a decent drill then you need one. That's what I say. I made that mistake, oddly enough. I went for a battery powered, not such expensive drill. Uh, it was a big mistake. I ended up just going back to the DIY store and buying a really good electric drill with the hammer power behind it. Yes. I like that bench. Ah, Janice would like this book as well, you know. I could see Janice making these. Yes, yeah, she's got an allotment as well. That is a really, really handy bench. If you've got a space in the garden or a shed and you want storage, get your pallets, get your tools out, start creating. Look, shape legs on this one. We've got a colourful footstool there as well. Please, please, please don't tell that whole shed. I need to make that. Is it? I don't think it's a chair. Oh, it's the decking. Oh, I got excited there and I saw the shed. I would make a shed out of pallets. Seriously, I would. Yeah. Yeah, what about a bar for the garden? Ooh. What's that? Oh, I know. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's just a little sunshade area, isn't it? It's a gazebo. I was hiding the title. Yeah. My neighbour, um, I look out my... Uh, I've only got one window at the back of my cottage. All the windows are at the front, looking out onto the garden. Uh, I've only got one window at the back, and my neighbour is currently building frames for something in the garden. Uh, there's been a, a, a I, think it, I think it must be for the cats in the tree, it's like a little tree house as well. 
and they're currently erecting some sort of uh, outbuilding. I think it is for maybe a bar or garden parties or something. Look at that little play tent. Oh. Oh, you could, yeah, but you could drape a cloth over that and make a shady area again, couldn't you? My dogs would love that. What else have we got? Oh, oh, now, I do like that. Make yourself a trug, a garden trug from pallets. Pallet planters. I've got planters to make this year. Really, really do like this. I like also, look, 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 I like the shelving there as well. So you don't have to do big planters, just small ones. You know what, you, you get, it's really good wood in the pallet. If you, I'm sure you've seen pallets. Some of them are better than others. If you get hold of them, if you've got a sander, good sander as well. All you need is a saw and a good sander. You can decorate these up. You can, um, you can change how you decorate them with your paints, you know, your stains, your varnishes. Leave them natural as well if you want. Love that with the flowers in it as well. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. 790-899 is the item number. I might go shopping for this one afterwards. I was trying to uh, pay attention. You've actually got 35 contemporary projects in there for 9.99. I should have looked at the contents. I don't know. Can I? Right, I, I don't want to be... How do I say this? I've just found out the writer of this book. Look. So I think this is why there's a little bit more of a feminine touch with the flowers and things in this book. It's a lady that's written the book or created the projects. It doesn't matter, male, female, you're going to enjoy creating these. Don't ever think that you can't do DIY. You can. Beautiful. Love that. Really like that. 999-790-899 is your item number. You have got a £3 saving there. Do have a look at what you can create. There's even little things like pictures to hang on the wall made out of pallets there as well with uh, cut items, you know, I think it was cactus I saw on them or something like that. So make decorative elements for your garden also. Now, I did say earlier on, perhaps you've been looking out at the garden and thinking, oh, do you know, it needs a bit of a tweak here and there. Maybe I need to start again. Maybe I need to do some sort of decoration. Well, we've got the book for you. New Decorated Garden. So let's have a look at this. Another one, only 9 99 This is hardback again, a £3 saving. Let's open it up and have a look. You see, we all like different things as well, don't we? Yeah, choosing a style. Do you like a lawn garden? It is a very important point. Do you want lawn? Do you want gravel? Do you want bark? Have you got pets? You've got to think about what's friendly to pets and children. You know, maybe you've got visitors that aren't so good on their feet as well, so you don't want areas that can be tripped up on. So it's very, very important how you plan your garden out. Do you want somewhere to sit? Do you want somewhere that's going to be in the sunshine? So you think about where you are going to have the seating areas as well. Do you need a shed? Where's the shed going to go? We've got all these reasons for planning out your gardens. This looks rather Moroccan here. Oh, modern formal. That's nice, isn't it? See, this is the sort of garden I'd plan. If I could start from scratch and money was no object, I would have a garden that's got all little areas, different areas. I definitely have a seating area. I do like ornamental things as well, like I love actually what I'm seeing here. I'd love something like that in my garden. I love my upcycling, so there would be bits of interest around. But I do like the grassy area because the dogs, you know, they, they, that's important for them. They've got to have a grassy area. Um, I do like a shady area or a gazebo as well. Oh, look at this. Oh, my garden is quite a good size actually, it's not small. I do like that as well. I have started cutting out around the lawn, so I've got shaped edgings. Rather than it being square, I do like to sort of shape the edgings a little bit and bring out with the plants. Yeah, you could have a putting green in your garden. Uh, see, it's important for me to have a lawned area as well, not just for the dogs, but for me and my space hopper. Yeah, I, I still build, like when I was a little girl, I build fences with garden canes and bricks and I jump over them on my space hopper. Yeah, I do. I do those things. Yeah, you think I'm joking. I am not. <laughs> oh, if ever I was to... Yeah, I live quite a long way away from the studio, but if ever I had a home party, a garden party at home, and anybody from work came, you'd all have to bring space up as we'd have races. Oh, I love this. Look at this. 
Look, I love pots, topiary trees. We've had um, kits on recently, haven't we, for the topiary trees as well. Really, really nice book. So lots of ideas again, something for everybody in here. Um, lots of information in there. If you want to go for this one, it's only 9 99 You've got the £3 saving, 307187. Love it. Love it. Jump ahead on the website. Remember, we've got lots more for you, the food books. I'm still hungry after looking at those. What's your favourite book, everybody? I'm going to ask uh, in the gallery, Jimmy, which one of those food books would you go for? The bread one. The bread one. Oh, yeah. Practical, saves money. Lots of nice flavours in there. Uh, Ross, which one are you going to go for? The Modern Multi-Cooker Cookbook. Do you know, that's my favourite of mine, but seeing as Ross has picked that one, I'm going to go for... Do you know, I did like the look of Cher, but also Summer Every Day. Oh, can I only have one? I'll go for Summer Every Day, I think, because I wish it was. Yeah, yeah, that's the Mediterranean one. Mm. Oh, stop it. Let's go back to the garden and stop thinking about food. We're going to the winter garden next. Actually, I did have a flick through this one. This is a really, really nice book. Really nice. There's, there's all sorts of beautiful plants in here. This, again, would be a lovely one as a gift. Or think about ahead to the winter months. What would you plant in the garden for winter? Are these going to be indoor gardens? Who knows? Look at the snowdrops. Yeah, gardens do get abandoned a little bit, don't they? This is why I like evergreens because you've still got some colour. Pansies are great because they come back year after year. They reseed easily. They grow all year round, summer, winter, autumn, you know, very, very nice. Um, ideas again here of how to upcycle your pots and your galvanised buckets and things like that. Stems and leaves. I like a berry. Oh, that's nice. What is that? What is that? I don't know either. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I haven't got my glasses, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm reading about how to plant up and how to, what compost to use there. Actually, yeah, you lose me in a book. You give me books and you'll lose me. Oh, I want that in my garden. Is that a winter planter? Is that all winter foliage? Re oh, look at the wreath. <gasps> Do you know, that is the first time I've seen a wreath of succulents like that. We had succulent plants on the other night as well with the alfresco gardening. We've also had them in kit form. They might still be on the website if you want to make a succulent wreath. Aren't they pretty? Succulents, they come in such beautiful colours. You get the reds, the greens. Uh, they don't need a lot of water. You can put them in dry places as well. You can grow them inside. Do you know, this is a lovely book. Ornamental cabbages. They are pretty, aren't they? Really, really pretty. Ah, oh, catkins. Is it a catkin? No, it's not a catkin. Is it a catkin? Gather the end. Oh, it's a pussy willow. Of course it is. Cat catkins are the ones that, <laughs> that sort of dangle down, aren't they? They're yellow, I think. Oh, yeah, use your conifers. Oh, I upset one of my neighbours, actually. When I moved into the cottage, there was, <laughs> there was quite a lot of conifers, but they'd grown really big. They were blocking light out. They were overhanging the wall. And this particular neighbour used to come and just take cuttings from the conifer the whole time to put in arrangements and wreaths and things, which was fine. That was fine, and I didn't mind it. It was perfectly all right with me. Uh, but then I did have to cut the conifer down quite a lot. And it wasn't overhanging the wall. And because I have to keep locks of the gates to protect the dogs. Yeah. And she did have a word of me saying, why have you stopped me getting your conifers? I need to, I can't cut them anymore. Cyclamen, I've stopped on that because I love a cyclamen as well. They're a really good plant to grow. They're good winter plants as well. They look very, very nice indeed in your pots. Indoors, outdoors, poinsettia. That's your winter flower. Just some great ideas for potting your different flowers. I might have to go for this one as well. How much have I spent this hour? That's the palette book, the winter garden, and the summer food one, the Mediterranean food book as well. I must have spent about £30. £31.97, I'm hearing. That's not too bad, that's three books. 
three big books as well. Some of these books are hardback as well, which are wonderful. Nine ninety nine for these. Two nine three four one two. If you want to go for the Winter Garden, really do like that. Do you know, I'd like to pot up things like I've seen in that book there and gift them myself. Yeah, Emma Hardy wrote that book. She did a great job. Oh, that's food. In fact, we've got homegrown harvest. I've not got any apple trees or pear trees in my garden. We used to have them when I lived, when I was younger, my mum and dad grew a couple of apple trees, but uh, and my brother had an orchard, actually. Uh, have you got fruit in your garden? I wonder if Julia Watts has got fruit in her garden. No, she says no. I will have my orange raspberries soon, hopefully. Or oh, I like a strawberry to grow. What we got here? This, do you know, I was thinking this was going to be all sort of puddings and things. We've got potato and parsnip. Now, that's a lovely combination. <gasps> oh, I'm liking this already because all I need to read is bacon leeks. I'm not so bothered about the cheese bit, but I can, I can go with the cheese if it's not too strong. If it's got bacon and leeks in it, that'll do me. Um, yeah, so you're growing bacon. You're growing your leeks then, aren't you? Yeah. Leeks are beautiful. I love parsnips as well. Shallots. Oh, I love a shallot. Uh, parsnip, chorizo and chestnut soup. Oh, we're back. Chorizo. Yeah, we're back to the soups again as well. Do you know, I didn't look at this book. I really like this one. Honey, roast, parsnip, carrot and shallot tart. Oh, that sounds delicious. Shall we have a look at the recipe for this one? That's the sort of thing I would definitely make. Uh, right, what we've got. We have got, oh, it looks like there's cheese in it. Uh, <laughs> there's a grater. We've obviously we've got parsnips in there. You've got shallots. I love shallots. Halved or quartered, depending on their size. Oh, runny honey's in it. That's another thing I like, runny honey. Olive oil. Uh, you need a bit of crushed black pepper. Mm, a cup of mature cheddar grated. You know, if I... I know if you like your cheese, that's great. But if maybe if I go for the mild cheddar, I'll like it then. Uh, oh, Greek yogurt. I like Greek yogurt. Spelt pizza dough base. It's got a pizza dough base in it. Oh, Jimmy, I like this one. I might have to make this, you know. Yeah, you, you need your yeast because you've got your dough in there. Do you know it looks easy to make as well? Makes about eight slices. Depends on the size of the slice, doesn't it? I think that's quite an easy recipe, actually. And it looks very, very tasty indeed. I would, def I would definitely eat that. I might have to get this book and make that and just bring it into work. Bulb and stem vegetables. Well, your onions are bulbs, aren't they? So your onions, um, what else do you get? Yes, the turnip, that'll class as a bulb, will it? Will it? Asparagus, oh, I don't like asparagus. I love asparagus, if it's cooked properly, if it's not gone tough. There's some beautiful stuff in here. Roasted onions and sausages, crispy onion rings. Look at those potatoes. Do you know what is it with potatoes? I, I, this is a funny one for me because I love a potato, but I don't eat a lot of it. You know, and if I go to a restaurant when they're open or if I go to for a pub lunch, it's very, very rare I order fries. But I don't know why it is. And if, if I have a roast dinner, I only have one roast potato. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't like mash. If I have, I took, my favourite is new potatoes with mint on it. That's my favourite. I might have two of those. I'm really, I don't know. I honestly don't, I can't answer the question. Why would I only have one potato? It's really odd because I love potatoes. But when I'm serving dinner, I just have the one potato. Everybody else can have a plateful, but I just have one. I tell you what I do like a lot of, though, tomatoes. I prefer a roast tomato to a, a raw tomato. You know, a, if you've got tomatoes in salads, they're lovely. But I do, I do prefer roast tomatoes. Look at that soup. I like the little uh, plum tomatoes as well. They're very nice. The fine tomatoes are always the best. Uh, oh, I, do you know, I'm going to add this one onto my list, Ross. How much have I spent now? I really want this one. 43 90 Oh, 
I could be opening a flexi basket. I'm going to be opening a flexi, aren't I, soon? I really want this one. This, I think this has taken over to be my new favourite book. I'm flicking through because I'm want. i just making my mind up. Oh, oh, did I see? Yeah, look. Frosted pear, courgette and carrot cake. Do you know, I love a carrot cake, but I've never had courgette and pear in it. Now, that's interesting again, isn't it? Because what do you use on a carrot cake as the frosting? It's a cream cheese. What's in a cheesecake? Cream cheese. Why don't I like cheese then? I do. I do. It's just certain cheeses I don't like. Oh, look. Yeah, cheese, you, there's so many different. Do you know what I think it is? I think probably once upon a time I tasted cheese and it was a really strong cheese. And I, I decided there and there that I wouldn't like cheese. I'm making myself hungry. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm concocting menus in my head now. <sighs> no, I just, oh. Look at this. White chocolate and apricot roulade. I like that. What was that about coriander? I've just been asked. I do like coriander, yes. Cherry and almond. How do you pronounce that? Clafutis. Cherry and, oh, I love cherries. We have got a strudel, cherry and ricotta. Ricotta's a cheese, isn't it? You see, I like that as well. <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> I love cheese. <laughs> I do like the look of the um, cherry and almond. I like, I like almond flavouring of oh, raspberries. Oh, I'm definitely buying this book. I've talked myself into it. Fresh raspberry and almond tart. Don't, you know, there is a saying, isn't there? Don't ever judge a book by its cover. If that doesn't do it for you, look inside. I'm, I'm going for this one. 11, oh, it's only 11.99 as well. Even better. 11.99, £3 saving, 573026. We've got one more book left, I believe. Uh, actually, nice timing because, oh no, I'm going to get to that flexi basket. I know I am. I know I am. I've just seen what's coming up. Okay. Perfect pots for small spaces. Now, I haven't necessarily got small spaces, but I do love pots. With having the dogs, you see, that's another thing. Pots are easier to protect and look after, aren't they? I could never grow anything like that. I'd have to buy them ready done. I like a little bit of ivy, a trailing plant in my pots as well. I like a bit of colour in there. I like height. I love lilies. Petunias. Oh, you see, this is, this is what I haven't done yet, but I've got the fence and I've brought it in. Leaving, leading from my newly converted craft room, I've got French doors and it did look out onto the back of my van, which I hate. I don't want to be in my craft room looking at a van. So I've bought some fencing and I'm going to fence off an area. I'm creating a little courtyard for myself. I'm making my own planters. Maybe I need to do them with pallets now. And I'm looking for the most beautiful plants to go in those planters. So when I look at my craft room, all I'm going to see is colour and beautiful things. Oh, that's interesting what they're making there. I'm just going to go back a page. Just bear with me, bear with me. Oh, I want one of those. I could make that. Look, a Primula Theatre. That's very posh, isn't it? Shows you how to make it. Oh, yeah. Add that one on, Ross. How much is this one? $9.99. Look, you've got all sorts of planters in here as well. If you're not going for the pallet one, go for this one. Oh, I need to buy another book to open up the flexi basket. Let's go to the website. This will help me decide. Nine ninety nine for this one, three pounds saving. Right, okay. So what have I got so far? I've gone for the summer every day. Uh, I've gone for. Ooh, I might have to go for garden style. I've gone for the pallet, the wood projects. Yeah. Um, I, winter garden. I want that one. Homegrown Harvest, definitely want that one. Um, oh, perfect pots, yeah, I want that one. One more, go back, go back. Do you know what I think? I think it's going to be garden style. Mm. 
I just think there was lots of inspiration in that one for ways of sort of kitting out your garden with your jars and your troughs and your plants and oh yeah I could open a flexi basket if I go for that one shall we have another look at our palettes I wonder I'm just going to see if there is yes there is let's have a look at the content so we can see what we can make because I don't want to show you every picture let's see let's have a look Right, so we've got using your palette wood, so it's going to talk about the wood itself, choosing the tools, basic techniques, oh, palette furniture, we've got a table, a chair, a mosaic inlay table, I've got some broken tiles, granite tiles that I could inlay a table with, a workbench, oh, that's handy, a pop-up bench, outdoor sofa, I'm, not, I'm skipping through some, but not all, uh, more tables, palette sofas, then we've got birdhouses, Outdoor kitchen, a wooden decking, the garden gazebo, oh, a dog bed, need four of those. Uh, fencing, play tent, garden truck. That truck is lovely. It's there, actually. You can see it in the picture. What else we have? We've got, oh, our, this is what I was saying, decorative items are there as well. Uh, we've also got the planters, lots of different planters, a hanging planter. Decorative items include candle holders, uh, wall art, lanterns. Yeah, then you've got your resources and your acknowledgements at the back. Don't really need to look at that. Just look at what you can create. Get your tools ready and you can be making some beautiful, beautiful items for your garden with your palettes. You might be able to get donated some palettes. I love that bench. That's perfect. £9.99 for this one. £3 saving. 790-899 is the item number. Do check your baskets out. Don't miss out on those. Thank you for joining me. I wish I could have told you all a story and a bit of a story time, but, you know, we've got some great books here. Do make sure you've grabbed everything that you need. Think about uh, shopping ahead for Christmas presents, birthday presents, Father's Day as well, or just something lovely. Treat yourself. Thank you for joining me. We've got much more coming up. In fact, we've got a new one-day special. See you soon. Yes, indeed. We've got Stampiri. It's the second anniversary here at, at the craft store. Nearly said it. Don't miss that. We've got Santa Mim yours with Julia. She's still here, not gone home. Ultimate finish. Cleans, polishes and protects in one. No water is required. If you own a car, caravan, motorhome or motorcycle, do not miss the world launch shows this weekend. You don't need water or any other products. All you need is ultimate finish. On the shows, you will hear from a motor trade expert who says this is the best product he's ever used. Exclusive on the craft store with big savings and a five piece pack. For a limited time, we will also be including two additional products at no extra charge, only while stocks last. See the amazing live demonstrations and big savings this Saturday at 6pm and 8pm and Sunday at midday, not to be missed. Hi, this is Els from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Elizabeth Craft Designs is a Colorado-based company. It's a family company, so husband, son, daughter all work in the company and then a fantastic team of designers because a company cannot exist without a great team around yourself. from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We proud ourselves of high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows.
Now, isn't that exciting? Um, OK, we are seriously excited. Um, so look at the set. It looks so beautiful. Um, it is, of course, stamp period, the second anniversary. Um, we have had our Let Loose show this morning, which was so, so busy. But this is already busy. Um, yeah, stamp area, as you know, so many of you know, stamp area are such an incredible brand. They have grown and grown and grown. They've got beautiful designers, um, designers that bring us lots of different looks. And I think that's what makes them extra special. But, I mean, brilliant designers, incredible quality and such a vast array of different products. I mean today we have got um, beautiful chipboard, we've got the papers, we've got the rice paper, we've got incredible moulds the stamps, I love the stamps in this collection. Um, it is already busy, please get ahead um, obviously we can't put everything out on the counter because there's so much, so please have a look on the website, it is of course um, thecraftstore.com ok, let's get cracking on um, it is, of course, the latest um, Christina collection. She is amazing. I love her stuff. She's so cool, quite frankly. And this is amazing. Wait till you see finished samples that they've sent us. They're beautiful. Um, but, 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 I am going to show you this, first of all. Oh, before I do forget, the gift with purchase. Um, it is the second anniversary. So, second year they've been with us. A wonderful stamp here have been with us. You're going to get one of the grey board sheets. Now, um, obviously, your contents are very... It's going to be one of these... Um, so you might get your wonderful, you might get the beautiful butterflies there with the leaves. And I love these because you decorate them. They're going to give you extra depth dimension. But obviously, um, you'll be able to use your papers over these as well. Or, of course, you have got your beautiful lilies um, and your florals on that one. So one of those is going to be heading your way um, when you make your purchase. Right. Are you ready? Let's get stuck in. We have a lot to show you, so I'll try and... I'm not going to be really quick because it's amazing and I want you to see everything. Um, so, OK, this is your 12 by 12 paper. This is the Amazonia collection by the amazing Christina. Each one of these, you are only getting one each of these papers. You start with your beautiful sentiments. Now, Christina, um, she has put, uh, we've got some English, but we've also got some Spanish in there. So no doubt Miss Paula uh, will give us a, a bell to let us know what we've got. So if we, um, I can't read them at the minute, but we have got some beautiful sent, and we, yeah. So we have got some beautiful sentiments. So we've got things like, hold on, I'll try and find the English ones. Uh, respect is one of the great treasures of life, which is just beautiful. Learn to stay calm. Not everything deserves a reaction. See, that's good, isn't it? I like that. The rivers of time will run their course. So you've got some beautiful, mindful uh, quotes. Sir. And obviously, this um, all the imagery uh, works throughout the whole collection. So that's your first one. Your next page, look at that. I mean, that is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, you just want to frame it. That is such a... It's one of those, isn't it, that's just so powerful. Um, every single paper is different. Obviously... You're only getting one per pad, um, so please make sure you get the extra pads. You've got your beautiful background there. The Amazonia paper, I mean, look at that. I love the, the, the collage element of it. It looks so, so beautiful. And obviously, the imagery is sensational. When we turn over, oh, look at the lily pads. I mean, isn't that fabulous? And then look... My little crocodile at the bottom there. And I do love all the, um, it's like all the different jewellery, isn't it, pieces, which looks amazing. And, of course, at the bottom there, at the bottom's like the tassels, so it's the, you know, it's um, a representation of the, the beautiful textiles as well. I love that. I love that there's a mixture of the wildlife, of the, the greenery, of the textiles, of the jewellery. You know, it's, it's a combination of everything that's mixed in there. It's really celebrating and the cultures and, of course, the incredible wildlife. And, I mean, every single one is just phenomenal. I keep saying that they should do wallpaper. They, if they did wallpaper like this, I would absolutely buy that. What a feature wall like that. Wouldn't it look amazing? Please, Stamperia. Um, look at that, though. Isn't that just sense that, yeah, they need to do fabric and they need to do wallpaper. Um, look at that. Now, you've got your beautiful toppers. They can be toppers. Brilliant for your art journals as well. I love the colour palette of this. 
I think it's absolutely exceptional. It's a really nice colour palette because it's not too bright. You know, it is bright, obviously, but it's not in your face bright, you know, which is beautiful. And, yeah, the little sloth is just amazing. You've then got, again, look at the layers. The layers are phenomenal. This allows you to, to get um, inspired. I love the back of the cards, as ever. They always do this. So if you're using these as journal cards, they're perfect straight away. That page is sent sensational you've got that incredible orchid you've got the butterflies on there there's so much you can fussy cut out of that but again you just want to take that out cut it into different sections and frame it i might do that in one of the demonstrations actually i might go and dig out one of my um my 12 by 12 frames because uh, honestly it, i'm not just obviously putting in a frame that'd be a really boring demo i might do a little bit more than that i love this one the map is sensational the detail in that is cool i must admit i love the scorpion it's just so isn't that fabulous wait till you get to the stamps oh man they are so isn't that beautiful beautiful papers again that's another one you just want to frame it you want to frame all of this pad actually that would look rather ridiculously cool wouldn't it just buy two of these and frame every page each side um your, your house would look amazing uh, you've got beautiful backgrounds the mold that we've got on the show will match that background perfectly again big um be oh 10 percent of the one day special has already gone i'm not surprised i've only just shown you part of your 12 by 12 paper pad um you've then got again the back of those the beautiful parrot i mean look at that again the layers are sensational we've got another mold that's going to match this one um oh the sloth which is just beautiful absolutely beautiful and then look at that paper oh incredible and then you've got loads and loads of elements to cut out on this one absolutely sensational now you do get your 12 by 12 pad in your one day special we have got another kit that will give you the 12 by 12 pad with the 8 by 8 um, that is always always a popular option so i'm warning you about it now um, in fact it is really really busy it always is because if i was getting my one day special i would absolutely get another one of these i always say that with stampira and i absolutely encourage you to cut it up do not keep one to stroke cut them all up make something beautiful with them um, it is you need to check your baskets out folks after 10 minutes we do refresh your baskets okay next i'll just pop that over there for one second i love these these are quite new to the um these are ace they're new to the stamp area um the the stamp area range and what you've got you've got your beautiful imagery on one side but if i flip this over look on the other side so when you cut them out the double sided now i really like that because if you are doing 3d elements if you're doing 3d work it means that you see both sides and they're both colored see what i mean I really, really like that. I think it's just so clever. It also means, obviously, you can use them left or right, which means you can get beautiful movement. You have so many elements to cut out. That's my favourite page. It's a good job our Janice isn't here for this one, isn't it? Yeah, she won't, she won't, she won't be loving this one. Um, absolute. I mean, look at all the butterflies. Look at the butterflies. Beautiful. And look at that page. Look at them. Are just just incredible i mean it is a celebration of color it's a celebration of wildlife of a uh, beautiful beautiful uh, pattern and design it's just such an incredible collection it's one of those that is just it's rich isn't it rich with different um elements just exquisite now that's your beautiful collectibles so you've got your collectibles you've got your 12 by 12 um you've also got within your one day special remember your one day special is only 36.94 very affordable um we have got extended delivery of course because it is coming from budapest it's coming out on the 28th absolutely worth the wait it's going to be beautiful when you receive it and ridiculously exciting right so you've also got your wooden embellishments now i really like these because they're beautifully printed all die cut so they're going to pop out dead easy and um, they have got some it's a if i just give that a little spin you can see how thick they are really nice thick embellishments and yeah i love those i mean the color on those is sharp you know really beautifully done you've then got your stamps look at your stamps the stamps in this collection are cool. 
absolutely fabulous um, and of course beautiful beautiful quality he is absolutely on the prowl isn't he and he is gorgeous in freedom is the essence of love and you've got all the beautiful um the the uh, foliage as well there they are mounted stamps of top quality rubber stamps you've then got your rice paper uh, one sheet of rice paper in the one day special but we have got extra one day um extra one day special we've got extra rice paper i urge you to get the extra rice paper if you're spending over 60 pounds you can get a flexi and then look at the stencil oh my gosh sorry these stencils do need opening um if there's any more on the show please um so Please. Uh, they do need opening to the stencils. They're so I can show you at the top of them. There you go. And then you can see, look at the design of that. I, I love this stencil. That is exquisite. Okay, it is busy. I'm going to show you for, uh, finished samples. These have been sent over from Stamperia. Um, and these are amazing. I mean, look at this. This all handmade books. This, it feels like it's just, in fact, you can see it's just been made out of loads of boxes that have been torn up. I'm definitely having a go at tearing boxes and decorating them. But that's the moulds that we've got coming up in a second. But look what they've done. They've made these pockets. So you've got kind of a tracing paper, if you will. And then in here, let me see if I can do this one handed. Look, you've got some fabulous tags. Oh, this is just beautiful. And look at this. Every single page. I'm dropping the tags. Look, every single page has got these amazing tags. Look at that. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, I don't think they've got them. Um, absolutely phenomenal. That's just one of the books. Look at that. Look at the layers in that. Isn't that beautiful? Again, the tags. And look behind the tag at all the flowers that have been cut out. Just sensational. I'll show you what I'm not even, I haven't even shown you the full thing, but just one more and then I promise I will move on. I mean, look at that. And that is again, absolutely beautiful. A frame that's just been made with card, but it's just got so much depth. It's got so much going on there. Now, if you do want this, this is your one day special. We are already approaching 20% of the stock gone. I'm moving these up. Get a chance to show you later on. Um, if you do want to get hold of these, you need to be checking out your baskets, folks. Um, 883127 is your item number. What I should do, instead of seeing me, I should just do this so you can see a finished sample instead of my face. And then you'll be able to see all the finished samples. I'll, I'll just go. And anyway, look at this. It is beautiful. Wait till I show you that. Oh, my gosh next we need to move on leone i'm there go on why whoa i knew this would be busy but 80 percent of the stock has gone 80 percent. you need to check your baskets out folks i'm so sorry but you have to check out 12 by 12 pad and the 8 by 8 um obviously i i highly recommend getting these as well as the one day special i say that because every single paper is a work of art every single paper you 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 will absolutely want to use both sides of it it's hard to cut stamperia up because it's all beautiful if you've got one of each or if you've got um it's limited that is going to go limited stock only 18 pounds and 98 pence 945089 next <laughs> okay next we've got and again oh the stencils and and the collectible oh i'm so pleased you've got your collector now i get this again as well because that's the one where you've got all those wonderful embellishments I would definitely buy this one again as well because then you've got all of these that you can use again. So you've got your collectibles in this one. You've got your 8x8 eight eight paper pad in this one. Only 1797 so really good price. But then look at the stencil in this one. Um, this is just... Oh, I hate ripping the packaging, but... There you go. But... Um, you've got the beautiful stencil. Look at that. See, that is just exquisite. Oh, have I ripped the pack? Yeah, I've ripped the packaging too much. Um, I love that. I love the detail. I love the 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 
the print on it and obviously it matches perfectly with the rest of the Amazonia collection. Oh, gorgeous. I'll just stand that back up as well. Um, now, if you do want this one, it is only £17.97. It is absolutely exquisite. 966057 is your item number. Don't miss out on that one. I am still bringing these over. I promise I will show you at some stage. Next. Now, we said you've got more rice papers. The rice papers in this collection are sensational. Uh, I wanted to, I really didn't get a chance. I wanted to get, um, I've got uh, some tables that I wanted to, to cover with these. Because honestly, I think this collection would look amazing if you're upcycling homeware. I mean, look at that. The detail on these papers is phenomenal. Um, the actual colour palette, I mean, look at this. Rice paper is just, I love working with it anyway, but Stamperia um, is the best. It, the, none of these colours will uh, fade as you put your glue on. None of them will move. Um, the actual print is sensational. And, of course, you've got that uh, fluidity that it gives you. Um, because it is printed on that wonderful mulberry paper. Now, if you want these, you're getting two each of these. The designs are sensational, and it's only £11.94. 035265, your item number. All the rice papers are good. I mean, oh, my gosh, this all... Yeah, I thought this would be the most popular. I mean, as soon as you see it. Can you imagine? Rice paper you can put on fabric. Can you imagine on that on, um, on a bag or something? How good would that be? Yeah, cushion on your sofa. And, oh, I love this. And this, I love that. This is, yeah, this is beautiful. 20% of the stock has gone. And then look at that. See, when I saw this collection, this is why I wanted to uh, sand my tables down and do my tables. I'm gutted I didn't get a chance to do it, you know. Gutted. 11 94 you're getting two each of these. We don't limit it to one per person. If you want more than one set of something, you can absolutely do that. 961234 is your item number. Next. And this is another amazing, amazing set. Um, there are some moles. The moles are there. Has this one got rice paper? Probably. I'm going to show it you anyway. Um, right. A3 rice paper. Oh, no, sorry, I meant my finished sample. Look at that. Now, this is a really good rice paper because we're talking backgrounds. Backgrounds are essential. If you're decorating boxes, if you're doing, again, any um, maybe book covering, this is absolutely essential because this will allow you to put your big, bold designs on top of. So you've got two of your A3. You've then got in this kit, which is why this kit is so amazing, you've got your chipboard and your decorative chips. I love that they're gold chips. Now, look at this. This, again, is the um, the chipboard. So it's like a cardstock is this one. And I do believe this will be adhesive. Um, and what you've got here, you have got... Um, your your beautiful well yeah normally it says on the packaging, um but no, not packaging uh, but I think it is let me just see, and it normally tells you on packaging how many there are as well um the, it is beautiful and it is adhesive um if you do want to go for that you do need to check your baskets out with that one um you've also got and I love these as well um these are beautiful this is again it is wood so it's beautifully carved. And with something like this, you can decorate it in so many different ways. Um, if you would like to get hold of that, please check your baskets out. Absolutely sensational. Um, if you want that kit, it is 929189, your item number. And loads of ways you can use these, the stamps. How are the stamps going? Oh, man. I love the stamps. All the stamps are so cool. Now, this one, first of all, you've got that beautiful background. You've got the borders. Look at the quality of the stamps. I mean, when you look at these, these are a beautiful rubber mounted stamp. And honestly, the detail of that, it means you can stamp into um, your UT. You know, they are already mounted as well, so you don't need to worry about mounting them. I adore all the stamps in this one. Um, my indomitable and will and warrior soul. Fabulous. Strong. Uh, £10.99 is your price. 156979 is your item number. I know I've carried it all the way along. I am going to show you. I am going to show you. I promise. Um, next, um, this is my favourite stamp set. 
absolute favourite stamp set. I love this one. You've got the scorpion, you've got the spider, you've got the fabulous beetle at the bottom. Um, keep natural memory intact. Yes, I love that. Um, yeah, absolute favourite. A beautiful butterfly as well on this one. I really like that butterfly. It is so detailed. And look at the little grasshopper. The detail of these images is sensational. Uh, 542869. This is everyone's favourite as well. Yes, not surprised. It's well cool. Um, almost 20% of the stock has gone. Oh, I'm glad I'm surrounded by bug people, people who like bugs and things as well. Um, and then our last stamp set, but this is another good one. I love that background. That background is sensational because it's all the, um, look at all the different imagery on there. Love that. Um, you've then got the beautiful snake. You have got on this one. Again, I, I'm adoring this one. It's like, it's amulet, the word I'm looking for. Um, you know, when you've got those big, beautiful pieces of jewellery, I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. Um, but yeah, I love, love this one. Condense the spirit, regulate and uh, regulate the breath. So basically, chill. I, am I right? Boom. That doesn't happen often. <laughs> Protect you against evil. See, I, I wonder if that's that, that's what it reminds me of. Um, hey, it's not often I'm right, is it, Emily? I'm well surprised in my head. <laughs> um, 662-327 is your item number there. Now, the moulds. The moulds are well cool. These are so busy. Um, you have got... Oh, I'm glad because I'm using these first. You've got the beautiful leaf moulds. You've got butterflies here. Now... This is a gorgeous deep mould. I mean, when you look at these, they are seriously deep. You don't need to fill the full thing. So you have got your air dry clay. Um, your air dry clay obviously will be beautiful for these, but you can use your resins as well with these, which is perfect. Um, absolutely sensational detail with these. Absolutely love this one. So, and you've got so much going on, but then you've got your flexible mould and look at that. I mean, that is absolutely exquisite. Um, again, use this one with your cream paste. Your cream paste will work beautifully with this. We've got both the cream paste and the air dry clay on the show. So please make sure you check your baskets out for those. Now, £11.98 your price here. I love those two. And they are seriously popular. Uh, 602915. Uh, we've then got for you your beautiful tribal mm, this is amazing uh, the tribal mode and uh, now I when I were doing uh, mine last night doing the most this is the one I went for first because again I just think these look phenomenal you know they are big it's funny actually because in the last hour or Adam, we're talking about making, you know, if you're upcycling and you could make um, little, uh, you know, your handles for your drawers and stuff, you could make them out of this. Well, it, it, I'm pinching it off Adam from last hour. I'm not, I'm not going to pretend it's my idea. But wouldn't they be fabulous? And I, that, honestly, that is such a strong mould. And then this one, you know, when I said you've got moulds that match the papers, this is exactly one of those. That mould is fabulous. The, again, the detail of that is just beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Now, if you do want these two, now I am going to show you a bit of a finished sample because I haven't shown you this one yet. But, 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 have a look at this. So you've got one of those gorgeous moulds on the front there, which is sensational. Obviously, then, you've got the papers. You've got, oh, isn't it amazing? These have all been sent in from Stamperia. I mean, is that not just so cool? And I'll show you the other side as well. It's got the chipboard elements. It's got the papers. You've got some of the gorgeous paints that we've got on the show as well. Oh, just fabulous. I'll just give you a little look at this one. I mean, this is the best sample I've ever seen in my life. I'll show you that side first, because that side has actually got one of the moulds on. Oh, this, honestly, they've sent this... I wonder who's made this. I wonder if it is Christina's work, because Christina is fabulous. It could be. I mean, this is, a, this is so different. I mean, this is a work of art. I'd, I'm, it's one of those that you need to be so careful with, because it's someone's treasure. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Just beautiful. I won't show you every page now. Even, even the stuff that they've used. I mean, it's, and how they've bound it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? 
I love this. I have to send it back, but I don't want to. Um, if you do want that one, it's only 11 98 The prices are superb. 702 um, 118. So your last mould. The last mould you have got, um, like the wood grain. So again, this matches the papers. It matches your 12 by 12 papers, but it gives you the texture, again, which is sensational. So you've got your wood grain, but you've also got your animals in this one. So that's your animals, but the animals are for lying. So you have got the your toucan, and you are getting both of them. You're getting the, the croc there, the snake, the parrot. We're approaching 40 percent with this one you are loving your animals and it's only 11.98 hey i didn't do too bad 25 minutes biggest counter i've seen in my life um and everything's gorgeous and there's more things on the website that we couldn't even put on the counter uh, so please check now there are queues on the phone so please get onto that website um it is thecraftstore.com you can shop on the app so if you want to have a look on the app, please do that um, because it's a great way of shopping and obviously it'll save you time as well. Um, there's all the gorgeous stencils, the paints, the paints are amazing. Um, honestly, there's so much to show you. Uh, please check on, oh, I'm not surprised that's popular. Honestly, that is amazing. That has been so popular. And yeah, again, absolutely. Everything is beautiful. Um, what you do need to do, however, is check your baskets out. Do not miss out on any of this. It is absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, we are thrilled that um, Stamperia have joined us for, for, well, for two years, quite frankly thrilled um okay so what i'm gonna do is first of all let's get painting okay so i'm gonna take um in fact i'm not gonna do it for you don't need to see me paint the base so i've just taken um a bit of a gray board type thing painted it with one of the paints now you are getting some beautiful paints in this collection um as i said before with Stamperia now they'll bring us paints that match the collection so with this one and some of them you might have had already some of them you might not with this one you've got your corn you've got turquoise nature green um avocado which is lovely titanium white and then earth sweet so, so i mean straight away you look at that and you go yep of course it matches it is perfect perfect so that's your stamp uh, your paint set now your paints they're always a good price here at the craft store um you are saving 13 pounds 398312 that's your item number okay so what i've done first of all i've given it um a layer of corn um dried off and then what i'm gonna do is put on some of the shabby medium so we have got the shabby medium on the show as well um, and the details are coming on as we speak so i'm putting a layer of your shabby medium now your shabby medium is a medium that um will basically or oh, um basically allow the paint to to um come off easier if you will so you can do shabby chic uh, a little bit easier what i'm hoping is that i didn't need to put two layers of paint on this uh, base because this base is very very porous so i'm hoping it works so just a little bit of your your shabby medium on there there we are and then i'm going to give this a little blast dry to make sure it's dry before i put my another layer on so give that a little blast with my heat gun like so and you want it to um, be be dry so um, you can put your next layer of paint on. And you can either, I have, couldn't find, I know I've got, um, I know I've got, so, uh, what's it called, sandpaper, but I can't find it. So I'm going to have to hope my, my cloth will take it off uh, beautifully. Now, we have got an update. So the 12 by 12 paper and the 8 by 8 paper, wow, that's technically sold out. I do apologise, that has technically gone. Uh, so now if you want your 12 by 12 papers, that is going to come with your um, with your one day special. If you want the 8 by 8, you can still get the 8 by 8 with that under, other bundle, but that has technically sold out already in the first live hour ridiculous already in the first live hour okay so i've put that on and then i'm gonna pop a little bit so i'm gonna go in with uh, my nature green 
So I'll put a little bit of green. But I want a little bit of the turquoise as well. So I don't want it to be a solid colour that I'm putting on here. And I might even put on a little bit of the titanium white. So I'm not, I don't want it to be too heavy because obviously I've got um I've got other other pay, other things that I'm putting over this. And I quite like it a bit patchy. So a little bit patchy. <laughs> like this. Sorry, I'm giggling. <laughs> it was he just looking glum. <laughs> If, if people are wondering what I'm giggling at, because, because our lovely Hannah got um, Adam in she, because you have to frame frame us up so when um, we get, so Hannah can get the camera straight. And she said, oh, Adam, will you go in so I can frame you? And then she said, oh, Adam, will you, will you give me a smile? <laughs> I like to look at him, look at him. Oh, I wonder, can we show a picture of Adam having a smile? Can we show, oh, there he is. And doing. there he is. Are going to change the colour of my, of my shirt? Actually, doing? <laughs> Are they? Are they being naughty? <laughs> and then now I'm going to put other stuff onto my shirt. They're, they're, oh, he thinks they're going to pick on him. <laughs> they're being serious. They just need you just to smile. <laughs> Made me giggle. Adam, will you smile? He always smiles. Don't worry, everybody at home. He's a happy little bunny. Okay. So, <laughs> um, now, I went and put shabby chic medium out then instead of white paint, so I'm really hoping it works. OK, so, hopefully, I've not put shabby chic medium over the top of this as well as paint. So, that's my next layer, which I quite like, because I wanted it quite, um, you know, I, don't, I didn't want it solid. I wanted a kind of nice, earthy little... Um, or not earthy, that's the wrong word, just a, a variation. So... What I want to do now, look, look, look. So I'm just using my cloth and watch. So what you can do now is just start to drag this off. So I'm not going to drag it all off, but I love this because you are getting... Can you see how you've got the yellow coming through? Oh, I hope you can see that proper. Isn't that fabulous? So you are getting that beautiful shabby look. Look at that. I do think I could blast it dry and it still work as well, but I want to do it when it's wet because I like that movement as well. It is better, like where my paint has dried a bit naturally, it comes off really well. Look at that. Now that one, see, I'm better if I dry that bit because that's smearing a bit. So you are better drying your paint a bit, but look at that. Oh, I like that a lot. Giving that a scrub. So you're getting that really cool shabby look like so look at that color palette now doesn't that look beautiful absolutely beautiful let me give it a bit of a blast i adore that so i would i would actually let the the top layer dry off a bit because if it dries off a bit if it's wet i were working with it when it were wet if it's too wet, then you just smear the paint as opposed to, to drag it off. Because now if I go in, see, now if I go in and scrub it, can you see it'll still lift? Because of the shabby sheet, the shabby medium, it'll still lift. So you can dry your paint and then afterwards, but because I haven't got sandpaper, uh, but even still, you can still get it to move. And that's what your shabby medium does. It basically allows the paint to come away so you're getting that really cool shabby sheet look. I'll pop that to one side for one second only. Now, a quarter of the stock of the paints has gone. The paints are seriously busy. They are always seriously busy. It's because the price is ridiculous. It's such a good price. You are saving £13 there. So if you do want that, please do not miss out on that one. It's a really good and the beautiful quality paint. Now, I'm only doing this um, next one because I put that shabby medium out. I'm not wasting it. So I'm putting the shabby medium on that one and I'm going to leave that to dry naturally. Well, this, because uh, I've got some white left, I'm going to bring in another little tag and I'm just going to use my titanium white there. The reason I'm using my titanium white, even though this is a white surface, but it'll seal it. So this is very, very porous, but if I use my titanium white, it'll help seal it. So I'm not wasting the paint and obviously I'm starting to, to build up another layer. So... Have they spilled avocado? 
Oh, she's on it. Um, okay, so next, let me just clean this off a little bit like this. Boom. So, next. Now, um, those moulds, I know those moulds are seriously busy. These are the leaf ones. Um, and the leaf ones are fantastic. Again, there's so much you can do with these and loads of lovely colours that you can uh, paint them. I'm going to add, so I've got the gorgeous avocado there. And I'm also going to use a bit of the, um, uh, the nature green. I might be naughty and use some of the red from earlier as well that I had in the earlier show. I might use a little bit of the yellow as well. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is actually really water these down. So, adding that water. Now, this mould that I've got here, 60% of the stock has gone. This is very, very busy as well. Um, it is a very busy show. If there's anything you want, you know what to do. Okay, so mixing this with water, quite a lot of water, because this is the quickest way of painting this, because then, look, you can just, once you water these paints down, you can really look, it just goes over it so quickly then. And the thing is, it's still a really good coverage, because look, 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 look at that coverage. And that is, it's so simple and rough, obviously. You just, I wanted it to be quick, you see this, because you don't want to just watch me paint leaves. But if I do it really, really quick, then boom. So just go around the edge. Remember to do the edge of these. Because I've used the air dry clay, and remember you can get the air dry clay on the show. Because I've used the air dry clay, um, it means you've got quite a bit of dimension. So you might need to go around the edges to make sure you, you cover the, um, the dimension. If you do want your clay, the details are there for you. Now you're going to get two blocks of the clay uh, for just ten pounds and ninety nine pence. That's five eight five uh, seven two five. Your item number. If you do want to get hold of your uh, your clay, and I'll just do my last leave. I'm getting my fingers proper involved in this one, Arna. I mean, yeah. If you're worried about getting mucky fingers don't make it as wet so what i'm going to do with this now if you just take a little bit of paper and just start to lift it off now the lovely thing with our dry clay it kind of um once you use when you're using your 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 sort of wet mediums the the paint lifts off really easy and you can see there so it doesn't stay one color can you see so it looks really textured and I love that. I love how it, it kind of um, really emphasises the, uh, the actual veins of the leaf, but it, it doesn't remain one solid colour, which looks really effective. I do want to dry brush some of that yellow on as well. So just going on, I'm being a bit careful because I don't want to, to break it because I've saturated it so much. It is an air dry clay, it's a paper clay. So if you saturate it like I have, it will weaken it because obviously, you know, you're putting a lot of moisture back into that, um, that paper clay. So you do have to be careful, but it'll be fine. It'll dry out again, it won't be a problem. But I'm just, just scooping up some of the extra moisture, but also lifting it. And I'm only dabbing it because that's where you'll drag off the extra moisture, but also add that texture. And it's adding the texture from the cloth, you know, because it's not smooth. So, it, like, if you crunch it up and it gives you that lovely, I really like that. So, give it that lovely, lovely texture. Oops, it is there. There we go. And then, let's add a tiny... Oh, come here, you monkey. Well, it's not, is it? We've got monkeys, though. Have we got monkeys? <laughs> oh, I don't think there is monkeys, is there? I don't know. There mustn't be monkeys in Amazon here. I'm not sure. Oh, man. Yeah, there must be monkeys in Amazon. Amazon, even. Anyway, um, so a little bit of yellow. Oh, I've put too much yellow out. I hate it when I do that because I don't like to waste. So a little bit of yellow, and I'm just going to dry brush a little bit of that yellow back in. So it's just giving it another hint of a colour. And I'm only putting a little bit on because I don't want it too intense. So just bringing that in from the edges. Doesn't that look pretty? So you've got that texture going on there. You've then got that beautiful sort of colour, the different colours coming in like so. Look at that. Just gorgeous. And there we are. And then a little bit more on this one. 
And I mean, you've got loads of colours. All the, the brown, the earth one would work with this. Um, from this morning, if you did get the paints from this morning, the red would work beautifully with this as well. You know, you could add the, the gorgeous red into the leaves. That would look so nice. So, yeah, there's so many colours within the collections that work. And that's oh, once you've built up your collection of um, paints from Stamperia, they are fabulous. Right, so I'm well happy with my leaves because they look really lovely. Then, oh, really textured and gorgeous. Don't they look gorgeous? Okay, so just pop them to one side. Um, and as ever, I'm not wasting this. And I know it's a bit dull, but um, there's so much paint there. Another thing you can do with the paint, if I just do this... And I'll just mix that yellow up, like so. And let's just pick up that paint. So this is quite absorbent. And I'm just picking up that paint so you're getting that really nice colour blend. It's only my acrylic paint, but obviously I don't want to waste it. The colours will work together beautiful. I mean, just that on its own right. They've done it look it does look under sea, but it could be the you know, it could be the, the actual leaves and the bushes, couldn't it? You know? So just squidging that. I really like doing stuff like this as well, you know, because it's creating loads of different backgrounds, but just from the, the stuff that you'd normally waste. I shouldn't be using that paintbrush for this. Yeah, that's one of my nice paintbrushes and I'm scrubbing it on like anyone's business. So <laughs> Now then, so I'll stop doing this because this isn't my demonstration. Move that out of the way. <laughs> That's just Leone getting carried away with cleaning up. Um, spritz this. Okay. So what I'll do next is, let's bring that tag back in again. So get my beautiful tag. Um, and with this tag, I want to get a little bit of texture before I do anything else. I love that. I love the colour. I love that, that beautiful um, distress, that shabbiness. Love a little bit of shabbiness. Do you know what? I've got all the stencils. You know when you check your basket out? Because look at all of these. Look at all of these. I've got some of these and I've got some of these and I've got some of these and I've got some of these. I mean, I mean I've got a lot. So maybe while you're checking out your baskets. Oh, we've got more on the show. Because I'm showing off with mine. Um well, I'm using one in one day, especially. I'm going to be good. <laughs> actually, no, I'm not, actually. I'm going to use a toucan because I love this. I love all the, the sense of the words. I really like that. I really like this. So I'm using my, my lovely toucan. Now, I'm actually using my cream paste. love using the cream paste for a stencil paste. Um, it goes on so smooth and beautifully. So I'm going to use my, my cream paste like this. Um, just scraping that off and then let's have a see. So I'm making sure, I don't want the two cut, I just want this kind of, this kind of bit. So, and I don't want it all, it's just a little bit of texture coming in. And it's such a nice product is your, um, your, your paste because it's just so smooth. And it's dead easy to control, you know, because it goes on so easily. So, that's that. And see, it's just giving you that really, really lovely texture. And I love the white on there. I will be knocking the white back a bit, um, but I just think it looks really, really cool. Of course, now I have got a dirty stencil. Because I've got a dirty stencil, let's go on to here to clean this. Remember, this has got my shabby medium over it, which means I need to put another colour over the top of that. So we'll ignore that. But this one... Dirty stencil. So as ever, you'll get this. I'll just spritz that. And then, because it's a dirty stencil, just scrubbing that. And I am using my fingers. So scrubbing that just to get the paste off, the excess paste, onto this. So as ever, I'm doing um, two at the same time time and I can feel it you see I can feel that it's clean but it also gives me a really nice texture that is just cleaning my stencil that's my extra so what I'm going to do is give this a blast dry and um, while I'm blasting this dry shall I hand back over to our lovely Adam who will give you a bit of a smile um, <laughs> <laughs> of, our course. Lovely Adam. of course <laughs> they weren't they were just framing up I didn't need to smile at I the know. time they I were know. just messing with me now is now <laughs> this is the bit 
um, for, where they bring muggins here. This is the bit to check out your baskets now because you're not missing anything, okay? This is the bit where you're not going to miss any of Leone's demo. We're not going anywhere for a minute. So start checking out your baskets now because you've seen this bit already if you've been watching from the top of the hour. If you're brand new to us, uh, good evening. First of all, welcome to our brand new one-day special and what a one-day special it is. Um, it's, you hear it a lot. We're very busy, but we are extremely extremely busy this hour for a launch show you are getting so much for your money you really are so a quarter of the stock has already gone in 44 minutes a quarter of the stock and we had a vast amount of stock to start this hour with. What are you getting in your one-day special? It's more like, what aren't you getting, to be honest? Uh, you are getting your 12 by 12. Now, the, uh, this is the only way, by the looks of it, from looking down the counter, to get hold of your 12 by 12 now. <laughs> It is the only way to get hold of your 12 by 12 because uh, the other one sold out with it, 8 by 8. I've still got an 8 by 8 on the show, though. Uh, so that's your 12 by 12. Then we move on to your collectibles. Now, I didn't realise until our Leone said uh, that they are double-sided. Uh, they are absolutely beautiful. So they, literally, it's the same image just flipped around on the back. So if you are cutting them out and you are using them through things like acetate and stuff like that, you haven't got to cover the backs because you are getting the same image uh, on the front to what you are at the back. Uh, then you got your 12 by 12, as we said. Uh, then you get your gorgeous stamps. Beautiful. The detail in these stamps are absolutely phenomenal. Look at that little, the little leopard's face that you've got in there. You can see the details and that's what it's going to stamp like. The details in the feathers, that's what it's going to stamp like. Uh, from there, we then move to your rice paper. Now, you get one sheet of your rice paper in this. Is, but what a sheet of rice paper we are talking about. Whether you cut into it, whether you snip it down, whether you leave it as a whole. And this is the thing about stamping area. It is that fact I'm scared of the cutting into it because it is so beautiful. Look at the details. So you've got the macaw in there. You've got the snake in there as well. Uh, just cutting that parrot out on the stick alone would be absolutely beautiful. From there, we then move to your... Are we going up? Uh, so you've got your wood. Uh, there you go in there. Well, look at, look at the thickness of these. This is a proper... If I turn that parrot that way, you can see these are stunning. And I was flicking through some samples a minute ago where they've used the actual wood as pulls. They've used them as tabs uh, on all the cards. So things like... Uh, I, yeah, these are they, they, these are sort of the same things that you've got, but they've literally used them as tabs themselves. And then you've got that beautiful imagery underneath as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Uh, from there, uh, you've also got your stencil in there as well. They've just told me the time. We haven't got long left. You see me speeding up. Uh, then you've also got your stencil included as well um, with a little hook. I've never seen a hook on a stencil. No, I didn't know that. So you can hop it on your little... You can put it on your washing line when you're drying it out, on your little... Genius, it there. isn't it? Uh, Genius. It's, see, it's the little things they think of. Then, on top of all of this, you get your freebie gift. So you're either going to get, get one set, so you're going to get one of these. So you will either get the water lilies, you will either get the toucan, or you will either get the butterflies as well. Now, it is uh, what customer comes first? Customer comes first? <laughs> customer comes first. First come, first serve, which is what I was meant to say. First come, but you come first. We haven't got them. I haven't got them. You come first. I'm not allowed them yet. Nearly gone, though. They are nearly gone. So if you want your free gift, I would definitely start checking out your baskets now. Otherwise, once these have gone, these have gone, it'll just be your one-tier special. Okay? Uh, so, oh, if they do go, oh, well, well, if they do go, they do go. There'll be a different free gift once these go, but... I don't know what it is, so they don't tell me stuff. Uh, so uh, they won't tell me in case you're old off, but I get it while you can because these are absolutely beautiful. £36.94 with an £8 saving. 883-127 is your item number. I, we're going on. We're going on. We're pressing on. Come with. Come with in the jungle. I'm loving this jungle theme. Uh, now, we've now also got, once again, this is the only way of getting your little 8 by 8 There's no other way of getting an 8 by 8 apart from this collection now. So if you do want to go... For the littler one, same images on the inside. Let me give you a little flick through. There you go. Uh, so if you do want to get your little 8x8 eight eight that's in it, this is the only way of getting 40% of the stock now has already gone. And you get a different stencil. This is the stencil that Ali is using at the moment with the little toucan uh, that's in there. Love the toucan. Because uh, it also is the famous, it's that label in it for that famous drink. Guinness. 
uh, that you've got in there. Um, so you've got that famous, uh, you've got the famous, uh, that famous toucan. So if you are just going to go down that route or you'd want a uh, home decor, it is beautiful uh, to use those stencils uh, on their own. Uh, then rice papers. We're doing rice papers as well. Oh, we're going far down. Uh, you've got all your rice papers uh, here. Now, you're getting three designs, but you're getting two of each design. So you've got that macaw, once again, that's in there. I can show you this way. This way won't be easier. Uh, you've got the macaw that's in there. From the macaw, you've got your lily pads. Loving the lily pads. And then you've got these beautiful flowers. I can't remember the name of that flower for love and money. Uh, but then you also get the flower in there as well. Uh, it's just called botanicals. There is an actual name to it though, and you can. You, uh, there was one in Sainsbury's the other day, and I totally forgot to look at that. Yeah, what's the flower what's called? One? That one. Uh, that one. That one. Oh, that's just an orchid. Oh, is it? It's an orchid. Oh, there you that's go. It's an orchid. orchid. That's the one. It's just yeah, it's an orchid. orchid it's yeah. just an orchid. Just get the orchid. Eleven pounds and ninety-four pence. Zero three five two six five is your item number. From there, we've got one more set of your rice papers as well. And this one is, uh, by Jove, this is busy. Uh, you're getting that beautiful, have you noticed, matches the stamp in your one day special. You see, we don't just throw these shows together. Uh, from there, I'm going to use these ones because they're easier. Uh, um, like in this one as well, it's sort of got that hide print that you've got in there. And then you've also got your butterflies as well. Uh, loving all these, £11.49, 961234 is your item number. Moulds on stills. That's what we're doing, moulds on stills. I uh, love these moulds. I like the butterflies. I've got, um, when we do the circle ones in a minute, I've got an amazing invention for them. Uh, butterflies, if you want to go for the butterflies and the leaves, £11.98. 70% of the stock has gone. I'm not even going to do numbers. 70% of the stock has already gone. Next one, tribal. The <laughs> tribals. Uh, your tribe, there's butterflies, but your tribals. Here we go, there we go. Um, I imagine if you do these in resin, Put a little glass in the middle of them so you get that little alcove. You buy a cheap little round mirror. These would be beautiful compact mirrors. Absolutely stunning compact mirrors uh, they would be because they're that perfect size uh, for a mirror. But you could close them down and have like a little clamshell. I'll keep talking because they take ages. Oh, no, they don't. Uh, so, uh, animals. We're talking animals now. So you've got your 50%. Your 50%. You've got your cockatoo. You've got your toucan. You've got your crocodile, um, you've got parrots, you've got sloths in there. Basically, that's the whole of the presenter team summed up in one set of moulds that you've got in there. Uh, then you've also got your crate in there as well. You can decide amongst yourselves who is who. Um, but £11.98, 059282 is your item number. I was going to say something, but give me the sack. <laughs> right, let's go back. <laughs> Thank you, dear. <laughs> it was about the cockatoo, but I thought I'd leave it. <laughs> cockatoo. Um, so, <laughs> so, I'm taking a little bit of earth. Um, oh, and I'm not being soft, uh, slow, a sloth. I'm not being a sloth. I'm not being a sloth. So, just taking a bit of the brown and just gently dry... Let's go for it. Let's just dry brush this on because I want to, um, to just intensify this because it is quite soft. And if you just sort of dry brush it, you're only going to get... As, as we normally do with dry brushing, you're not going to get it too intense. So, it means I can just bring on a little bit of that earth. I love that as well. I just think that's such a nice... Nice colour. I mean, all the colours are fabulous. Um, so I've taken a little bit of the um, of cardboard. I, I must. I, I should have used more of this. I have been a bit tight. Um, I've also got a little bit of. Um, there we go. A little bit of. There we go. A little bit of movement coming on. Now the free gift has sold out at, well not sold out but you know um it has gone so but we have got another free gift now unfortunately we've only got a picture of this because i haven't got this very rude but it is a stamperia apron oh yes oh yes if you want a stamperia apron um then this is your next free gift um so please check your baskets out we're kind of thinking when that's gone then that's it for the 